Inside the temple of the Tran family, everywhere was filled with incense smoke, and the extremely sad cries of a slave girl rang out. She burned the votive paper and screamed bitterly, Hoo 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 hoo, homeowner, you died so miserably, homeowner, please take these banknotes, if you encounter evil, don't be narrow-minded towards them. This slave girl put the votive paper into the pot to burn for her master, and continued to scream, Hoo hoo, homeowner, don't come back to find us, every time the day comes we will worship together, people. At this time, the so-called homeowner was lying peacefully in the coffin, while the maid continued to cry, If one day we forget, please try to hold back a little, ha ha. This slave pretended to sob up to this point, then a sudden change occurred. The homeowner, Tran, lying in the coffin, suddenly opened his eyes, what he saw was incense smoke rising into the sky. He lay in the coffin, wondering, This is me, where am I? The head of the Tran family sat up in bewilderment. He looked around, a bit puzzled, thinking, spiritual hall, ancient clothes, me, passing through. At this time the slave girl still didn't know anything. She was busy, opened his mouth and cried bitterly. At that moment, a cold ray of light flashed across the head of the man who had just woken up in the coffin. He painfully held his head with his hand, his sweaty face thinking, what is this, so much, other people's memories suddenly rushed into my head. He couldn't help but cry out in pain. The slave girl was startled and turned her head to look at the source of the sound. Until she clearly saw that her lost homeowner suddenly came to life in the coffin, the slave's face turned pale with fear. She turned around and crawled out. Screaming like a pig in horror, she ran for her life and said, No good, the homeowner's body has risen. The memory of the original owner appeared in the man's mind as he just revived. The information included, My name is Tran Lak, autosave, 19 years old, both parents are dead, have a billion in a house. As soon as the man penetrated into Tran Lak's body, he saw the memory clearly and silently said, So, that's it, the memory of the original owner Tran Lak is very complete, this era was the Great Chuen Dynasty, this place was Lo Ninfu, Vanan District, the Tran family's head was a disciple of Tian Chung, literate at three years old, working at five years old, poetry, reading classics at age seven, being a useless person at nineteen. These memories kept running quickly into the head of the man who had just come from time to time. He patted his head full of pain, sighed and thought, forget the unimportant memories, the important thing is to be happy because why die? As soon as he finished speaking, the memory explaining the cause of Tran Lak's death immediately appeared. He was grabbed by a hideous monster. It stuck out its long, disgusting tongue and rushed to break it. Tran Lak's neck, the cold monster said, must die. After that, only a cracking sound could be heard. Tran Lak's head was broken, and he died just like that. The man who traveled through space could see this incident. He hugged his neck, instinctively thinking with fear, shit, but his neck was twisted in the dream. Thinking for a while, he immediately came to a conclusion. So isn't it true that this world has demons and demons? The time transferred man finished looking at the original owner Tran Lak's memories, then immediately stood up. Now his identity was Tran Lak. He stood silently in the coffin, holding his body with his hands, rubbed it a few times and then said, why does it feel so cold? Having said that, Tran Lak quickly pulled his legs out of the coffin, he silently said, I'm still in the spiritual hall, the more I think about it, the more scared I become, I have to leave quickly. Just one step outside, before he could finish his sentence, a bowl of blood immediately poured onto Tran Lak's face, causing him to startle and scream. Outside, a crowd of servants from the Tran family rushed forward, one held up a whole tub of blood, intending to pour it again, his voice trembling, he quickly took action, the black dog's blood could not hold him for long, the slave from before was commanding a group of soldiers, the servant held a hammer next to him and shouted, I heard that the most feared thing about a resurrected body is being nailed to a coffin, quickly bring the coffin and crucify him on it. Tran Lak was attacked and could only helplessly raise his hand to stop, but obviously no one listened to him. The Tran family's servants were going crazy, some were holding hammers and nails, some were holding Tran Lak tightly in preparation to crucify him. Tran Lak was extremely panicked, using all his strength to scream, wait, stop quickly. He gasped, unable to take precautions, his face was covered in blood, Tran Lak was completely helpless, he couldn't move his arms or legs, silently cursing in his heart, green beans, just passed through, could it be that someone why do I pierce my heart like that, don't people who travel always have a system, where is the system? After thinking about it, Tran Lak raised his voice and shouted, system, the host is calling you, come out here and save me. After hearing Tran Lak's meaningless words, the workers immediately stopped their actions. At this moment, the space here suddenly became silent. The system was nowhere to be seen. Nothing happened at all. 
The slave girl clutched her ears in fear, widened her eyes and screamed, then said, It must be the words of the underworld, let's not listen, we will lose our lives, quickly put him to death. At this point, Tranlak had almost given up hope, thinking about the huge nail that was about to be hammered into his body, he absent-mindedly thought, could it be that I had to die like this? Right at this moment, the door of the spiritual hall was suddenly pushed open, a person appeared at the door, quickly ran in to stop me, and stopped for me. Tranlak's eyes were almost about to collapse, he could only see the vague silhouette of this person, standing like a certain woman, she hurriedly ran towards him. After falling into a trance, as if lost in another space, he opened his eyes and looked around, wondering, this place, where else is this? Looking around, he saw many brushes flying after him, all of them stuck straight into the ground, and Tranlak also fell into a puddle of black ink, he looked up and saw the brushes falling like rain. A line of golden text appears above, with the content, the Sutra of History and Death, the Collection of Heaven and Earth, the Theory of the Book, explaining the meaning of humanity, the impoliteness of Buddhism, the enlightenment of the wise and the wonderful book. Tranlak looked stunned, it took a long time for him to come to a few conclusions, personal space, auto-hack, or heaven. The space around Tranlak gradually changed, suddenly turning into a beautiful land, flowers and grass blooming. Pink rose petals spread across this land, touching my chest, confused as to what had happened. He noticed a flower petal floating right next to his ear and let out a worried cry. Tranlak calmly reached out and caught the flower petal. The flower petals quickly changed. He opened his palm and saw a black object appear. That black object quickly flew up and then went straight into the middle of Tranlak's forehead. At this moment, a great change occurred around the naked body. A face of an evil beast appeared. After that, there are many lines of yellow text running straight at Tranlak, that is Chung Kui's summary of the story. After absorbing these characters, Tranlak's eyes opened wide, he couldn't hide his surprise and said, this is, catching ghosts, kneeling together. Looking before his eyes, the so-called common kneeler was about to leave, Tranlak had no choice but to run after him, he reached out his hand and shouted loudly, oh slowly. Just after running a few steps, Tranlak suddenly felt something and stopped, then around, many pillars appeared from nowhere. Looking at these huge pillars, Tranlak's eyes widened in confusion, this, what is this, after that, he immediately lost consciousness. When he woke up, Tranlak raised his hand to hold his throbbing head, he spoke hoarsely, ho, ho, inhaled, too many things were crammed into his head in one breath, it was too painful. After regaining his composure, he smelled the faint fragrance in his room. Tranlak opened his eyes slightly and thought to himself, This smells so good, where is this place? He turned to the side and saw a beautiful pink-haired woman leaning her face against the bed, fast asleep. Tranlak frowned and thought, Ah, if a beauty with beauty like this were to be uploaded to the internet, it would definitely be very popular, very hot ah. Not letting Tranlak think any more nonsense, the original owner's memories immediately rushed out, it was the image of her sister taking the original owner out when she was little. Sister even carried the original owner on her back to lull him to sleep, she also protected the original owner when he was bullied. At this point, Tranlak sighed sadly, he thought to himself, it turns out she's my sister, I thought she was my childhood friend who was married here to be my concubine. He tilted his head to look at the original owner's sister who was sleeping soundly, then thought to himself, just at the beginning, there was a sister appearing from somewhere, suddenly I saw someone coming to save me, it seemed to be someone, she left, and even gave me her bed and took care of me all night. Thinking of this, Tranlak calmly lay down on the bed, he put his head in his hands, closed his eyes to rest, not bad, at first he was not an orphan, the difficulty immediately decreased, but, this world, through and through, is different from other normal worlds. In my memory, I was taught by a serious gentleman, no one was pretending to be so, but in this world, I used the method of reading to practice and become strong. Tranlak remembered the stack of books towering over the blue sky in his dream, he sighed in his heart and thought, the strange thing is that this world only has three types of classic books, Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, and others, but there is none, no web novels, no manga, and no he he, the kind of books that everyone knows he he. Thinking for a while, Tranlak stroked his chin in thought, oh, that's not right, just in a dream, it seems like it was. Remembering the time when I was unconscious in space, I noticed the flower petals scattered everywhere under my feet. He realized that all the flower petals were entertainment books. Remembering that he was surrounded by those entertainment books, Tranlak blushed in thought, in a place where there are only classics of the three teachings, the world only needs to read books to be able to practice, it's no different than auto-hacking, what can a bunch of entertainment books do? 
Tran Li's face was covered in sweat as he pondered, why do I feel like this system is short-circuited? It can't directly give me the invincible super-secret technique that can penetrate the sky, or the indestructible body of the invincible magical power, wouldn't that be better? You can also give me a copy of the Li Tao and the Analex, the more he thought about it, the angrier he got, Tran Lak angrily shouted, ah, a fraud. Perhaps because the scream was too loud, Tran Lak Tin's sister woke up, as if she was still sleepy, she immediately called out to her father. Tran Lak's older sister rubbed her eyes to wake herself up, still saying in her mouth, Father, where are you? She vaguely saw the familiar figure of her younger brother, then leaned forward, her voice filled with joy and said, Tiu Lak, you're awake. Tran Lak stiffened and looked at his beautiful sister without saying a word. The older sister didn't pay much attention, she immediately rushed to hug Tran Lak tightly, sobbing and crying happily saying, Tiu Lak, it's so good. This hug from the beautiful sister made Tran Lak's face turn red, he slightly leaned back, embarrassed to the point of fuming, the sister shook her younger brother's shoulder in panic, asking worriedly, why is your heart beating so fast, is there still any discomfort, unconsciously, Tran Luo still absentmindedly replied, oh, it was probably due to being too excited, leading to an arrhythmia. As soon as he realized his mistake, Tran Lak quickly turned aside, he covered his red face with his hands, silently shouting in his heart, what are you talking about? Seeing Tran Lak's confusing actions, his sister looked at him with puzzled eyes. Then she immediately stood up, turned around and ran out, saying as she walked, I know, it's probably because the blanket is too thick, let me tell you to change it to a thinner one for you, Tiu Lak, you wait there, here, don't wander around, I'll be right back. Looking at her beautiful sister worrying about her like that, Tran Lak thought to herself, I feel like I've heard that sentence before somewhere. Tran Lak sat dumbfounded on the bed for a long time, seeing that he couldn't sit here forever. He quickly got out of bed, he walked towards the table, saying as he walked, Okay, I have to get up, let's go try it quickly, I have to write down the story outline together, that auto hack, it's definitely useful. After sitting at the table, Tran Lak began to pick up the brush to write, muttering in his mouth, kneeling down to summarize the story. As soon as he finished speaking, a strong aura immediately hit the body, he felt this power and frowned, thinking, this, what is this power, this is heaven, the power of the Tao. Tran Lak's face was drenched in sweat, he thought for a while, as if suddenly realizing something, so he blurted out, so that's it, I understand, this world only has stories of the three teachings, because the writing used to write that book must be approved by heaven before it can be used in this world. The power of heavenly Tao comes quickly and goes just as fast, it has accepted Tran Lak to write a summary of the story, waiting for the power of heavenly Tao to completely dissipate, Chen Lak pursed his lips and exclaimed, heavenly Tao in this world is truly patriarchal. Writing an entertainment book is not okay, if it is in modern times, the person who specializes in reporting this and that is 100% you. Having finished speaking, Tran Lak also began to put down his pen to write a summary of the story, just after writing a little, a golden light flashed in front of him, Tran Lak cried out in surprise. The literature was extremely fluent, Tran Lak quickly wrote it all down and summarized the story, the yellow letters appeared on the thin paper, Tran Lak was very free at that time, heaven said, he approved of Chung Kui, summary of the story. Tran Lak waved his pen quickly on the paper, his expression looked extremely serious, he finally understood, so it was like that, all the books taken from that sea of dream flowers could be used, heaven accepts. Tran Lak thought about it for a while and came to a conclusion, that is, the four great works, Lam Shu Yen Two Dreams, Strange Tales, Ghostly Notes, all will be new works by himself, right? Tran Lak was dancing each stroke of his pen in an extremely cool way, the strokes of the letters glowed with the pen, these entertainment books would all be a system. Tran Lak couldn't hide his happiness and laughed out loud, with a system, everything will become much simpler, I want to see what it will be. But Tran Lak's face quickly fell, not understanding why these words only glowed without any use. He began to guess, and finally guessed that this was the power of the book Chung Kui Cook, which was to be able to shine a dog's eyes. Tran Lak looked contemptuously at this dog a bright light and said in a sarcastic tone, but this light is not too bright. Just talking about this, suddenly a strange change happened, those lines of light seemed to have life, they were dancing together. It converged into a large array that stabbed straight at Tran Lak's head, he was stunned by the sudden attack. He rubbed his head with his hand and wondered, what was that? The light that hit Tran Lak's head just now penetrated straight out of the paper eyes, transforming into the shape of a large man with beard and full eyes, that person respectfully greeted Tran Lak, and everyone knelt down and worshipped, Master Ants. 
Although Tranlak was full of doubts, he was not afraid and calmly asked, That's too strong, are you real? Is it because of the book I wrote that you were able to summon people? Chung Kui heard that and immediately replied, My lord, this family is not really Master Chung Kui, but the book that you wrote in Chung Kui's book, named after Chung Kui. Hearing that, Tran Lak was extremely curious and asked him, Thu Ling, do you know how to catch ghosts? The reason why Tran Lak asked that was because he was now surrounded by demons, if he couldn't catch the demons, he could only start over. Chung Kui heard this and immediately explained, The author wrote in the literature that I can eat ghosts, and heaven has also accepted it, so my family can eat ghosts even more, but the powers of the book spirit and the author are related, same goes for each other. It can be said that this is an extremely difficult problem. We paused for a moment and then continued. Although we can restrain natural ghost souls, at most we can only deal with high-level ghost souls, two levels higher than the master. Tranlak heard that and started to raise his hand to calculate, two levels higher than him, so his current level is zero. Tranlak only said that much, then panicked when he learned that his current rank was not very high. Tranlak quickly crawled into a corner and stood in a corner, he was so exhausted that he blamed Chung kneeling, why are you so inferior, no wonder the devil killed you, the more he talked, the angrier he became at his current level, why not, why not? Chung Ni was scolded and did not get angry at all, but even spoke out to comfort him, the master did not need to look down on himself like that, this family was two levels higher than the master, which was also the two in the master's mouth. Chung knelt immediately told Tran Lak the good news about the current levels, level 1 can kill ghosts that affect weak people. Level 2 is to be able to kill evil spirits that penetrate people's dreams. Hearing that, Tran Lak's previous gloomy mood immediately disappeared, his eyes were now bright. He smiled triumphantly and thought to himself, the dream ghost that killed his predecessor was a demon, this card was just right. At this moment, Chung Ni suddenly realized that something was wrong. He immediately ran to cover Tran Lak's body and shouted, There was a ghost. After saying that, Chung knelt and immediately flew out. Seeing him leave, Tran Lak immediately ran after him. As Tran Lak ran, he couldn't help but think angrily, That ghost said he wanted to kill my whole family, and just after killing me, he came again. It wasn't aiming for my sister, who was beautiful, generous, generous, and kind. Touch the hearts of your people. Thinking like that, Tranlak was a little panicked, he ran faster, swearing in his mind, if you dare to touch my beautiful, beautiful, generous, generous, beautiful and touching sister, I will definitely will make you lose your soul and be miserable. Tranlak, who was running and his blood pressure was about to drop, suddenly stopped, he turned his head suspiciously, only to see a slave kneeling in the yard sobbing, Tranlak quickly approached and asked, Tu Ho I, where are you, miss? When Chu Hoai heard it, she immediately stopped crying, she raised her head, her teary eyes immediately reported, the young lady said she saw a ghost, chased her, I didn't know what wind was blowing just now, I even stood still, groggy. Chu Hoai wanted to ask again to be sure, young master, did you say I was touched by a ghost, while speaking, suddenly, Chu Hoai's face turned pale and he looked pale, Tran Lak asked worriedly, what's wrong with you? Chu Hoai covered his face and shouted loudly, It's a ghost, young master, run away quickly. Chu Hoai screamed as if he wanted his soul to leave his body, not knowing that the demon behind him was kneeling. Tran Lak shook his head in frustration, then glanced slightly behind. Chung knelt understood and immediately clasped his hands to report, Master, don't be angry, I have found your sister. Seeing this, Tran Lak immediately asked, Where is it? Chung knelt pointed towards Tran Lak's eyes, a red light shot out from his hand, Chung knelt said, look for yourself. Tran Lak was suddenly attacked by light, he felt his eyes sting slightly, he covered his eyes and cried out, it's so cold, what are you doing to me? Chung Ni quickly explained that it was a magic technique to open yin and yang eyes, so please raise your head and go. Hearing these words, Tran Lak raised his head and looked up, immediately seeing his sister gritting her teeth and fighting with that demon above. Tran Lak was worried and quickly turned his head back and said to Chung Kneeling, Chung Kneeling, help me get the ladder, I need to go to the roof to help. After saying that, he quickly ran away, when he passed a corner of the yard, Tran Lak immediately stopped, only to see his sister sitting cross-legged in one place. Zhang knelt behind Tran Lak's back and explained in a low voice that this was the body of the master's sister, and up there was her soul. His bare face was drenched in sweat, he gritted his teeth and said, I'm not surprised by this, but by the five silver needles, that's the secret practice of Confucianism's taboo 13 needles, sister practice, this is the soul-saving silver needle. Block all sensations, let the soul escape, and at the same time lose the ability to feel. 
She clenched her hands into fists, angrily thinking, she must be protecting me, that's why she's staying outside in the garden to fight the devil, even though I'm not her younger brother, starting now. Thinking about this, Tranlek made up his mind, he waved his hand to instruct, knelt down, and helped, Chung knelt behind and immediately shouted, yes, master, the sentence she is my sister was swallowed by Tranlek gritting his teeth. On the roof, sister is still fighting that demon. Every childhood image between the two sisters appeared in the memory of the original owner, in the last second before losing consciousness. Tranlak clearly heard his sister shouting at the servants who wanted to nail him to the coffin. Today, even if he is a zombie, he is still my younger brother. Escaping from that stream of memories, Tranlak firmly whispered, If I were to be reborn again, then this time, I will also try to live well. Trantuyan, from now on, I will protect everyone, things that belong to us. Speaking of which, high above, the demon suddenly gained the upper hand and hit Sister Trantuyan hard. She couldn't move in time and lost her momentum and fell straight down. In this situation, Chung knelt just in time to come forward and support Tran Tuyan's body, helping her maintain her balance. Chung knelt and quickly reached out, blocking the demon's arm that continued to want to strike down. Looking at Tran Tuyan, he said, My lord's sister, please come down quickly and leave it to my family here. On the ground, Tran Lak angrily shouted, Damn devil, I will smash your head today. Hearing this, Tran Tuyan immediately turned his head and looked down. Seeing that his younger brother was so worried, Tran Tuyan no longer insisted on staying up here, immediately clasped his hands together and knelt together, gently saying, I'll leave it to you here, younger brother doesn't know magic, I'll go, protect him. When Chung knelt down and heard that, he hummed. After that, without saying much more, he turned to deal with that monster. Chung knelt and opened his teeth, biting tightly on the demon's body, causing it to cry out in pain. Chung knelt down to enjoy the demon's flesh and blood, exclaiming with satisfaction, Is this the taste of this devil? It's so fragrant. Below, Tran Tuyan's soul approached the position where Tran Lak was standing. Tran Lak immediately called out his sister. Tran Tuyan ran over and hugged Tran Lak, slightly scolding him, saying, Stupid, what are you doing here? Quickly go back in. That's right, who is that person? Hearing that, Tranlak was not happy and said, Stop talking, quickly return to your body, I will explain to you later. Having said so, Tran Tuyan's soul still stood still, not moving at all, looking straight at the mortal, Tranlak suspiciously turned to look at his sister, frowned and said, What's wrong? Quickly go back, what will happen if your soul disappears? Tran Tuyan didn't say anything, she raised her hand and turned Tran Lak's face towards her, looked straight into her brother's eyes and said, I want to look at you a little more, in case I can't look at you anymore. Hearing that, Tran Lak was a bit startled, but he quickly calmed down, pushed Tran Tuyan's soul away, said softly, don't say such depressing words, maybe it's just hearing loss, consider it inflammation, nose go. Hearing him say that, Tran Tuyan asked suspiciously, Rhinitis, what is it? Tran Lak waved his hand and said, It's okay, you quickly go. Tran Tuyan no longer argued with his younger brother, nodded and said, Okay, then let me return to my physical body. Tran Tuyan's soul closed its eyes, mumbled a few words, the spiritual light around its body lit up, the soul gradually entered the flesh body. A moment later, Tran Tuyan stood up and stroked his chin thoughtfully, seeing that, Tran Lak immediately asked, What's wrong? Is there anything uncomfortable? Tran Tuyan shook his head and said, You're right, I just don't have hearing. Hearing my sister say that, Tran Lak breathed a sigh of relief and said, That's good, you're immortal, why do you like to risk your life with ghosts, don't you know how dangerous it is? Tran Tuyan heard that and said cautiously, I was afraid he would come to harm me again. Hearing her say that, Tran Lak's face immediately sank, he softly opened his mouth to call sister, thinking in his heart, I'm here. Tran Lak hesitated for a long time, unable to say a complete sentence, sister Tran Tuyan next to her seemed to remember something, raised her hand to scratch her head and asked, that's right, who was that noble person just now? Hearing her ask that, Tran Lak quickly reached out and held her hand, explaining softly, his name is Kneeling, the book spirit I summoned, saying so, Tran Lak thought to himself, she still thinks she is I don't know what's going on with that sister's eyes. What's wrong with the book? Tran Tuyan asked doubtfully. At this moment, Chung Ni defeated that ghost, flew down, and approached his sister Tran Lak. Chung knelt with his hands clasped in front of him, bowed his head and reported, Master, I have conquered the demon. However, this monster is not the one behind it who really wants to harm the master. Hearing him say that, Tran Lak excitedly exclaimed, Isn't it him, who wants to harm me? Tran Tuyan, who was next to him, heard that and exclaimed, What? 
Chung knelt down and shook his head and explained, No, in my memory from when I ate this monster, I discovered that it was a ghost tiger. Furthermore, in its head there is only a powerful tiger demon controlling it. Hearing Chung kneeling say that, Tran Lap frowned and said softly, Tiger demon, I know. Tran Tuyan also heard all these words, held his younger brother's hand tightly, and said worriedly, Tu Lak, you go back to your room first, help me call Tu Hon here, she and I will go report to the district now, okay, they will not ignore the matter of demons. Hearing what she said, Tran Lak quickly objected, I'll go, I can handle this little matter, Tran Tuyan was not reassured and hesitantly said, but, as she said this, images of her younger brother from the past appeared in her mind, all looking like she didn't want to take care of anything. At that time, his catchphrase was, I don't want to take care of the family's affairs, can you let me read the book in peace, leave everything to me, you guys are just a bunch of servants I raised. I don't believe it, I can definitely see the elegant text, I definitely can. Freed from this line of thought, Tran Tuyan frowned in thought, Tu Lak, never wanted to take care of anything in the house, why did he proactively talk about it today? At this moment, the slave girl ran from nowhere crying, crying out, Miss. Chu Hon approached, when he saw his lady's face clearly, he cried out in horror, What's wrong with your eyes, are you blind? Hearing Chu Hon say that, Tran Tuyan sadly thought to himself, Is my vision already so clear, Chu Lak, I saw it long ago, but at the side, the little queen was still sobbing, the lady's eyes were red, hoo hoo hoo. Seeing the endless crying, Tran Tuyan gently coaxed him and instructed, Ah, Tu Hon, you go call Bin Uncle, Bao Bin Uncle and Tu Lak will go together to the official residence. Remembering the bad image of Tran Lak in the past, Tran Tuyan thought to himself, Tu Lak was arrogant and childish, still distant from me, now my eyes have grown, what will the Tran family do in the future? As if sensing his sister's worry, Tran Lak held her hand and softly called sister. He gently reassured, Don't be afraid, I'm here. Tran Lak finished speaking and then walked forward, clasping his hands behind his back as he walked and calmly waved his hand and said, I will handle everything smoothly. Behind him, Tran Tuyan held Tu Hon's hand and softly asked, Tu Hon, do you feel that Tu Lak has changed? The little bird still hasn't stopped crying. She huffed and puffed for a long time before choking up. The little girl couldn't see it. The little girl held her lady's hand and said sadly, but the changes in people are very big. Hoo hoo hoo, her eyes are also blind. Hoo hoo. At this time, Tran Lak walked in front, frowning helplessly, thinking to himself, what a hateful person, after sorting through his memories, he discovered that this original owner, Tran Lak, was actually a traitor, regardless of the big or small matters, forget about the family, study is also bad, useless, up and down the family depends on Tran Tuyan to shoulder the burden. That's why Tran Tuyan had that attitude just now, even though he was blind, he still didn't want to tell his younger brother that he was, because saying it was useless, what's the point of talking too much to trash? Tran Lak pondered for a while then turned to ask Chung Neeling, Um, old Chung, I'm asking you a question, tell me, is there any way to make others increase their prestige in a short time? Chung knelt down and heard that, raised his hand to stroke his chin, thought for a moment and then said, This, I actually know a way. Tran Lak asked urgently, speak quickly, speak quickly. Chung knelt and arranged his words for a while, then it was reasonable to say that when it was dark and windy, kill someone and set fire, ensuring that your prestige could instantly increase from the ground to the underworld, even in the underworld. The book of good and evil in the hands of the judge will also record your numerous sins. Hearing this high opinion, Tran Lak stood still for a few seconds, then he ran over and grabbed her and shook her hard, if you don't learn the good things, you can only learn the bad things, I'll risk it with you. Behind him, Tran Tuyan felt a movement, so he asked Tu Hon, what's wrong in front of him, he felt Tu Lak was very noisy, Tran Hon was still crying and snorting and said, the little master seemed to be crazy too. Seeing that Tran Lak had left, the young lady immediately took the young lady back to her room. The little girl was busy rearranging the blankets and mats for her young lady. Tran Tuyan sat on one side, took out a piece of jade pendant and touched it back and forth for a while, silently thinking in her heart. This is the soul-fixing jade that his father left behind. When little Lak was reborn, the soul-fixing jade in his mouth was not broken, indicating that Xiao Lak could not be possessed by an expert. Everything that has happened since Tran Lak's resurrection until now has been extremely strange. Tran Tuyan put away the soul-stimulating jade. She put her hands on her chin and closed her eyes to think, although Tu Lak seemed to have grown up. But this is probably after he went through life and death and became an adult. 
thinking for a while, Tran Tuyan gradually accepted the truth, opened his eyes and cried out, The little joy is big. Tran Tuyan's actions caused the little girl who was spreading the sheet behind her to stop in doubt. She looked at her young lady in confusion, wondering what's wrong with her. Are you playing a face-swapping game? At the same time as Tran Tuyan planned his own strategy, Tran Lak was checking an identity in the study room. Butler Tran Bin's voice rang out. The young master had knocked out one of his teeth when he was a child. Slave, young master, do you still remember how old you are? Based on the memory of the original owner, Tran Lak immediately replied, I was six years old, but it wasn't me who broke it, but when he carried me up to the gazebo, in order to protect me, he fell and broke it. Butler Tranbin continued to ask questions, the first book of scriptures that the young master read was given to him by the old slave, do you still remember what it was? Tranlak frowned and said, spring and autumn was written by my father, but I couldn't read it, in anger, he tore it up, he tricked my father into saying he was bitten by a dog. Hearing this, Tranbin blushed a little embarrassedly, then cautiously asked the next question, so the old slave has a close friend outside, young master, do you still remember who I am? Hearing that, Tran Lak folded his arms together and said leisurely, Close dog, your best friend is Dai Than Ma, our chef. When I was a child, my favorite candy made by Dai Judge Ma was, you took it, for public and private work, he invited a judge to come to the palace to be a chef. Pausing for a moment, Tran Lak tilted his head slightly, leaned closer to his butler's face, and continued, Fifteen years have passed since this incident, you still haven't been able to get into the matriarch's bed, I despise you, really, when the old butler heard what his young master said. He could only blush and remain silent, unable to refute anything. He stood there flustered for a moment, then resolutely rushed forward and hugged Tranlak tightly, happily shouting, It's really the young master, obviously the old master is protecting him, let the young master die and come back to life, young master, master, this old slave apologizes to you. Tranlak was hugged tightly by the old man, so he hated it and reached out to remove his hand, he frowned and grumbled, Hey hey, let me go. It took him a long time to remove the hand stuck to his body. Tranlak pinched the butler Tranbin's face, pretending to be quiet and blaming him. Don't think I don't know. The person who splashed the black dog's blood on me was you. Stop it quickly. Give it back to me. When butler Tranbin heard that, he was speechless and could only cry. Struggling for a long time, Tranlak finally pushed his housekeeper away. Housekeeper Tranbin grew a round lump on his head. Let's get back to business. The lady is right. We are now go report to the officials. There are currently more than a dozen relatives. We will call them over. Tranlak sat on the chair, raised his eyebrows to look at Tranbin opposite, rubbed his wrist with one hand, confusedly asked, Why are we calling them? We are just going to report to the officials, not killing demons. My young master hadn't finished his sentence yet. Tranbin was so scared that he trembled and interrupted him. If it's a tiger demon, we have to be more careful, right? Hearing what he said, Tranlak thought for a while, frowned and said, on the contrary, he acted carefully, but now he suddenly went to report to the mandarins. They asked us what the matter was, how should we answer? Butler Tranbin immediately knelt down and bowed his head to act as if it were real. Sir, our house was attacked by a tiger demon, but fortunately the young master had a good life, he died and came back to life. Tranlak was very conscious of acting according to the script, he crossed his arms and said, So what about the tiger demon? It's no more, right? That young master died and came back to life, right? Let me see the performance once, come. Having said this, Butler Tranbin immediately stood up and cautiously said, Well, the young master is worthy of being a young master, I really did not expect this. Tranlak looked at him and said, That's why. Before he could finish his sentence, Tranbin pulled out a shiny, extremely sharp knife from somewhere, presented it in front of his young master, and respectfully said, Young master, you can really perform once and die, live again. Tranlak was momentarily speechless, a moment later he opened his mouth to say, I understand, there is not enough evidence, there is no logic, reporting to the judge is useless, yes, think about it now, we will end up teasing you, since when was it a tiger? Receiving this difficult question, Butler Tranbin immediately fell to the ground, falling into deep contemplation, a moment later, he voluntarily sat up, scratched his head, and hesitantly said, my Tran family has just lived forever, working in the fields while studying. There is no offense against the demon fox, when he was alive, the old man liked to wander around in all directions, but except for demons and demons, he had a different identity and would not be involved. Speaking of this, Butler Tranbin's eyes suddenly widened, he slapped his thigh, loudly exclaimed, I remember. 
He remembered the words of the person who came to the door to ask for help. That person clasped his hands in pain and begged. A tiger has taken my wife away. Butler Tran saved my life. Tranbin remembered that story and immediately told him that two years ago, on Harvest Day, King Henry Kui, relatives in Tuk village of Dong Citadel came to the palace to look for him, saying that in Taitu Mountain there was a tiger that ran out and released him. His wife left. At that time, the young lady went out to work. I told this story to the young master. At that time, the young master immediately said, You see and do it, don't bother me with this kind of small thing. After that, the old slave took it upon himself to find the hunter Chu Dung of Tu K village, gave him twenty tails of silver, and sent a dozen families as his assistants to go into Tai Tu Mountain to surround and kill that tiger. Hearing him say this, Tran Lak frowned in confusion and asked, What's the problem with this? Butler Tran Bin changed his tone and replied seriously, The tiger that was killed was a mother tiger. Hearing the butler say that, his eyes lit up, he sat still imagining a tiger with the body of a beautiful young girl, a child, could it be? Suddenly he knelt down on the ground and thought, could it be that the original owner Tran Lak was not just a bug, but also played with the emotions of a tigress, seeing the young master as if he was possessed? Just as the butler was about to ask, he raised his hand to stop him and told me he already knew. Then he sat up and asked, where is the tigress's grave, take me to apologize to her, the butler was puzzled. No, young master, he sighed, what kind of karma am I creating? He complained in thought, having been transported to this place, I still have to wipe other people's ass, why am I wiping their ass? It's useless for the young master to apologize to the tigress now, because the focus is not on her, but on us not being able to find the tiger, tigers have always been female and male clinging to each other, now it's time for revenge, I'm afraid it's that male. Hearing what the butler said, he happily stood up, so it's like that, it's not like that, it's so good, so good, no wonder I don't have any strange memories in my head. Seeing that the young master was crazy, Trambin scratched his head, the young master was truly crazy. Cough cough, if we have found the cause of the incident, if the tiger eats people, then we will take action to eliminate the harm, it is not our fault, um um. Tran Lak slammed on the table and affirmed, if he wants revenge, then we will fight him to the end. Tran Bin gasped in bewilderment. Feeling extremely frustrated, the young master was indeed crazy. Tran Lak glanced at the butler. What do you think? I mumbled to myself just now. It's okay for him to look at me like that, but I'm so serious now. Why is he still looking at me like that? Tran Bin sighed and remembered that the young master and now were like two different people. Back then, even insects were afraid and hid behind Uncle Bin. The young master in the past was clearly like that. He clasped his hands, feeling excited that, after experiencing life and death, the young master had truly grown up. If that was true, the old master could close his eyes if he knew under the yellow spring. The butler couldn't control himself but grabbed his hand and cried, Young master, if the old master down there knows, he will definitely sing and dance jubilantly, it's so good. What's wrong with you? You don't want to jump in front of my father's grave. It's not good. Tranbin was surprised. What are you? Just leave. It doesn't matter. If you have made up your mind, then let's go get rid of love. I'm going to call dozens of people from the front hospital now. We're risking our lives with this thing today. As he spoke, he quickly ran away. Seeing Tranlak, he grabbed the butler's wrist and questioned him, saying he was risking his life. He knew where that tiger was. Don't be impulsive, when you encounter something, you must calm down, let's explore the clues first, the housekeeper thinks it's too reasonable, right right right, need to calm down, need to calm down. Tranlak, he called a family member to kneel down. When he knelt down, the butler appeared, eyes wide open. His face was pale and about to faint, trying to calm him down, needing to calm down, needing to calm down, needing to calm down. But unexpectedly, he was so shocked that he foamed at the mouth and fainted on the spot. Tranlak patted the housekeeper's face, and at the same time asked, If you knelt down and ate that ghost, did you collect anything? Zhang knelt responded, The ghost had been in shape for more than a month, deep in his soul there was still no human memory, he could vaguely recognize that he was hunting for food, which someone called him, Chu Dung. Tranlak frowned, Wasn't that the hunter leading the group to catch the tigress, so is there any other news? Chung knelt down and closed his eyes, trying to remember, there was also a part in his memory. This devil was hunting in Taitu Mountain when he encountered a sneak attack and was killed. Hearing that, Tran Lak thought back to what the butler had said before. The old slave decided to find the hunter Chu Dung in Tu K village, give him twenty tails of silver, and sent dozens of nails to help him. Help, go to Taitu Sun to surround and kill this tiger. After thinking about it, he determined that the location was probably Taitu Sun. 
Definitely not wrong, that guy is from Tay Tu Sun. After finishing speaking, the two of them immediately rode a horse-drawn carriage into the night. The butler spoke up, Young master, what are we doing? Is there anything wrong? Young master, I really didn't ask, what's wrong with the lady's opinion? Besides, here is our family's annual income of 2,000 tails of silver, that's all. He frowned slightly, looked out his head and asked, calmly, so who is the homeowner of Tram Palace? Of course he is human. So why am I going to do something? I still have to ask what the lady means. Hearing that, the butler nodded slightly and replied, the old slave understood. He thought to himself, the young master has really changed a lot now. He looked outside and silently cursed, the original owner is really a worm, just doing a little bit of things will be suspected by the servants, I don't know what kind of trash it is, but if I can live with you, in fact it's also very good, lying down is not bad either. It's a pity to announce my sister now, thinking about it, he clenched his hands, if he were to live again. It's all God's will, from now on it's my turn to protect you, sister. He also took 2,000 tails of silver to go to the district gate, in fact it was for one thing, using the seal official of Dai Xuan, to mobilize the dynasty's fortunes to explore Taishu Mountain, and clearly grasp the location of the demon tiger. If you use the dynasty's luck to explore, it will consume the luck, if it is consumed, it must be compensated, to compensate for the luck, it must bring blessings to the people, that is, you have to spend money to repair bridges and roads, and take care of yourself, the second widow who subsidized the school, thought as he picked up the drumstick and played the drum. Heard at night, during the day there was a loud drum sound that ruined the beautiful dream, the person inside had to reluctantly wake up and go out and open the door, seeing him, he shouted, you crazy guy, are you sick, you came to his house at night, I'm going to play the drums, I'm suing you for attempted murder. Seeing someone, he thought proudly, this is the reason why he needed to bring money to the government. Thinking so, he immediately took out a bar of silver and gave it to him, saying, Big brother, don't you remember me? I'm here to see the district governor, can you help me make an announcement? Seeing that, he looked around to see if there was anyone, after making sure there was no one, he immediately grabbed the silver bar and said warmly, Hey, it's me, long time no see, how are you, I'm going to announce it now, right here. After saying that, he ran away, but after running for a while, he turned back and asked, I'm sorry but I still don't know your name. Suddenly there was a loud shout, who the hell came here, daring to take over my nephew's body, he deserved to die. Don't you think you can fool my niece and these servants can fool me, dream on. As he finished speaking, he swung his sword and cast a cruel look at the sword, attacking him. Seeing that, he and the butler were extremely panicked and immediately ran away. The attack immediately creates a large explosion. But when the smoke began to fade, he landed and couldn't see his person anywhere, so he exclaimed, What the hell, where is he, it's so good for an evil demon of yours, he ran really fast. When the smoke cleared, I saw him standing there frozen and speaking, uncle and son. Hearing that, he turned around and swung his sword close to the boy's neck and said, This evil guy is bold, he even dares to sneak attack me. The butler behind him saw this and immediately came forward to stop him. Sir, what's the matter? Slowly say, that's also my young master, please take a closer look. Hearing that, he also nodded slightly and said he would take a closer look, and after saying that, he used Confucianism to explain right and wrong to test him. Looking at it for a while, the soul is not unusual. I really didn't expect it to be you, you are truly a mess. He thought to himself, this world is already so strong with just one district command, even his eyes are shining, he probably can't see that he is not a mere mortal. Looking at his gestures, is it possible that there are often people who borrow his body to restore his soul, love so much, love so much, this is the world of fairy tales. While thinking, Tai Dong Tran suddenly came closer, startling him. He broke out in a cold sweat, thinking he had been discovered. Suddenly he hugged him tightly and shouted, This old man is rude, my dear, it's really you, he secretly exclaimed, his strength is really strong. He pulled him inside and told him to quickly go inside and continued, This time I came back alive, the old man really had a lot to say to the present. He felt a little uncomfortable and thought to himself, I can only take one step at a time, no matter what he says, I just say yes. The two also went inside, sat down at a nearby table to drink tea, he exclaimed, damn, it's not easy to resurrect my brother this time, he immediately replied, yes, yes, it's really not easy. Dong Tran asked again, then there must have been a strange encounter, right, he replied, yes, it was just a little bit. Dear sir, can you elaborate a bit, hearing that, he was startled and choked on water, thinking to himself. 
meticulously about the process of dying and coming back to life, how did you go through it, so why would anyone ask this question? But wait that's not true, no normal person who dies can come back to life. Seeing that he hadn't said anything for a long time, he immediately questioned, why didn't you answer, could it be, you basically have no memory of that time. Hearing that, he clasped his hands together and bowed his head, don't be impatient, I was just trying to regain my memory, now I will tell you little by little. Before, my little brother was truly soul transferred, it was like stepping into a forest of peach blossoms, among the peach blossoms was an old man with silver hair and bright eyes, he told me it wasn't time to come here yet, why is it here now? After that, I wanted to drink wine with my grandchild, I don't know why, every time I took a sip of wine, my mind became more alert, after finishing a jar of wine, he said I should go home, with just a wave of his sleeve, when I opened my eyes again, I woke up. He asked, is that so, if he is a fairy, what language does he have? He replied, he didn't remember the other things clearly, he only vaguely remembered when the old man was drunk and mumbled a few verses to himself. Oh, read it and see. Peach Blossom Nest in Peach Blossom Garden, Peach Blossom Nest in Peach Blossom Fairy, Peach Blossom Fairy grows peach trees, and extracts peach blossoms to exchange money for wine. Dong Tran heard him read and suddenly exclaimed, Peach Blossom Lo Li Peach Blossom Am, Peach Blossom Am Li Peach Blossom Fairy is really good for a Peach Blossom Fairy. He immediately rushed over and squeezed his shoulder, repeatedly saying, It's really you, dear brother, this time the old man is completely at ease. Uncle, you just need to simply confirm it. That's right, such a beautiful poem, even if I died seven or eight times, I still wouldn't be able to write it down, hearing it makes me feel awkward. Tai Dong Tram was still reciting the poem, Peach Blossom Lo Li Peach Blossom Am, he next to him breathed a sigh of relief, phew, so dangerous, fortunately it took a little time to adjust his thinking, in this world, actually, it's not easy to be cocky. In this world, Buddhism and Taoism, with the two Buddhist teachings of the previous life, are actually only similar in appearance, many things are completely independent, but Confucianism, is completely similar to the previous life. The Confucian master in his previous life, in this world, is 99% identical to what he once truly existed, his weapons seem to be minus one minus one minus one minus one. The scariest thing is to go to the poetry hall, Tu Tong, in this world is almost 99% similar, the weapon seems to be minus 10 minus 10 minus 10 minus 10. But fortunately, poetry from after the Song dynasty did not exist in this world, otherwise, the poems of Emperor Baho of the Ming dynasty would have been discovered immediately. Phew, there aren't many opportunities for me to show off, but I'll definitely grasp them well, poetry from the Tang dynasty is just that, and there are a lot of great songs. He turned to look at the field, thinking, it was time to talk about the main thing. Immediately, without delay, he spoke up, Uncle, I came here this time because I have something to ask of you, I have found out who killed me. After finishing speaking, he felt strange and strange, feeling like something was not quite right. Dong Tram was suddenly startled, Oh, my lord has discovered the murderer who plotted to kill my brother's life, quickly tell me. But I'm still alive now, so he finally killed me, or hasn't he killed me yet, wait, the killer killed me. He held his head and looked depressed, this was truly an ancient case, the murdered person came to report and denounce the murderer who killed him. Without letting him continue, Tran Lak spoke up, Uncle, if that demon doesn't get rid of it, it will come and kill you again, so the problem now is not whether it killed you before or not. What do you mean by love? That's right, we investigated and found out that it was a tiger demon hiding in Tai Tu's son, that guy killed several hunters, and even killed me. If people don't care, it can kill people to the point of going crazy, at that time, it will directly rush into the district city, it will kill frantically, hearing this, Dong Tran raised his hand to stop, enough, how can people who read books, such rude swearing. Cough cough, so the villagers beg you to activate the official seal, cover Tai Tu's son, locate the place where the tiger demon is hidden, then send a group of servants to follow you to Tai Tu Mountain to eliminate the demon. He frowned and asked, wasting his energy to investigate and probe, it's not a small matter, are you sure it's in Tae Sun too? Tranlak asked the butler to bring it in and put down a bag of tails of silver. There are 2,000 tails here, a token of gratitude from the Tran Palace to the homeland, I wish to contribute a small amount of strength for Van An's sake, I still hope that the Lord will accept it, when he sees the money, his eyes light up. Okay, the gentleman was anxious to get rid of the demon, the old man couldn't stop him, then he called the old man, Tranlak in the back was speechless, this guy was too quick to represent him. 
At this moment, Li Mo came in with ink, paper and pen, he was respectful and the servant was present. Then Dong Tran took up the pen to write and speak, although manipulating luck is a big thing, but with silver and silver to repair it, getting rid of love is a good thing, of course it can be done. This document has been sealed. Lao Li, you will also go with your nephew. If you find a demon tiger, kill it on the spot. Lao Li clasped his hands. Yes, sir. After that, Tran Lak and Lao Li got on a horse-drawn carriage to go to Taibok. Sitting in the carriage, Tran Lak said softly, Master Li, when it comes to this tiger demon, it seems that the realm is not low, uncle also said just now. Recently, the family acquired a few old antiques, my sister said that the master has unparalleled wisdom, another day, he asked the master to help evaluate them. It's just a small matter, this tiger demon does have some bravery, judging from his description, it's already pure blood. Tran Lak thought again, sure enough, Sister Tuyan knows these officials very well, he replied, pure blood realm. Pure blood realm, is actually a realm of demons, this realm is actually a kind of manifestation of ability. It's true that listening to him is just listening, not understanding. Cough cough, in fact, the demon clan's cultivation in us humans are not the same, they are the path of blood, the three previous realms include purifying blood, purifying blood and refining blood. The first realm is the pure blood realm, demons in this realm constantly remove impurities from their blood from their bodies, cultivate to the end of the stage, merging into a human form, only a part of the body cannot be completely hidden, such as the tail, ears or nose. The second realm is the pure blood realm, the demon race in this realm can awaken magical talent, just like the tiger demon directing the devil to kill you, that is the pure blood realm. As for the third realm, while they were talking, the butler interrupted the two of them, the homeowner, Master Li, and Tai Tu Sun arrived. Getting off the carriage, Tran Lak was still wondering and asked Li Mo what the third realm was, Li Mo stroked his beard and replied loudly, the third realm is called the blood refining realm. He continued, the demon race at this time, depending on their bloodline, took a step forward to become more pure and new, and was able to raise their magic one step further, turning into magical powers. Each type of magic turns into magical power, and special blood patterns will appear on the body of the demon race. After that, Li Mo told him, so if you encounter a monster with a blood pattern on your body, you must be absolutely careful. Tran Lak scratched his head and asked, so if the monster has thousands of magical powers, wouldn't its body be covered in blood patterns? The monster next to Tran Lak said, I'm not an idle person, I'm very diligent in cultivating my magical powers, Tran Lak said naturally, I didn't expect that each of the monsters were tattoo masters. Limo covered his mouth and coughed then continued, this, this is not important, no monster can have thousands of magical powers, Mr. Tran is worrying too much, we should hurry up and eliminate the demon. Limo showed Tran Lak the two items he brought, he said, Master Tran, let me ask one more question, are you sure you want to explore and investigate this Taitu Mountain? Tran Lak firmly said, of course, otherwise why would I spend the money? The butler also added, 2,000 tails is our yearly income. Limo analyzed for Tran Lak, but think carefully, use your luck to check, don't use it a second time within three months, in case you can't find it, you will be revenged by the tiger demon, we will can't help. The butler standing next to him was so worried that he was sweating, he used a towel to wipe his face and said to Tran Lak, Ah, is it so dangerous, young master, maybe we should think more. Tran Lak secretly remembered, in the memory of the little devil that Chung Neeling had eaten, it was impossible to deceive people, then he told Li Mo, I'm sure it's here. Li Mo started to practice, he said in a serious voice, if that's the case, then let's begin. The mark that Li Mo is applying his power to is floating and glowing, the butler standing next to him asked in surprise, this, this is the lake of Vannon district. The reason is to choose to open the test. Tran Lak already knew that this was the location of Tai Tu Sun. The sky suddenly changed, a bright light shone down from above, this is the kingdom of fortune, Li Mo Vang, his voice slowly magnetic, luck is like clear water, underneath the clear water any impurities are clearly visible. Then he ordered the appearance of three animals that took the essence of the moon, to cultivate themselves, without the demon's murderous aura, and to receive the protection of the great illusory law, look carefully and see that the tiger demon is not there. Suddenly a column of blood-red light poured down. Tran Lak pointed up in surprise, he said, look, another huge red column appeared, the butler next to him looked at him with wide eyes and wanted to fall out, he said, young master, you can don't say such strange things. 
Limo looked very hostile to this red light column, his voice was hoarse and he said, This demon, that thing is red and black, not only is it contaminated with the blood of our human race, it is even contaminated, the power of heavenly control approaches, it doesn't kill many people. At this time, Tranlax saw what that red light was, he said loudly, It's a tiger, that's it. Limo gave the mark to Tranlak, he seriously told him, Master Tran, you take it, to avoid accidental injury and death, I'm going to get rid of the demon now. As soon as Tranlak held the item, he thought a little helplessly, accidentally injured and died, who would have thought that he could transform into a small soldier who died due to unknown O, note that O is era of effect, in game. While Tranlak wasn't paying attention, Limo walked up to the tiger demon, he pointed at it, but that guy dared to rush towards us. The angry tiger demon ran like flying towards the world. Tranlak frowned and shouted, The pattern is made of blood, it has awakened magical powers, it is a blood refining realm. Limo looked at it from afar, he explained, No need to worry, even if I was in the blood refining realm, I still have the strength to fight it. Hearing him say that, Tranlak asked the butler standing next to him, why he was different from before, the butler spoke at this time, Hound Yen's righteous spirit, that is the Hound Yen's righteous spirit, young master. Limo's image is imitated by a hero with a brave and powerful temperament, with a long and prosperous mountain and a majestic mountain. Huang Sabak Chen wears golden armor, unbreakable golden tent and unchangeable. The mighty hero fights the angry tiger demon. But currently the strength seems to be quite different and heavily leaning towards the tiger demon. Rocks and soil flew wildly, Tranlak was easily injured by them, but fortunately, the butler next to him stopped them for him. The old man shouted loudly, Young master, be careful. The seal that Lee gave him earlier turned into a magical mirror that blocked the power of the tiger demon attacking him and the old man. Tranlak said in confusion, I didn't expect it, I really didn't expect it, unexpectedly, you who practice in this world are all reciting poetry. But don't say it, it's also very cool, Tranlak thought while holding the seal, I wonder if I read more books, could I be as cool as that? After that, Tranlak turned around and said to Tranlak who always walked beside him, Tranlak, I've read a lot of books in the past 19 years, right, what's the state like? When the butler heard Tranlak say that, he looked dumbfounded and didn't know, how should I answer this? Tranlak didn't let him talk for too long, he continued, no problem, just boldly say it, I remember everything when I die and come back to life, but I don't remember a little bit of books, even if I read a little, I don't remember anything, don't be afraid, we will try our best in the future. After listening to Tranlak's words, the butler decided to tell the truth, he held his head and said, you don't remember anything, oh, the young master has bad bones, extremely low talent, and is a trash among tens of thousands of readers, so you don't have a book in your head. After listening to Tran Lak, he was confused, why, why is it like that? During this time, Li Mo and the tiger demon were still fighting extremely passionately, the tiger demon still has the upper hand. Tran Lak spoke up in panic, too strong, wind tong tiger, cloud dragon, this tiger demon never expected to be able to evolve such divine power to control wind. At this point, I'm a bit exhausted. Tran Lak shouted loudly, Master Li, be careful. Master Li confidently said that the demon tiger's move was just a small trick. Li Mo Mo launched a move, the new horse locked the white jade saddle, the battlefield was cold and bright, the young master Tan Du shook the golden knife with blood and blood, the general just climbed onto the saddle of the good horse with the jade saddle, to show off, after the battle ended. Only the cold moonlight remained on the battlefield, the war drums on the city gate were still roaring, and the general's sword was still in the box with blood stains still not dry. After listening to Limo's words, Tranlak silently sighed in his mind, he clearly only said one word, why did it feel like he had heard the entire poem in his head, is this the magical power of a reader? A light wave from Limo, quickly, the bright yellow light strongly attacked the tiger demon. Yet it still dodges, its eyes stared at the world with hatred. I just want to kill him, I have to kill him. It blew away the whole world, running quickly to the ceiling. It says just kill you, but when it was about to attack Tran Lak, Limo quickly stopped it. You're so bold and bold, you still want to swallow people. Tran Lak saw that the demon tiger was determined to kill him, so he approached and gently asked it, in the end, why are you so stubborn about wanting to kill me? It glared angrily and said, you harmed my wife, I will seek revenge from you, heaven and earth will be shocked. Lak Tran is right, if your wife doesn't force someone to eat meat, who will kill it? The tiger monster growled and said again, Hum but it's pregnant, what's the point of eating one or two of you, it's normal for big fish to eat small fish. 
Lack Tranningheim spoke in a reasonable voice to make it understand, then we killed your wife, which is also a just thing, if it weren't for Master Lee's great strength, I'm afraid you'd be gnawing away at me right now, the bones are no longer there. After that, Tran Lack continued, now we are stronger than you, so your wife deserves to die, it is normal for big fish to eat small fish. The tiger demon growled angrily, you. Limo stroked his beard and said slowly, Master Tran, why bother arguing with him? How can a monster that has opened its mind and a beast be a husband and wife? Moreover, this is a demon that has eaten people, merit of humanity. After listening to Limo's words, Tran Lak wondered if the evil spirits had eaten the meritorious people of humanity. Limo explained what he had seen, the clear red blood mixed with the black color, showing that it had harmed a person of merit, afraid that it was a trick sent by the demon race. After Limo finished speaking, he walked towards the demon tiger and asked, What force did you send to us Dai Wien, the Buddhist sect, the Ten Thousand Demon Nation or the Man Clan? Dai Wien I have an order, the evil spirits must be eliminated. The demon tiger growled in anger in response, the demon was forced to eliminate, ten soldiers of the One Hundred Thousand Demon Nation, at least four of them were attached by the heavenly power of the human race, you do we and dare to destroy the Ten Thousand Demon, kill the city's army or still carry out the policy of harmony, send the concubine of the clan to marry the king of the ten thousand patriots. Lee gave it a palm, bold, a small tiger demon, daring to discuss Great Wien's national policy. Unexpectedly, this one blow from him also made it unconscious, probably because earlier in the battle it had used up all its strength, Li Mo asked in surprise, huh, he's dead. Tran Ba looked at this situation, confused and asked, so, now how can I continue asking? A powerful and transparent general, clasped his hands and respectfully said to Tran Lak, Master, this tiger demon's soul is a bit strange, perhaps we can find out some information. Tran Lak finished listening, he told Li Mo, maybe I have a way, Li Mo wasn't sure if he heard wrong so he asked him again, do you have a way? Tran Lak then ordered Chung to kneel and appear. Li Mo was extremely surprised when he saw it, he said loudly, this is a book spirit. Chung knelt majestically with a beard and combed eyebrows, he respectfully clasped his hands and said, My family is kneeling, paying homage to my friend, it's not convenient to talk for long at this time, I will show off my talent, hurry first, later the soul of this tiger demon will disappear. At this time, Li Mo also clasped his hands and said, Please invite your writer to perform wholeheartedly, at the same time, in his mind, he silently praised Tran Lak, this little boy from Tran family, it seems not as useless as he imagined. Chung knelt down to capture the soul of the tiger demon. He said, Master, this demon's soul is a strange soul. The aura is still called complete, just need to bother the master to check it himself. Tran Lak replied quickly, Okay, at this time Li Mo told you, Master Tran, you must not make any mistakes, otherwise I have no way to answer Lord Tai. Tran Lak said firmly to reassure Li Mo, No need to worry, my book spirit, I still feel secure. The letter spirit said loudly to Tran Lak, Master, come. A strong energy penetrated into the head of the world. Tran Lak fell down. Luckily Tran Ba caught him. He shouted worriedly, Young master, young master. Li Mo stood next to him and said, It's okay, the master is reading the demon tiger's memories. He can wake up soon. Tran Lak is currently lost in a forest in the early morning. He is confused and does not understand reality, where he is. Suddenly he saw a small black tiger sitting, looking very cute. The little tiger is hugging himself and introducing, I am a tiger. Tran Lak looked at it and said, This guy turns out to have had spiritual intelligence since birth. Tran Lak looked at the young tiger demon playing with tigers of the same age. He thought, he was born with spiritual wisdom, but how could he have the opportunity to practice? I love the tiger petting the face of the little tiger next to me. She's so beautiful. I really like her. Seeing that, he clicked his tongue. TSK, he didn't expect to like his own sister. A tiger cub was caught in a trap, the tiger demon held a stick without hesitation and ran to rescue the tiger. After that, the tiger demon was surrounded by other little tigers and worshipped him. Suddenly, a man as beautiful as a fairy in the sky appeared, he recognized that it was different from normal tigers, so he looked at it and said that, unexpectedly, a wild tiger was born, awakening half a cup of golden blood, he then introduced himself, little friend. My name is Fan Lin Tan, I am the young master of the winged tiger branch among the 10,000 patriots, do you agree to come with me? The tiger demon really wanted to go, but he couldn't bear to leave his uncle, he told Fan Lin Tan, I want to go, but I can't bear to leave a leap. After that, the demon tiger and its ape returned to play together. Fan Lin Tan was not in a hurry, he smiled lightly and said, you will come back to find me. 
The tiger demon and a dance are extremely affectionate. Tiger lover has the thought that, no, I have to hold back, not because she likes me, but because she's in heat. Seeing that scene, Tranlak bit the grass and thought, this is the reason for spiritual wisdom, even if a girl is in heat, she still needs to restrain herself. Suddenly he saw something, another male tiger entered the cave while the demon tiger just left. Looks like something's about to happen, that male tiger approached her, he wanted to do something with her and the scene that followed was accidentally seen by Tran Lak. When the tiger demon returned from hunting to the cave, he saw the scene he did not want to see the most, he immediately rushed to attack the strange male tiger to protect his brother. But it was much weaker than this male tiger, as expected, it was crushed by this male tiger. In summary, spiritual wisdom does not bring strength, but brings suffering. As expected, it couldn't help it, even though it awakened its spiritual wisdom, it still had animalistic instincts. The next morning, Demon Tiger went to meet someone, you actually came back to look for me, that person was none other than Fan Lin Tan. It says, I want to have strength, I want to have the strength to protect the tiger I love the most. Fan Lin Tan, not too fast or too slow, told him that you will have strength, after all you are a genius. After that, the time was neither short nor long, it cultivated very quickly, one year of pure blood, two years of pure blood, only two years and six months, it had already reached the blood refining state, and also controlled its magical talent, weathered into magical blood patterns. Is a cultivation genius, and is also the confidant of Fan Lin Tan, she became one of the talented people in the winged tiger branch, countless tiger girls offered themselves, but in her heart, she still remembers you, wild tiger a dance. While Fan Lin Tan was teaching him, he once said, if you open your mind, it has nothing to do with wild animals, beasts, they are meat on the table, their lives are like trash, but monsters are living things, the spirit stands equal to humanity, fully in the heavenly path, not to be confused. But that doesn't mean it completely listens to what he said, it still has a very strong attachment to its ape, what's the matter with a wild beast, I now have the resources and the opportunity to challenge him, open your mind. After that, Fan Lin Tan gave it a mission, which was to go to Dai Wien for our winged tiger clan to get a strange object. This is a good opportunity, the demon tiger calculates. It came to a cave, this place is only 500 miles from Tai Tu Sun, it thought, I can go see her. But when he entered the cave, he saw a male tiger lying down, he said to that tiger, why is it you? That tiger cruelly said that it was dead, killed by humans, and even the skin on its body was taken as a carpet by humans. The demon tiger roared angrily, ah dance, I must take revenge, we must avenge her. After that time, this tiger demon began to take revenge, as long as it was a human, it would eat them, it ate a breadwinner of the family, the child's father, the child of an old woman. The child screamed his father's name, the old woman was heartbroken for her son, her son died in pain. The tiger demon searched every corner of the house, the old woman hugged her grandchild and hid in fear, she trembled and said, he looked over here, she hugged her grandchild and prayed. Don't detect me, God, please protect us. But God didn't seem to hear her prayers. It broke the door protecting the two children, blood splattered all over the baby's body. The old woman died in pain in the tiger demon's teeth, the baby infected his grandmother, he kept screaming, grandmother, grandmother. But that didn't make the tiger demon feel sorry for him, in the end, it still cruelly ate the child, it's angry, screaming. It's all your human fault, if you want to blame it, blame your bad fate. Afterwards, the incident where the fierce tiger ordered the demon to kill Tran Lak, everyone already knew. Ending the illusion, returning to reality, the three heads gathered together to ask about him, the book spirit asked the master, Tran Ba called for the young master, Li Mo worriedly shook the boy, Tran family master. But when he sat up, he only said one sentence that no one understood, hmm, good kill. Tran Lak told Tran Ba, this time because of the tiger's attack, how many people working for our Tran family were injured or died? Uncle Tran was extremely surprised to hear Tran Lak ask that question. In the past, the young master did not care about the life or death of the farm household, so why is it today? Tran Lak looked at Tran Ba seriously, he asked again, I'm asking you, how many people died and injured? Ba Tran respectfully answered him, telling the homeowner that the whole family had only one disabled child left and the remaining people in the village were also injured, 12 or 13 people. Thinking back, he realized that the demon tiger only took the child's arm and did not take its life. Tran Lak then said, I know, all disabled people, all the land rent is exempted, Chu Dung's son, later, he was raised by the Tran family. Tran Ba clasped his hands and said emotionally, You, are you serious? 
Tran Lak replied very firmly, yes, then he looked at the dead tiger demon and said, the law of biological evolution, if that's the case, why can't the remaining living people become our human race, why do we have to endure bullying, oppression by you sentient beings? When Li Mo saw this scene, he praised it a bit, Patriarch Tran really had a bit of arrogance, it's a pity that I heard Lord Tai say that he can't look elegant and can't do his best for De Xuan. At this time, Tran Lak clasped his hands and respectfully said to Li Mo and Master Li, I already know the details of the matter, this evil tiger came to rob me of Dai Wien's strange treasure, now I know its location, of that secret. No more slow, Li Mo said quickly, okay, then let's go now. Tran Lak asked Li Mo, Master, while flying, you had previously mentioned the demon's way of practice, I just saw you reciting poetry to confront the enemy, it's also very cool, it's the practice method of Confucianism, star. Limo did not hide anything from him. He said, yes, just reading a set of Confucian classics, the body can produce how Nian righteous energy. It is considered an introduction. This is the first scene, self-seeing. Confucian students can see in the dark with their eyes. Their body is not attached to the earthly world. Evil things are easy to avoid. Tran Lak said for sure, the Li master is definitely not the first level, right? The two verses that Master Li read, Lok Hai Trong Van Hai at Bok Sun and that Tan Dao Vong Chi Ha Quan, how to read such cool poetry is the first scene, the world behind will be very strong. Fat Bowl here means shouting loudly, Li Mo asked in surprise, read Fat Bat's poem, Tran Lak said smilingly, this is a visual sentence that I composed myself, the main meaning is to say that you are very cool. Limo once again wondered about his use of words, what is the word cool again? Forget it, I'm really not at the first level, five years ago I entered the third level, into a poetic scene. Tran Lak raised his voice and said, no wonder he just read that one word can turn into a golden knife, Limo humbly replied, don't admire it, after all, if you write an elegant and poetic poem that heaven accepts, then you can break through and become a poet. After listening to Li Mo's words, Tran Lak thought to himself that he should write an elegant poem that heaven would accept. Then he happily remembered that his head was full of clear words from the world, we could use them all, the job of a reader, how could it be called copying, right? Ba Tran shouted in panic, young master, look, there is a cave over there. Tran Lak immediately ran over, right there, Li Nu to followed closely behind, quickly following. Standing in front of the dark cave entrance, Tran Lak frowned and said it was so dark, calm down, light a fire, yes. He was about to take out a match and light it when logic suddenly stopped him, saying there was no need. Li is like the night with closed eyes, softly humming a poem, the sun emerges from the leaves, the pine tree is like a tall tree, meaning that in the early morning when the sun appears, the morning dew gradually dissipates, and the dew remains on the pine tree branches, making let the pine tree feel like it's taking a bath. A small sky suddenly appeared above his head, Tran Lak exclaimed in admiration, it was so powerful and practical. Dai Dang's human form, this rotten brat, his strange words become more and more, seemingly deep in thought. Ah, Tran Ba suddenly shouted loudly, Tran Lak looked at the skeleton on the ground, softly said not to panic, it was Chu Dung's relics. Look at that, it's the strange treasure I saw from the tiger demon's head. Following his direction, the three of them opened the white cloth, inside was a jet black box, what would be inside? Li Nu to suddenly used Qigong, the homeowner Tran stood a little further away, letting me see, fearing it was a trap. What will this be? He carefully opened the box, what will this be? Inside the box was a treasure emitting a brilliant light, the reason was astonished and exclaimed, this is, the immortal heart. What is immortal text heart? Tran Lak standing behind wondered. Li Nu De replied admiringly, Immortal Literature Heart, this is the treasure of Immortal Literature Heart, as long as I have it, I can become a great scholar, I can also be famous for generations. Suddenly, a strong dark aura emanated from his body, Tran Lak panicked and asked what was going on, Li Nu Da's appearance seemed to be about to turn black. He shouted loudly for reason, waking up. Li Nu De was startled, his mind seemed to have returned, he used the hem of his shirt to wipe the sweat from his forehead, he sighed softly and thanked the homeowner, I almost made a big mistake just now. Immortal Van Tam's work is very important, I need to quickly inform the master, I will take you home now, after saying that, he immediately rolled up the cloth. Tran Lak wondered if he would take me back first, the carriage was at the foot of the mountain. Of course the old man has a solution, he said with a smile. He immediately hummed the poem one point how Nian Air, Tian Li is pleasant and windy, the idea is that as long as a person has a strong righteous spirit, he can go far beyond the ordinary world, in any situation, he can be leisurely and at ease. 
enjoying the refreshing comfort from the strong wind thousands of miles away. Tran Lak and old Tran Uncle were carried away by the storm of reason, the two of them screamed loudly in fear. As soon as they landed, they knelt down and vomited. Tran Lak panted and said it took two hours to go to the mountain and five minutes to return, I didn't say anything about the immortal heart, I just threw myself away and went back. Old man Tran gently wiped his mouth, frowned and said immortality, when I was alive, I heard him mention it, that thing has a lot to do with the top level of Confucian scholars, only great Confucians are close to saints, is capable of leaving behind an immortal heart. But if you want to leave behind a written heart, you need to build words, establish merit, establish virtue, the three ways of establishing merit and achievements. Tran Lak scratched his head, his voice was so difficult, didn't we just miss a great opportunity? That's not true, when the old man was still alive, he said, the immortal heart text exists in this world, you need to choose the owner, not everyone can use it, old Tran Ba said thoughtfully. Establishing speech, establishing merit, establishing virtue, the old man said these three things are the three immortal things, completing one of these three tasks and becoming an immortal writer is the lifelong dream of a great scholar. Therefore, if you want to use Van Tam, then you must be similar to the path that the immortal Van Tam pursues. The old man spread his arms wide and told the story with an eloquent tone. Tran Lak stood listening, feeling bored thinking about his appearance, not knowing that he thought he was condensing. He frowned and said he knew, he knew, but the problem was, what problem did the young master have? I heard that I have a few maids, the kind that help me change clothes, feed me, take a bath, Tran Lak asked with bright eyes. Old Tran Ba wondered, young master, what happened to you? We are a large family in a feudal society, our lives need to be a little shabby, Tran Lak expressed dissatisfaction. Old Tran Ba gained momentum and suggested that if the young master wants to be a little embarrassed, he should go ask the young lady, it's convenient, help the old slave and the younger sister too. Tran Lak frowned and waved his hand, going somewhere else, love needs to rely on oneself to fight. At this time in Vanan district, Fu district, Li Nuda was narrating the story of the recent climb up the mountain, Sir, the immortal heart of literature is the condensation of great Confucian's lifelong enthusiasm, unexpectedly someone would hand it over, translate it with demon clan, this must be reported to the royal court. Tai Dong Tran nodded and replied that this was natural, but very strange, something was very strange, so he raised his eyebrows and asked again. The great palaces and aristocratic families all have a certain amount of immortal text, and if there is any movement, it will be discovered. This tiger demon took the text and committed a crime in Chen's palace. It's been a month. Tai Dong Tran sighed softly. If he discovered it, he would have discovered it long ago. That's what you mean. I'm afraid that my great husband, another great scholar, has passed away, he said bitterly. Returning to his residence, Tran Lak waved his hand and said to Uncle Tran, Uncle, I will go back and report to my eldest sister, you should go back to sleep first. The maid took him into the senior sister's private room, calmly announcing that the young lady had finished bathing and preparing her clothes, and the young master would like to go with the slave. After showering and preparing clothes, Tran Lak blushed and thought to himself, Chu Lak, are you okay? What did Uncle Tai say? As soon as she entered the room, Sister Tran Tuin quickly ran out to ask. She had an extremely beautiful face, long shiny hair, and only wore a thin robe. Tran Lak's face turned red. He stood still for a few seconds. Ah, although he knew that this body was her younger brother, it was his soul, an outsider. Chu Hui suddenly spoke up. Ha, huh, young master, why do you keep staring at the young lady like that? I'm a blind lady, so you don't recognize me. Suddenly, Tran Tuyan opened his arms and gently told Tu Hong, Don't interrupt, Tu Lak, how did things end up? Ah, she suddenly tripped her foot on the edge of the table, Tran Lak immediately reacted very quickly. He ran to help his sister, she fell into his chest, Tran Lak quickly said to be careful, I've finished my work, sister, it's okay, that tiger demon has also been eliminated. Tran Tuyan gently placed his soft hand on Tran Lak's cheek, it's been hard for him. He quickly retreated embarrassedly, waved his hand and said no hard work no hard work, dude, what do you mean, I go first, sister, you should rest early. Tran Lak quickly ran out of the room, Tran Tuyan stood watching, clasping his hands tightly in front of his chest, sadly thinking that he was still distant from him. 98, 99, 100, in a private room, Tran Lak was doing push-ups to get rid of the depraved thoughts in his head. He flopped down on the ground tired, angrily cursing to himself, damn it, a young man's body with so much vitality is really troublesome, how can you be so beautiful? 
push-ups don't have any effect, you have to read something to calm down. After saying that, he looked up at the extremely massive bookshelf. The young man had a lot of energy. He probably had some books or something hidden, right? Tranlak then took out a book titled Ten Nuan Phan and Cleansing the Body Luke. He lightly clicked his tongue. The name sounded very strong. Ha! Huh. On this bookcase, he suddenly noticed a series of books like Buddhist classics. Classics of Taoism, Classics of Confucianism. Chen La marveled that there were so many types of classics and fairy tales. This world relies on reading books to practice. Now I take the place of the original owner. Is that so? Actually, can I read the elegant practice literature of this world? Tran Lak took a few books to the table to study, try it out. The memory in his head told him that only people who have awakened the talent of reading can see elegant literature. Maybe I am really, really it's not even possible. He opened a page of the book. The paper suddenly glowed brightly. Looking at the strange characters on the page, Tran Lak exclaimed ah, how can he even move? Turns out, my talent is even worse than the original owner's. Tran Lak was dizzy and fell to the floor, the book thrown beside him. Boss, wake up. Suddenly, a large hand shook his shoulder firmly. Tran Lak held his head and sat up, surprised and exclaimed, It turns out that as long as I sleep, I can come here. Why are you here? A certain family was born from the forest of flowers. Of course it is here, Chung knelt replied with a smile. Tran Lak immediately asked if you were practicing here. Can I reveal your practice method? I have no way to practice now. I have to seize every opportunity. Otherwise, the owner of that tiger demon will come to take revenge. I'll be in big trouble, he thought to himself. Chung knelt awkwardly scratched his head. My master didn't know how to cultivate himself, let alone impart it to master. But I can tell master a little about the flower forest. Huh, can that sea of flowers help me practice? Tran Lak raised his eyebrows in wonder. My family doesn't know, but if the whole Lam Hao Khan is divided into nine stream literature, my family is only the third stream low class literature. Perhaps in this forest of flowers, there are legends that can help you practice. Please step forward and listen to me more clearly. As he walked, he told me that this sea of flowers and books had a connection to the master's soul. For example, when the master was suffering from a long ghost, he summoned me, and the books in this flower forest were classified as superficial and profound spirit. So spiritual books also have a distinction between strong and weak. Tran Lak pondered and asked how we could get a stronger book. Chung kneeling softly replied, For this, the master needs to cultivate himself to the corresponding level to be able to withstand the power of some books that manifest in the real world. Tran Lak nodded, understood, I've said it again and again, we still have to look at ourselves, we have to think of ways, and organize our plans for cultivation. If Confucianism doesn't work, if we don't know Buddha and Tao, do we have any hope? In the innate inheritance of a family, the books in the forest of flowers and sea of books can roughly be divided into three levels of manifestation, ha, huh? three types. Chung Neeling immediately explained, the first level, joy, anger, love, love, hate, love, hatred, hundreds of states in the world, ten thousand things in the world, Tran Lak exclaimed oh, this is a magical story about martial arts. The second level, flying into the sky, wandering around, delusional, demonic and ghostly. In the books of this level, there are fairies and immortals descending to earth. There are also demons and ghosts, somewhat similar to this world. Oh oh, that's a fairy tale. The third level, two due of the three realms, gods, Buddhas and immortals are together in this world. In the book there is a Taoist ancestor sitting solemnly on 33 heavens. There is two due immortal from heaven to earth. There is Buddha's light. Buddha shines throughout all worlds, longevity and heavenly energy. 10,000 eons will not be destroyed. I understand. When you're hungry for books, choose heaven, choose earth, choose the universe. Chung knelt and gently lifted the teacup in agreement, almost like that, exactly like that, but the names of these three castes are too complicated, change the names, Tran Lak recommends. Let's just call them the Hong Chen realm, the immortal hierarchy realm, and the Xiao Yao realm. Suddenly, the ground shook violently, Tran Lak shouted in panic, what is the situation, is there an earthquake? He looked up to see the lines of text appearing in the sky. The earthly world trains people's hearts. The true spirit becomes clear. The immortals unite. The universe spreads in unison. This is it. The words immediately changed. The owner of the flower forest, Tran Lak, realized the path of practice. The forest of thousands of books from here took the path as precepts, divided the path and stood. Tran Lak looked around in panic. Mom, what did I realize? What is this? He immediately turned around and asked Mr. Chung, Mr. Chung, who made this word appear. He answered and spoke up. It is the spirit of the secret realm here. We are the books from outside the heavens that can exist in the master's consciousness, manifest in heaven and earth. 
thanks to the protection of this spirit of the secret realm. Oh, so it's the system, Tranlak said, smiling. He looked at the three realms that had just been divided, including the mortal realm, the fairy realm, and the fantasy realm, it was quickly divided. From that realm, suddenly a few glowing butterfly wings fluttered out. What is this, butterfly? Tranlak asked curiously. Zhang knelt down and smiled, clasped his hands to congratulate the leader. The legends in the mortal world also divided into nine classes. This is the third class of books that proactively followed the master. Tranlak was surprised. The three upper classes of the red world. The opening ceremony gave SSR. Tranlak looked at the butterfly wings fluttering above his head. He thought to himself that the mortal realm is SSR. If the fairyland realm is given the SSR status, I'm afraid I will progress quickly. But as a human being, I can't be too greedy. Let me see, what will it be? As soon as he touched the butterfly, a bright light suddenly emitted, enveloping the naked body. This, this is it. Smiling and arrogant, big letters appeared in front of Tranlak's face. He exclaimed in surprise, it's so cool. A moment later, Tranlak woke up, his body had been covered with a thin blanket. He excitedly shouted with an arrogant smile, it's an arrogant joke, what kind of spiritual letter will it be, it's not that the world is the most undefeated in the east, absorbing great dharma. Tranlak turned around and was embarrassed to see Tu Hoai drooling and looking at him with a sleepy face. Cough, he gently cleared his throat and asked, little hone, why are you in my room? Tu Noi rubbed his eyes, half asleep and replied that the young lady was worried about the young master, so he asked me to be here to serve him. Young master, do you need me to find a doctor to check on you? Tranlak flexed his muscles to appear strong. Why would he look for a doctor? My young master is very healthy, do you need to see a doctor? Tu Hoai immediately pointed to his head, meaning he had mental problems. Tranlak angrily rushed over and pinched her cheek. There is no such thing as a maid like you. I risk my life for you. Tu Hoai doesn't give up. Young master, I'm serious. There are absolutely big problems with your mind. After a while, Tranlak sat down on the ground, panting and puffing. I didn't expect you to be just a small maid, but you still have so much strength. Phew, I didn't expect that a young master who eats and dresses as well as he does and also has a lot of strength, the girl replied. Tranlak suddenly remembered something and asked, Yes, why are you at my place? Shouldn't you be with my sister? Tu Hoai yawned loudly and replied, Early in the morning, the young lady and Uncle Ben went out to the suburbs. The family in the suburbs was restless because of the fear of demons and demons, so she had to go comfort the people. Making a mess, isn't there something wrong with her eyes? Miss, why don't you call me for that kind of thing? Tranlak is ready to shout. Tu Hoi frowned and sighed. The lady said it was okay to cover it with a hat. People couldn't see the problem with the person's eyes. Besides, Uncle Ben said it was useless for the young master to leave. Hearing that, Tranlak was so embarrassed, he silently cursed. The original owner is trash. I will be forced to repay your debt in the future. He turned to tell Tu Hoi, go get me a basin of water and put it in front of the door. You can also put your lunch in front of the door. Just give me a call. Ah, the girl was about to speak but Tranlak interrupted her, don't worry. Tu Hoi heard that and pouted and left, knowing, Tranlak softly called out, didn't you listen to my explanation? Leaving the room, Tu Hoi breathed a sigh of relief, the young lady said that the young master had changed, isn't this the same nerd from before? In the room, Tranlak mumbled to himself, okay, it's okay, Tranlak I'm about to open their eyes. He focused carefully on writing each line of calligraphy, the breeze swayed the willow branches, the scent of flowers captivated people's hearts, these were the romantic colors of spring on Chimun Street, Fujian Prefecture, Southern Fujian Province. The straight green stone road stretches all the way to the west gate. An hour later, ah, uh, Tranlak was sweating and looked worried. Three hours later, he moaned, Mom, writing 100,000 words with a brush is too difficult. Ten hours passed, he trembled as he held his numb arm, his hand no longer felt, well, that's good, I'm like a robot working on its own. In the capital of Tai Dong Tran, Li Nude took the box containing the immortal text out to the garden and quietly asked sir, how much longer was left? Tai Dong Tran thoughtfully clicked his hands and calculated, then he suddenly blurted out. Suddenly, from the sky, a wooden cart suddenly landed on the clouds. Li Nu de frowned in thought, this is not an ordinary thing, but an official technique using great mystical luck to activate. The exploration of luck is a seven-grade official technique, but the cycle garden creation is a three-grade official technique. The two respectfully bowed their heads in front of the carriage, the students were together, and paid their respects to their teacher. After the end of learning, he advanced like a knight, and met a great pseudo-scholar. 
the old man who just stepped out has an extremely admirable background, pseudo-flammable, most talented, great Confucianism, third grade, away from objects, great scholar of literary arts, he said in a low voice that he was no longer polite and showed me the letter. Van Tam is here, Li Nu bowed her head and gave him the box. The old writer opened the box, frowned and said that in the righteous atmosphere there was a recitation of sutras and meanings, which was a piece of writing. Master, do you know which senior it belongs to? I immediately wondered. Go inside and talk. Entering the study room, Tai Dong Tran solemnly informed his teacher that everyone else had left. What was the situation now? The old writer spoke softly, when Suing Pavilion checked all the places where the whereabouts of great Confucian scholars were registered, and used his luck to probe the 1,026 immortal literary hearts throughout the Great Xuan Dynasty, finding nothing unusual. It is very clear that this piece of writing belongs to a great Confucian hermit. Tai Dong Tran spoke up, if the written heart has no owner, then where will this written heart go? Van Suing CAC has three opinions. First, bring it back to Van Suing Pavilion to suppress Dai Xuan's Van Van. Second, go to Dai Xuan's treasury to bestow it on meritorious officials. Third, based on this year's examination, reward the library with the most prosperous literary style. The writer's meaning is. According to ancient rules, if Van Tam has no owner, let Van Tam choose the owner himself, the old man replied. Tai Dong Tran exclaimed in surprise, this is the immortal writing and heart of a great Confucian, inheriting the teachings of a generation of great Confucians, so the court also agreed. The old literary general gently sipped his cup of tea, leisurely saying that the old days were like that. Three days later, in your district, the ceremony to choose the leader will be held. During this time, Dong Tran and Van and district were temporarily taken over by us. Yes, Tai Dong Tran immediately obeyed the order. The master was worried that he wouldn't be able to suppress the ceremony of choosing the owner, so he didn't hesitate to come here personally, he thought to himself. At this time, in the Tran Palace, Tran Lak had collapsed on the calligraphy table, he groaned and couldn't bear it, he had only written a third of it and felt like his hand could be cut off. Poor hand, it's my fault for you. He frowned and looked at the light appearing in his hand, what was this colorful gas? In this world, there are only three types of qi in strict meaning, green qi is the main qi of Confucianism, purple energy is the natural energy of the Taoist sect, the yellow gas is the true meaning of reincarnation of Buddhism. So, what is this thing, he wondered. Suddenly Tu Hoai burst in from outside the door, shouting loudly that the young master was no good, the young master is not good, outside, there are people outside, dead in front of our door. Tell me clearly, what's going on? Tran Lak stood up. Tu Hoai quickly recounted, there was a person, a beggar, who died in front of our house, he must have come to swindle money, what to do, hick hick hick, our entire Tran palace has been beheaded. As she spoke, she held her head, tears streaming down her face, Tran Lak huffed, his voice became more and more promiscuous, I'll go see for myself. After saying that, he hurriedly ran out, in front of the house was a boy covered in injuries, torn clothes lying on the ground. Tran Lak knelt down to watch, thinking bitterly, as a person with a miserable life, he could still not breathe. Chu Hoai quickly grabbed his shoulder and urged us, young master, to report to the officials, his body has just awakened, what if his soul conflicts with him, in case someone gets touched, I'll be the only one left in the house, I'm very scared. After repeatedly giving him a painful cup, Tran Lak immediately examined the beggar boy, no longer breathing, this kid, is he dead, he exclaimed sadly. Tran Lak knelt down to check the beggar's body, thinking he was dead, but he heard his stomach growling. Tran Lak frowned in discomfort and then whispered in the boy's ear, high-class food, only the simplest cooking method is needed, the dumpling skin is very thin, even transparent, open your mouth to take a bite, the fragrant fresh gravy, the inside of the cake overflows into the mouth, chewing the meat soaked in the gravy, not greasy, not greasy, slippery in the mouth. His every word flowed in like a song, captivating the little beggar, making his stomach growl louder and louder, seeing that, Tran Lak could only laugh, ha ha, he continued. Grilled suckling pig is roasted with the skin on, the pork skin is soft, the essence is in the thick layer of meat, grilled until golden brown is the best time, a whole piece of grilled meat is fragrant with a mixture of ground chili, crunchy soybeans, fragrant sesame for dipping sauce, just saying it is very fragrant. The more he listened to his stomach, the louder he growled, even so, the boy still had no temper, Tran Lak cried out in frustration. Hum, he turned back to look at Tu Hoai next to him who was also daydreaming about Tran Lak's words, in her mind she thought, dumplings, meat dumplings, seeing that he immediately said, this person seems to be dead, completely done, go into the house and get firewood to burn him. 
As soon as he finished speaking, the beggar's arm grabbed his hand, he whispered, said, said some more. Immediately he turned back to look at Tu Hon and said, Tu Hon, quickly go get the bowl of porridge over here. Tu Hon woke up from his dream and exclaimed, Ha! Huh. When the porridge arrived, he immediately said, It's a bit cold, don't blame me, my maid and I are both very lazy. When Tu Hon heard that, he shouted, Tu Hon is not lazy. Tran Lak fed the little beggar porridge, but there was an aura that stopped him, he suddenly exclaimed, Ha! Huh. From behind a monk came out and said, Namo on the top of Buddha, the young donor doesn't need to worry, he can't eat anything, the poor monk has given him ten days of oral meditation, he can't eat, a grain of rice, a sip of water. Hearing that, Tran Lak looked at the monk uncomfortably, the little ring next to him couldn't stand it and cried out indignantly, Your monk, do you want to kill someone, if you don't eat or drink for ten days, do you want to kill someone, aren't you afraid, is the government arresting people? Hearing the monk's sentence, he immediately pulled out a pledge and said, This benefactor borrowed three hundred tails of silver from the poor monk, and made a bet with the poor monk, if he doesn't eat a grain of rice or drink a drop of water for ten days, then the reward will be good. This debt is considered non-existent. The little beggar continued, If I can't do it, then I must accept him as a teacher and go to the western Buddha realm with him. Hearing that, Tranlak wondered, you're dressed in such rags, even your sword is broken, why did you borrow the money? The boy immediately replied, giving it to someone else. Hearing that, he immediately said in surprise, if you borrow money and give it to someone else, is your head still in good shape? The monk next to him immediately explained to him that Tian Tian district once had a pair of brothers, the elder brother was the one who raised horses for a large household, the younger brother loved to play with the horse, and the horse suddenly got startled. The horse knocked the child to the ground, when the horse's hoof was about to hit the child's head, the older brother shouted, don't hurt my brother. Then pulled the bow and shot the horse dead. Then comforted the younger brother, it's okay, there's a case here. The younger brother buried his head in his brother's body and cried loudly, hick hick. The fat head of the household saw this and threatened to kill my good horse, if he couldn't pay three hundred tails, he would take you to see the mandarin. The older brother was startled when he heard those words and immediately explained, 300 tails, master, we don't have that much money, I'm just trying to save my younger brother. Without hearing the end of the sentence, the head of the household turned around and walked away saying, it has nothing to do with me, I just need money, if I can't hand over 300 tails, then I'll be beaten to death when I go to work. The younger brother secretly thought, it's all for me, these 300 tails, let me think of a way. My brother thought of a way to sell himself, but he looked childish, for three hundred tails, he could buy twenty children, someone in the ward told me. Little brothers, people need to separate them and sell them for money rather than leaving them intact, one finger ten tails, stabbing yourself with a knife, twenty tails, one ear thirty tails, one eye eighty tails, thinking, thinking. The younger brother asked, you really didn't lie to me, he he, why would I lie to you? The little brother, the traitor, immediately replied. Then he took the child into a house and slammed the door. The beggar continued, waiting for my brother to come find me to save the baby. The baby no longer had two ears and one pair of eyes. At that time, I was so angry. Not knowing the severity, he directly beat to death the person who opened the casino. The underground casino was destroyed there, and the government did not prosecute him. When the traitor was beaten to death, the child cried out, Why did you beat him to death? He still hadn't paid, so the beggar was bewildered. Just then, the monk stepped forward and said, Donor, do you need any help from the poor monk? I have just enough three hundred tails here. The beggar turned around and looked at the two miserable brothers and immediately wanted to help. The little beggar continued, I gave this bald guy three hundred tails and gave it to them. I had no money to pay him, so I bet with him. The monk next to him smiled and said, This little donor has such a good heart, he really has a relationship with my Buddhist family. Seeing that, Tranlak immediately said, If that's the case, why don't you follow him? If you have such good intentions, why don't you become a monk with him? The little beggar immediately replied, I pray not for the next life, but for the struggle in this life. I study Confucianism, I pray for four ancient sayings. For the sake of heaven and earth to establish the mind, for the people to establish their destiny, for the sake of studying the sacred traditions, for the sake of all worlds to create the holy peace, not because of wanting to enter a Buddhist school or something. I was filled with surprise after the beggar's words. That's a very noble thing to say, it's a pity that you guys can really calmly face death, you still have two days left in the ten days you bet with me, the bald monk said. Tranlak felt dissatisfied with the beggar, so he pointed straight at the monk and said, I will pay for these three hundred tails on his behalf, I will pay you one thousand tails, now you immediately solve the magic. 
the monk immediately clasped his hands and said, The poor monk doesn't need money, he only needs disciples, or, he can make it through ten days, the poor monk will absolutely not make things difficult. Seeing this, Tiu Hoai next to him immediately screamed, but he was about to die. The bald man said, Donor, now you just need to nod your head, the poor monk will immediately solve the magic, how about it? Hearing that, the little beggar spit on the bald guy. Seeing that action, the bald man angrily said, Then use your life to pay off the debt. Chu Hoai next to him cried out, Young master, what should we do? Could it be that now he just dies like that? He immediately turned back and replied, You're very lucky, little guy, I've decided to save you now, be patient and I'll be right back. Hearing that, the little beggar thought to himself, Ha, big family, if it weren't for people like you, that couple of brothers wouldn't have been forced to such a dead end, how could you come back? After a while, the bald guy still stood there and said, It seems the guards won't come back, boy, the only person who can save you now is yourself. At this time, Tran Lak returned, surprising both the monk and the little beggar, he shouted, I'm back. Chu Hoai walked next to him and asked, Young master, these things were prepared according to your instructions, but are these things effective? Seeing him come back, the little beggar thought to himself, This guy is different. Tran Lak sat down to prepare to save the beggar, Chu Hoai next to him kept asking questions, duck feathers were made, goose intestines, there was also a bladder soaked in large wine, and 10% salt water, things like that, what effect does this have in the end? He immediately replied, in this era, at most you can only make a little salt water, people may not be able to understand it, although there are many impurities, but this can save your life, because your constitution is stronger than the common people, a lot of countryside. But I don't dare to say for sure, maybe this is harmful to you, do you dare to try it? The little beggar heard that and gritted his teeth and shouted, come. Tranlak inserted the fourth tube into the beggar's body, he did not forget to remind him, this tube of mine is a bit rough, it will hurt a bit, you have to bear with it a bit, the little beggar grimaced and replied, you, why didn't you say so earlier? Seeing that the method of saving people was so strange, the bald man wondered and thought, this kind of strange method also wants to save people, it only increases his death rate, as long as he dies, this seat's goal will be achieved. If you die under the silent meditation of this seat, after death, your soul will turn into a ghost under the tent, in the future, I will establish a Buddha country, of course it will be my Dharma protector and reincarnation, the bald guy thought even more happily. After reinforcing the fourth tube, Tran Lak knelt down and asked, How are you? Do you feel better? Are you still uncomfortable? The little beggar immediately replied, I feel like I'm not hungry anymore, your method is very effective. The bald guy next to him suddenly exclaimed, What? How is that possible? Seeing that little beggar's appearance, he happily said, Old monk, thank you for the three hundred tails you lent me, but now I have a chance to win this bet with you. Seeing that he was about to lose the bet, the bald old man immediately thought, This brat's vitality has truly awakened, if this continues, my plan will be ruined, I will not allow this to happen. He immediately shouted, this method is deceitful and the poor monks will not accept it, when he used his merit, a ghostly face appeared behind him, oppressing the souls of all the people around him. He thought to himself triumphantly, the sound shook the soul of this Buddhist sect, and for a moment he did not want to move. He came forward and shouted, following the seat, then reached out to grab the little beggar. Tran Lak's face was motionless, full of worry, he blamed himself and thought, damn, his body was stiff, could he just glare like that? Suddenly there was a magic circle wrapped around the bald old man, he suddenly shouted, Great mystery! The Western Buddhist sect wants to act arrogantly in Dai Xuan, where did the Thai district order come from? Tran Lak was saved, he shouted with joy, it was the district chief, Tiu Hoai next to him asked, District chief, isn't he the district commander? The bald old man grimaced and said, Lord District Commander, what do you mean by this, does the great Huang dynasty treat the faithful covenant like that, the poor monk and that young man already had a contract. Tai District Commander slowly said that a contract of faith is naturally protected by the law of Dai Xuan, but the law of Dai Wien stipulates that as long as it is a contract of faith, it needs to be sealed by a government official to be considered valid, force. The bald old man was full of worry, he didn't think this could happen. The district chief continued, which of the Mandarin's companions will testify for you on that bet, and which government official will seal it for you, if not, you will cast a curse on me, Dai Wien, is a mortal sin. The bald man's expression changed at the district chief's reasoned words, he quickly bowed his head and apologized, it was because the poor monk was not familiar with Dai Wien's laws, he almost made a big mistake, the poor monk now now returning to the western Buddha country, I still hope that the Lord will respond. 
Thai district commander cried out with disdain, Humph! At this moment, he noticed that the bald monk's hand had a black lotus flower pattern on it, and he immediately thought, is that thing? Without paying too much attention, he immediately ordered the bald man to dispel the magic and now leave. The helpless bald man just obeyed and dispelled the magic on the little beggar. When he finished, he said, the magic spell on his body had disappeared, the poor monk said goodbye, then he turned and left. Suddenly he turned around and said to Tran Lak, the two benefactors, when the poor monk reaches the Arhat realm, we will soon meet again. After saying that, he also disappeared into the black mist. At this time, Tran Lak breathed a sigh of relief, he thought, okay, this family's injustice, it's settled. At the same time, Tu Hoai next to him wondered, right, now you continue to pass this on, or should I eat porridge? The little beggar immediately replied, if possible, I would like to eat meat dumplings, Lang Sun suckling pork, Tran Lak and Tu Hoai was stunned by that answer. Tu Hoai immediately ordered me to eat porridge, then forcefully forced the little beggar to eat porridge, at the same time, Tran Lak turned back to thank uncle, thanking uncle for rescuing me. Before I could finish my sentence, my uncle said, My dear, where did you learn this method from? Then he pointed at the water too. Hearing that, Tranlak immediately glanced worriedly, trying to find an explanation. He said, Ah, this is the fairy in the Hoa Dao garden. He said people can go many days without eating, but they cannot go many days without drinking water. If you faint because you don't have enough water, you can use this method to save your life. It's just that in this world, water is not clean and salt is not pure, so you can only do rescue work. The uncle felt satisfied with his answer and replied, What a noble man, he really wanted to drink wine with the peach blossom fairy. Hearing that, Tranlak became even more worried and said, Does uncle have any official duties on him? Do he need to go to the palace to drink a cup of tea? While talking, he thought, We have to immediately change the topic of conversation, if he continues to ask, I will be dead. Uncle suddenly remembered and said, Oh, yes, I came to find you, he wondered, Ah, looking for you. The uncle said seriously, hurry up, fix your appearance, follow the emperor to meet the tutor, hurry up and get ready, don't be too late, tutor, is a great teacher. Hearing that, he suddenly said, I really want to see you. His uncle saw that he was bewildered and immediately explained that in this era, Confucianism has no saints, Taoism has no deities, Buddhism has no Buddhas, so Confucians are the highest people in this world. He wondered even more, why did a person of such rank want to meet him at this time? Could it be that the fact that he was reborn had already been exposed? Tran Lak and his uncle walked to the door. At this time he said, come with me inside. Tran Lak respectfully answered, yes. Life and death are the same. I don't care anymore. I don't have a choice now. These thoughts in my head make him more and more worried. Walking in, an old man with gray hair turned his back to the door. Uncle Tran Lak immediately said respectfully, Teacher, Tran Lak has brought you here. He turned around and said, You are Tran Lak. He respectfully replied, Tell me sir, I am Tran Lak. He immediately reassured himself and thought, Since I woke up until now, I am Tran Lak. Tran Lak is me. I have not done anything wrong in my heart. No need to be afraid of him. Even though he thought so, his face was still filled with inconsolable worry, seeing the gentle appearance, he immediately lamented, unfortunately, he is not a disciple of my Confucian family, Tran Lak did not understand and could only reply. The younger generation is stupid, doesn't have the talent to read, can't produce righteous energy, his mind is now full of chaotic thoughts, he's scared to death, he even thinks he's doomed. He immediately sat down and replied, It's okay, how how's righteousness is just the way to practice, there's no use for education. Then he waved his hand to show Tran Lak to sit down, at which point he asked, Ah, but, I don't know if you're looking for me, what's the matter? He immediately replied, The old man heard that there is a book spirit that can eat ghosts and probe the soul, I wonder if I can meet it. Seeing that, Tran Lak immediately replied, Yes, then gave the order, knelt down. Suddenly, a large figure appeared from behind and said loudly, there was a family. Seeing that, Dai Nu said with admiring eyes, as a ghost, but also a turtle spirit, and also has the magical power of heaven on his body, he came out and asked. He can eat ghosts, to that question, Tran La worriedly replied, ah, yes, is there something wrong? Wait for me a moment, then after speaking he rushed out the door. He immediately turned around and asked his uncle, Huh, what kind of situation is this? Uncle didn't understand and replied, I don't know either. A moment later he returned with two demons in his hand and said, Come on, let's try eating them. Chung knelt at this moment with his mouth watering and asked, Can this family really eat, master? Upon hearing that, he immediately ordered, Let's eat. 
The ghost immediately rushed up and tore the two demons apart like a delicacy. Dai Nu next to him exclaimed loudly, It was so good. Tran Lak next to him said in bewilderment, Okay, it's just normal ability. Hearing that, he immediately thought, This kid didn't expect that this magical ability was a normal ability. It seemed like he had absolutely no idea how valuable this type of ability was. This place is not convenient to talk. Go up to my car and say, He waved his hand and said, Then disappeared with Tran Lak. Only my uncle said blankly, in the car, I've been following my master for so many years, but I've never been able to get into his car. In the car, we knelt down and immediately got out and asked, friend Van, what do you want to do? He immediately extended his hand towards the kneeling person. Seeing that action, he thought to himself, could it be that this great scholar wants to rob him of his knees? Suddenly he came out and folded his arms respectfully and said, Little friend has great kindness, I beg little friend to give me the original text, to save the people of great mystery, he was surprised. He immediately asked again, Save Dai Wien's people, I, are you sure? He thought to himself, I'm just a 19-year-old dude who only knows how to play around and can't do anything. Dai Confucius immediately explained, Yes, Dai Wien has three harms, chronic harm, ghost harm, demon harm, and ghost harm that constantly clings to Dai Wien. A lot of the dynasty's fortunes are consumed by it. And Tiu Hu is the son of Tian Wien whom God sent to save me, Dai Wien. He was bewildered and didn't have time to understand what was going on. He asked again, Wait a minute, you don't mean to let my subordinate go and eat all the monsters in the entire vast kingdom, right? The more you think about it, the more you don't believe it, I estimate it will be full to death. He immediately patted his shoulder to reassure him, Ha ha ha, little friend was joking, your kneeling is a book spirit, as long as you spread your short story around the world, the world will read it and can protect themselves, avoid demons. I don't know if my friend would agree to black out the entire precious story that he shared. As he spoke, he rubbed his hands together. He immediately asked in confusion, What good does it do me? Chung kneeling next to him also exclaimed in confusion, Ha! Huh? Seeing this, the great Confucius immediately replied, Of course yes, I immediately reported to the saint, I will reward you. But the person who once had great achievements, was infused with luck into his body, lived a long life of two zodiacs, had a life of wealth, had a body as beautiful as a harem, and heard that he could still get married at 100 years old, okay, hearing that, his eyes lit up like headlights, filled with determination. His hand pointed to the sky and shouted loudly, I must do this job of saving the world, the boss behind him grinded the ink and said, okay, I'll go grind the ink for my friend. He didn't think much and immediately signed. Outside, my uncle was still angrily grinding his teeth, his whole body was on fire, screaming, my teacher had never invited me into the car, had never sharpened my ink, and had never bowed to me. In the car, the great scholar received the essay and immediately exclaimed with emotion, this essay only has more than 200 words. He thought happily, like this essay, I also have a sea of flowers, I didn't expect it, right? The great Confucian next to him still spoke cheerfully, no moral scriptures, no small words of great righteousness, the whole article was sketchy, recounting a lifetime of kneeling together, but it was a strange legend, the old man had never seen any writing like this, so, great, great. Suddenly he noticed a strange point and asked, yes, the old man has a question, in your essay, mentioning sugar, which era is it, there is also written Tan Ngo Dao too, finally whoever, just based on this painting, can banish ghosts. His face changed color and he replied, Oh, this is just a fictional story, if there is no embellishment, it's just a coincidence. He still wondered, fiction, elegant writing is the inheritance of the true meaning of heaven, such fiction can also be written. Hearing that, Tran Lak became even more worried, he thought, it's over, why does this old man keep demanding so much, if he can't convince him, I'm afraid it will lead to a lot of trouble. This official, Van Hu, asked in a harsh voice, still hoping that Tiu Hu would tell you whether this article was truly fictionalized by you. Tran Lak hesitated awkwardly, in his heart he was worried, he couldn't think of a good solution quickly, this guy seemed like he was about to make things difficult, this guy was really not a good person, he cheated on my essay and then wanted to hurt me. Then he coughed and replied, Van Hu, this essay is indeed about fiction, but it's a fictional thing but it bears the wishes of humans in heaven, why not accept it? This eloquent and spirited speech of Tran Lak made him bewildered. Van Hu burst out laughing, Yes yes yes, the old man is stupid, I will try to quickly deliver this article to the court, the court will also reward itself, I see Dai Wien's people thank Tiu Hu first. Tran Lak quickly walked up to stop him and said, Senior, don't rush, there's something I want to bother Senior once, then he took him to meet Tran Tuyan. 
Van who observed her for a while to examine her. Tran Lak stood next to him, thinking, this person is a great scholar, with a supernatural status, perhaps he can easily cure some of my sister's eye problems, so I cooperated to hand them over to Chung, kneeling backwards, I don't need any reward from the royal court at all. After a while, the writer spoke up, if it was a normal thirteen-legged celestial gate, just need to drink the spirit tonic spirit to restore oxygen, but wouldn't the lady practicing the thirteen-legged celestial gate be afraid it wouldn't be complete, right? Tran Tuyan replied, this kind of method came from the hands of a beggar woman, she stomped on the needle, this method was not complete, Tran Lak asked deeply, what if it is not complete, maybe there is no way to cure it. Wen Hui said, of course it can be cured, but only man bone pill can cure it. As soon as they heard the name of this medicinal pill, Tran Lak and Tran Tuyan were both confused. The writer slowly explained, Barbarians are barbarians, the biggest disaster of my Daiwian, and carrying bone pills is the ultimate treasure of barbarians. Each tribe of 50,000 people only has one. The ingredients needed are also new branches of the barbarian holy tree, which is very difficult to find. Tran Tuyan is worried and turned around, Tu Lak, listen to your sister's words, we won't treat you anymore. Tran Lak didn't listen to her and continued to ask, can I exchange for one? The writer sighed and said, Daiwian has not appeared in the Great Wall for more than 40 years, there are no barbarian bone pills in the country, but in the capital there is a tower of 10,000 treasures, with tricks through the sky, every year there are a bone pill is sold at auction. But last time at the auction, I heard that the man bone pill was exchanged for by someone else with two Confucian treasures. Tran Lak asked thoughtfully, aren't you a great Confucian, can you sell me two great Confucian treasures, I can pay 10,000 taels. As soon as he heard this price, when Huawei said in a stern voice, 10,000 taels, a large NGO van treasure is enough to buy 10 van and citadels. Hearing that price, Tran Lak gasped in surprise, Tran Tuyan continuously advised, listen to what you say, we won't treat you anymore. Seeing the love between two people, the writer was startled but remembered that. Memories buried deep in his heart surfaced, before he passed away, his older sister tried to warn her that she was about to leave, and from now on alone, she had to take good care of herself, be good. Remembering this, he felt even more compassion for Tranlak than when he took out a box of fruits, this fruit was originally the fruit of the thousand-year almond tree in Van Suing CA, no more than a hundred fruits a year, surrounded by Hao Nian's righteous energy, after using my sharp eyes and ears. This old man also got a few fruits and gave them to you, although they cannot cure me, they are more or less effective. Tran Lak bowed down to thank him and took it, thank you seniors. Fellow writer smiled, it's just a fruit, how can it be as important as friendship, why do you stand there, take it, don't let my little disciple know, he followed me for twenty years and I won't let him, him won. Three days later Van Tam chose the owner, you are the one who discovered Van Tam, remember to come and see. Tran Lak Trin Trong nodded, thank you, I will definitely come. Waiting for the other person to leave, he quickly gave it to Tran Tuyan, eat it quickly, this was given to you by the great grape, and it was more or less effective. However, before it could even reach her mouth, Tran Tuyan stopped her, this action of hers made him confused, what did she mean? Tran Tuyan gently said, if you eat this fruit, you will be imbued with Hao Niem Chi, if you eat it, maybe you can read the classics thoroughly, otherwise I am already blind, the great Confucian also said that it cannot be cured, if it's okay, then there's no need to waste it on me. Her words shocked Tran Lak, last time the person who saved food for me was my grandmother. Thinking of this, he said with emotion, you don't eat, I will feed to you home, his words made Tran Tuyan confused. Tran Lak still continues, eat quickly, don't say an almond, in the future I will definitely get the man bone pill, I don't need this at all, what if that immortal Van Tam chooses to? After hearing Tran Lak's words, Tran Tuyan's face turned red, she shyly said, that's okay. After speaking, she closed her mouth and waited, this move made Tran Lak flustered, is this for me to feed, is there still a good thing like this? The image of the beauty in front of him made Tran Lak's heart tremble. Just as he was about to feed my nyan, Tu Hoai suddenly ran in from outside, young master, the little brother he saved went crazy. Then the little girl squeezed in and looked at a man and a woman in front of her, wondering what the two of them were doing. Tran Lak immediately pushed the girl out and called attention to her, why have you gone crazy, quickly take me to see. Until the two left, Tran Tu Im was still sobbing, looking at the fruit in his hand, when Tu Lak fed him, there was a strange feeling in his heart. At the same time, in K.Y. Trong's room, a voice rang out, Two Sister Su Vo Hopeless, Hopeless Su Dong Yan, Dong Yan Shu Dai Hu. Zop changes to Bin, Bin changes to Khan, Khan changes to Kui. 
Chiu Hoai led Tran Lak over and said, Look, he's been like that for an hour now, you can clearly see that he has a problem with his mind, he doesn't read like a human. Tran Lak quietly observed the boy, this kid was reading the outline of Doc Company Ku Kiam with an arrogant smile from Gang Ho, his hand holding his manuscript. Then he came forward and wanted to stop, it was just nonsense knowledge. However, the key suddenly attacked by inertia. Tran Lak immediately stepped back to avoid a life, he was secretly startled, this kid was learning martial arts in the arrogant Jang Ho. But after the important boy clearly saw who was coming, he was startled and backed away, the master forgave him. Tran Lak shook his head, okay, what are you looking at? KY Trong shyly said, I arbitrarily took a few handwritten notes from the benefactor, without the benefactor's permission, I still asked the benefactor to reprimand me. Tran Lak warned in a stern voice, again, you have an important name, right, looking at your appearance, you look a bit elaborate, you're a scholar of Confucianism, right? KY Trong nodded and said, yes, in Ha KY Trong, this year he is 17 years old, a disciple of the Confucian family, and in front of him is a Confucian scholar in the third city of poets. Hearing that, Tran Lak was startled, at 17 years old, he was already a poet, at the same level as Li Su Jia, Mom, I didn't expect to find a little genius. The strange boy couldn't hear his heart, and said in a sincere tone, Dear Kong, I was originally planning to go to the capital's library to study, but now I have a request. If your kindness is not criticized, I will solemnly vow to follow you and serve you for one year, to repay you for saving my life, I will be a co-guardian next to you, to sharpen ink and wash pens. Tran Lak said in confusion, he refused to go to school, why did he come to be my secretary, what is his purpose, just say it straight. I know I can't lie, I'm embarrassed to admit it, I don't hide my gratitude, these are the articles that I wrote, I don't know where the next part is, I'm so engrossed in it, it's hard to stop. Hearing that, his face turned dark and annoyed, the rotten boy didn't want to be a scribe, he obviously wanted to read his novel for free. Then he smiled and replied, Are you asking for the latter part? The latter part is not there. As soon as he heard these words, he shouted in despair, without any further part. At the same time, at Tai Dong Trans Palace, his friend Van had just returned when he urgently urged him to quickly use the Van Trung Cam book to transfer it to Tan Yu too. I want Van Suing CAC to be able to see it today, this essay. Tai Dong Tran asked confusedly, Master, why do I have to copy it again? Maybe Lakni's calligraphy can't be seen. Van Hu happily said, this is the article of the original work, the old man wants to keep it himself. As soon as he heard that, Tai Dong Tran's entire face was filled with question marks. As if sensing Tai Dong Tran's discriminatory gaze, the writer said loudly, the original work is different, this thing is a treasure. Tai Dong Tran happily said, I also wrote a few articles a few days ago, very satisfied, do you want to keep them? Hearing that, the writer turned a disdainful tone, what do I use those things for? This sentence was like a knife wound straight into Tai Dong Tran's heart, leaving him stunned. The next day at the royal palace, the emperor sadly sat and sighed. Immediately, a noble concubine came to comfort him. If he was worried, he would be worried. His majesty still needs to eat something. He can't be too hungry. If his body has a stroke, there's no way to worry anymore. The emperor smiled sadly. Dear Khan, you are still so talkative. You are laughing at me on purpose, right? The noble lady sighed in confusion, isn't she just a small immortal Van Tam, let them take it away, you are the emperor, don't worry about such small things. The emperor explained that the immortal Van Tam was not an ordinary treasure, the Xuan was established 800 years ago, the total amount of Van Tam condensed was no more than 86 fruits, these 86 Van Tams actually belong to the royal court, as well as the royal court, no more than 10 fingers, nowadays it is not easy to get a fruit with no owner. The noble lady smiled and said, then let's go take it back. As soon as she saw the emperor's bewildered face, she burst out laughing, it was just a joke, but if it all falls into the hands of my student Tu Dai Wien, it won't be bad, don't be so stubborn. As soon as she finished speaking, she suddenly realized that she accidentally hit the emperor's back, so she apologized profusely, she had accidentally used too much force, it was mainly because his body was too weak, the emperor was out of breath, long, dear Khan, let me see the reason for my sadness. This is the current destiny of our Dai Wien, nine peaks of prosperity, eight peaks of the imperial dynasty, seven peaks of powerful kingdoms, incomprehensible noble concubines, but now there are only six and a half peaks. The emperor nodded, precisely because that year the lion emperor was in power, the nine courts were full of luck, the devil did not dare to claim the title of king, and at the end of the day, in my lifetime there were only six and a half peaks left. 
noble concubinen, when His Majesty Ha Dang ascended the throne, the national destiny was only left with four peaks, people were the same for decades, then led Dai Wien from the four peaks of adventure to the six peaks of Tai Bin, in the eyes of my concubine, Your Majesty, no less than Luang Huang immortal emperor. But the king still shook his head, but if I were to die, would our son be able to have it? As soon as she heard that, the noble lady glared at her angrily, saying these depressing words every day, and next time she would say nonsense, this will make you die now. The emperor smiled, he knew, for many years she still had such a hot temper, it would be good if the dynasty's anger was a bit more. At this moment, a eunuch reported that his majesty and prime minister when requested an audience, offering to increase the dynasty's fortune. As soon as he heard that, the emperor immediately ran out and led me to meet Prime Minister Van, he was even in such a hurry that he even forgot to put on shoes, causing his noble concubine to chase after him in bewilderment. A moment later at the cathedral, Van Tuong Yan Bok Shuyan spoke up, Your Majesty and the old man, every sentence is true, Tran Lak and Van and District wrote this sincere essay, reading it can make the ghost of a little ghost not dare to come close to you. The emperor nodded, two parts of my court's fortune were spent on protecting the common people from suffering harm from evil spirits, this article spread throughout the world, everyone read it, that is not helping, my kingdom saves us two parts of our luck. But General Van, the people of Dai Wien can read elegant literature, not more than thousands of people, our court has billions of people, is there any way to make them also understand this method? Nian Bak Chuan replied, Your Majesty carefully look at this article, at the end of the article there is a method mentioned, that is to draw the scene of John kneeling down to eat ghosts in the painting by the holy man, to avoid evil spirits, this old man has a friend, I invite him to follow NGO Dao Tu's example in this article and draw a picture of Chung kneeling as a ghost, if it really has a magical effect, it will be popularized in the world. The emperor nodded with peace of mind, okay, Nyan Bak Shuyan continued, as for Tranlak, this is his family tree, please have a look at it. The emperor quietly read the family tree, his father had followed the emperor to the south, his father Tran Kong Ki had once entered the court, six years ago the little king of the barbarians attacked the border, Tran Kong Kong rescued the hospital in distress, reading this, the king pondered, are you a descendant of Trung Luang? We need to reward and establish orders, first, Tran Lak looks for Van Tam who has merit, then Thu Ky Van protects the country, protects Van and Ba. Before he could finish speaking, the eunuch next to him hesitated, Your Majesty, Van and Ba wants to make Fan District's friend and Fan a confidant. The emperor shook his head, not in a hurry, to be able to write such KY Van must be a great talent, he continued to issue orders, ordering the public works department to choose the prosperous land of the capital to build the 10th and Ba Palace according to the regime, count degree. The noble concubine couldn't help but speak out, you have so much money, and you even built the, the palace, I think the general who left the palace is very good. At this time, Tranlak, the person who was appointed Marquis, still didn't know about such a big deal. He was worried about one thing. Tranlak was in a deep sleep when there was a call. Tu Lak quickly woke up. Tran Tu Yim pointed to the man next to him and said, Come on, call the billionaire. As soon as he heard this, Tranlak's face became frightened. There was a loud scream in your room. I disagree. Only then was he startled to realize he had just been dreaming. But before he could regain his composure, he suddenly appeared and asked, Sir, have you woken up? Tran Lak was startled and hid away and asked, Why are you here? Where is Tu Hong? Solemnly explained, Starting from today I will be in charge of serving you. Tu Hong will take care of Tu Thu. Besides, you should eat breakfast first, or so. Wrote arrogantly about Gang Ho before. In front of the other person's questioning eyes, Tran Lak said firmly, Go wash your face first, today we need to go around the streets. His heart was also partly relieved because the images from before were just a dream. But KY Trong still hasn't given up on his intention to run over and grab his shirt to beg, Young master, just write for a moment. It continued like that from morning until night. He held the stack of papers in his hand and nodded, not bad, reading the new manuscript for the first time, not bad, Tranlak sat nearby and complained, obnoxious, who told me to spoil my fans. There's only one more part left to finish writing the arrogant joke of Gang Ho, and there's only a little left to condense the letter link of this KY Thu version. Or just do it a little longer. Let's stop, in case when the spirit book condenses, my hand will be gone too, and then there will be KY Thu again, I'm not a dead man, let's go wander around the streets for a bit. After coming to this world for so long, I still haven't seriously considered what this world is like, after thinking about it, he turned around and said to KY Trong, will you come with me to go out and roam around, the boy immediately nodded, okay sir, family. 
On the street are the sounds of vendors selling, big dumplings left over from the morning, gourds, sugar that is both sour and large, and stinky tofu from Vannon District, extremely stinky and not fragrant. After hearing these words, Tranlek was helpless, what kind of things are sold here? K.Y. Trong also nodded, the people of Vannon District are living in such a miserable way. However, just as the two passed by, someone lurking nearby muttered, the target appeared. Tranlak didn't realize it but turned to ask, that's right, I asked about Confucianism's practice before, divided into the scene of self-viewing, the realm of being, the realm of poetry, and what else is there? It's extremely difficult to understand, who teaches people so nonsense, this is indeed the path of Confucian practice, but the real practice realm is that of a pseudo-Confucian, a scholar, a great Confucian, and a saint. Only then did Tranlak marvel, it turned out that that person was wrong, K.Y. Trong replied, although what he said was not correct, it was not wrong either, the three realms the person spoke about were actually all in the realm of softness and hypocrisy. Roughly divided into upper middle and lower, breaking through to the poetic realm is the son-in-law realm, in the son-in-law realm, there are three stages. Hearing this, Tranlak nodded, understood, that is to say, there are four big levels, each level has three small levels, while listening it is important and thoughtful, big levels, small levels, your understanding, dude it's truly an escape from the world. While he was still concentrating, the mysterious guy suddenly threw a hidden weapon, killing him in one blow. Tranlak didn't realize it and was still rambling, it turned out that practicing was like being in a fourth grade, leveling up every day anyway, reaching level 100 and directly becoming an immortal, while Tranlak was talking, something important happened, movement appears. He immediately sidestepped and used Tung Koi Nok Wood, and cast Hung Tian Chu to counter the opponent's hidden weapon. This noise also caught Tranlak's attention, what is that sound, he warned in a loud voice, be careful, sir, it's a monster. That mysterious guy still did not give up and appeared directly, he said in a harsh voice, Tranlak must die. After saying that, this guy threw himself into the air. Immediately, countless hidden weapons shot out, using stronger moves and flying towards the Red Party Committee's glass platform. A tornado appeared and carried away the hidden weapons of the Golden Immortals. The move had just finished being used, KY Trong was about to say something to Tranlak but had to stop. A mysterious name suddenly appeared above both of their heads, he used his magical writing power to love the sky. This unexpected attack made both of them panic. Right at the moment of danger, a voice rang out, stop, as soon as the sentence ended, the attacker was also fixed in the air. Tranlak said bewilderedly, is this the great Confucian divine power? The person who just came to the rescue was Van Hu, he raised his voice quat, monster, you are so bold, you dare to kill my Dai Wien's talent. Say, which clan sent you? While being interrogated, no information had yet been extracted when suddenly something flew from behind. Van Hu promptly discovered the opponent's whereabouts. He reached out his hand to grasp this mysterious thing, as soon as he touched it, he realized that this was Min Chi. Van Hu immediately warned everyone to be careful. However, contrary to his worries, this thing turned to attack the mysterious person. Just touching it made this guy's soul go crazy. Van Hu turned around and asked, To you too, do you know that demon horse? Tranlak shook his head, he didn't know, but the people who wanted to kill me were probably only two people. Fan Hu while treating the wound left by that thing asked, Who are you two? Tranlak said thoughtfully, First is the alien tiger clan standing behind the fox demon, second is the mysterious force that has a transaction between Van Tam and the tiger demon. No matter which side it is, they want Van Tam, but hasn't today's execution exposed their whereabouts? Van Hu explained, because they did not come for you, but to explore the reality of Van and District, I am afraid that from the beginning they wanted to take Van Tam back. Only then did Tranlak discover the wound on his hand and worriedly asked, Senior, are you okay? Van Hu shook his head, it's okay, it just takes a while to recover, but the day Van Tam chooses the owner, I'm afraid the old man won't be able to recover to the best state. His words made Tranlak angry, even a great Confucian could hurt him, how strong are these guys, if I'm still weak like this, I'm not sure they can protect me. He just had to say, Senior, I suddenly remembered something, say goodbye, Van Hu also nodded, okay, you be careful. KY solemnly ran after Tranlak and asked, Young master, is there something wrong with us? Obviously what Tranlak is worried about is to make himself stronger, but he can't say it directly to KY Trong to divert his attention, complete with Jang Ho's arrogant smile, just heard then it's obvious that you forget everything and are happy. 
At the same time, in a remote room, while the woman inside was bathing, an old woman came to announce that the young lady, Ma Tam, had died. Next to Tran Lak, there was a Confucian disciple protecting him, but his subordinates were not successful. The woman replied, as part of the plan, Mama, have you investigated how many great Confucian sects the literature sects have produced? The old woman immediately said, when the puppet made his move, the old man sensed that Tan Dong still had the aura of a great scholar hidden without spreading. Hearing that, the woman sighed, was she playing a game of light and dark, all in her mind? If that strange race is successful, it will not be completely ruined, master will not forgive them, but I will definitely take Van Tan back as a gift to wish my master a long life. Carefully prepare. At the same time, on Tran Lak's side, his strength was becoming more and more exhausted, he was almost there, but he was there to cheer him on, the young man persevered. After a while with trembling hands, Tran Lak picked up the pen and breathed a sigh of relief, finishing. Come here to read the book, who is it, knock back Quan, left leader Zen or Dong Fuang Bui defeat. Just then there was a flash of light. I watched in amazement as the young master and Thu Ling appeared. Tran Lak also holds hope in his heart, appear quickly. Not long after, a hand appeared from the clear morning, but unlike Tran Lak's expectations, this was the hand of an animal. In the book spirit that Tran Lak summoned was a cat. The two people were surprised and admiring. Then Tran Lak shouted loudly, Is this my book spirit? The boy helping me was also surprised. The book spirit of two arrogant wanderer was a cat. Tran Lak picked up the cat and said, I don't remember someone like you in the book, but, I want a book spirit to improve my fighting power. This is the person. Then he ordered the little guy to quickly use 100,000 volts. The boy next to him was also surprised. Thatch Van Volt. Then the cat spoke. Master, I don't know the 100,000 volts you're talking about. Cat, a talking cat, Tran Lak was afraid of shooting himself, making the guy next to him also scared, the sweet girly voice was this cat. Then the cat continued, oh but I'm very powerful. After saying that, he crawled into Tran Lak's forehead, he muttered, this is it. The boy helped Tran Lak, are you okay, that's it, he finished his sentence and then looked at the other guy. Brother KY, how about we play a few moves? He was surprised, you probably weren't, he secretly thought that the young master had absolutely no strength at all, did he want to be beaten, what a strange hobby. Look down on me, if you beat me, the next book, let you see it first, Tran Lak makes a suggestion. Do I have the right, the boy's eyes lit up and he carried Tran Lak outside. Isn't it okay to beat the young master, as long as the young master needs it, it's okay to fight once a day. The two of them were ready to fight, in the arrogant and arrogant Zhang Hu, there was a martial art that no one had mastered, but it was more powerful than the nine swords and kneeling flowers, Tran Lak opened his mouth, then he asked, do you know what that is? The boy accompanying him replied, there is no such thing as martial arts, even if you are the author, you can't talk nonsense, I won't bully you, just use a portion of my martial arts. Chen Luo enters the world, I have prepared it, part of my strength, so don't underestimate the enemy. The boy used the barbarian attack to Dundao, the moon black bird flying high, the big snow full bow knife, the desire form light flag, hey. I feel it, I see it. Then he rushed over, but the boy sneered, attacking me like that, how could he touch me? Dude, you can't win against me, you defend and defend, but you can't resist. What's going on, based on your speed, it's basically impossible. Then Tran Lak took out the cat and once again introduced my book spirit, its name is Dai Tong, how about it? Purple Hair was angry, Great Sek Nu Ha and Thu Ling did not expect to be the first move. Tran Lak collapsed, oh, I felt dizzy and extremely tired, Purple Hair reached out to welcome Tran Lak, are you okay, sir? The wooden sword fell to the floor making a loud noise. Purple Hair holding a piece of paper, Great Sek Nu Ha, the most profound swordsmanship of the Thai Mountain sect, calculating with his left hand, swordsmanship with his right hand, calculate all the possibilities, once calculated correctly, the sword immediately attacks, without missing a single shot. Purple Hair looked at Tran Lak sleeping on the bed, no wonder the young man was mentally tired and immediately fainted. In the forest of dream flowers, Tran Lak rested his hand on the pillar, in other words, I got a song that needed time to chant, when activated, it removed blood, but the skill was sure to hit without paying attention to defense, the black cat responded, yes, meow. If I activate it just once, the mental drain will cause me to go directly into a coma, so this thing can only be my trump card for sure kill skills, the black cat explained, because people's souls are too weak to be like that, meow. 
Tranlac laid down on the grass, walked away, and received the law of cause and effect martial arts, which was not bad, I don't know what else is there above the earthly realm. If you step into the fairy realm, it's not a magical area, moving mountains, moving stars, just raise your hand and you'll get it. The black cat explained, but, people need to cultivate to the peak of the mortal realm to be able to enter the next realm. Tranlac asked again, how can I cultivate to the peak, I now want to cultivate to the peak. The black cat tilted its head, I'm just a cat, how would I know this? If you want to cultivate to the peak of the earthly realm, you just need to store up the earthly energy, every time the owner writes a book in the earthly realm, a stream of earthly energy will be produced. Tranlac wrote lines of calligraphy with a blank face, after writing a book, the spiritual book produced would also bring a large amount of red earth energy. He created a flame in his hand, the red earth energy was talking about this, the black cat immediately replied, that's right. But how can I practice this, I don't have any practice. Black cats are popular, people want to find a path that belongs to them. As long as the owner finds the correct path, he can be the founder of the path, a lineage of saints. A saint, if he only understands one path, he can become a saint, the black cat was curious, what are you talking about, I don't understand. Suddenly there was a strange aura that lifted the black cat and Tranlac's bodies into the air. A series of moves appeared in the air, total moves, sword-breaking moves, and blade-breaking moves. Tranlac was surprised, this, this is the lonely nine sword, the black cat said again, someone read your book and realized the nine swords of poison. Other people can also use my buff, hey, I'm asking you, why? Master, the spirit of the secret realm asked me to deliver the report to you, don't worry, the more people in your religion, the stronger you will only become. As long as you find that path, this whole secret area will become a help to you, go find it. Tranlac suddenly woke up and said. Looking at the purple hair practicing, it turns out you are the kid who comprehended the nine swords of poison. Purple hair saw Tranlac wake up and was happy, young master, you're awake, I'll tell you, me, Tranlac raised his hand to stop, I know, you have mastered the nine swords of loneliness. Purple hair is suspicious, you, how do you know? Tranlac calmly said, I can write a book, I don't know anything, purple hair nodded, what he said was right. I'll watch your practice, if you have mastered this type of martial arts, can you still perform it? KY Trong showed another pose, I tried it. Tranlac thought, his childhood dream is about to come true today, who doesn't want to be alone with nine swords? KY Trong attacked forward, shouting. Breaking the sword consciousness, the wooden sword hit the door and immediately broke in half. He touched his head, this move of yours doesn't seem to be able to channel the righteous energy of Confucianism, it's just a formality, so I can't use it. Tranlac thought of the black cat, no wonder he wanted me to find the way, if he only had moves and no basic techniques, practicing would be useless, now it's troublesome, where to find the way, this here. At that moment, someone came in to announce that the young master and master invited people to participate in the ceremony to choose the owner. Literature heart, the most precious treasure of Confucianism, perhaps our Taoism can find some clues from its body. Tranlac clasped his hands, thank you for the invitation, please lead the way, Master Li pointed in one direction, did not dare, please come with me. Tranlac still kept thinking, the problem now is, does he choose to be the master? Chu Hoai sighed, the young master finally has some future, the young lady can rest from now on, I hope young master doesn't lose face in front of everyone. Where Van Tam chooses the owner of the Temple of Literature Square, genuine Confucian scholars from Van and District are eligible to participate, a total of 836 people. Master Lee explained, so in reality the probability of Van Tam choosing the owner is not large. A young master wears a brooch in his hair, holds a fan in his hand, and wears a jade pendant on his waist, his whole body exudes an elegant aura, with great pressure from snow and pine trees, and din through troop pine trees, Tran Lak exclaimed, that's really good, KY Trong happily replied, no matter what happens in the future, it's okay to fight for power, it's okay to fall into corruption, it's okay to give birth to the first wave of righteous spirit, my Confucian disciples are all talented people, most spirited. Suddenly everyone turned their eyes upward at the same time, here they come. Van Hu held a wooden box in his hand, standing on a wooden palanquin that landed from the sky, Confucianism asked what a person reads books. For the sake of heaven and earth, for the people to establish their destiny, for the sake of continuing to learn, for the peace of the world, everyone below clasped their hands and shouted loudly. 
Van who held out the wooden box in his hand and chanted loudly, Today there is a great Confucian master who has transformed the teachings of a lifetime and condensed into immortal words and writings. If there is someone who can continue to carry on his teachings, then we're about to get closer to great grapes. The only thing I hope is that you guys don't teach in your hearts. He raised the wooden box high. The text chose its owner. A series of lights flew out from the box, going straight down. There was a beam of light that landed straight on where Tran Lak was standing. A blank sheet of paper and a pen are neatly placed on the table. What does this mean? K.Y. Trong explained that this is to clearly state the plagiarism intention. The student writes down his slash her own heart's pursuit, in which the essay that is most suitable to the plagiarism intention will be selected. Tran Lak was worried. Then the problem comes. I am not a disciple of Confucianism at all. K.Y. Trong scratched his head. Since literature has invited you, you should still write a little. He thought to himself, the pursuit in his heart, what should I write? The best bragging has just been read by these students. But, if you want to open up religion, maybe writing that sentence is okay. Tran Lak put down his pen. This was his immediate pursuit. Van Hu confirmed, well, that's roughly the idea. K.Y. Trong happily said, the world rises and falls, the seven men are responsible, Tran Lak doesn't understand, huh? The young man with long purple hair angrily kicked over the table and was told that he was carrying a beer on his back, he was told that he was a tortoise in the past that used to carry stone beer on his back. White hair and long purple hair were both angry, what this kid wrote was enough to inherit a worldly path. Tran Lak talked to K.Y. Trong under the murderous gaze of white hair and long purple hair, why are you talking so gay, you're clearly a man, yet you let that old woman suddenly appear and call you miss. The more I look at the long purple hair, the more it irritates my eyes. Who is that kid? When he almost leaves, let him look like a fool. Mama, let's do it. White hair raised both hands, a stream of purple air shot out, rushing towards Tran Lak. He backed away in panic. Mom, what is that? Van who stood in front of Tran Lak again. This old man has been waiting for you for a long time. Since you're here, please stay. Van who threw out a blue cube, appearing right above his long purple and white hair. Seeing this, white hair immediately blew out a stream of purple air, and a series of bugs appeared, biting into Van Hu's green cube. He was both panicked and angry. Goo worms, who are you? Purple hair condenses power in our hands, who we are is no need for the pseudo-Confucian scholars to care. That force took away everyone's desk. My desk? I haven't written yet. Wait a minute. Purple hair said proudly, this heart tablet was originally ours. Today it returned to the original owner. Everyone shouted together, protecting the text heart, not letting the text heart fall into the hands of demons. White hair unleashes a big move, you guys are still not qualified to stop her. A series of small purple things flying in the air, what is this? Someone fainted directly, foaming at the mouth, so sleepy. K.Y. Trong saw this and immediately rushed forward, I also needed to go up. Tran Lak quickly stopped, mother, isn't this rushing to death, do you want to die too? K.Y. Trong shouted loudly, Kong Viet becomes human, Strong Viet takes meaning, only K.Y. uses meaning to end, the reason for humanity. Tran Lak immediately chased after him, after all, he needs to be loyal, so it's better to make a big deal with me. Van Hu threw his body high in the air, performed a great Confucian magic move, and timidly tried to catch the target. The white hair was provocative, it was just a bit of a sleeping bug, why was he so angry? In an instant, the white hair suddenly changed her appearance to that of a hot beauty. She condensed a stream of enormous power that was widely amplified. When Van Hu saw this, he was stunned. Ancient incarnation, we in two towns intelligence was indeed correct. You are truly not extinct. Today, we absolutely cannot let you leave. The appearance of his long purple hair also changed. Half of his body turned into a purple aura. He is cruel. Look at your palm. The masked beauty landed. In the purple light, we also had a lower goo worm. You should immediately use Hao Nian's righteous energy and after an hour, you will naturally be able to force the Gu Worm out, if you want to stop us, even a fairy will have a hard time saving us. But this rotten boy has too. The masked beauty turned around, where did she go? White hair and red dress immediately came forward to report, Miss, stop looking, we have to leave quickly. Tai Dong Tran appeared out of nowhere, you too, you should still stay here. Tai Dong Tran quickly cast spells to change his appearance, a great confusion with magical powers, and a nation under the sky. Seeing that, the two girls immediately expressed surprise, they didn't expect it to be you, the semi-willow grapevine, to lean Tan, Tai Dong Tran is also not polite, if you know it's me, then you two quickly get tied up. 
The two women of Gu's incarnation saw the appearance of the Confucian Confucius Lin Tan and immediately gathered together in one place. The woman standing below looked up and said, The great Confucian technique of the country and the world also has loopholes. Mama, you are preparing to unleash the tremor of heaven and earth. Let me stop him. Mama, hovering above, immediately respectfully replied yes. She raised her hand to create a magic spell, muttering something to herself. Immediately after, the space around the mother's body began to change. She worriedly thought to herself, The trembling sky is the clan's secret technique. I can pass through any barrier, but the casting time is very long. Can you hold off that guy? After all, he is a great scholar of the human race, a powerhouse in the top ten. Below, the young lady covered half of her face, revealing only her cold eyes, looking straight at the person in front, somewhat contemptuously saying, Su Dai Confucius, this time our servants are just trying to get back our hearts, a person doesn't do any harm, why do you have to force us? Su Lin Tan waved his hand, from his hand, spiritual light flowed out, flying all over the sky, Su Lin Tan faintly said, the heart is the treasure that only our Confucian saints can condense, in conclusion, how can there be a way to get it back, and who is the holy grape that you harmed? you all must answer to us. The young lady saw that everything could not be easily resolved with words, so she waved her hand indifferently and coldly replied, Okay, then we have to see if the great Confucian powerhouse is among the ten strongest people in the world, your clan, do you have that ability? Seeing that the person in front of him was starting to attack, Talin Tan saw the person in front of him begin to attack, he also waved his hand, two streams of spiritual energy gathered together and formed, with terrifying speed hitting straight towards the enemy. He spoke neither quickly nor slowly, I have seen through your way of thinking, so stay. This young lady quickly turned around and dodged to the side, seeing that Mama had not yet finished showing off the chaos. Resolutely using her final move, she opened her hand and shouted loudly, The Unicorn Martial Arts Book is here, who dares to be rude? Just seeing her hand movements, a giant martial arts book appeared in front of her, blocking all of Su Lin Tan's attacks. Seeing the scene, both Wei Yan and Su Lin Tan were stunned and stopped their movements, without warning, they shouted together, Lion Huang Martial Arts Book. On the opposite side, the young lady did not care about trivial matters, pointed it to Lin Tan and shouted, Lin Huang has an order, tie up the great Confucian to Lin Tan. Under this woman's control, the Unicorn Martial Arts Book immediately turned into countless chains and rushed to the position where Su Lin Tan was standing, surrounding him inside. Wei Yan reacted very quickly, he quickly raised a hand, from the palm of his hand gathered a bright ball of spiritual energy, hitting the chains, Wei Yan shouted loudly, Brother Su, I'm here to help you break the law. But as soon as he said this, Wei Yan suddenly felt a sharp pain coming from his other palm, he stopped in place, cried out in pain, then raised his other hand to take a look, only to see that now, from his wrist to his fingertips, he was covered in a layer of black mist, looking extremely strange, chillingly. Su Lin Tan was also holding out his hands to defend. When he saw such a scene, he immediately gritted his teeth and shouted, Brother Wei, don't be in a hurry, I can break this seal in a few breaths, that martial art book is not real, just a simulation. Sure enough, that lady's face was already drenched in sweat, she frowned and gritted her teeth, thinking to herself, as expected of Su Lin Tan, she didn't expect to be able to suppress it with the Lion King martial arts book, I can't make myself waste my energy like that. If I continue like this, I won't be able to persevere much longer. Thinking so, this young lady immediately turned to ask the mother next to her, how much longer was left. Mother was also trying her best at this time. She replied, girl, try to persevere, you still need 10 more breaths. At this moment, on the opposite side, Su Lin Tan screamed, he used all his strength to counter the attack of the Lion King martial arts book. The young lady's expression immediately changed, she thought, no way, this martial arts book can't hold on anymore. Little did she know that, behind her at this moment, two figures had appeared, Tran Lak looked suspiciously and respectfully then asked, are you sure she can't see us, respectfully nodded, sure enough, I don't use this poem often, but it's also considered my secret technique, you just need to trust me. Falling into this situation, I couldn't believe it, Tran Lak decided very quickly, immediately said to Ho Chi Minh, that's okay, you go attract her attention, I'll deal with her, KY Trong immediately responded, then rushed forward. He took a stance, then shouted a bad word, a move of the moon black saddle concubine cow barbarian knight peach shield, Tuck general lighted the flag, the great Tuat Mangong knife struck out, turning into an illusion of a great general riding a horse, rushed to attack that woman. The woman reacted very quickly, immediately opening her mouth and spitting out a breath of icy cold air, hitting the general. After finishing, she snorted, full of contempt and said that she was just a city of poets who had come to seek death. 
Tran Lak had been observing the woman's every move all this time, right when he aimed for the right opportunity. He shouted loudly at this moment, then tightly grasped the sword in his hand. A powerful move like a river suddenly hit the location. The woman was standing, aiming right at the middle of her forehead and stabbing at her. This woman was truly caught off guard, staring blankly at the sharp tip of the sword gradually approaching her. She thought in horror, what is going on? I can't escape. Tran Lak's pupils were wide open, he was thinking to himself, trying to resist, trying to resist, Tran Lak. According to Tran Lak's control, the sword move was slightly deflected downward, aiming right at the woman's neck, but as soon as it touched the spot, Tran Lak's sword immediately shattered. But at that woman's neck, a thin layer of ice was formed, it was this layer of ice that broke the sword, the woman raised her eyebrows, full of contempt and said, a scumbag without any sense, relying on you, still wants to hurt me. Tran Lak didn't say anything, he didn't care about that provocation, the sword was broken and that was it, he immediately turned around, clenched his fist, and used another move aimed at that woman's face, mountain sword technique, the great sect is like a river, this version of the devil, eat me with a punch. Tran Lak waved his fist to attack, seeing the woman's terrified expression, he thought to himself, he didn't expect it, right, the big sex skill like river can be used with a sword, it can also be used, fist, in the split second of using my sword to stab. I had already planned to attack with my fist. The woman widened her eyes at the person in front of her and said in a harsh voice, Little thief, do you want to die? She held the text in her hand tightly, leaned back slightly. Avoiding Tran Lak's fist, unexpectedly Tran Lak turned his wrist. Just when this woman was distracted, she immediately opened her hand and snatched the text in her hand. The woman looked at her empty hand in horror and cried out in regret. At this moment, the heart text that Tran Lak had just stolen changed, it immediately melted, with Tran Lak as the center, golden letters gradually formed, flowing around his body. Tran Lak hugged his body, fell straight to the ground, gasping for air, no longer able to resist. The woman was horrified when she saw this scene, the hand she reached out to snatch back the text heart stopped in mid-air, she stammered, the text heart, has it been harmonized by this brat? But at this moment, the mother on the side suddenly shouted, Miss, it's done, the secret technique of Tian Li Dong was successfully created by her. Hearing that, the woman immediately decided, she grabbed Tran Lak lying flat on the ground, quickly pulled her towards where mom was standing and said, If you have already reconciled your mind, then even if even if I squeeze you dry, I still have to get the text out. But it wouldn't be that easy. Su Lin Tan shouted with all his strength and made a move towards that woman, stopping her movement. He shouted loudly, releasing the people of Dai Wien and his sword. The move of Kim Nyet Ba Ti Kwan could be unusual. The sword of ten devils, Tin Yan Mo Ti Ti, just came out. The golden light turned into a sharp sword tip and rushed towards that woman. Su Lin Tan shouted, Up! The essence of destiny clings to it. The woman stepped back slightly, looked up at the tip of the sword moving towards her, silently evaluated it, then said decisively, a sword has the life essence of blood attached to a great confusion, this little girl is right, it can't be helped, but. When she said this, she stopped for a moment, pulled the unconscious Tran Lak to block in front of her, then leisurely finished the last sentence, if she used the Dai Wien people who had signed a contract with Van Tam as the what about the shield. Su Lin Tan stopped for a moment when he heard that, he made a quick decision and immediately waved his hand. The sharp tip of the sword, about to stab the mortal, immediately tilted upward under the master's control, hitting the space above the heads of these two people, the woman witnessed this scene and laughed happily. The Tian Li cave was completed, hovering behind this woman, she didn't want to waste any more time here, she immediately reached out to grab Tran Lak lying flat next to her, her other hand pointing two ways, the puppet man waved, two great scholars, we will meet again. Su Lin Tan would not have let this woman escape so easily, he once again raised his hand and said in a harsh voice, don't try to run. Immediately after that, the tip of the sword was once again formed, rushing quickly towards the standing woman. With a loud bang, the surrounding space shook violently, the flash of fire blinded people's eyes. Waiting until the smoke and dust had cleared, the place where people had been was now empty, no one was seen, only a crack on the ground remained, that woman had already left with Tran Lak and Van Tam in his body, Su Lin Tan stood still and looked at this scene. He gritted his teeth and scolded, damn it, what a bastard. In Nya Van and district, a public servant and a guard entered the district together. The young guard walking behind, confusedly asked, Sir, shouldn't we go straight to the servant's house? When the duke heard this, he shook his head and said, Even if he is a marquis, he still needs to inform the local government, you don't know this. 
He and the guard went inside, immediately saw Wei Yan and Su Lin Tan walking out. The duke saw this and immediately asked with concern, Aren't these Mr. Wei and Su Dai? Why are your faces so red? It's so dirty. Hearing that, Wei Yan wiped his dirty face, then took a step forward, clasped his hands and said, Kong Kong, why are you here? Shouldn't you be next to the saint? Kong Kong smiled and narrowed his eyes, raised the decree high up, slowly said, I serve the holy decree to the palace to bless Tran Lak, the holy lord crowned him as a thousand and uncle, go to the palace to receive the reward, stop for a moment, mister, looking around, not seeing the person he was looking for, he frowned and asked, that's right, where is Tran Lak? Hearing that, Wei Yan's face immediately darkened, he sadly said, Tran is lost, Tran is lost, these words were like a thunderbolt striking his ears, he was startled and let out a scream. But Tran Lak was taken away by that woman, his consciousness fell into a completely different space, he opened his eyes wide, wondering suspiciously, where is this? Tran Lak lowered his head and looked down at his feet, his feet were stepping on a shiny golden step. Looking up, in front of him was a long staircase, the end connected to a tightly closed door, dense aura seemed to have vitality circulating around that door. Tran Lak was confused and asked, what is that? Tran Lak step by step stepped on the stairs, as he walked, he raised his head and looked up at the closed door above, there were many thoughts in his heart, he frowned and thought to himself, this is not a dreamland of flower forests, according to logic, speaking of which, I'm in a coma, so I should go there, but, where is this in the end? Just after walking two or three steps, Tran Lak's feet seemed to be grabbed by something, making it impossible for him to lift his foot and continue walking. Tran Lak tried several times but completely failed. His face was drenched in sweat, both hands clenched into fists, thinking, something is blocking me from opening that door. His bare feet became increasingly heavy, and many small ropes began to come out of the stairs, wrapping tightly around his ankles. Tran Lak thought for a while and exclaimed in confusion, Heavenly Tao is elegant. As soon as these words were spoken, in front of Tran Lak a cloud of blue smoke flew out, gradually gathering into the illusory shape of a man. This man looked towards Tran Lak and asked, The person who came next is you. Inherit the old man's religion. Tran Lak paused for a moment. He raised his eyes to look at the figure in front of him, thinking to himself, Could this shadow be the owner here? The religion he spoke of, is the religion of Confucianism. Thinking for a while, Tran Lak immediately clasped his hands in front of him, bowed his head respectfully and introduced himself, Senior Tran Lak, your way, I can. Speaking of this, Tran Lak suddenly hesitated a bit, he thought to himself, I am not a Confucian disciple at all, nor do I have any integrity. Not letting the person in front of him think clearly, that illusory figure immediately spoke, interrupting Tran Lak's train of thought, sighing, this old man's whole life, he found this path of practice, to the end, again nothing. Tran Lak still maintained his original position, hearing this person say that, he was confused and called, Senior. That illusory figure ignored him and continued to speak, but the old man was not convinced, there are so many creatures in our human race, people with great talents, of course we will not let the old man bury him. Hearing this, Tran Lak now understood what was going on, he thought to himself, turns out it's a rewind machine. That figure slowly continued, Confucianism, Taoism, Buddhism, is the way of heaven, you can enter to study, I don't take it, the old man traveled all over the barbarian land, went to demon origin, visited caves in heaven, entered the Buddha country, discovered everywhere, all people take my human form as their honor. Saints, Taoist ancestors, Buddha ancestors, are all humanoid, demon ancestors, demons, insect gods, when they come down, they are all humanoid, why? This person asked, instinctively, Tran Lak raised his hand and said, probably. But having said this, I remembered that this illusory figure was pre-programmed and couldn't hear what he said at all, so I had to keep my mouth shut. The figure continued, the old man has a lifespan of a hundred years, forcibly obtained a power of heaven's way, and discovered that this power of heaven also condenses into a human form. The old man is sure, my human race must be there must be hidden magic. The old man used it all his life, and finally discovered a way to reach the heavens, but no matter what, the way can be done, but there is no energy to use it. Hearing this, Tran Lak immediately excitedly raised his hand, in his hand was a red gas. Tran Lak immediately said, I have gas here, but one is missing. Obviously that illusory figure did not hear these words, it began to get angry, raised its arms high and shouted loudly, the saints gave birth to green energy, the Taoist ancestors gave birth to purple energy, the Buddhas gave birth to colored energy, gold, why can't the old man's way produce energy? There is no gas to use, the old man is not satisfied, the old man is not satisfied, the old man is not satisfied. 
the four words old man are not satisfied are repeated three times, clearly showing this person's unwillingness. At my place, Tran Lak cautiously said a word and then fell silent. His face was full of hesitation. He thought a little helplessly. He was just a remaining illusion, completely incapable of speaking. That phantom was now much calmer. His words were more serious. The person who came later, discovered the fourth type of energy, so that our human race, everyone is the son of the same dragon. After the phantom figure finished saying this, it seemed like he saw where Tranlak was standing and immediately rushed forward to face him. Before Tranlak could react, the illusory figure had already dissipated, turning into a blue smoke that went straight into Tranlak. Tranlak was suddenly attacked, clutching his painful head, shaking it continuously. A moment later, he suddenly thought or exclaimed, Is this martial arts? The blue smoke gradually merged into one with Tranlak's body. In his mind, martial arts techniques, martial arts techniques, martial arts skills to train the flesh and body, using martial arts to enter the Tao, divided into circulatory conditions, appeared in his mind. Realm of nourishment and joy of blood. The person who reaches this stage is the one who reaches this stage, can change the meridians and bones, the eyes and ears are clear, the body and mind are strengthened, walking on water is not difficult at all, the person who is nourished by the air is able to reach this stage, the acupuncture point is chi can be emitted to kill the enemy, and the blood-filled state means it can change blood nine times, people in this state, the physical body's defense is not inferior to the Buddha's Vajra. Changes began to happen around Tranlak's body, sparkling golden light flowed through each meridians of his body, bringing a feeling of full vitality. Tranlak spread out his arms, raised his eyebrows and said, Martial arts, three realms, but no matter how you look at it, these three realms are like a basic training course for children. Looking at the closed door not far away, Tranlak had a thought, maybe the rest of the things are behind that door. He retracted his hand, bowed his head and looked at the stairs below his feet, speaking softly, but just when he wanted to continue, something stopped him. Without thinking too much, Tranlak decisively lifted his feet and walked away. He said, I don't care anymore, I have to go see, if I miss the opportunity, it won't come again. Speaking of this, Tranlak felt that his feet were no longer blocked, step by step he easily climbed up, Tranlak smiled and said, I can go forward. He walked faster and faster, he was in a very excited mood and burst out laughing, Hey, I didn't expect to be able to come to this place, it seems this path is mine. Tranlak immediately decided, So, go ahead, take a few more steps, and directly open the door. As soon as these words left his mouth, countless golden-colored strings shot out from nowhere, wrapping around Tranlak's body, making him unable to move, Tranlak exclaimed in horror, This is actually what's going on. Countless golden ropes were wrapped around Tranlak's body, from head to toe, not leaving any space, looking at his two hands fixed by ropes in front of his eyes, Tranlak said in pain, what's going on, no, maybe, I can only go to the position of the human figure standing here. Looking at the door far above, Tranlak couldn't help but exclaim, could it be that the other way was to find it himself. Just thinking about this, the sharp metal strings around Na Luo's body moved slightly, pulling him tightly. Forcefully pulling his whole body out of this space, the other door seemed to be close by but increasingly out of reach. Tranlak once again lost consciousness. When he woke up again, he was taken to another place. He moved his body slightly and then let out a soft groan. He opened his eyes and looked around. It seemed like this place was a desert, deserted mountain. The woman who dragged him away was lying unconscious in the distance. Tranlak opened her mouth in confusion. Where is this? Crawling up from the hard ground, Tranlak screamed loudly and loudly, his whole body was almost stabbed by hundreds of devils, each piece of flesh was throbbing in pain. While admiring the misery of life, the ghost cat named Dai Tong jumped out, it climbed onto Tranlak's shoulder, raised its tiny paw and shook it a few times, asking, Master, you're awake. Dai Tong asked a question and then jumped straight to the ground, it walked around Tranlak once, wagging its soft tail, slowly reporting, their teleportation route was cancelled, this man and woman were both dragged there, here, this woman was injured by the chaotic space and could not wake up for a while. Dai Tong paused for a moment, then continued in a serious voice, just now it was the spirit of the secret realm that saved the master, we took advantage of her still not waking up and quickly ran away. His body was still in a lot of pain, he clenched his teeth, glanced at the woman lying in the distance, then asked the little cat next to him, why didn't the spirit of the secret world directly kill her, ta. Dai Tong followed the owner's gaze towards the woman and said very seriously, such a beautiful woman, are you talking nonsense? 
What's the use of being beautiful? Tranlak said. Then he stood up, not knowing where to find a big rock, holding it firmly in his hand, eyes full of danger staring at that woman. Tranlak continued to say, If if I don't kill her, when she wakes up, I will still be the one who died. Dai Tong raised his head to look at his master and asked suspiciously, Do you want to beat her to death? Tranlak lifted the stone in his hand high. The harsh sunlight shone down, making him sweat. Tranlak cautiously said, Let me think. Thinking for a long time, Tranlak decisively threw the rock on the ground. He turned around and said lightly, Leave, if this woman has a way to protect herself, it will still be her who dies. Dai Tong jumped onto Tranlak's shoulder and softly asked the owner, It was because of this, it really wasn't because her breasts were big. Tranla heard his book spirit say that and scolded him angrily, Shut up, that woman cannot be treated with common sense, perhaps her appearance is transformed by magic, her body is just old, both ugly and a monster. Dai Tong sat neatly on his master's back, hearing him say that, he curiously turned his tiny head to look back at the woman in the distance, thinking to himself, is he old and ugly and still a monster? After walking quite a distance, he felt quite safe, Tran Lak immediately stopped, he raised his hand to hug his aching body, looked around, thinking, here is the woman, it's quite far away, it should be a little safe, but right now I'm both thirsty and hungry, I can only last for one day at most. Sitting down on a rock on the side of the road, Tranlak began to think, with his condition, he definitely couldn't find food, now there was only one solution. That's trying to practice martial arts, the method of practice is to temper the physical body, if it's really effective, being able to support yourself for a few more days would be a good thing. Thinking about doing it, Tranlak immediately bent his legs and crossed his legs on the rock, he closed his eyes, put his hands in front of him, and began to cultivate his physical body, soon, from Chen Lak's body, red earth energy began to flow out. Tranlak closed his eyes to feel every change in his body, his eyebrows furrowed tightly, Hong Chen's energy could truly transport this method of cultivation, his acupuncture points were being cleared. Layers of sweat poured down like a bath on his bare face, he grimaced slightly, seemingly not feeling very comfortable. A moment later, Tran Lak opened his eyes and let out a sigh, his practice was completed. His whole body was drenched in sweat and extremely uncomfortable, Tran Lak immediately took off his coat, the white robe inside was somehow dirty, Tran Lak shook off the outer cells, frowned and said, the meridians purify the marrow, this is to squeeze out the impurities stagnant in the meridians, you have to find a new place to bathe grabbed his clothes and ran to find water, the sunlight was still extremely bright, Tranlak thought sadly, the feeling of weakness and hunger had indeed decreased a lot, but his whole body felt sticky, yes, is not very pleasant. The sun was rising, the sun was getting more and more intense, on that mountain, the woman who was dragging Tranlak away suddenly opened her eyes, she lay there and glanced around. Seeing that there was no one, she slowly sat up, due to her injury, her movements of sitting up were a bit slow, she grimaced in pain, not seeing anything, she said angrily, that rotten boy didn't expect to wake up earlier, the fact that he can even move, is the help of his mind, isn't it? If that's the case, then it's even more impossible for him to escape. I have defeated the goo worm on his body, if I follow the aura of the goo worm, I can find him. Having said this, this woman immediately waved her hand, a cocoon followed her movements and flew out, this cocoon quickly transformed, turning into a giant beetle, this beetle knelt down on one knee, its two hands are two sharp blades raised straight forward, it respectfully says, yes, lady. Tranlak ran around looking for a while but couldn't find a single drop of water, in the scorching heat of the sun, he wiped the sweat all over his face, grimacing and screaming, why couldn't he see even a little bit of water here, Finn. Having just said this, Tranlak's body suddenly changed, he bent down to look at his body, gasped in surprise, his meridians moved automatically, and he broke two more acupuncture points. As soon as he finished speaking, a booming sound rang out, Tranlak was startled and fell face down on the ground, he put his hand around his butt and cried out loudly, it's so bad, he cleared his acupuncture points, but he still had to excrete, if you have impure energy, you will definitely have to go into seclusion when cultivating in the future. At this moment, his two spirit books suddenly appeared, they knelt together with their hands together, their eyes bright as stars, announcing the good news to their master, Master, I have leveled up, awakening a new talent, the big sect next to him also happily responded immediately, Master and me too. It took a long time for Tranlak to stabilize his body, he coughed, threw away his shame and stood up straight, Tranlak patted his chest and glanced at the two spiritual books, calmly asked, the two of you, it seems like there's something different from before. 
Hearing him say that, the kneeler immediately raised his hand, and from his sleeve came out five tiny ghosts, each with different types of weapons in their hands, bows, swords, and swords, rushing forward aggressively, Chung Ni said excitedly, Now, my family can command five little ghosts. Okay, okay, Tran Lak smiled and clapped his hands loudly, he happily thought, at this rate, maybe he will definitely be able to transform into the underworld judge of his previous life. Thinking like that, Tran Lak, full of anticipation, turned to look at the great sect and softly asked, What about you? Dai Tong smiled and said, Hi hi, master, please look carefully. As soon as these words finished, Dai Tong quickly spread out his two tiny front legs, his legs spread wide, immediately opening up a completely new space, with the world as the center. Surrounding him, Tran Lak looked back at this newly created space, unable to hide his fear, stammering, Your awakening, is it an ability like a field? Dai Tong calmly nodded and replied, Yes, then he jumped straight onto Tran Lak's shoulder and sat down. Tran Lak closed his eyes tightly, he raised his hand, spiritual light flowed from his hand, exploring for a moment, Tran Lak spoke neither too fast nor too slow, although the scope was not large now, it was very clear where being influenced by the field that covers me, I become unusually strong. In the future, if I become stronger, then when in the state of the field being activated, I can perform the great sec like a river, then it will truly be a miracle, sure kill move. Having said this, Tran Lak suddenly felt something unusual, he frowned and looked back warily, then snorted softly, I only saw that there was a teleportation formation that was gradually forming. Tran Lak reacted very quickly, immediately raised his fist and punched the direction where the movement occurred, he shouted loudly, something. As soon as he swung his hand out, he punched a giant bug straight in the face, causing Tran Lak to scream in horror. The force from his fist was extremely strong, sending the bug flying several meters back. Tran Lak couldn't help but exclaim, damn it, but the great force like a river already had an effect. The beetle quickly regained its balance, it landed on one side, looked at Tran Lak with disdain and said, you have some bravery, no wonder the owner values you so much. Tran Lak caught the gist of the sentence, frowned and asked again, Master, did that woman send you? The beetle raised the two sharp blades in his hand and hit them hard, causing it to make an extremely shrill sound, it coldly said, The dead don't need to know these things, the next knife I will take your head, you. Tran Lak was not weak either, he grabbed a piece of tree next to him, raised it and pointed it straight at the giant beetle, and said in a harsh voice, Okay, who would have thought, there was still a chance to brag. The beetle's two blades quickly slashed into nothingness, it sneered and said, talking nonsense, go die. Tran Lak did not bother to say much, immediately used the poison fox nine sword technique, breaking the knife. Tran Lak's move roared out, rushing straight towards the giant bug, he thought to himself, the little cat sensor field combined with the poison fox nine sword, could see the trajectory of the move's vital points. Tran Lak's movements were extremely agile, the stick in his hand hit the gang's blade straight, this move made it scream in terror, how could this be possible? Tran Lak didn't bother to say much, taking advantage of the beetle's distraction, he turned his wrist hard, and the tree log stabbed straight into its head, causing it to spit blood from its mouth and fall straight to the ground. Withdrawing the move, Tran Lak said contemptuously, as long as you follow the trajectory of the purple acupuncture point and attack randomly, you can't pull out a normal move, is there anything you can't do, simply put, in front of you, me, you can't even use your skills. Having said this, Tran Lak paused slightly, he turned around and knelt behind him, telling him to eat its soul, they immediately knelt and replied, yes, master. Then flew towards the position where the giant beetle was lying. Chung knelt and reached out to suck its soul, smiled happily and said, Thank you master. He swallowed the monster's soul in one breath, Tran Lak asked behind him if there was any useful information in its soul. Chung knelt digested and searched for a while, then seriously turned around to report, This animal is not a complete monster, the soul has also been refined, but there is still some useful information, the name link whoever there is, he can be chased here very quickly. After listening to Chung Neeling's words, Tran Lak immediately threw down the tree in his hand, he took big steps to leave, saying urgently, that woman was indeed unusual, fortunately she didn't do anything at that time, the game would stab you in one go, but in the current situation, being caught up is a matter of sooner or later. Chung knelt down and followed, a bit worried and asked, so what should we do now? Being asked like that, Tran Lak became even more anxious, he ran faster, hastily telling the kneeler, what else should we do, now first find a place to shower and hide, I don't believe her, can chase me to the ends of the earth. Somewhere deep in the forest, inside a giant heart beating beat by beat, a cold sound rang out, that sound screamed loudly. 
Right after that, a hand with sharp nails stabbed into the heart that was protruding out. The heart was quickly torn apart, a demon-like woman sat neatly inside the heart, she said lightly, I still have to let me personally come out. This woman stuck her long, slender legs down and walked out of the heart. Her body was surrounded by thick demonic energy, she said contemptuously as she walked, run away, run to the ends of the earth, you won't be able to escape from my palm. In Yavanan district, the little Juan helped Tran Tuyan arrive, Tran Tuyan's face was panicked and he cried out in worry, Sir Wei, is there any news about my younger brother? Wei Yan wiped the sweat from his forehead, holding a notebook in his hand, sadly saying, we have already calculated the three destinations of that space road, now we are not sure where it will end up, they have all been completed, send someone there. Tran Tuyan was so worried when he heard that, his blind eyes couldn't see anything, he had a hard time pulling the little ring next to him down, both of them knelt down straight on the ground, clasped their hands and prayed, no matter what, I also hope someone can save my younger brother, I only have one relative left, if he is no longer there, I will be too. Wavium saw Tran Tuyan kneeling down and was about to kowtow to him, so he immediately stood up, ran to help her up, softly reassured her, rest assured, we will definitely do our best, Tran Lak will definitely be fine, nothing. His mouth said so, in his heart, Wei Yan secretly thought, all three places have sent people from town we and company to go there, and everywhere has also mobilized the help of the demon race, Tran Lak, you must live, there. Sunset, on that mountain, in a small stream. He was happily bathing, cool streams of water running through his body, washing away the dirt on his body. After bathing for a long time, I happily looked at my clean body and said to myself, luckily, I found this stream, otherwise I would have been rotten to death by my own smell. While soaking in the stream, Tran Lak suddenly sensed danger, he reacted very quickly, flying his naked body out of the water. But below, a powerful force just hit the spot where he just stood, Tran Lak was startled, he turned his head and shouted, who is it? I only heard a soft croaking sound, followed by a frog wearing a cloak appearing on the ground. Tran Lak regained his composure and let out a breath, then lowered himself to sit down on the stream. He glanced in confusion at the frog that had just appeared. I don't know where he pulled out a big red bag. He made a noise while reaching into the bag to look for something. A moment later, this frog pulled out a white cloud from its pocket. Around this cloud, spiritual light continuously circulated. This frog climbed up into the cloud, then flew straight to the place where Tran Lak was soaking, it looked at him and then croaked. As soon as this cry ended, countless mantras appeared from nowhere and entered my mind. Tran Lak felt a bit uncomfortable, he scratched his ears a few times, felt the spell for a while before turning to say to that frog, what you mean, attacking me is because I have the smell of frogs on my body, insects, and you hate insects, right? The frog heard that and croaked again, now he could understand what it wanted to say, so he waved his hand and said, it's okay, no need to apologize, I just killed an insect, probably because of that, this. Seeing that this person said there was no need to apologize, the frog did not bother to say more, immediately rode the cloud and turned away, Tran Lak saw this scene and thought helplessly, wow, that's very cold. Above a certain mountain, the dazzling sunlight shined straight down on a large manor. At the same time, an earth-shattering scream rang out from inside the manor. What? Kim's grandson. The grandmother's meditation has also disappeared. At the conference of hundreds of demons, after hearing that terrifying scream, the demons began to whisper, and a buffalo demon spoke first. Isn't that a common thing? A love goat heard that and continued to speak. It seemed like many times in the past few months. The rabbit demon sitting next to him closed his eyes and continued, The young master is truly a worrying demon, I wonder whose turn it will be to get this lucky this time. As soon as I said this, a few knocking sounds suddenly rang out outside the door, the demons inside immediately fell silent. The door was pushed open from the outside, a foot slowly stepped over the doorstep, slowly entering inside, the person who just entered was Mrs. Kim Tian, followed by two maids, Mrs. Kim Tian looked at the group of demons in the room, then slowly spoke. Everyone has received the award from the town Wien Company. Hearing this, this group of demons immediately clasped their hands in reverence and shouted, Grandma, everyone has received it. Yes, Grandmother, everyone has received it. Mrs. Kim Tian nodded with satisfaction, slowly walked to the chair and sat down. She continued to say, Okay, the prize from the town's company is five moonflower rings. The old man also added three pieces of sun, Tin Chu. Mrs. Kim Tian said this, the maid immediately brought up a wooden tray, on top of which were three sparkling golden moon crystals. 
Seeing this, the demon's eyes immediately glowed, they exclaimed in horror, the moon flower cycle contains the essence of moonlight for a hundred days, while the sun moon cycle contains twice the time of the stars, sunflower, if you get these treasures, it will be like suddenly gaining a few years of strength, worthy of being called the golden zen lady, with this generosity, truly worthy of being called a great demon. Mrs. Kim Tian sat up high and looked at the terrified expressions of the demons below. She didn't pay much attention and continued to speak. The person who needs to be found this time, that tyrant, is of course important. But if the old man has already taken action, being so generous is also having personal thoughts. I hope everyone can conveniently find my only grandchild. That beast stole a Tian Li depending on wind talisman. Now I don't know where he went. The four words Tian Li depending on the wind and wind rang out like lightning. The demons thought in horror, it took two or three years of salary to be able to buy this life-saving magical treasure, just like that the magical treasure was taken away to be used for their own purposes, leaving home. Kim's only grandchild is that frog, he is in the same place as Tran Lak. Looking at it wandering back and forth here, Tran Lak soaked his body in the stream and thought doubtfully, hasn't this guy already said goodbye, why has he come back several times already? Tran Lak conveniently washed clothes, observing the frog's actions while thinking thoughtfully. Seeing it circling around on the stream bank, Tran Lak finally understood the problem. Seeing the frog leaning blankly on a rock, Tran Lak temporarily put on some pants and climbed up to the shore. He looked at the little frog and asked. He was lost. The frog croaked and said, How do you know? It jumped up on the ledge, looked at Tran Lak and asked again. Tran Lak immediately replied, You've been back and forth several times. If you can't see it, that's the problem. This frog didn't bother to talk to Tran Lak anymore, he didn't know if he was talking to him or something, but he turned around and walked away with a croaking voice, this boss is far from lost. Looking at the frog's back, Tran Lak silently said, this frog has a stubborn personality. Speaking of this, his stomach suddenly made a gurgling sound, Tran Lak raised his hand to rub his hungry stomach, silently lamenting that he didn't bother to take care of it anymore, he had to find something to eat to fill his stomach first. He got lost in the nearby forest and found some wild fruits. He sat on the cliff, looked at the small fruits in his hand, and said with some disgust, Why does this fruit look so ugly? Just as he was about to put it in his mouth to eat, the grass in front of Tran Lak suddenly moved slightly. He immediately straightened his back alertly. Who would have thought that before he could do anything, the frog jumped out of the bush and flew right into Tran Lak's face. He let out a startled cry, the impact was so strong that Tran lost his balance and fell straight to the ground, the other frog was not much better, flying in one direction, Tran Lak put his hands on his face, cried out in pain, why you, the frog also asked, how dare you follow my uncle. A red frog shaped mark appeared on his naked face, he stood up and angrily said, if you bump into me, don't apologize, then stop it, and dare to blame me. The frog didn't say anything, he suddenly sat down on the ground, pulled out the red bag from behind his back, reached out to rummage for something, and said to Tran Lak, look at the part where you just follow this boss, this big guy, I will use the Pearl of the East Sea to do business with you. What this frog said made Tran Lak not understand anything, his head was full of big question marks. Wait until it pulls out a shiny, earthy pearl before exclaiming in horror. This pearl seems to be very precious, behind you is a space magic weapon, are you the young master of some great demon family? The frog put the pearl on the ground, crossed his arms and calmly replied, that doesn't matter, as long as you take me out of this cloudy mountain, this thing is yours. Hearing what he said, Tranla began to think in his heart, he could easily take out this pearl, I'm afraid his background is not small, if he can have a good relationship with this guy, then when he falls in love, if a woman catches me, she will get an extra guarantee, right? Thinking so, Tran Lak immediately smiled and agreed, okay, I will do this transaction. Putting on his clothes, Tran Lak put the frog on his shoulder, as he walked slowly, he stuffed the wild fruit he had just picked into his mouth, Tran Lak grimaced and exclaimed, this thing is too sour, if it weren't for I'm so hungry, I really don't want to eat this. Speaking of this, he glanced at the frog sitting on his shoulder, only to see it opening its mouth and spitting out a round seed. Tran Lak asked curiously, what are you eating? The frog made a sound and said, refining blood pills, medicinal pills can help my body refine my blood. Tran Lak heard him say that and was even more confused, he frowned and asked, what did you spit out, can't you eat those things? The frog opened his mouth to eat and leisurely explained that it was a blood pill, there was a layer of sugar on the outside, this young master only ate that sugar coating. Tran Lak heard this explanation and was speechless, he glanced at this small frog again and silently assessed, is this a rich person, as expected, rich people in any world cannot use it, common sense to understand them. 
Tranlac carried the demon frog and left the stream. As soon as he disappeared, a small vortex suddenly formed in the air. A teleportation array was gradually forming. Just a moment later, this teleportation array shook a few times, spitting out two demons. They did not have time to prepare and fell to the ground. These two demons quickly sat up. The fox demon spoke up. Huang Tam Ca, this teleportation spell is too strong. The leopard named Huang Tam Ca raised his hand and patted his face a few times and replied, Sen brother, if I had money, I wouldn't need to use this teleportation talisman. Third brother Huang stood up, turned to talk to old brother Tong next to him. The two of us working as bodyguards for someone for 10 years is not easy to earn a little money. Now we should still save a little. After all, on the black market to save money. Changing to refined blood pills is also very expensive. He paused for a moment, thought for a few seconds, then continued, If I could refine blood pills and purify my bloodline, I would also become a demon king. Hearing third brother Huang say that, old brother Tong was a bit embarrassed and scratched his head and said, I don't have as great an ambition as third brother Huang, I only hope to exchange for a few blood refining immortal pills, so that I can enter blood refining, seeing. Thus, when my child is born, the ability to open spiritual wisdom is very high, I can also consider it as a wonderful ancestor of the light sect. Third brother Huang patted his shoulder and praised, You are truly a very practical person, ha ha, old brother Tong didn't know what to say anymore, so he opened his mouth and laughed a few times, having said that, the two did not intend to talk any further, they lifted their feet and walked forward to quickly find the young master. But just after taking a step, the third brother Huang didn't know what to step on and slipped and fell straight to the ground. He shouted majestically, Oh oh, what is that, what dares to get in my way? When third brother Huang said this, he suddenly let out a loud noise, he bent down and picked up a round pill, observed it for a while, then asked his younger brother Tong behind him, Little Tong, refining blood pills, we don't need to buy them anymore, old brother Tong didn't have time to understand anything. Hearing that, he was confused and asked, Why? Third brother Huang stood up, raised his hand holding the pill, happily said, This is it, we have made a fortune today, quickly continue looking, maybe there will still be one around here. Say it and do it right away, in the sweltering sun, these two monsters are busy searching for blood pills, their calls to each other can be heard endlessly, third brother Huang, there are also here, Tu Tong, I also picked them up, get one pill, also available here. The culprit who trashed these blood refining pills is now leisurely sitting on bare shoulders, happily eating sugar peels and spitting seeds. The frog had eaten its fill, put its tiny hand around its round belly, and suddenly it called out, Human, Tranlac didn't have time to understand what he heard so he asked, What's going on? The frog spoke neither quickly nor slowly, I see that the smell of insects on your body is getting stronger and stronger, have you bathed yourself just now by the lake? Tranlac frowned slightly, sniffed the clothes on his body and said, I took a bath and threw them away that were dirty. So why? said the frog, then he put his hands behind his head and lay down on his bare shoulders. In another corner of the forest, the woman who dragged Tran Lak away was slowly moving, her body was surrounded by a thick demonic aura, as she walked, she squinted her eyes and said, Little brother, I'm coming, I'm looking for you. The two demon emperors, third brother and old brother Tong, went all the way to search for blood pills and immediately found Tran Lak, the two of them hid behind a tree, staring wide-eyed at the frog on Tran Lak's shoulder, opening its mouth and leisurely spitting out pills, medicine out. Third brother Huang witnessed this scene and said in horror, It seems we are not picking up the abandoned goods of the trading group, but the young master of the demon clan. Old brother Tong heard that and immediately said, Isn't that very good, we can follow and pick it up, stay a little further away, don't let them find out, we've picked up a lot, we can. Having just said this, the third brother Huang suddenly spoke up, interrupting the old brother's words, Look carefully, it's just the strength of one person and one frog, not at all an opponent of our brother, if that's the case, so, why not take his bag directly? In there, perhaps there are treasures that we brothers cannot buy in this lifetime. These two demons saw the benefits in front of them, and were completely blinded by blood refining pills, evil intentions rose like a tide in their hearts. After thinking carefully for a while, old brother Song suddenly raised his hand and tugged on third brother Huang's hand. He said in fear, third brother, no, I, Tong Thu Hang, although I have a low status, have been honest and hardworking all my life, we have done bad things, but when things touch people's blood, there will be no place for us to hide in the great mystery at that time. The third brother Huang has now lost his reason. He gritted his teeth and shouted, Old brother, this is wealth offered to you, why do you keep stopping? Do you think I can deal with them alone, star? 
Seeing him so excited, old brother Song, or should I say Tong Fu Hang, quickly hugged him tightly, reassuringly saying, Third brother, don't be impulsive, calm down. Third brother Huang was upset, not bothering to think about the feelings of the past, he raised his foot and kicked the book and fell to the ground, angrily cursing, Trash, a person like you should let others kill him all his life, so, wait for me to kill them, then go alone to the land of love in the south to adventure. Not paying attention to this weak guy anymore, the third brother Huang flew towards Tran Lak, leaving only one sentence, This matter, I have done it for sure. Tran Lak carried the demon frog on his back as he walked, suddenly sensing danger, he glanced behind him with cold eyes, silently saying, I mean, there is murderous intent. As soon as these words finished, a cold sword suddenly slashed from behind, the extremely strong sword energy made Tran Lak's heart jump, he quickly cried out, Who is it? The demon frog next to him also croaked in panic. I only saw the third brother rushing forward loudly, he raised his hand, a palm print appeared in the middle of his palm, a magical blood pattern move, the poisonous dew rose fell on Tran Lak's head. Third brother Huang said with disdain, no one can withstand my magical blood pattern, go die. After saying this, the sharp sword in his other hand slashed loudly, but before his eyes, the world was now gone, replaced by a mist. From this mist, a hand shot out, aimed at the third brother's neck and squeezed. Tran Lak gritted his teeth and said, You are too bold. The third brother Huang now no longer has the same fierce and murderous appearance as before. When he was restrained, he immediately deflated like a balloon, stammering and begging, Sir, please spare his life. His mouth said that, in his heart, Huang Tan brother thought in horror, he stepped on someone who was stiff. Give me a reason to spare your life. Tran La held your neck tightly in front of me. In my heart I thought, if I can't open the martial arts of the earth and enter the realm of clear blood vessels, this stench will kill me. I'm going to die here. This monster really wants to kill me. I, I, the third brother was strangled so tightly that I couldn't say a complete sentence. I could only moan a few painful sounds. Tran Lak still kept the strength of his hand, only to see that this demon's eye suddenly turned red, both cheeks bulging clearly. The demon frog sitting on his shoulder immediately stood up, clenched his two tiny fists, startled and shouted loudly, smelling like insects, throwing it away. Tran Lak heard this and immediately followed suit, waving his hand and throwing Huang Tam Ca into the sky, his body suddenly swelled up like a balloon, then exploded in midair. Tran Lak quickly retreated a long distance, his back leaning straight against a tree, his arms raised to cover his body. At this moment, a faint clap rang out, followed by the voice of the woman who had taken away the dust, she said, the flesh body of the monster in the blood refining realm added to its explosive neck, unexpectedly, if I don't hurt you, I'm even more interested in you. Tran Lak lowered his hand, looked at the person who had just arrived, frowned and said, it is indeed you, the demon frog on his shoulder asked curiously, what is that? Hearing this question, the woman turned her eyes to look at him, then asked, new friend, why don't you introduce yourself? Tran Lak thought for a while and decided to run away, the woman looked at his back and remained silent without saying anything. She crossed her arms and said faintly, run away, try to run away, can you run away from this lady's palm? The demon frog on his bare back followed him as he ran like flying, measuring it and saying, enemy. Tran Lak paused for a moment, glanced at the frog and said, Mr. Frog, do you have any powerful treasures on your body, it's best to throw them out so you can explode the monster's body. The frog thought for a moment and then said, There is no such thing as a treasure, are you in a clear head, besides, I am a runaway. I don't know what method that woman used to catch up with this one person and one frog. She leisurely folded her arms and leaned against the tree, glanced at her and said, Little brother, where are you running to? Tran Lak was startled, took a few steps back in fear, waved his hands, and couldn't run anymore. As soon as he finished speaking, Tran Lak suddenly raised his hand and grabbed the frog demon tightly, it didn't understand what was going on, so it immediately shouted, what do you want to do, quickly let this boss down. Of course, Tran Lak didn't let it down, he leaned slightly, waved his hand and threw the frog far away, then shouted, this has nothing to do with you, run away. The demon frog was suddenly thrown away, it opened its eyes wide and thought to itself, this idiot. Tran Lak didn't pay attention to it anymore, he shouted, don't look down on me like that, then reached out and grabbed a nearby tree branch. Firmly holding a tree branch in his hand and pointing it straight at the woman standing opposite, Tran Lak gritted his teeth and said, even if I can't beat you, today I have to tear your clothes to bring benefits to passers-by. The woman snorted coldly, her hand also raised high, she coldly said, hmm, you're about to die and you can still talk nonsense, today I will chop off your head and squeeze your chest out to take the text, heart. 
Following this woman's hand movements, four or five giant beetles roared out. Tranlak refused to be weak and immediately opened his mouth to call. Kitten, Dai Tong immediately appeared, cried out and said, Here is Meow. Looking at the crowd of bugs surrounding him, Tranlak said contemptuously, Humph, killing one bug is still killing, killing five is still killing. After saying this, he firmly grasped the branch in his hand, without thinking too much, rushed straight up, swung the branch hard and hit a bug in the head, causing it to fall back, splashing fresh blood. Tranlak did not stop, continuing to use the unique nine-sword attack, breaking the knife, and continuing to fight the remaining four giant beetles. The woman on the side clasped her hands together, silently exclaiming, Not bad, it turned out to be such a kill, if you clarify this, you can play a little bigger. She muttered something, waved her hand forward, then shouted, breaking the wind. Tranlak raised the tree branch in front of his body and shouted, I can see through it. But before he could act, the tree branch in front of him was hit in half by a strong palm. The force of that palm carried a trace of coldness, slashing so hard that it scratched the naked body, and blood suddenly sprayed everywhere, he was knocked back, thinking painfully, is this a difference in strength, even if you see through it, it doesn't mean anything. The woman in front of me said coldly, I hate weakness, I hate weak little people who resist. After saying that, she waved her hand again, her palm aimed right at her bare legs and slashed down. Looking at the struggling man at her feet, this woman coldly continued, waiting for your heart to be refined, I will use your flesh as a puppet, next to me, how about, next to a beautiful woman, like me, you should be happy. Chung Ni and Dai Tong saw this woman wanting to harm their master and immediately rushed out, Chung Ni quickly cried out, don't try to hurt my master. This woman didn't pay any attention to these two spiritual books at all, she raised her hand, her palm shot out from both hands, cutting the great sect and the kneeling general in half. Chung knelt and Dai Tong screamed in horror, then completely disappeared. Tran Lak below witnessed this scene and screamed angrily, kneeling down, kitten. Each image of the first time we met in the past appeared in his mind, worshipping the master, once again introducing my book spirit. It's called, Great Sect, how about, master, I've leveled up, awakened a new thief, master, me too. He couldn't hold back his emotions, his face was already full of blood, but now it looked even more ferocious, his bare hands clenched into fists, he shouted and rushed forward, I will kill you. That woman made a move and said in a cold voice, I've changed my mind, if I kill you, my master can also create a heart mark from your corpse. This woman is too strong, Tran Lak is not her opponent at all, in a situation where her life is hanging by a thread, a long tongue rushes from afar, wrapped around the lost person and dragged him away. The woman was interrupted, glanced at the damn frog and scolded her, not knowing whether to live or die. After saying that, she gathered her strength, her hands quickly slashed out countless sharp palms. Tranlak turned his head slightly to look at the frog, frowned and said, Don't care about me, quickly go, take my place, Tanchao, Vanan District, Tranfu, take the word. The frog demon was carrying a red bag on his back and calmly interrupted him, Don't tell him to leave, you throw this old man away, you've touched this big man, this time you'll get the benefit. When he said this, he stuck out his long tongue, Tran Lak looked at him in confusion, not knowing what he was planning to do, he only saw this frog demon putting his two tiny hands together in front of him, muttering a few words, something then raised his voice and shouted, using soul magic. The frog demon spread its arms wide, sparkling spiritual light continuously circulated around its body, it opened its mouth and shouted the word open. As soon as these words finished, a magic array behind the frog demon gradually formed, this magic formation was star-shaped, inside were countless sparkling stars, the newly created magic formation quickly engulfed naked body, pulling him into the center of the eye. Then, under the frog demon's control, the formation seemed to grow stronger and stronger, followed by a whirlwind of wind, the woman below was blown away by a strong wind, causing her clothes to fly away. She raised her head to look at this scene and said contemptuously, just a little demon, just here to die with her, this is the consequence of not being self-reliant. As soon as she said this, a blinding light suddenly flashed in the air, and the woman let out a confused sound. I only saw in the sky at this moment, a giant shadow gradually appeared. The woman saw this illusory image and took a few steps back, exclaiming in horror, great demon beast, pure essence, why did it appear here? Tintin slowly landed on the ground, it opened its huge mouth and roared. Without warning, it turned into a tornado and rushed straight towards the woman standing. At this moment, she seemed to have discovered something and cried out in surprise, that kid, he's not dead, what exactly happened? 
As soon as the mention of Tranlac was mentioned, he immediately landed straight down on the ground from the whirlwind in the air. Strange totems appeared on his body, like the shape of a certain constellation, and around his body, Tranlac aura circulated, non-stop. Tranlac glanced sharply at the person in front of him, coldly said, I will kill you, to avenge Chung Kui and the great sect. The woman smiled faintly, not bothering to put this little brother in her eyes. She continued to make moves, curled her mouth and said, Do you think that by creating this strange phenomenon you can defeat me? The gap in strength between you and me there is one sky and one world. Die. Tranlak did not respond. He raised one hand high. Spiritual energy shot straight out from his fingertips. He opened his mouth and shouted, Here comes the sword. As soon as these words finished, the frog demon's bag from above began to open from the inside. Right after that, a sharp sword rushed out and landed straight into bare hands. As soon as the sword came, Tranlak immediately grasped it tightly, then he used all his strength to slash, blocking the woman's attack. This war was extremely fierce, Tranlak breathed heavily. The woman stepped back slightly, retracted her hand and made a new move, then coldly said, Do you think I only have that little ability to crush him? As soon as she finished speaking, the woman's palm force began to change, aiming right at the top of Tranlak's head. He also refused to be weak, turned the sword in his hand, and suddenly struck out with a single move, breaking the aura. The two of you came and I took dozens of moves, Tranlak's sword was placed on this woman's neck. She was not surprised, a thin layer of ice appeared on her neck, this woman faintly said, Don't underestimate the six Ranku master, there is only a thread between me and you great Confucians. An ancient purification technique, the hell-killing needle was activated, the hair on the woman's back seemed to have life, they turned into strings that hit the mortal body straight. Tranlak immediately took a few steps back to avoid this attack, the hair still refused to stop, continuing to chase every step of Tranlak. Waiting until he had moved a considerable distance away, that hair stopped attacking, Tranlak stopped and thought, the farthest we can only go is here. On the opposite side, that woman coldly said, I didn't expect to be able to force me to this extent, I really underestimated you, from now on, you will know, what is the sky in the world? As she finished speaking, she opened her hand, from the palm of her hand, a wisp of blue smoke came out, this smoke rose high. Then gradually disappeared, a loud noise rang out, on the ground, an ancient, tyrannical six-grade blood beast appeared. Looking at the tyrannical six-grade blood beast that had just appeared, Tranlak was not afraid at all. He raised the sharp sword in his hand and attacked with one sword breaking move. As soon as this move was released, the intense aura carrying the murderous cloth began to circulate around his naked body. His long hair was blown back. The six-grade ancient blood beast monster has three extremely terrifying spiked heads. It simultaneously bared its three sharp teeth, roared in unison, then flew its huge body high into the air, rushing towards the ceiling, lost. The woman behind the control of the demon beast gritted her teeth and said, even though she was already dead, she was still talking nonsense. Tranlak didn't bother to pay attention to those provocative words, his teeth clenched tightly together. His face drenched in sweat rushed forward to fight the tyrannical monster. After a battle, the two sides quickly separated, both alertly turning their heads to look at the other. Tranlak turned around and sat down in a defensive stance, the sword in his hand was still clenched and not let go, he thought to himself, be careful with your hair, these living animals are not easy to handle. The ancient six-blood beast also retreated to one side, three tongues sticking out, looking straight at the mortal man with longing. Tranlak pondered for a while, then his eyes suddenly lit up, he silently said, yes. On the other side, the woman raised her hand to control, dominated, and sucked all his blood from me. The six grey blood beast of ancient tyranny heard the command and immediately roared, its three heads and six red eyes ready to rush out at any moment. On this side, Tranlak's upper body is bare, the totems of the constellations clearly appear on his body, one hand is holding a sword, the other hand is refining his own blood energy. The woman saw this and cried out in horror, Ha ha, are you crazy, you dare to suck out your own blood. Tranlak didn't bother to pay attention to this woman, at just the right moment, he waved his hand, sending the blood energy coil that had just been refined flying straight towards the tyrannical six-grade blood beast. Even though this monster has three heads, it's still not very smart, seeing the enemy throw a round ball at it. It hungrily opened its three mouths and let out a loud scream, then rushed forward to grab that lump of blood. The woman saw this and her eyes widened and she shouted, Hey, tyrannical, come back quickly. Before the words could even be uttered, Tranlak had already approached her position, he raised his sword, replaced the anger in his heart, and slashed hard at her body, blood gushing out loudly, boom, dyeing the entire sky red. 
He didn't stop there. Tranlak continued to slash through this woman. He coldly said, if you risk fighting and keep looking around, you will die very miserably. The woman was beaten so much that she couldn't keep up and fell straight to the ground, unable to stand up. Tranlak had no intention of letting her go. The sword in his hand was raised high above his head. He gritted his teeth and said, it's over. Who would have thought that although that woman was injured all over her body, in the moment of life and death she did not know where she would get the strength. She raised her hand to block Tranlak's sharp blade, gritted her teeth and said, Don't be too arrogant. The woman said this and screamed. A pair of purple wings immediately appeared behind her. She continued faintly, forcing my ancient destiny to appear. I now admit that you have some ability. This woman's hand was like a pincer, holding Tranlak's sword extremely tightly. He tried several times but still could not pull it out. At this time, Tranlak's face was drenched in sweat. He gritted his teeth and thought to himself, I can't draw the sword. She used her special ability to hold her sword. But right at this moment, the frog demon suddenly sent a message, quickly think of a way to deal with her in one fell swoop. My demon power is about to run out. The wings behind the woman's back flapped loudly, and the wind and dust began to swirl. She still held Tranlak's sword tightly, speaking contemptuously, but now, you must regret coming so close to me, turn into nourishment for me. Hearing this woman say this, Tranlak suddenly realized, he opened his mouth and exclaimed, I know, the earthly energy, the last power I can use. Thinking like that, from the heart inside the naked chest, a few strands of red earth energy began to creep out, this energy became more and more dense. Starting from the heart and then releasing out of Tranlak's body, this strength was extremely strong. Tranlak didn't need to waste any effort to pull out the sword from that woman's hand. Then knocked her back, Tranlak retracted his sword and breathed a few heavy breaths. When he stabilized his body, Tranlak raised his eyebrows and said, It's over, I want you to pay for their lives. Speaking of this, the murderous aura around his bare body flared up. Looking at the woman at his feet, he raised his sword high and said in a harsh voice, Kneel down, kitten, I have avenged you too. The blade carries an amazing hatred, aimed right at the heart of the woman on the ground and plunges down. She currently has no strength left to resist, her eyes are wide open, staring at the sharp tip of the sword that is about to pierce her body. But in the last second, a long, slender hand suddenly popped out from nowhere and lightly touched the sharp tip of the sword in front of the woman's face. Looking at a long, slender hand raised from nowhere, Tranlak couldn't believe his eyes and exclaimed something. The other finger lightly touched the tip of the sword, the tip of the sword was like dust, instantly dissipated and disappeared on the spot. Tranlak let go of his remaining sword hilt, his face was drenched in sweat, and behind him was a layer of cold sweat. A beautiful woman appeared from nowhere, standing in front of the dying woman. The dying woman's breath was weak. Seeing the person who had just appeared, she stammered and called out, Master, what are you doing? The female so-called master interrupted her disciple. Her hand with sharp nails spread out. Her voice was cold. She did not expect that her fake goo was also seriously injured. No wonder the shadow goo automatically activated. Lord my mind here. If it weren't for the teacher who planted the ancient image in front of your chest, you would definitely die today. The seriously injured woman spoke weakly, ashamed of her master, but this brat was truly difficult, he had gained his heart and his strength had become unfathomable. Hearing his disciple say this, the master immediately glanced at Tranlak and questioned, is it you who stole our text? Tranla put one foot on the ground panting, he glanced at the person who had just appeared, silently assessing, no, this guy's aura was too mysterious, it was completely impossible to feel what his strength was, anyway, me too. Having said this, Tranlak completely lost his last bit of strength, he fell straight to the ground, and the frog demon in his body also immediately jumped out. The other master opened his hands, bent down to look at Tranlak from above and said, Van Tam, come here. The text heart had merged into one with Tranlak's body and quickly emerged from his back, peeling off the text heart, this guy could not live for many more moments. The frog demon thought so, he used the last bit of his demon power to fly into the air and opened his mouth to scream loudly. A piece of magic spell came out of nowhere, covering Tranlak's body, the female master suddenly stopped. Looking at this scene, I wondered, this is the Taoist top class body protection talisman, blessed by the heavenly officials. She took a few steps back in horror, looked around and asked her disciple, is this place Van Van Mountain? The disciple below nodded and replied, yes, master, what about Fu Van Mountain? The master didn't say much but immediately started the teleportation. Then he bent down and lifted his disciple up, quickly saying, quickly, get out of here. When the disciples heard that, they were skeptical and said, can you just leave, Van's heart was still there. 
The master couldn't think too much, immediately interrupted his disciple, Fuvan Mountain is the place of hell, that green frog is afraid that he has a good relationship with the Taoist, the master is just an illusion, shadow, if it leads to a Taoist master, it cannot protect your safety. Leading his disciples into the teleportation cave, the master turned his head slightly and looked back, full of malice and said, Van mind, I will come get it later. Waiting for these two women to leave, Tranlak was still unconscious and lying still, his consciousness entered the forest of dream flowers again. Looking at the two towering wooden pillars in front of him, Tranlak frowned and asked, Are you guys just kneeling in a little cat, blame me for not being strong enough and not being able to protect you? Speaking of this, an illusory figure suddenly appeared behind Tranlak, this figure spoke, they are not dead, the book spirit is the power in the book that manifests, the book is immortal, the book spirit is also immortal. Hearing this sound, Tranlak frowned in alarm, he turned his head, looked at the illusory figure in front of him and said, who are you, why have I never seen you? This illusory figure clasped his hands and said respectfully, in the spirit of the secret realm, he paid his respects to the Lord. Tranlak is completely confused now, he said doubtfully, the spirit of the secret realm, the name of the little cat has been mentioned before, if they are not dead, how can they be resurrected? The spirit of the secret realm stretched out its hand and slowly responded, allowing more people to read the book and naturally be able to once again condense their spirit and reappear in the outside world. Hearing this answer, Tranlak's fists suddenly clenched together, he gritted his teeth and said, it turns out that we need more readers, but if we don't become stronger, even if we are resurrected, it won't be possible, can protect their safety. Thinking for a while, Tranlak firmly clasped his hands and bowed his head, softly asking, spirit of the secret realm, tell me how to get more books. Saying so, he thought to himself, if you receive many books, then you can become stronger, I need to become stronger, I need to become stronger than anyone, to be able to protect everything I have. When the spirit of the secret realm heard Tranlak's question, it suddenly stopped for a moment, it put its hand on its chin and thought for a moment, then said, it needs luck, and we are here, in the eyes of heaven, this is a non-existent thing. The Lord needs to accumulate enough luck, use the luck to trade with heaven, then we can appear in this world. Hearing what the spirit of the secret scene said, an image of a balance appeared in his mind, he furrowed his eyebrows and said, trading with heaven. The spirit of the secret realm had not yet had time to answer, but it gradually disappeared, before turning into nothingness, it quickly said, someone has noticed me, boss, later on people will understand, even if they face me, with the heavenly way, people do not need to lower themselves. Waiting until the spirit of the secret realm completely disappeared, Tranlak still clenched his fists, he thought for a moment and then frowned in thought, heavenly way, it turns out that reading leisurely books is against the heavenly way. He looked up at the high blue sky of the dreamland flower forest and said sarcastically, then I'm definitely going against the sky. But the man wanted to defy the heavens, his physical body was now lying with the green frog on the shabby car, being pulled by a messenger. I tried my best to pull the card and carry the mail while breathing heavily and silently lamenting. The third brother was unfair, but I couldn't do anything cruel. Dragged them to the nearby medical shop. I will leave. As a reward, the grace of blood pill refining is over. He focused on pulling the card and completely ignored the glowing eyes peeking out from behind the grass around here. The two demon bears growled and talked to each other, that seems to be the small pavilion owner of the lost land since Tian Pavilion, that person is probably the Van and Ba that Town Wien Company is looking for, let's go out and rob them now, they go. The demon crow sitting on the tree heard that and immediately scolded, you guys are crazy, those two people are now seriously injured, Mrs. Kim Tian and Tran Wien Tai think we tried to hurt them, so what? The two demon bears immediately protested, we just want to get the reward to find someone, we absolutely do not want to harm anyone, that's right, we are all good monsters, if we eat meat we buy it on the market. The black crow stood up, immediately curled his mouth and said, so you all need to think carefully, what should you do in the end, that is the perfect plan. The two bears heard that and said sadly, let that squirrel take them there, it was really unwilling, we clearly saw it, the prize fell out of their hands. The crow demon sat on a tree, resting his wing on his lap, not too quickly or slowly giving ideas to those two demon bears. The squirrel knew at a glance that he was not a native demon. Why did he claim the prize? Well, the announcement said to bring them back. We just need to participate. Isn't there a prize? Hearing that, the two demon bears' sadness was immediately dissipated. Their eyes shining like stars stared at the demon crow with admiration. They seemed to have found the light of truth in their lives, immediately stood up, ran forward, raised their hands and cheered, yes yes yes, as long as we bring them back, it will be considered our merit, already. 
These two demon bears suddenly rushed out from the bushes, startling the merchant pulling the cart. He cried out in horror, Bear, is this a local demon? These two demon bears approached the mail store, warmly greeted and introduced, We are on the same road, we will help you push the cart, are we going to Fu Van Ward? Without waiting for the squirrel monster to say anything, the two bears threw him onto the cart, then one pulled the cart and the other held a stick and went ahead to pave the way. The merchant sat on the cart and looked vaguely at these two bears, thinking to himself, what is this, having met a good lover? The stroller was pulled through the grass, a few pairs of red eyes looked out, followed by a few whispers, not good, the big bear, the second bear took a step forward again, what should we do now, just like that look how they got the prize. The demon crow jumped out from nowhere, it flapped its wings to chase away these demons, shouted loudly, no need to care anymore, go help push the cart, even if you don't get the prize, you can still get acquainted with the peanut, the land gives birth to the owners. When the little demons heard these words, they immediately realized it, quickly rushed out and ran towards the cart, saying in unison, yes yes yes, it's good to meet each other, that's the kindness of the lost land since Tian, quickly, hurry up and push the cart, take a good position, I'll push the cart too. I want to push the cart too. A group of demons ran out from nowhere, scaring the squirrel monster to death. His face turned pale. He thought to himself, are all the demons in Van Van Mountain so enthusiastic and hospitable? Just like that, walking a long way, escorting this tattered cart back to the city was a group of demons following one another, with no clear end in sight. Banners and flags fluttered across the sky as if welcoming a noble person back to the city. The crows watching the door were terrified when they saw this scene. Why were there so many demons at the same time? Did something big happen? Hurry up and report to the shopkeeper. Without needing to be called, the shopkeeper clasped his hands and walked out, saying seriously, there was no need to be confused. What if there were so many of these idiots? Our ward was just vanity. It wasn't like we could just walk in at will. At this moment, the demon bear went ahead and opened the way to the door of Fu Van Ward, shouting loudly, in front of him was Fu Van Ward, quickly. The crane shopkeeper heard the commotion and immediately flew out and asked, Farm owners, what are you doing in Fu Van Ward? The big bear took a step forward, pointed at the tattered cart behind him, and urgently said, Shopkeeper crane, there's something going on, it's a big deal, look on the cart. The shopkeeper followed the big bear's instructions and looked inside, only to see that in the cart, Tran Lak and the green frog were lying unconscious in the same place. The shopkeeper couldn't hide his horror and immediately shouted, Little master, Ayo, how did you get injured like this? After bringing Tran Lak and green frog into Fu Van Fuang, seeing everything happening in front of him, Tong Thu Hang now clearly understood the problem. He trembled and retreated to a corner to stand next to a maid, his face drenched in sweat, thinking to himself, he didn't expect that he would save two great people. He tilted his head to look at the bowl of steaming medicine on the table, his eyes widening as he thought, is this the legendary dragon blood wood, and tea, just based on the taste, it makes his blood boil, clearly, obviously a good thing to help practice, the most powerful thing is this one. He stopped thinking of this and secretly glanced at the maid standing silently next to him, this girl was the demon he had met in his entire life as a messenger. At this time, the secretary looked up at the bed next to him, looking at Tran Lak and the green frog lying on it losing consciousness, the green frog lying flat on Bear Lak's chest, the secretary exclaimed, who would have thought that these two unremarkable people, one is the only grandchild of Mrs. Kim Teen, the landowner here, the other is the new crown count of the great dynasty, third brother Huang, you really have blind eyes. At this time, the shopkeeper Hawk came in from outside, clasped his hands to greet Song Thu Hang and said, If Song Lin has any request, just leave it to him. Now you can think of any reward you want. Go to the land to make money. Definitely won't disappoint you guys. What a reward, Song Thu Hang thought, then raised his head slightly and secretly looked at the maid next to him. Dusk gradually fell. The sky became dark. Green frogs are placed on a small wooden tray and brought to Mrs. Kim Zen's residence. Mrs. Kim Tian took one look at him, angrily scolded him. You son of a bitch, let's see if you're still stubborn, how much suffering you have to endure. The maid in the back also worriedly asked what was wrong with the grandmother and little ancestor. Mrs. Kim Tian sighed, her eyes did not leave the green frog lying quietly in the tray, slowly said, there is nothing wrong with her body, it's just that the goblin fragments in her body have been completely consumed, but her soul is gone, this beast, has merged with someone else. When the maid heard this, she couldn't hold back her anger, ice appeared all around her body, she clenched her hands and shouted angrily, who is so bold, the maid is now going to tear his soul apart. 
Mrs. Kim Tian saw that she was too excited, so she turned her head slightly and said sternly, Take it back. The maid obeyed, quickly retracted her cold murderous aura, obediently stepped back, bowed her head and remained silent. At this time, the maid in charge of Tran Lak pushed the door in from outside, bowed her head to report, the grandmother, Aunt Ice, and that Uncle Vannon had woken up. Hearing this sentence, Mrs. Kim Tian then turned back and said to that maid, that soul-carrying person was the newly appointed Van and Bo of Dai Wien. The young lady called Di Bang heard this and was stunned into shock. On the other side, Tran Lak had just woken up, he sat on the bed, reached out to massage his aching head, silently lamenting, it hurt so much, he didn't know how long he had been in a coma, Tran Tuyan must have been at home worrying, gone crazy. Speaking of this, Tran Lak paused slightly, he raised his eyes and looked around, wondering, where is this? Was extremely confused, suddenly there was a noise outside, then an old woman led her maid into the room, this old woman was Mrs. Kim Zen, as soon as she stepped inside, she and the maid behind her headed towards the room, Tran Lak bowed his head respectfully to greet, old man, Dao Mong Kim Tam Tuan, pay his respects. Tran Lak sat on the bed not understanding anything, bewilderedly looking at the two people who had just arrived, blindly thinking, Kim Tam Tuan, what a familiar name, it seems like it's some movie that Mango bought the rights to show. Thinking so, he immediately got out of bed, clasped his hands and said, it was you two who saved me, right, thank you, I don't know, you two saw a green frog, a very small one. Afraid that these two people didn't know, Tran Lak even used his hand to simulate its shape and said, roughly like that, he is my brother. Mrs. Kim Tian looked at his movements for a while then calmly shook her head and said, The green frog you're talking about, we didn't see it. I couldn't see. Tran Lak was startled and asked again, not thinking much. He immediately ran away, worriedly screaming, He must have fallen somewhere, we have to go find him, he is definitely injured, we can't help it, something will happen to him. Mrs. Kim Tian moved aside. The maid called Aunt Ice immediately reached out and grabbed Tran Lak and said, It's okay, we were just testing you. Tran Lak heard this and turned his head to look at this maid, wondering what this meant. At that time, Mrs. Kim Tian used her wooden stick and walked closer to Tran Lak, slowly explaining, Sir, don't be in a hurry, I'm just being bold and joking with the Lord, that frog is my grandchild, dear, right now I'm in my room resting. Hearing this, the worries in Tran Lak's heart immediately dissipated, he breathed a sigh of relief, clasped his hands with Mrs. Kim Tian and said, It turns out that's how it is, my lord has a life-saving kindness towards me, Tran Lak, extremely grateful. Kim Tian's grandmother did not show any expression, slightly nodded and replied, Since you said that my nephew is your brother, then the old man, who is old, recognizes you as grandmother, and is not called a lord, again. Tran Lak saw that there was no problem with this and immediately said, Of course it is possible, Granny Kim, can I go visit him? The maid in the back rank heard this and quickly spoke up to stop her, It can't be done now, we have to know what you've been through. Hearing her ask that, Tran Lak furrowed his eyebrows, looking into the distance and sadly said, This story will take a long time to talk about. I don't know how long it took, but when she heard the story clearly, Mrs. Kim Tian breathed a sigh of relief and said, she didn't expect so many things to happen, the ancient clan once only existed in legends, appeared again. The maid called Aunt Ice was next to her and immediately continued speaking, so in order to defeat the ancient maid, you had no choice but to sacrifice your soul. Even though Tran Lak had woken up, his body was still very weak, he sat back on the bed, nodded and said, that's true, but, listening to the tone of the two people, that woman was very strong. Mrs. Kim Tian saw that he didn't know, so she explained, it is said that when heaven and earth were first born, the first living thing to nurture was the goo worm, it absorbed the energy of the red butt and grew unusually strong, but I want to swallow the heavenly way and become my own master. The spirit of heaven defeats it, it falls down and turns into 3,600 living beings, called goo, the terrible poison that ordinary people cannot withstand. There is also an organization that searches for the ancient gods, wanting to recreate the ancient gods again, called the ancient sect, in order to have great power to slaughter innocent people. The righteous path is not cruel, so the five directions Confucianism, Buddhism, and evil savages took action to kill them, but unexpectedly, the remnants were still alive. Mrs. Kim Tian said stop here, the maid next to her immediately spoke up, although Gu Mon is hateful, but the important thing right now is not this. Hearing that, Tran Lak frowned, looked at the two people in front of him and asked, is it important, he said. 
Without letting Tran Lak finish his sentence, the maid bowed her head and interrupted him. My young master was young and ignorant, full of enthusiasm, and used the art of soul fusion to use all his treasures. I personally lent it to the Lord to repel the enemy. Now that the Lord is safe, can he dispel the soul magic and give back my young master's independent soul? Earthly pleasures are truly obscure, he asked. Is the soul independent, so what should I do? The maid knew that Tran Lak had agreed, so she immediately happily smiled and said, It was very simple, just need to separate the soul of the person and the young master, and the young master would have an independent soul. Tran Lak stroked his chin and wondered, Is it just that simple? Mrs. Kim Tian, who had been silent all this time, spoke up in a serious voice, Of course not, after separation, you may become stupid, but we will take care of you for the rest of our lives, there will be no shortage of wealth and honor for a lifetime. Hearing the two words stupidity, Tran Lak was startled and thought, the Frog Brothers really saved my life, but left me stupid for the rest of my life, wouldn't it be useless to come here, but, if we don't agree, meaning, showing himself to be an ungrateful and ungrateful person. Thinking for a moment, Tran Lak decided to frankly say, I'll think about it first. Hearing this answer, Mrs. Kim Tian and her maid immediately turned black and glared at Tran Lak. The maid could not keep calm, raised her voice, My young master, is the purest bloodline that can only be obtained in a thousand years, born of pure blood, comparable to an ancient demon, what about you, you are the seed of great Confucianism, or a disciple of Taoism, you are not worthy of sharing the soul with my young master, you are just a mortal. Hearing the maid speak so harshly, Mrs. Kim Tian immediately shouted and shut her mouth. She turned to look at Tran Lak's unsightly face and said softly, The young man didn't understand, he had offended the Lord, you should think slowly, we'll take our leave first. Waiting for the other two to leave, Tran Lak still sat silently on the bed, his face covered in sweat. He closed his eyes and spoke softly, it turned out that he felt unworthy, ha, bullying a poor teenager. But outside, Mrs. Kim Tian and her maid were walking down the hallway, the maid was walking behind, worried all this time and asked, Ma'am, can we really go ahead? Not letting this maid finish her sentence, Mrs. Kim Tian raised her hand, interrupting her, she said, Kuei Kuei's mother is the rarest celestial fortune in the history of Timo, taking the celestial fortune as her formula, eating, natural birth magic, good luck, evil, she is not for the sake of giving birth. There are 10,000 years of longevity, but an ordinary person like that, will be the good fortune of the past, will the good fortune of the Team Oa clan. Stop the ice, Mrs. Kim Tian called the maid's name and continued, My sister Win Ha gave me a magic weapon, called Soul Shock Tower, it does not hurt the soul, it can also separate the soul, I will bring it to you, it is given to you. If Dai Wien is responsible for the crime, I can admit it myself. Ningbing received the soul-shaking tower that Mrs. Kim Zen gave her, and firmly said, No need to do that, Mrs. If I did this, it would be my fault. After finishing speaking, she hugged the soul tower tightly and flew away. Mrs. Kim Tian stood in the silent hallway, looking at the increasingly distant back of Kong Bang, thinking to herself, Although shaking the tower does not hurt the soul, the suffering when shaking the soul is not that of a normal person. Usually can endure, that tower is actually an execution tool of the Taoist sect. In the living room, Tran Lak was sitting cross-legged on the bed, practicing with his eyes closed, around his body, red air was rolling out, constantly circulating. After practicing for a long time, Tran Lak let out a breath and said in a low voice, The twelve meridians were only half open, I don't know when I will be able to completely break through the meridian level, at that time, I don't know if there will be any strange phenomena. Tran Lak was thinking about the pros and cons, not paying attention to when the frozen maid's soul had entered the room. She rushed to the place where Tran Lak was sitting, thinking, Today, she must take the young man's soul, the master separates, even if you are stupid, that is your fate. Tran Lak sensed the change, alertly turned his head and shouted, Oh! Condensation's soul approached and strangled Tran Lak's neck, coldly shouting, Follow me! Kim Tian's grandmother stood in the yard, watching a cold streak of light streak across the night sky. She exhaled a breath, thinking to herself, Freeze, it's all up to you. While he was pondering in his heart, the shopkeeper Hawk rushed in from outside to report, The master, Tian Lang Dao Mon's army has arrived. When Mrs. Kim Tian heard that, she turned around in confusion and asked, Master Tian Lang came to me at this time. Why, could it be because of the matter of Sister Van Ha lending me the soul-shaking tower? Having just said this, Tian Lang Dao Quan came in from outside, smiled and said, Tam Tuan, great joy, I heard that Fu Van Mountain saved a Wien Van and uncle. Mrs. Kim Tian quickly ran out to welcome her, hesitantly saying, Ah, right, what's wrong? 
Tian Lang Dao Quan narrowed his eyes and said, Quickly invite Mr. is the wise master of our religion. Hearing this, Mrs. Kim Tian was startled and exclaimed, Ah, why? Tian Lang Dao Quan heard the question and seriously said, Master Tran Hien Luang has a book spirit, named Chung Kui, which can swallow ghosts, it is very beneficial to my Dao sect, it destroys the spirit of ghosts and cannot fall into our hands, of Confucianism and Buddhism. Kim Tian's grandmother changed color slightly, hesitated but could not say anything. At this moment, in the dark night sky, a blinding light came from nowhere, followed by a loud voice, coming to welcome the Imba. Wei Yan landed on the ground, Aura still lingered around his body, he clasped his hands respectfully and said, Tian Lang Taoist, the matter of you ordaining me is great we and Van and Ba, we are already over, Van and Ba is now dead, is he resting? Tian Lang Dao Quan nodded slightly, then turned to ask Mrs. Kim Zen, yes, the gentle master of our Taoist sect, is he resting? When Mrs. Kim Tian heard the question, her face was drenched in sweat and she stammered, saying, Master, way great confusion, the thousand and ba, gentle master, she hesitated and couldn't say a complete sentence. But at this time, Tran Lak was taken into another space, the space inside the soul-shaking tower, he looked around, confused and exclaimed, This is, where is it? At this moment, a shrill sound rang out, hitting Tran Lak's eardrums, he painfully clutched his ears, screaming in terror. This is the shock of the soul, the painful and painful world that takes forever to realize. His body began to change, spiritual light flashed around his body, only then did his naked body return to normal, he removed his hands and looked at himself from bottom to top in disbelief. People born with the exception of prodigies have their souls and bodies more or less a bit distorted. And Tranlac is no exception, but this time of soul suppression makes Tranlac's soul and body completely merge. Confucianism calls this Van Kuklan mortal, Taoism calls it innate Tao body, Buddhism, then it is considered to be without structure. Outside the soul shaking tower, Kong Bang knocked on the bell and cried out in horror, Why have you knocked so many times? There is no response, this soul shaking tower is the last. Before she could finish her sentence, the shock tower had already shaken violently, frozen standing below and looked up in horror. She turned pale and thought to herself, this is like 200 years ago, following her grandmother to see Tan V's salvation, but why did she appear here? From the soul-soothing tower, a dazzling halo of light emanates, making people unable to open their eyes. Condensed the ice to cover her eyes, she let out a scream, not understanding what was going on. At this moment, against the pitch-black sky, a strip of seven-colored spiritual light stretched out. His frozen eyes opened wide, stammering out, This, this is, through the sky. Wei Yan and Tian Lang Dao Quan could not hide their shock. Wei Yan rolled his eyes and said, Through Tian Lo, but unexpectedly it was the fourth through Tian Lo. Taoist Tian Lang's face was now drenched in sweat, his voice trembling as he spoke. The saint opened the lecture, the blue color spread across the sky, opening the way of Confucianism. The Tao spoke, the purple color came from the east, opening the way, the heavenly path of the Buddhist sect. The Buddha said, the earth connects the golden lotus, opens the heavenly path of the Buddhist sect. At this moment, both of them raised their heads and looked up, without warning they exclaimed in unison, now, the spirit has lost color, the moonlight has receded, there is a great sage who has opened the fourth heavenly path with seven colors. Only now did Mrs. Kim Tian, who was next to her, regain her composure and opened her mouth to exclaim, two seniors, this place where luck has descended, seems to be the residence of Van and Ba Tran Lak. The fourth seven-colored heavenly passage was opened, stretching across the sky, everyone could see it. At Van Suing Pavilion, Van Tuong Yan Bok Shuyan raised his head and looked up at the sky, looking at the open road, holding his left chest with one hand, exclaiming, Teacher, your wish is about to come true. He remembered what his teacher once said, all his life, the only thing he wished for was the world, people like dragons. Lamenting life for a while, Nyan Bak Chuan turned back to call someone, a guard quickly stepped forward, bowed his head, waiting for orders. Nyan Bak Chuan instructed, tomorrow to get up early, to spread Chung Kui's summary of Van and Ba to the media throughout the capital, this guard received the order, respectfully shouted clearly and then immediately left. The next day, on the street, a group of guards knelt down with their hands in their hands and advertised for sale everywhere, getting up early is, in short, the convenient morning version, by a local storyteller, at the stall reading the latest news or poems to everyone, of course also including entertaining books written by Tranlac, this decision will make Tranlac famous throughout the capital, and even open up a method of telling stories in episodic novels, of course, chapter breaks still have to be broken. 
At Thudwang Mountain, the great celestial master Tan Vai Dao Quan stood on the top of a hill covered with clouds and mist. He stroked his beard with his hand and said in a low voice, The fourth path of cultivation through the sky appeared. This world is about to change. Changed it. In the western region, the yellow sands reached the sky, the top of the giant tower. The great Bodhisattva raised his head and looked up to the sky, clasped his hands and smiled and said, The person who opened this path has a predestined relationship with my Buddhist sect. So I protect the Dharma for my Buddhist sect. When the disciples sitting below heard this, they shouted in unison, carefully following the instructions of the great Bodhisattva. In the southern border, on hundreds of thousands of great mountains, in the holy monarch's palace, noisy discussions resounded. Did the cold blue bamboo of the human race attain enlightenment? No, in the end, who was it that opened the passage, fourth heaven? The person sitting in the main chair stroked his chin in thought for a while, then slowly said, three thousand miles of the heavenly road, enough to practice to the equivalent level of blood refining, this is not important. What is important is that this person still has the ability to continue to open the path or not. Confucianism, Taoism, Buddhism, the three paths to heaven, are all ten thousand miles. If this person opens another three thousand miles, my demon race needs to be prepared to deal with it. Hearing this, a pair of blood-red eyes opened and said in a cold voice, That's it, put it on the agenda of the sanctuary, pay attention at all times. In the barbarian plain, the northern region, and the golden wall, a voice rang out, Ah Lang, it's late at night, why haven't you returned to the palace to rest? The person called Ah Lang had strong muscles and was standing on the city wall looking up, he heard the call and quickly responded, Selina, the human race has another path to practice, at this time they were cheering. Selina is a girl with red hair, she came to stand next to A Lang, not too worried and said, A Lang, if you are worried, you might as well find someone to open the way. Not waiting for Selina to finish speaking, A Lang interrupted her and said, It's just a 3,000 mile open road, it can't change the overall situation, I really hope he can continue to open another 3,000 miles. But at Fu Van Mountain, at this time, condensed ice was resisting the powerful spiritual energy emitted from the soul suppression tower, while thinking in horror, how is this possible, a normal person, not even gifted at reading, has not awakened, how could someone open the way to heaven, there must be someone nearby, that's for sure. Inside the soul suppression tower, from within Tran Lak's body, a powerful stream of spiritual energy suddenly flowed out, a fire flared up, breaking the soul suppression tower from the inside. Ningbing raised his sweaty face, he couldn't believe his eyes, heaven's destiny, heaven was rewarding him, he was indeed opening the way to heaven. Condensed as if she had lost all her strength and fell to her knees on the ground, she thought, what have I done in the end, to underestimate a genius that can open the way to heaven, even if counted 10,000 years ago, Confucianism supreme saint, Tao sect patriarch, Buddha sect patriarch, this person's natural talent can also be considered an ancient disciple. At this time, Tran Lak had gone out, he went to the ice condensation place, lowered his head and asked her, do you have anything else? Ning Bang thought that she could not escape the crime she had committed, so she raised her hand and turned it into a sharp ice stick, aimed it right at her throat and said, all mistakes are the maid's fault, the maid has eyes and does not know the mountain, please don't get involved with your grandmother and let it go. Seeing that this person intended to commit suicide, Tran Lak reacted very quickly, immediately raised his hand, blew away the sharp ice stick in his hand and froze, shouted in a cold voice, seeing that I was a piece of trash, he wanted to be shocked to the core, if you see that I have the ability, then immediately die to apologize for your sins, are you all filled with a rind in your head? Ning Bing was extremely scared, not understanding what this person in front of him was saying. At this moment, Kim Tian Ba Ba, along with the puppet VM and Tian Lang army, hurriedly rushed over, Kim Tian Ba Ba quickly shouted, Stop freezing, we were confused. At this time, Tran Lak immediately walked over, clasped his hands and said, Thank you for your previous help, but tearing your souls apart is a bit inappropriate, so we can consider that no one owes anyone anything. Tran Lak said this, then stopped, he opened his hand, a small green frog soul was lying still in his hand, Tran Lak brought this soul in front of Mrs. Kim Zen, softly said, this soul save it, you and I will have no more relationship from now on. Mrs. Kim Tian looked at the green frog soul, speechless, in her heart she thought, what was a great opportunity, but at this moment we have ruined it. Thinking of this, I saw Tran Lak raise his hand and scratch his head, cautiously saying, but he was my brother, he risked his life to save me, I should repay him, but now I have nothing left in my pocket. At this moment, Tian Lang Dao Quan, who had been silent all this time, suddenly took a step forward, smiled and said, I have, my Dao Palace has a secret, called Tin Nok, pour Tin Tin into it, you can receive it, great opportunity, enough to repay the kindness of saving lives. 
Tran Lak didn't know who this person was, so when he heard what he said, he came closer, clasped his hands and asked, Who are you and why are you helping me? Tian Lang Dao Quan smiled and said, I am a true person of Tian Lang Dao Palace, I have a great opportunity to come to you, as long as you agree to be a good teacher of my Dao Palace, then what I just said is absolutely true. Tran Lak heard that and frowned, he was a little confused and asked, Good master, what position is that, if it's too troublesome, I can't do it. At this moment, Wei Yan also came forward, looked at Tran Lak and explained, The virtuous teacher of the Taoist sect is the one who develops the resources for you, and doesn't need you to do anything, you can understand that you are yours, are you charging a fee to protect the religion? When Tran Lak heard him say that, at first he didn't really understand, but after a moment he realized it, his eyes lit up and he shouted, Isn't that so happy? Tian Lang Dao Quan immediately nodded and replied, Yes, that's true. He raised his hand to scratch his face, helplessly thinking to himself, But this way of talking about collecting protection fees, it just feels so weird. Receiving this answer, his eyes lit up like stars. He quickly grabbed Tian Lang Dong Quan's hand, excitedly said, Please let me collect your protection fee. Tian Lang Dong Quan didn't know how to explain anymore, so he nodded and replied, Okay, okay. Waiting for Tran Lak to calm down, Tian Lang Dao Quan turned to Kim Tian Ba Ba and stopped freezing, giving instructions, You all go down, this place has no business for you anymore. These two people immediately respectfully responded yes and left. Tran Lak stretched out, Tian Lang Dao Quan stood aside and thought to himself, This Kim Tan Porn is really confused, he almost let his grandson cling to this 4,000 year old man. Mrs. Kim Tian left step by step, sadly lamenting that the old man was confused. Tran Lak walked up to Wei Yan, clasped his hands and said, Wei Dai Confucius, can we go home now? Of course, Wei Yan said. But before he could finish his sentence, Tian Lang Dao Quan jumped out to interrupt him, Good teacher, don't rush, my religion has a soul contract method, taking the person as the master, merging the soul with the appropriate monster, stronger, the village has many blood vessels. Tran Lak was not very interested, waved his hand and said, Okay, I have to go home. Determined to keep people as long as possible, Tian Lang Dao Quan quickly shouted, Our Taoist sect has a Tian Long Lake, choose a dragon girl with superior qualities to the wise master, what do you think? Hearing the name of this dragon girl, Tran Lak immediately stopped walking, an image of a beautiful girl appeared in his mind, Tran Lak ran to Tian Lang Dao Quan and asked, Are you telling the truth? He immediately nodded and replied, Absolutely true. Wei Yan heard that and said coldly, that place was just a bunch of fake dragons crossing the dragon gate to transform into dragons, much worse than Tin Team Village. In the lake, the old man remembered that the youngest baby dragon was an electric eel, 260 years ago. Are you still interested? Tran Lak thought of the long, slippery image of the eel and jumped up and shouted loudly, Damn, he almost got caught. Sure enough, the gifts his wife received were not good products. Tian Lang Dao Quan silently cursed Wei Yan in his heart, this hateful guy, he almost agreed. Wei Yan didn't pay attention to Tian Lang Dao Quan's dagger-like eyes, looked at Tran Lak and said, Follow me, you can't go home yet, you have to go to the central capital to receive the investiture first. Boy, now now you are already the boss of great mystery. Tran Lak said yes and followed him, Tian Lang Dao's army was left behind, clutching his head in pain and screaming, the only chance to strengthen the relationship was also lost. At this moment, as if remembering something, Tran Lak turned around and asked, You are Taoist Tian Lang, I still have something to ask. Hearing this, Tian Lang Dong Quan quickly replied, Good teacher, just ask, I will tell you everything I know. Tran Lak thought for a moment, scratched his head, stammered and said, You guys, why do you want me to charge you a protection fee? Oh, you want me to be a good teacher of the sect? Tian Lang Dao Quan smiled and replied, Because he was kneeling, Tian Lang roughly told Tran Lak about the importance of Chung Kui. After hearing these words, Tran Lak immediately exclaimed, It turns out it's because Chung Ni has the ability to eat souls. You guys don't want to give up this specialized skill of banishing demons. That's why you're hoping for my Chung Ni, hanging on the name of your religion, right? That's right, Tian Lang Dao Quan said, Worthy of being a gentle teacher, his ability to understand truly makes people admire. He said that with his mouth, in his heart he secretly thought, But like that, the common Ni will no longer exist, as an ordinary book spirit. Tran Lak will also be responsible for my religion, this person is close to Confucianism, I'm afraid. Tian Lang Dao Quan's train of thought was interrupted, Tran Lak spoke, then let's do this, using the name is fine, it's all about driving away demons, if it's good then it's a good thing, the name doesn't matter. 
Hearing this sentence, Tian Lang Dao Quan pondered, it was a good thing to get it, isn't his name important? The temperament of the virtuous master was unexpectedly so great. Looking at Tran Lax leaving back, he silently exclaimed, it turns out, my Taoist manners are low. Tian Lang, thank you for your guidance, he said respectfully, clasping his hands. In the distance, Tran Lak followed Wei Yan, smiling and asking, If I have been awarded the title of Van and Ba, is the mansion big, are there many maids, and are they beautiful? Wei Yan glanced at him helplessly, without saying anything, but walked faster and faster. At this moment, I was completely unaware that I was hiding invisibly. Wei Yan's carriage flew high in the sky, his angry voice rang out, he didn't expect so many things to happen on this trip, the ancient gate really bullied people too much. Tran Lak sat to one side, put his hand around his aching body, bowed his head slightly and said, Fortunately I had the opportunity to risk death with the book spirits to protect each other, but that's also why I had the chance to read the text, important. Wei Yan patted his shoulder and said, It's been hard for you, this matter won't be ignored like that. At this moment, Tran Lak seemed to remember something and raised his head to ask, But senior, it's about my path of practice, I want him asked. Hearing him say that, Wei Yan immediately raised his hand and made a stop motion, slowly explaining, This matter is beyond my authority, there is no need to say anything to me, when you arrive in the central capital, there will naturally be a document, the general will personally ask you, but before that I have something to ask, you must answer honestly. He paused for a moment, rearranged his words and then seriously asked, Is the path of practice you have opened related to the great Confucian literature of the past? Related, Tran Lak let out a breath and replied, Is there a problem? Danger said nothing, he bowed his head and stroked his chin thoughtfully. After a while, he spoke again, Confucianism has some extremely old-fashioned old men, you are not a disciple of Confucianism, you have learned the heart of Confucianism and even opened a path to practice, I'm afraid there are a few people, will give rise to unrealistic thoughts. Listening to the worry in Jia Viam's heart, Tran Lak asked in confusion, Van Tam chose me, what does it have to do with them? If they want to cause trouble, let them come and fight with me to refresh themselves. Speaking of this, Tran Lak made a simulated fist swinging motion, Wei Yan immediately reached out his hand to stop his fist, saying seriously, don't get excited, this is a matter of honor and righteousness, this is the basic gift, we can't blame them, but we also have a solution, countermeasure, are you willing to worship Confucianism? Tran Lak reacted very quickly, realizing the meaning in his words, immediately asked, Do you worship him as a teacher? Wei Yan heard this and waved his hand in panic, saying, Don't, don't, I don't have that qualification, I accept you as a disciple, my status is above the old man, the one who opened 3,000 miles of heaven and earth, and this old man only in the realm of great Confucianism. I'm afraid being your teacher won't be able to protect you. Hearing him say this, Tran Lak immediately bowed his head and clasped his hands and said, I understand, no matter what, seniors are my elders, I will treat them like teachers. At Thu Duong's son, we in Dan Palace, the deepest place in the underground palace. Taoist Tan Vi was holding a talisman, he raised the talisman in his hand. Muttering a few words, the stone door of the mysterious altar immediately opened, Taoist Tan Vi clasped his hands behind his back and slowly walked inside. Inside the palace, right in the middle is a giant ice pillar, with a person being kept inside. Taoist Tan Vi looked at that figure for a long time, then spoke up, Sister, it seems I made a mistake again. Tian Lang turned back and said, That virtuous master that I ordained was the one who opened the practice, the fourth route, knowing this early. Wouldn't it be better to directly accept him as a disciple? Hayes, if you sat in this position of great heavenly master, you wouldn't be as confused as I am. Inside the ice pillar, a beautiful woman was lying there, as quiet as sleeping. In the central capital, early the next morning, on a horse-drawn carriage leisurely going down the road, a guard announced to Bak Xu Yan that Van and Ba's literature had been distributed to the morning preachers, just waiting for the market to open early in the morning. Nyan Bak Xu Yan stroked his beard, not showing anything but just saying yes. The guard continued to say, the writer really chose the right talented person, an unknown character like Van and Ba, and the literature he wrote was personally arranged and distributed by you, which is a great blessing for him, him. Hearing these words, Nyan Bak Chuyan immediately opened his eyes, spoke with a serious voice, spoke carefully, this is not his great blessing but Nyan Bak Chuyan me, my great Wien's great blessing. The guard heard that and thought to himself, could something written by an unknown person be my great blessing, I don't understand. 
At the early market, where stories are told, everyone gathered here, seeing that the storyteller had not yet arrived at this hour. There was a stir of discussion. Why hasn't the storyteller come yet? We are the wise men that the founder personally gave orders to. Why did he could this be so late? I'm afraid Mr. Man will go to the little river again today. Right, right. At this time, Tran Lak was sitting in a corner, the table was full of all kinds of food, holding a mantau in his hand, as he ate, he opened his mouth and rolled his eyes, exclaiming, it was so delicious, I hadn't eaten normally for many days, ha ha. The second young man in the back saw this person eating and drinking like a tiger, so he was frightened and stopped, please eat slowly, I won't be able to pay for it if I eat. Tran Lak continued to stuff food into his mouth, completely ignoring this little guy. At this moment, a figure passed by his desk, with one hand holding a file of paper, the other hand quickly stuffing a mantau into it, mouth. Looking at this person's indifferent expression, Tran Lak immediately said to the young man behind him, the smell of makeup, I'm afraid this scholar's living style is a bit chaotic, what good things can this kind of person say, where you calm down is actually a solo song, right? Tuni heard Tran Lak's words but didn't understand anything. He scratched his head and asked a little embarrassedly, What is a single song? The scholar who just walked past the Tran Lak table was the gentleman telling the story, male euphemism. He quickly stabilized his position. His face was covered in sweat. He clasped his hands together, apologizing to the people around him. I'm late. Sorry to the monks. Early this morning I will tell about a story, something quite special. Tran Lak chewed his food and said contemptuously, How special is something like you? Nam Vuong and Yep sat up there, took a breath, raised his hand, pointed forward and shouted loudly, In the newspaper today there was only one story, about Tan Chao Vanan district, Tran Lak Tran Dong Lu, ordained by His Majesty Great Wien, is Vanan Ba. In the literature to read is the period written by Van and Ba, called Chung Kui Brief Story. Tram was in a corner, just picked up a cup of tea to drink a cup, but was startled by Nam Uwen's words and immediately spit out all the water. Tran Lak took out a handkerchief to wipe his mouth, his eyebrows furrowed together, thinking in horror, the group of puppet seniors are so fast, they spread their message to me so fast. The people who came to listen to the story heard Nam Uwen Tian say that and started whispering in each other's ears, Tran Lak, who is that, I've never heard of it before, Van and Ba, is this a real win title, nowadays, isn't the most taboo thing about conferring titles with real power, our dynasty has an organization, there are no merits, no titles, what merit does this Tran Lak have, how old is Tran Lak, is he Confucian or Taoist? These discussions were not loud, but enough for Tran Lak sitting in a corner to hear, he and Tune he were both bewildered, not understanding what was going on. Nam Vien Tian sat in one place, waited for the crowd to quiet down, then cleared his throat to continue. Tran Lak Fake, 19 years old, a loyal servant, wrote strange prose and knelt down to summarize the story, reading it can ward off ghosts, but people don't have that, reading talent, can also read. Hearing him say that, Tran Lak was very pleased and thought, this sir is also good. At this time, Nam Uwenningheim continued to say, Chung Neeling, is a person from Chung Nam Shan Te Mountain, outstandingly talented during his youth. At the same time, all the storytelling tea houses in the central capital, all the storytelling masters, slowly read out Chung Kui's short stories. The people who came to listen to the story couldn't help but be surprised and discuss with each other, is there such a strange thing, Chung Neeling is truly a strange person, the story is so meaningful. Tran Lak sat quietly in a corner, images of Chung Kui and Dai Tong appeared in his mind, he silently said, Old Chung, you will soon be back. Tran Lak raised his head to look at Nam Uwen Gi who was talking endlessly above, silently assessing, this person tells very interesting stories, in the future he can be used to write serial stories. While thinking about this, the little monk behind him suddenly leaned into his ear and said in a low voice, Uncle, it's not early, I have to go see your palace, okay. Hearing that, Tran Lak nodded in response, he adjusted his clothes and stood up to leave. Once outside, the voices of people listening to the story were still echoing, Wow, strange writing, really strange writing, this thousand anbo is really not simple, I really want to get to know this strange person, in the end, what kind of strange person could write such strange prose? Tran Lak heard all these words and thought with interest, even a small story like this could lead to bombardment in this world without entertainment books, so what if there were more humorous and arrogant stories about the gangsters, I don't dare to think, I really don't dare to think. At Van and Ba Palace, outside the palace gate, Wei Yan had been waiting for a long time, next to him was a white horse, seeing Tran Lak coming, he immediately spoke, waiting for you for a long time. 
Tran Lak quickly approached. He raised his eyes to look at the large and luxurious palace in front of him. Couldn't believe his eyes and exclaimed, This is mine. The little monk next to him immediately bowed his head and said, Yes, this is Van and Ba's mansion. Tran Lak still couldn't believe it and asked again, Are you sure you showed me a house and not an entire subdivision? Wei Yan didn't understand this, so he asked in confusion, What is a subregion? Tran Lak did not intend to explain this to Wei Yan, but at this time he heard the little monk next to him say, The uncle is laughing, please come in, let the servant take you to have a look. Hearing that, Tran Lak immediately raised his hand and made an okay gesture, smiled and said, Okay, if I go alone I might get lost. Tran Lak thought that puppeteer would come with him, then he heard him say, Cough, I'm not going in, I'm just here to say hello, next I have to go see the literary minister. Three days after coming to court, I came back to the court, come pick you up. Hearing that, Tran Lak did not hold him back, he watched his disappearance and respectfully bowed his head and said, Thank you, senior. At Van Suing Pavilion, as soon as Wei Yan lowered his body, he clasped his hands behind his back and looked at the surrounding scenery, thinking to himself, Teacher is also here, if Tran Lak can worship him as teacher, then his future future will definitely expand immensely, after all, he is also a character of the same level as General Van Chuan. Wei Yan pushed the door open, saw someone inside and immediately said hello, Master, I'm home. In the room, there were two people playing chess together, one was Van Tuong Mian Bak Shu Yan, the other person was Tong Tui Chi, puppeteer's mentor, when he saw someone entering the room, Tong Tui Chi immediately turned around and asked, Are you done with the arrangements for that kid? Is everything finished? Wei Yan clasped his hands and bowed his head and said, There is someone to entertain, I am here to inform Prime Minister Wen. Van Tuong Yan Bak Shu Yan nodded, raised his hand to stroke his beard and said to Wei Yan, then retreat, then he turned to the person opposite him and asked, do you want to go see that kid? Tong Tui Chi smirked, raised a chess piece in one hand and calmly replied, whatever happens, your old man is two steps short, and you've lost. Hearing this, Yan Bak Chu Yan immediately looked down at the chess board, then angrily rushed over and grabbed Tong Tui Chi's collar. Yan Bak Chu Yan scolded, there was a fart, Tong Tui Chi, do you think the old man couldn't see it? Did you use your divine powers to see and understand before playing chess with me? When Tong Tui Chi heard that, he shouted back, don't steal and shout at the same time, it's your old husband who uses his knowledge to take two steps ahead. But at this moment, Wei Yan, the real Confucian genius with the power to see and see, was standing at the door, helplessly listening to these two people arguing, Tong that husband, see how this old man can predict your move, Nyan that husband, see how this old man can predict your prediction. Waiting for these two people to calm down, Wei Yan continued to say, Master, I have something to ask you, can you accept Tran Lak as your disciple? When Tong Tui Chi heard this sentence, he paused for a moment. A moment later, he turned to look at Wei Yan and said, I cannot accept him as a disciple. At Van and Ba Palace, a servant reported that the entire palace had a total of 20 rooms, 12 independent small courtyards, two main halls, six maternity wards, and two large courtyards. There are also eight miscellaneous places such as stables, water rooms and kitchens. As soon as he heard that, Tranlak's eyes lit up, is it that big, if I sold it, wouldn't I be able to return to Vannon District to live for the rest of my life, the servants obviously don't know his heart and still said warmly, all the household appliances are complete, you see if there is anything else that needs to be added, the servant will call someone from the bud service department to come. Tranlak then asked, how many square meters is such a big house, and how much is the average house price per meter now? As soon as he heard that, the other person's eyes became panicked, you want to sell your house, that's a serious crime of beheading. Tran Lak enthusiastically continued asking, could he rent it to someone else, the other person also shook his head, no, it would be a crime to behead him. Tran Lak was extremely upset in his heart, no, the so-called royal residence was actually a transformation of a big prison that wanted to lock himself up in the capital, he might not even have to confiscate the land tax, so what, do you still have to think of a way to make money? Thinking of this, he angrily scratched his head, hateful, didn't I come to enjoy happiness, the almond in the back didn't understand anything, he could only look at him in bewilderment. Next to literature. He expressed his incomprehensible feelings, master, why don't you accept Tran Lak as your disciple? The other person replied dejectedly, not saying he didn't accept, but saying it was impossible. Fellow writer said, Tran Lak is a good seed, although he has not yet awakened the talent to penetrate poison, he has already opened the fourth path to penetrate heaven, if such a talent is not recognized, it is not. He hadn't finished speaking yet when Tang Tui Chi interrupted, it's not that I don't want to accept it, it's that your master wants to accept it. 
This word was like a thunderbolt that struck the writer's ears. He cried out in panic, Why does the master want to accept Tranlak? Song Tu Chi nodded and admitted, Yes, that boy would later be my junior brother. It's your uncle. As soon as he heard it, his friend's body was officially turned to stone. But on the side of the world, he just realized that he was also in great trouble. He didn't have a penny in this big house, he didn't have any servants, he didn't have any food, he didn't even have a carriage. Having said this, Tranlak became even more sad and exclaimed, Why does it cost 300 tails of silver to even get a horse-drawn carriage in the central capital? Do you really think you are a billionaire? You can also ask Tramwian to send you money, but wouldn't that show that you're very poor? Is there any way to quickly make money, make money? In the end, Tranlak had no choice but to run out of the house, he had to go out and take a look, if he didn't just sit here, sooner or later he would starve to death, he couldn't believe that even though he was traveling in time, he was still being made difficult by money. But as soon as he opened the door, he saw the little eunuch still standing outside, he asked in confusion, why are you still here? The other person smiled and said, from now on, the uncle will be a red man in the eyes of the emperor, a villain has no gifts, only. As he spoke, he took out a piece of paper and continued, finalizing this check, hoping the boss wouldn't criticize. As soon as he saw the light of money, Tranlak's eyes lit up, 1,000 tails, the little eunuch said warmly, a small amount of money, uncle, please stop. Tranlak gestured with his hand and smiled, you kid has a lot of potential, I really appreciate you. The little eunuch did not forget his duty and introduced, Sir, between the two streets is the most prosperous place in the central capital, if you have free time, you can take a walk and see. Tranlak nodded, Okay, let me see how capital this central capital is. Seeing his young appearance made the little eunuch secretly proud, as expected, he was a newcomer who had not yet experienced life, just thousands of tales, and in the future there would be many people who wanted to flatter him. But the naked figure walking on the road caught the eyes of those nearby, they whispered to each other, that was Van and Ba, yes, the person the Lord wanted was him. As soon as he entered this prosperous place, Tranlak was overwhelmed, as expected of the central capital, this prosperity could defeat Van and District. His words made the two people following him secretly happy, the news was reliable, his friend had not yet awakened his poison talent, so he was just an ordinary person. Then these two guys immediately rushed in, you guys are Tranlak Sao, Van and Ba Tan Phan. Tranlak calmly replied, you guys got it wrong, my name is Tran Tuong, the word wall is wavy, how can you say wall when eating food? The other two guys still followed and said, you're joking, come with us on a trip. Tranlak's heart is alert, very good, do you want to cause trouble with me in the street, okay, today you must be famous in the general business. The opponent does not know the dangers of earthly pleasures, so he does not hesitate to attack. However, he reacted promptly, with one hand blocking this person's attack, the other hand attacking the person next to him. In the blink of an eye, both were easily defeated. Tranlak didn't forget to challenge him before leaving, the two chickens also wanted to kidnap him. But trouble still came, this time someone came out of nowhere and got close. As soon as he saw the other person's eyes, he was startled. Are you an eagle eye, the world's number one great swordsman? But obviously the other guy didn't listen and continued to attack, talking nonsense, my master wants to see you, come with me. Tranlak resisted and objected, what master, I'm not used to it, my mother taught me from childhood not to follow strange people. That guy is still threatening, the master of our house is the Marquis of Cuckley, the Marquis only invited the uncle to drink, don't be unreasonable. Looking at these hands with sharp nails makes Tranlak panic. Right at the moment of danger, a sword flew past and cut off the opponent's hands. A girl sat on the sword and spoke, the spirit treasured a vein of jade, and paid homage to the virtuous master. If you attack my teacher, those two claws are considered a small punishment. This masked man glanced at her and then said heavily, thank you fairy Tienj Nok. Suddenly in the nearby building there was a voice saying, Van and Ba is too valuable, the servant only wants to invite the uncle to drink, not showing respect. Tranlak could now clearly see the other person's appearance, his attitude looked extremely frustrated. Tranlak calmly asked, you are Kukli how? Tienj Nok spoke from the side, my little prince has something to ask for advice from Van and Ba, please ask Kukli Marquis to change the date. The other person didn't retort anymore but turned around and left. Seeing this, Tranlak immediately turned around and said to Tienj Nok, thanking him for helping. The other person smiled and said, the person who needs to be thanked is not a poor person. 
Hearing that, Tran Lak was even more confused, so who should I thank? But the other person did not answer and instead flew into the air. Tran Lak looked at him bewilderedly, why did he leave? He stood in place and mumbled, little prince, Kuk Li Maki, I didn't do anything, why do you keep targeting me? After a while, he found a carriage for himself, the driver turned to ask, sir, are you sitting firmly? Tran Lak was still immersed in thought at this time, the water in the central canal was too deep, he was completely unable to grasp it, but it was all a small matter, Kuk Li Hao had a servant just now, his hands were empty, nothing, suitable for your identity, you still have to make money. Suddenly he remembered the scroll in his hand. Inside is the city's prominent information, including a rumor that the street sells fake medicine. Just after reading it, Tran Lak's eyes lit up, isn't this the great way to make money? He showed the paper to the carriage driver and asked, Brother, where did you buy this? The other person smiled, Little brother, this is the morning newspaper. Every tea shop in Tan Lao has someone selling it. One piece of paper, one part, we people like to watch, and after watching it, we can even take it home and put it in the toilet. As soon as he heard that, Tran Lak's high mood dropped again. One piece of money, one piece of money, so cheap. Even if this money were sold for 10,000 bills, it wouldn't be enough to fill his teeth. He still didn't give up hope and continued asking, do we only have this morning's newspaper, is there anything more expensive? The driver nodded, of course there is, the literature that Van Suen Pavilion publishes is something worth money, I heard that there is the latest poetry, there is also classical literature that the master is even a great scholar, note, it's just that the price is too expensive, not suitable for ordinary people like us. Tran Lak's money hungry eyes lit up again, how much money? The other person raised his hand and said mysteriously, 10 tails per piece, only once a month for more than half a month. Tran Lak happily continued asking, why is it so expensive, is there anyone who would buy it? The other person looked disdainful and said, there are many more readers of Dai Xuan's books than Little Brother imagined, not only are there buyers, but they also have to line up early to buy them, I have seen teams lining up from the eastern city to city just to buy that one newspaper. Tran Lak happily said, I've made my fortune, I remember. In my memory, books are divided into upper, middle, and lower grades, the author's writing is the upper grade, the old man's copy is the middle grade, and the reader's copy is the lower grade. But even if it's low class, it's still a treasure that requires at least 100 tales of silver to buy a copy. But this world, because books have the power of heaven to support them, extremely respects the author, there is basically no copyright infringement, the author can receive a portion of the money that readers spend on the book, it's true, every part of the money spent on that hobby goes to the author. In this world, writing books is a way to make real money, wouldn't it be easy for me to get rich with books full of entertainment? The driver was speechless with Tran Lak's case, plus a crazy person, writing a book is not that easy, the husband and wife together in a year probably wouldn't be able to write a part, I thought those precious words were due to reform. Not long after, the car arrived at the palace. The people in the palace stared puzzledly at the newly arrived car. Not long after, Tran Lak also stepped down. Immediately, the people in the palace rushed out in panic, young master, finally found the person, young man, as he spoke, the other person rushed into Tran Lak's body and hugged him tightly, only then did he clearly realize his identity, it was important. After a while, the two of them went to the restaurant, they didn't know if it was because they were starving or what, but they ate several large bowls in a row, making the restaurant owner sweat, this person probably didn't intend to eat until he was full to death and then waste his money, me. Tran Lak was next to remind him, slow down, still there, how long have you been starving? K.Y. Trong finished drinking a piece of water and replied, That's enough, after the young master was taken away, Wien's sister was so skinny that she couldn't look like a human being in just a few days. As soon as I heard that, Tran Lak was worried, I had gone through a life and death tribulation, but after Huan Si, it was like going through life and saying goodbye. Ki Trong spoke again, but very quickly we received news from the great Confucian, saying that the people living in the capital were safe and sound, so sister Wien immediately ordered me to find them at any cost. She told me to hand over these 30,000 tails of silver to you, and she said you don't know how to make money, you're always depressed, and all along the way I didn't dare to ride a horse, I only relied on one breath to run like crazy, crazy, not daring to stop at all, that's why I said that. Hearing this, Tran Lak's eyes filled with tears. When I saw that he still hadn't picked it up, I worriedly said, don't criticize me, I won't let it suffer at all along the way, it's very clean. Tran Lak was moved and hugged him tightly, thanking everyone. 
In his heart, he silently gritted his teeth, I will definitely become a big person, not letting everyone worry anymore. K.Y. Trong did not know what he was thinking, but he was also moved to say, Young master, don't cry anymore, I know you must have suffered a lot. While feeling emotional, Tran Lak suddenly smelled a strong smell. He couldn't stand it anymore and fell to the ground, causing K.Y. Trong to be confused, so the young man tried to endure it. At Van and Ba Palace, while Tran Lak was fetching water, Ki Trong rushed back from outside, Young master, he had already bought things for him. This is the paper you want. After giving the things to Tran Lak, he wondered again, Young master, you are not a disciple, why do you need this document? Tran Lak read the newspaper article while responding, finding out what his competitors were writing. After reading it for a while, he clicked his tongue, why did he end up with such a long name? He carefully explained that it was a ranking list, the beautiful ones were called the talent list, the men were called the mountain and high table. Tran Lak doesn't forget to tease you, so why doesn't your name appear? The important thing immediately said boldly, sooner or later I will be on that board. After a while, Tran Lak said seriously, are there many of these types of documents? Strange replied, there aren't many of these types of newspapers, this is one issue a month, on the market you usually see a few more morning newspapers, that type doesn't have much nutrition, and isn't worth the money. As soon as he heard it, Tran Lak was elated, it seemed that this world was indeed still the other world. In front of K.Y. Trong's incomprehensible eyes, he was immersed in his thoughts, in this world, the way of heaven is the parent state of mind, everyone under its influence has become deaf ears, outside the window, I only read books of saints and sages. This world has no entertainment other than debauchery and gambling. This is truly a wonderful world, looking at Tran Lak's sinister eyes in fear, sir, are you crazy? Tran Lak didn't pay attention to those words but enthusiastically asked, Little brother, tell me, what if the young master also goes to work as a journalist? At Wei Diem Palace, the writer looked up into the sky impatiently, counting the time, the teacher was about to return. As soon as he finished speaking, Song Tu Chi's figure landed from the sky. The writer hurriedly ran over and asked, Master, observe how that kid is doing. After seeing Tong Tui Chi sigh, he was worried in his heart, with this look on his face, surely that kid, Tran Lak, had returned, what have you done? But right after that, Tong Tui Chi blamed him, what a brat. If the old man recognizes him, then he is your little master, maybe you don't want to teach me, the writer nodded blankly, oh yes. A moment later, Song Tu Chi spoke up and asked, Kuk Li Hao, do you know who it is? The writer explained that Kuk Li Hao was the young Khan of the pre-ceremony department who rose to fame, but when he was uniting several small Mani tribes for Dai Wien, he was killed by the great barbarian king, he had sacrificed his life for the country long ago. Titles are also posthumous. Kuk Li Marquis is currently his only son, Chi Ho I Nok, this guy relies on his father for his merits, and his grandfather is a famous scholar, so he is a bit arrogant. I just don't know why my teacher suddenly mentioned this person. Tong Tuichi explained, Today this person made things difficult for your little uncle right on the street. As soon as he heard it, Van was startled. He made things difficult for Tran Lak. Song Tu Chi continued angrily, As I see it, Chi Ho I Nok's eyes were red because Chung kneeling Tran Lak's story was a bit popular, so he forced a part of it. In his eyes, Tran Lak is just the name of the family. The countryside is remote and remote, with no backstage or tools, and is extremely easy to command. As soon as he heard the end of the sentence, his friend shouted angrily, if it weren't for his grandfather and father, he wouldn't be worthy of the title of Kuk Lee Marquis, he's really bold. Tong Tui Chi suddenly stood up and let's go, this action made his friend look at him in bewilderment, wondering where the teacher was going. Tong Tui Chi replied, it was his father's fault for not raising him, since his father had passed away, it was his grandfather's problem, the old man would now go catch that poor guy and beat him. This temperament of Song Tu Chi made even Van Yu helpless, and indeed after so many years it still hasn't changed. On Tran Lak's side, K.Y. Trong was always wondering, Young man, do you want to be a morning newspaper? That thing is butt paper, what did you do with it? Tran Lak smiled brightly and said, I don't know how to write elegantly, but what if I published a strange and arrogant smile in the morning newspaper? It's so important and yet so difficult to understand, sir, there's no need to waste so much effort, it's fine to just publish the book directly. Tran Lak waved his hand to stop, the problem lies here, do you think, how many people can buy the whole book laughing and proud wanderer? If it were divided into chapters to sell, everyone could read it, and the price would be acceptable, right? 
As soon as Tran Lak's intention was said, he was suddenly startled. He remembered the past when he secretly read his stories. When he was young, he was chased away countless times because he couldn't buy classic books. If you do this, the poor scholars in the world will be able to read books. He couldn't help but feel touched and the ghost collapsed. The noble young man would follow with all his strength. This sudden change in his attitude made Tran Lak confused. He quietly observed the admiring expression on K.Y. Trong's face, but in his heart he fantasized, I just emitted the aura of kingship. Well, the problem now is, in this newspaper, besides novels, what can we write? Only knowing about novels is not enough, we have to find other content. What should I write? If the news breaks, I won't have anyone to hunt it down. Writing poetry has a limited inventory, so how can I cover it up in the future? Everyone else comes but I don't even have enough to eat. So what should I use to fill the other items? The more I talk, the more depressed I become. Forever that night. While sleeping, Tran Lak suddenly heard a voice calling in his mind, Master of the Attack. He appeared in a foggy forest, calling out, Who is calling me? The old man happily said, The master is my family. As soon as he saw him, Tran Lak happily ran to hug him tightly. The old man kept hugging him, making him struggle and remind him, Take it easy, the Mo family is still very weak. After regaining his emotions, Tran Lak asked, What happened? Why did he suddenly come back to life? The Mo family began to explain that it was because more and more readers knelt down to summarize the story that the Mo family's fortunes recovered so quickly. Also thanks to that master. After listening, Tran Lak also woke up. He mumbled, Is telling a story that effective? I have to go awake and see how a concentrated kneeling story can spread. If you want to calm down, then you must quickly push away the arrogant laughter. After finishing preparing, he called out solemnly, the boy quickly answered, you have me. Tran Lak pushed the door and walked out and said, get out, go sober. After listening, K.Y. Trong happily said, I've heard it before, the guy who told the story of the northern wind flow is called the Calamity Dagger Mail Student, the thing he told seemed to have a real soul, the whole capital, having him is the best person to tell the story. This is the place, he said while pointing to an inn nearby. However, the people who came to listen were lined up in large numbers, everyone wanted to get in, some even jumped the fence, this image made Tran Lak sweat, they thought this gentleman was famous, really. Not long after, a young man came out to announce that today was full of guests, please come again early tomorrow. Tran Lak regretfully said, it's gone, it seems like we won't be able to see Mr. Calamity Sword today. However, the important boy used his internal strength to lead him away, not forgetting to reassure him, young master, rest assured that I am here. With the help of Hao Nian's righteous energy, the two of them overtook the others and rushed inside. However, the space inside is not much better, because the number of people gathered is so crowded. At this moment, someone nearby shouted loudly, Mr. Calamity Dagger is coming. As soon as he appeared, the other person spoke up, everyone loved him, Nam Mo was extremely grateful, next he would tell today's story, kneeling down to summarize the story. Immediately everyone cheered and started to leave, tell me quickly, sir, I've been waiting for you for a long time. Suddenly this person picked up a mask. The shape of the mask was exactly the same as the grave, this person also showed a majestic demeanor and shouted, the middle monk kneel here. Tran Lak was immediately alert, this kid is not simple. The other person jumped up and down and shouted, You're a brave demon, don't try to harm anyone. The people around were commenting excitedly, except for devils, 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 and lords of the underworld. Tran Lak was dumbfounded at this moment, it turns out that's it, in this world where there are no entertainment books. Even just one episode of kneeling together is enough for them to climax, isn't little culture an ocean for us to struggle in? Not long after, the storyteller tapped the order on the table and said, Today's kneeling storytelling is over, next I will tell you how things are going, how the world is doing, literary students, let's stop talking nonsense for now, let's stop listening nonsense for now. Recently, the barbarians invaded the border, when they heard about it, everyone nodded, it made sense, that's how barbarians should be treated, demons aren't good people either. Tran Lak mumbled, discussing the news, isn't this an editorial? Tran Lak quickly found a solution, he was happy, yes, his newspaper publishes novels on one side and editorials on the other, isn't this respect for the old man who created this path? He turned to command K.Y. Trong, do me a favor, I want to make an appointment with that guy. Not long after, the storyteller was brought in, he asked, young man, the story is finished today, if you want to watch, please come again tomorrow. Tran Lak said politely, Mr. Nam, here is Tran Lak. 
As soon as he finished listening, the other party shouted, Mr. Tran. Wait, what's the point? K.Y. Trong stood up to introduce himself, Van and Ba Tran Lak. The other person panicked and said, Do you have any evidence to prove that you are Van and Ba? Tran Lak looked at him with solemn eyes, he muttered and knelt down. Immediately the kneeling letter appeared. This alone makes the opponent afraid. He quickly put aside his previous arrogance and bowed his head to answer, the male student was graceful, had no eyes, and paid his respects to Van and Ba. Tran Lak smiled and said, It's okay, Mr. Nam, I heard you tell a very good story today. Nam Uwen also politely replied that his literature was well written. Tran Lak suddenly shook his head, not that I generally knelt, but I said that your analysis of the Gazette is very good. Nam Veen's heart was startled, Van and Ba's meaning was that he had targeted me and wanted to accept me as his younger brother. Tran Lak did not know the other person's thoughts but intended to express his wishes. But before he could speak, the other person shouted loudly, I wish, but Tran Lak's next words made him unbelievable, do you have any friends as excellent as you? The space seemed to have fallen into a dead end, Tran Lak asked in confusion, what do you wish for? Mr. Nam, what I mean is, I want to publish the essay of you and your friends in my newspaper, and furthermore, I would like to invite you to be the chief editor of this new newspaper, in charge of selecting the essay content, fit. Nam Uwen then waved his hand and shook his head, no, Uwen is a disciple, knows dirty morals and can't move, I don't want my literature to be in the same newspaper as some gossip business news, sell that. You interrupted contemptuously, do you think my young master made those reports? Tran Lak also continued, the literature is too high, the newspaper is too vulgar, Dai Wien can't have a newspaper for ordinary people, so I am preparing to make this type of newspaper. Is a new newspaper for ordinary people, so they can buy it, like it, have value, so everyone can read it, so everyone can buy it. While he was boasting about his achievements, K.Y. Trong suddenly said, if something changes, you should quickly stand behind me. After saying that, he quickly pushed Tran Lak behind his back. Tang Tuichi sat at a nearby inn and smiled at the same time. The old man was still not very careful, letting his juniors find out, but Tran Lak was really interesting. Then let this old man see what kind of trouble you can create in the central capital. But after feeling it for a while, he saw that the aura had disappeared. He was puzzled. That feeling had disappeared. Was it some great scholar passing by? Tran Lak continued, not sure, maybe it was. What about a beautiful young rich lady who likes to peek at me in her free time? K.Y. solemnly glanced at him and said, Young man, you must respect yourself. Nam Uwen then spoke up, What he just said made people admire him, but I have a problem. Can the arguments written by people like me really carry a few valuable words? Tran Lak smiled reassuringly, Mr. Humble, your literature is aimed at the current situation, of course it has its value, and if we want to sell newspapers, we also need a secret weapon. Nam Uwen confused and asked again, Secret weapon? Tran Lak nodded, yes, this secret weapon is my story, the story is better than kneeling together. Nam Uwen's eyes widened in surprise, the story is better than Chung kneeling. So that story can be given. Tran Lak now seemed to know what he was thinking and interrupted, Mr. Nam still had time to think, the creation of this newspaper still had to be discussed with Van Suing CAC, and there was a new story. I'll send someone to deliver it later, after saying that, he waved his hand and left. Nam Veen looked on in bewilderment, opened the morning newspaper but also had to discuss with Van Suing Pavilion, a place that I never had the chance to visit in my entire life. But if the uncle is telling the truth, then tonight's new story will definitely not be bad, let's see what kind of story he can bring me. While on the way back, K.Y. Trong couldn't help but ask, young master, you want to show Mr. Nam the before and after of the smiling and arrogant Zhang Hu. Tran Lak smiled and teased him, do you think I only have an arrogant smile? I will give him a completely new set, as soon as I heard that, K.Y. Trong happily ran after me, so I want to see it first, please sir. That night, Tran Lak crawled into his consciousness again and called, kneel down, I want to find a book called Nhai Permit. The tomb family appeared and said, master, the books here need you to personally use the heaven's destiny to draw lots, it cannot be assigned. After hearing this, Tran Lak was sweating profusely, unable to specify why. I originally wanted to use the story of a legendary female knight to become famous, but now I can only withdraw it, what if I draw something strange? If so, then there are rules, right? The Mo family looked up at the heavenly Tao Chi fortune and said, the help of the master's book is related to the consumption of the master's chi and fortune, the Mo family only knows that. 
Tranlak waved his hand and nodded, understood, thinking was useless, do and then talk. Let's see what we can change in the end. Right after that, a question appeared. From above the smoke appeared countless books that made Tranlak admire, too many. Which one should I choose? Right after that, he aimed straight in one direction, this one seemed to be a bit hot-tempered. If you have such a hot temper then I will choose you. Immediately, a twisted weapon shot straight into Tranlak's forehead. Each line of words flowed into his brain, as he absorbed it, he slowly nodded, it turned out that it was like that, no wonder he was so angry. As soon as he finished drawing up the bibliography, Tranlak immediately started writing. K.Y. Trong stood at the side and nervously asked, Young master, are you about to write a new work? Tranlak nodded absent-mindedly, but this time the main character was no longer free-spirited, strangely incomprehensible, no longer free-spirited. As soon as I knew it, my heart was filled with joy and confusion. This story is extremely simple, describing the famous artist Du Top Nuong pursuing love, resolutely redeeming himself, and entrusting himself to ergonomics and physiology. But this Li Zop is not a good thing. After discovering that Du Tich Nuong had no money to support himself, he directly chose to sell Du Tich's salary to the rich and wealthy. Then Du Top Nyong took out his Yang Bao, which was full of gold, silver and jewels, and threw it all into the water to vent his anger at Li Zop. In the end, Du Ten Nuong jumped into the river with hatred and committed suicide. The more he thought about it, the more tears flowed from Tran Lak's eyes, he sadly said, Stupid girl, you should push their heads into the river for these men. However, his tears seemed to carry sympathy and sharing, they turned into a stream of water and fell onto the library. From inside, a chest appeared. K.Y. Trong happily said, not knowing who the book spirit would be this time. As soon as I opened it, there was a blinding light. Tran Lak was hit in the face by a chicken. He struggled and shouted, stop for me. After a long while, the chicken's figure disappeared, and 210 was able to put his hands on his painful face. K.Y. Trong quickly ran over, young master, are you okay? Tran Lak shook his head bewilderedly, I'm fine. In front of his eyes at this moment was an invisible volume of magical powers on the earth, seven feelings of anger, it would stimulate magical powers that would make him painless and not tired, the power of martial arts would increase many times, but when used, it would losing reason. The damage to the body is not low, as soon as I finished reading it, I was surprised. Lost in love and rage, maybe there are six more. But when I saw Tran Lak Du coming out like that, I was extremely worried and called out, young master, are you okay, please wake up. Tran Lak regained consciousness and held his hand tightly, if you pat it again, I will do something about it, go and give the manuscript on the table to Nam Muin. K.Y. Tron quickly ran towards the table and happily said, wait, I'll read it first, Tran Lak was behind him, smiling helplessly, this kid. Let's just let him watch it, we can see his reaction. As he read, K.Y. Trong's face became increasingly heavy. At the end, he grimaced in anger, slammed his hand on the table and shouted, dude, Wherever Li Zop and Uncle are from, I will take those two dogs' lives and sacrifice them to do Ten Niang's soul. Tran Lak had to reassure her, this story is purely fictional, if there is a joke, it is also a coincidence, quickly give it to Nan Muin, don't think nonsense anymore. As he walked, he spoke solemnly and aggressively, I don't care, it's a lie, I will kill anyone who dares to do this. Tran Lak stood behind him and shook his head in frustration, is this kid too sensitive? This crazy and angry state of K.Y. Trong while walking on the road also attracted the attention of people hiding nearby. The opponent quickly sold him. This person is none other than Tong Tuichi, he stopped the way and said, the manuscript, this old man also wants to see. After reading most of the manuscript, Song Tu Chi's face still showed nothing. Finally, he sighed and said, what a great fictional story, the characters are lifelike, the details are tight, the story is trivial but touching. Suddenly, a halo of light appeared in Ba Trang's hand, he was startled, is this the energy of the fourth practice path, just reading it briefly has already been born. As expected, what you said is not wrong, this is a path for all sentient beings that anyone can enter. How can this kind of loser, with such principles, be sent away like this, it should be a treasure of my family's bamboo forest, having said that, he quickly hid the manuscript inside his body. Afterwards, he secretly copied another version in his consciousness, not forgetting to boast, giving me the great Confucian manuscript to copy without causing Nam Uwen's anger to suffer. Strangely, he did not know that the discussion board in his hand had been exchanged, he still maintained an angry appearance and stood still in place. 
It wasn't until after the manuscript had been copied that the magic was released, and the important person was stunned, feeling like something was wrong, giving up the manuscript was more important. That night at Tan Lao, K.Y. Trong struggled to stand outside the door, he was confused, he didn't expect Mr. Man to come to places like this, should I go or not? In this castle, there is also a character like Du Top Nuong, as long as you have a righteous body, you have nothing to fear. Before he could go inside, a beautiful woman ran to greet him, the young man was so strange, he didn't know which lady he came here to find. K.Y. Trong's face immediately turned red, he shyly said loudly, My lady came to find Mr. Nam Vining Heim, I don't know if he is here. The girl mumbled blankly, Mr. Male. A while later in a room, while getting to the interesting part, there was a knock on the door. Little Ha Hong is Nam Vuong's lover calling out from inside, Who is that? The girl who was carrying the manuscript came forward and said, Miss, there was a young man who brought this, saying he was giving it to the man. Little Ha Hung received the manuscript and was surprised, the manuscript was so thick, it was an article from a morning newspaper. However, the content of the book page startled her. Nam Uen Hien was still soaking in the tub, his mind began to think about Tran Lak's intentions, the essays, the stories, the new newspaper created for the people, what kind of newspaper it would be in the end, this. While he was thinking, he heard his lover's cry, and Nam Un immediately panicked. He quickly ran out and called out, What's wrong with Hung He? The sobbing girl looked at him for a long time. Then he got angry and slapped the cutting board, It was all of you rotten men, Nam Un's heart screamed, which bastard hurt him. But the troublemaker at this moment seemed to have sensed it and sneezed. He muttered, who is praising me for being handsome behind my back, I have to go to the royal palace tomorrow, this country of Chung Keen will definitely not cause trouble in front of the emperor, right? That's right, Senior Wei said he would arrange a master for me, why didn't the goods arrive? While Tran Lak was worried about why his master hadn't arrived yet, on the other side, his senior brother was also preparing to send goods, sending out all the detailed information about Tran Lak that he had collected, from everywhere to report on this article, including opening newspapers writing periodicals, and reporting on the stories that Tran Lak experienced. Tran Lak had just entered the capital and was targeted by Chi Ka Shu's nephew, the main reason was because he was greedy for hundreds of thousands of royalties from General Kui that Tran Lak issued, but don't be angry, I had a big fight with Chi K, retired, broke two of that old man's ribs, destroyed a third of his weapons, he probably had to discipline his nephew. Tomorrow there will probably be a dispute in the court, the disciple will change the teacher's opinion and accept Tran Lak into the bamboo forest. Attached is the full text of Du Top Nuong angrily drowning Duong Bok Bao, please take a look, once completed, the letter will be sent to the destination. The next day in the palace. The eunuch just stopped the carriage and said, Sir, I can only take you here. As soon as he got off the bus, Tran Lak looked around, this was the royal palace, it seemed no different from the movies. While walking, there was a eunuch standing next to him and bowing and saying, Are you Van and Ba Tran Lak? Tran Lak happily asked, Do you know me? The other person smiled and nodded, the minister specifically instructed his officials to welcome him, not to dare to delay, please follow me. While walking Tran Lak curiously asked, Where are we going? Tiu Hai at Vien replied, One of the four palaces of Dai Wien, Van Suing Pavilion. Looking at the huge mansion in front of me, I was amazed, this place is also very powerful. Chu Hu Vien had just led Tran Lak inside when he announced, Teacher, Van and Ba is here. Tran Lak also bowed in response, Little boy Tran Lak paid his respects to Minister Van. Yan Bak Shu Yan nodded, Very good, this is the soldier General Han Tan Truk, the backbone of our human race, he said as he walked to the person next to him. Tran Lak happily nodded and paid his respects to the general. While he was excited to meet the two elders, there was a loud voice outside, opening the court and announcing the hundred mandarins. At the same time in Bok Phan Lao, after Nam Vien Thuy finished reading Du Ten Nuong, he couldn't sleep all night and was angry. He silently told himself that he would no longer read the Gazette today, he would have to read all 10,000 words of this strange document. Suddenly someone came and said, Mr. Nam, yesterday Mr. Vuong of the Willow Library listened to your enlightenment and was extremely appreciative, now he has brought a group of Willow Library disciples to listen, you are awake. Nam Vuong was startled, the library material was one of the eight major libraries of Dai Wien Sao, the other person nodded in affirmation, that's right. There was a stir in Nam Yuan's heart, that year I didn't pass the exam to get into a top school, but today I came here to listen to my awakening, today I must show them an extraordinary awakening. 
returned to the court side. The emperor's close eunuch loudly recited the chapter, naming Tran Lak as Van and Bo, hereditary from father to son, taking Van and district as the land, earning ten thousand tails each year. Tran Lak happily bowed down, the minister just thanked him, suddenly someone spoke up, Your Majesty, I have something to ask Uncle Vannon. Then he raised his eyes and questioned, Van and Ba, the old man asked you, did Van Tam discover that Van and district was stolen by you? Tran Lak looked at this person and wondered who it was. Suddenly, there was a voice transmission informing him that this was the Grand Master of Ceremonies of the Great Hall, a five-rank official. Tran Lak quickly grasped the information and responded, Lord Lu, don't talk nonsense, great Confucian Van Tam knows how to choose his master, where can he talk about stealing? The old man still continued to oppress me, talking nonsense, great Confucianism is the treasure of my Confucian family, I see that you have no noble spirit, you are not a member of Confucianism at all. Why does my mind choose you as its master? Fellow writer quickly stepped out to relieve the siege, don't talk nonsense, in Tran Lak's heart there is a way, clearly understanding the times, he is a disciple of Confucianism. Lu Dai Tri was not weak at all and argued back, what you say doesn't count, you have the right to admit that Van and Ba is a disciple of Confucianism, only the literary sect at that time, half a saint. While the argument was at its climax, the king sat on the long chair and was extremely worried about where things would go. The chatter of the great mandarins is getting higher and higher, this Lu Dai Tri is also really bold, not afraid of forcing Truk Lam to sell a saint, it's not that easy, that Yerhuo general was in chaos and still didn't show up, why, appeared just because of a piece of heart text, what is great wisdom's plan, even if Van and Ba agreed to re-refine the heart text and hand over the heart text, it still wouldn't fall into his hands, I heard that great wisdom only took one, my concubine, you are the daughter of Fuang Ti Tui Chao, so this is deep, be careful. At this time, Tran Lek also looked at Van Hu worriedly, what's wrong with Senior Wei, why didn't he respond? Lu Dai Tri is being invaded by the water, Great Man Wei, do you have anything else to say, or you can send a message to your master Bamboo Sane and ask, this Mandarin can wait. Under the opponent's provocative words, the writer's face appeared embarrassed, but the anger in his heart still could not be drowned out, the old man did not care anymore, it was just a face, I did not care, need more. After thinking about it, he rushed straight to Tran Lak place and bowed respectfully to his brother's surprise, his disciple, Wei Diem, paid his respects to his uncle. As soon as everyone heard old Diem speak, their eyes widened in surprise, this puppet Diem no longer cares about anything, is this considered a master accepting a disciple, isn't he afraid that his master will beat him to death? Even the emperor stood up and asked, Wei Diem, do you know what you are saying? The old man still bowed his head and replied very sincerely and calmly, I not only knew, but also told the truth. After hearing this, Tran Lak gasped and turned to stone on the spot, Senior Wei sacrificed so much to help me, he himself was deeply moved. After hearing this, the other old mandarins angrily shouted in protest, you said the bamboo saint accepted him as a disciple, do you have any proof, we don't believe it when we say that. When great Wei and Van General, Nyan Bak Xu Yan, came to pay his respects, the old man could prove it. When that guy saw a bunch of people following him like that, he was so angry that he couldn't speak, sir. Nyan Bak Shuyan continued, To the Holy Lord, Truk Lam Half Saint received a new disciple, it was Van and Ba Tran Lak, personally recommended by the old man. After hearing this, the saint was very pleased and praised him, Good, good, I didn't expect that Truk Tan would accept a disciple again, and I just ordained Van and Ba, really worthy of congratulations. Howen decided to appoint Van and Ba as the Marquis of the Trong Min Palace, and rewarded him with ten pieces of barbarian blood ink, a hundred seven pieces of silk brocade, and a royal decoration outside the central capital. The matter of the heart and mind, the decree here, must not be mentioned any more. let the tide go. Next, there is another person who belongs to the ritual department T. Lang Van, disagreeing, Your Majesty, the god has played. The saint hadn't even heard it yet, but he felt bored, what tricks did this rotten brat want to play again? In disagreement, the god has been doing academic research for more than ten years and discovered that our dynasty's poetry is far inferior to the previous dynasty, or inviting Van and Ba to recite a poem to wipe out the corrupt poetry of our dynasty, wouldn't that be wonderful? Everyone got the momentum and immediately followed suit to add fuel to the fire, that's right, Van and Ba certainly has something better than you, that's why he's considered a semi-saint, when it comes to poetry, Van and Ba must also have the ability, huh? The saint himself saw that it was going well, so he agreed to do it, Van and Ba, the soldiers are about to go on an expedition, how about you write a poem for the soldiers, I also want to see if this Tran Lak is truly talented or not. 
only old DM sees that this current situation is very tense and doomed. His uncle can only write stories, but he has never heard of him writing poetry. What kind of expression did the little master have on his face? When he raised his head to pay attention to the boy's expression, it was the opposite. He was laughing loudly, his eyes lit up as if he was waiting for them all to take the bait. Why was he laughing, even laughing so madly? Tranlak immediately agreed, so it's better to be respectful than to obey. In his heart, he clenched his stomach, hadn't he just accidentally touched the muzzle of his gun? Dong looked at him with some doubt, not believing that Tranlak could accomplish anything in life, what could a person whose reading and comprehension talent had not awakened yet be able to write? Decided to go, he finished thinking about the poem and then loudly ordered to prepare ink, the servant quickly prepared ink and pen for him. So Tranlak immediately began to write, each stroke expressed the personality and spirit of a person, both beautiful and neat, you can see that it belongs to a talented person. The mandarins who wanted him to be humiliated were now wide-eyed in surprise. Troop Bay here borrowed the two words Tan Bak from General Han Tan Troop to write a poem. It's not just that, this kid has one sentence and two. Door, don't forget, he just worshipped that sacred bamboo vein. From ancient times to the present, poetry of Bamboo Bay is like a guest passing through the river. Let's see what kind of poem he can write. The two verses he wrote are, clinging tightly to the green mountain and not letting go, roots grow firmly on the far wall. After reading it, everyone was amazed at the meaning of the poem's verses. Amazing, only two sentences, describing the green bamboo growing on it is lifelike. That's right, especially the two words that mean cut tight. It is truly a divine transmission. This is not gentleness but firmness. Into 10,000 patients three bloody battles. Hundreds of thousands of generals risked their lives and did not retreat. Looking again at these two words bite tightly, it is truly appropriate. The fat guy saw this and quickly said a few words of firefighting to find a way to kick the crap out of him. Van and Ba is truly an extraordinary writer, just a soldier on an expedition, giving his mother's blood poetry like that. I'm afraid it's not very auspicious. Tranlak, without any worry, calmly replied, is that so? Then I'll finish writing it. The next verse has a new idea. Thousands of beats and bumps are still stiff. The wind rolls and blows on all sides. The poem that had just been written created a stream of light. The spirit immediately escaped from the page, creating a huge wind, causing the surrounding people to change from one surprise to another. An old Mandarin with a calm face as if he knew everything in advance. Of course he is a member of your side so he should stay calm. No need to block. This is the wind that clears the mind. Be cleansed by this wind. When you cross the mountains in books, studying the ocean will reduce the confusion in your mind. The wind is coming, so isn't that poem recognized by heaven. It's a work that will be passed down through generations. The people who want you to be humiliated at this time are actually the country people. Another old Mandarin saw this rare and hard-to-find treasure appear and immediately rushed to catch it. This card is very good. The old man liked it. Van and Ba, I will accept this poem. So before letting anyone else do anything, he decided to take it as his own. Unexpectedly, the scoundrel rushed in to block his intention. This is a rare genuine poem. We Van Suing are in charge of the world's literature. The original should be preserved by us Van Suing. The old Mandarin saw that he was being stopped and shouted angrily, You scoundrel, you are now being a scoundrel to me, aren't you? Look at the topic to see what it is. Give it to the general. Are you a soldier general or am I a soldier general? I want to be a soldier. Just one sentence is needed. That guy is silenced by reason. You... The saint right now only focuses on Tranlak, this person is truly a talent and must be used by Tran. And on the other side, the old soldier, with a thick face, snatched the book of poetry and ran away. Your majesty, the military is busy, so the old minister asked to leave first to prepare. Boy, you really like me, let's meet again. Before I left, I didn't forget to say the last sentence. After speaking, he flew away, the scoundrel could only click his tongue in his head, this old man is really damned. After that, he turned to tell the other vassals, if you often read this article, the calming effect will still be there. After receiving the letter, the clerk Van Suing and Tu Veen bowed their heads in gratitude, thanking Van and Ba for giving the poem. Everyone also said in unison, thanking Van and Ba for giving the poem. The poem is indeed good poetry, but I think the name of the poem is not quite right. Tranlak knew that this guy was starting to tease him again so he asked, so Van T. Lang thought the poet's name was right. Van T. Lang began to speak fluently. Van and Ba was talented and talented, but this poem actually originated from the Mandarin's spontaneous idea. The officials of the ceremonial ministry started to join in like a bunch of worms. That's right, that's right. If Van T. Lang had not said it, Van and Ba would not have been able to write such a poem. Poetry names are indeed problematic. 
The scoundrel thought to himself, don't these polite people feel embarrassed enough? There are a few civil servants who oppose them and don't bother to look at this guy anymore. That guy really has a thick skin. No, I'm about to vomit. Therefore, the Mandarin felt that the title of the poem should be Vietnam T. Lang invites Troop Bay to accompany the soldiers to send troops to Van Yan Tan. Right, right, right. That's right. Finally, an old man couldn't stand this guy's brazenness anymore and prepared to beat him up. Today, the old man had to see how thick his skin was. He quickly ran up to stop and smiled and replied, I just found out that I still have a poem I want to give to Van T. Lang and the elders. Van T. Lang thought she was asking the right question, so quickly read and listen. The wind blew and rain poured down on the high citadel, the clouds thundered and roared, the rain passed without knowing where the dragon had gone, a lake of ten thousand frogs were screaming. This poem really broke the faces of the officials and the servants. I swear standing behind also added some words to explain the meaning for him. Oh my, it turns out the wind has stopped, the rain has stopped, a group of frogs chewing on themselves feels the worst. Basically, these people over here are a bunch of croaking frogs that just don't have any work to do, they suddenly find themselves much more stupid. The saint on the side of the poem smiled and ordered, Van Icon, the poem is good, don't you hurry up and thank Tran Icon. Even though Van T. Lang was very angry, she still had to bow her head and say thank you to Van and Ba for the poem. Tran Lak smiled naturally and waved his hand, no need to be polite. At this time, at the North Fon Lao, at one o'clock before Tran Lak's performance at the royal court, there was a heated discussion meeting. Everyone simultaneously gave their opinions to Nam Vuong. Mr. Nam, quickly kneel down. If you didn't come to listen yesterday, you won't be happy all day. That's right, that's right. Let's talk about kneeling, or Mr. Chung's short story is the most interesting. When Nam Owen mentioned this, his face immediately changed and he spoke loudly and hatefully. The whole group of people below looked blank and didn't understand anything. He explained, today, I have the courage to enjoy a piece of literature with everyone, listen carefully. That famous skill was ranked 10th, in the courtyard it was called Du Top Nuong, all beautiful and fragrant, pitiful for the flawless pearl that fell into the windy and dusty place of venereal flowers. Du Top Nin has been in the profession since she was 13, this year she is 19, in the past 7 years, I don't know how many princes and princes she has experienced, there is no one who is not infatuated with fragrance and beauty, and does not regret ruining his family. Everyone listened to the story of the male gardener to the point of being stunned, who wouldn't like a woman like that, making people fall in love with you, what will happen next, eating noodles while perking up your ears to listen, life is so happy. Even the old king, the man from the library, at first his face was as calm as a rock without any emotion, he even stroked his beard thinking, this group of people are so fascinated, they will definitely return after returning, must punish them for copying the gentleman ten times. Nam Uwen continued to say, one day, Confucius physiognomy Zop met Du Ten Nuong, Du Ten Nuong and the handsome and handsome Li Zop hit it off. Li Zop did not pass the exam, Du Ten Nuong comforted and encouraged him. He thought worriedly at that time, but now I have spent all my money, where will I get the money to continue reading and taking exams? From now on, I will absolutely snatch all the benefactors, in this life, I will only give you this money, you can use as you please, at first he was very emotional and choked up, swearing all kinds of things up to heaven and earth. Hearing this, everyone gasped in admiration, their whole life they only wished to have such a woman in their life, just hoping to be able to meet such a girl was already very lucky, such a woman, right I'm a crazy person, if any woman treats me like that, I will definitely not disappoint her. This Li Zop is really lucky. The problem was that the story didn't stop there, he was eager to continue telling it, the story wasn't over yet, the madam saw that the money-picking tree no longer received guests, so she was extremely angry. The old lady immediately offered a price, if she didn't want to receive guests, she had to redeem herself, 300 tails of gold, not even a little bit. At that time, Du Top Nuong still believed in the man she loved so she firmly replied, 300 tails of gold is a given. After hearing this, the boys felt that the price was very reasonable, this was a good thing that 300 tails of gold could redeem themselves, for a rich person, 300 tails of gold is certainly simple, Li Zop rushed forward, his virtuous wife was right before his eyes. Unfortunately, the story has a turning point and it's not that simple. He hesitated to borrow money because he was embarrassed, because of a prostitute, he begged to borrow money from others, how could I show this face, Li Zop borrowed money from his countrymen and friends, but for several days he could not borrow any money. 
So after a while, one person tried to trick him. It was just Tan Lao's trick to chase away guests. You should break off your relationship with that Du Top Nuong sooner rather than later. He didn't have the face to go see Du Top Nuong, so he hid in the house of his fellow countrymen. But ten days later, Du Top Nuong saw that Li Zop did not return, so he came to find him himself, so he had to bow his head and say, not believing that going up the mountain to catch tigers was easy, and indeed opening his mouth to ask for people was difficult. The old man, who was three to six at a time, could no longer endure this ridiculous story, his anger burst out, he was a piece of trash. His words caused everyone to fall into silence, he slammed his hand on the table and knocked over the cup of tea, feeling ashamed, why am I like this, why am I so emotionally led by this story? Nam Uwen continued, but Ten Nuong did not criticize, even taking out 150 tales herself. This is 150 tales of gold that I have accumulated for many years, the remaining half is still missing, I can only rely on you, Ten Fields. Willow Hu Xuan saw that the tenth lady was sincere, so she volunteered to lend money to Li Zop to help you to escape. This is 150 tales I lent you. She is sincere with you. Absolutely don't disappoint her like that. At first he was still firm with his reasons, of course. The madam saw that the two of you really had silver, so she regretted it, but she had to use death and pressure to redeem herself successfully. The rich lady finally had to give up and let him go. Unfortunately, on the way home, he thought that if his father knew that he was bringing a prostitute back to his hometown, he would definitely beat him to death, but Li Zop was afraid of his father and did not dare to take his wife home, everything was seen in the eyes of his wife. Once again, Tu Nuong endured and accepted the loss, she comforted him, so I don't need a title first, you should use the letter to contact your family first, wait until one day they accept me, we're back, Du Tich Nyong understood him and traveled with him to the mountains and rivers but all the travel expenses were paid by Tich Nong. In less than half a year, his money would see the bottom. After hearing this, the men could not bear this anger any longer and immediately raised their voices and reacted harshly, which library disciple is this, Mr. Man, tell me, I have to teach him a lesson, that's right, if we go along, it would be a loss of dignity as a Confucian student. This reaction made Nam Uwen even more confused about this matter. Master Vuong overreacted again. He slammed his hand on the table and urged him to continue. Calm down. The younger brother was blazing with enthusiasm and easily moved. He invited the male gentleman to continue. The story continued, and at that time, the rich son of a wealthy family saw the beauty of the tenth lady. The rich man advised Li Zop who was in a difficult situation and was helpless to sell his thousands of gold to ten fields. Not only was he able to make Li Zop go home and say that he was no longer infatuated with the world but he was also able to make Li Zop escape the prostitute's entanglement. After listening, the old man dropped his cup of tea, his heart turned to stone, hoping that everything would not be the ending that no one expected, his eyes turned dark at this moment, unintentionally, the male gentleman continued walking. Unfortunately, the story did not end well, Li Zop cried in disgust with Du Top Nuong, wanting to sell her to the monk for thousands of gold. We have already made an appointment, he will use a big boat to pick up the energy. Finally, at this moment, Ten Yang saw through the truth, completely dead-hearted, she really had nothing left to say to the man she had fallen in love with, her heart was in the wrong place. This love affair was painful from the beginning and should not be. That guy was waiting for the wedding day, thinking he would achieve his goal soon. My lady, I have been waiting for you for a long time. It's true that there are thousands of tales in this place, young master Sun didn't go back on his word, Ten Nyang glanced over and took a look. The young man proudly replied, of course, to have you, I have spent thousands of gold. At this moment, Du Ti Nuong personally helped Li Zop count the amount of silver, at this moment, everyone felt that she had already met her fate, when she heard this, she sneered, her bitter smile glaring at the despicable man behind her. What a shame you have no eyes, her next actions made everyone surprised, take a look and see what's in here. My lady, these jewelry are worth several hundred gold. She did not hesitate to throw it into the river, everyone's eyes widened in surprise, one by one, the so-called jewels and riches were treated as trash and thrown down to the second and third floors, all of which were antique jade, gold and purple jewelry, worth thousands, yellow. She replied firmly, so what? Then just throw it down one after another without any hesitation. Ladies, don't do it. Ten Nyang turned her face cold and opened the other stones. Take a look and see what they are. These emeralds, emeralds, and cat's eyes are all priceless jewels. She once again threw them straight into the river. At this time the guy cursed angrily. Dang Top Nuong, are you crazy? 
Ten Niang's eyes were filled with tears, her sadness could not be expressed in words, only her last words were left, in my pocket, I have pearls, I hate Lang, I have no eyes, I do not betray my husband, my husband is proud of me. Then, in order to keep her body pure and her self-esteem at last, she committed suicide. People still say that it's a pity for a famous person like a flower like a jade to be buried in the belly of a fish with three souls flying back to the water palace, lost soul wandering in the underworld. Having mentioned this, Nam Uwen sighed. After hearing this, the men cried loudly and mourned for their daughter's life. How could anyone in this world be so dissatisfied, pitiful? Anger to death, Mr. Old Man, don't cover up for the wicked, please tell the old man where that guy Li Zop and Tun Fu are, I and those two guys are not on the same page, the old man was furious and stomped down continuously, determined to eliminate them. This action further agitated the men there, this kind of thing is not fiction, quickly tell me your address, it's okay to throw away literary names, we have to risk life and death with them, bad people do not deserve to live in this world, including us. Everyone saw that the male teacher didn't say anything but kept urging him. After a long time, Nam Veen suddenly released very strange verses, strange names turned into lovers, in a strange place, it was difficult to be surprised by the sad song under the red candle, the cold scent of soft clothes and sparkling wine, mountains of thoughts without moonlight, eyes looking back, sending dreams of Jiang Nan, regretting the east wind blowing away her ancient lair, reminding her of her untamed charm. Tan Tan accepts ghosts and spirits, Pen Lak Kim Fan Vu, Nam Wien Tian was stuck in the pen scene for more than 10 years, at this time, he was promoted to poetry stage. Immediately he felt an unusual change in his body, yet he had already been promoted to the level of a poet. Each of those people changed, one after another, their righteousness escaped after hearing your story, my husband, I, I also seem to have entered the realm of pen, of course, my righteousness can release it out, then naturally our main energy can be released out. This scene made the old man gasp in disbelief, knowing for sure that what had just happened was not simple, not right, this essay was not ordinary in that story, there was a great chance. Mr. Male, what exactly is this story? He quickly ran out to ask the reason behind the story. The euphemistic man honestly replied, Sir, this story has the same author as Chung Kui's short story, that is Van and Ba Tran Lak, as for the other story, I don't know. Van and Ba, Tran Lak. On this side, the boy is going to another place, sitting on the palanquin, snoring, forgetting the sky and the earth. While driving, the car suddenly stopped, if the world of pleasure suddenly stops, you will wake up from your drunkenness. He looked around in bewilderment, what's wrong, what happened? It's important to open the door a little and report, young master, you have so much skill, those things that were given to you, it is said that the emperor gave you a reward, he smiled and replied, so fast. All the workers, including the guards and servants, all came wearing silk and brocade, complimenting each other a lot, they were so good. But Tran Lak didn't put it in his eyes, you just couldn't help it with just a little thing, these words made K.Y. Trong feel even more confused. He asked again, is there something else? He smirked and said confidently, of course, I already asked you Veen earlier, Chung Kui's monthly royalties for the story are not less than 100,000 tales of silver. What, 100,000 tales? Seeing the long line of silver, his eyes were as bright as stars, he shouted happily, finally, the young master was no longer afraid of starving to death, he replied with a bored face, looking at me, I look like someone who will starve to death, any time. When he had money, he remembered Tran Tu In Tu Hoai far away, he thought to himself, now I have money, I have to buy them some clothes and jewelry, and find an opportunity to welcome them to the central capital. But at this time, Tran Lak writes leisurely, the storm is far from over, at this time, there was a loud scream in the newspaper shop, what do you say, the library, one of the eight major libraries in the central capital, invites me to lecture. The messenger inside respectfully handed over the invitation letter and replied, exactly, Nam Uwen's face was full of surprise. He still couldn't believe what had just happened, he pinched his cheek and said, Hung He, am I dreaming, it hurts so much, Hung He next to her replied, don't be impatient, this is an opportunity for the husband to become famous. Hearing that, Nam Owen worriedly replied, but do top Nuong, it was written by Van and Ba, wouldn't it be good if I just showed it everywhere. At this time, the messenger said, the prince has something to say, if you agree, he will recommend you as an honorary lecturer of the library. Seeing that, Nam Uwen's eyes shot out with starlight, he held the messenger's hand tightly and said, Please go back and tell the prince, Nam Uwen means that even if there are thousands of ways to avoid it, I will still come to the library to tell the story, this, the messenger nervously replied, Okay, okay. 
Nam Uwen saw the messenger leave and said, Little brother, be careful on the road. Hung he next to him saw this and immediately replied, Just now he said it was difficult, why did he agree now? Don't he worry about Van and Ba's business anymore. At this time, Nam Uwen kindly replied, This time I agree, there are two layers of meaning. One is Van and Ba invited me to give a lecture, the main purpose is to become famous in China, to open a new newspaper, make the story famous. Is there anything faster than reading the book once in the eight major libraries of central China? Hung He next to him immediately asked, So what is the second thing? His eyes lit up again and he said, He gave too much, the honor of being a lecturer in that library is something that thousands of Confucian students in the world open to. Who would have thought that Confucian students would be discouraged because they could not enter the eight major libraries? In the square filled with sacred texts, you can stand on the podium and only the great Confucian scholars have the right to open the ceremony. Nam Uwen's face was full of joy, thinking, this is entirely thanks to the blessings of Van and Ba, Van and Ba, Nam Uwen that is me, I wish to use this life to contribute to you. He took a breath, then determinedly thought, today, I must make my name famous. Below, the gentleman from the Chao Hong Dai Library said, This Vuong Ti Fan normally behaves inappropriately, so why is he so absurd today? And yet he brought Mr. Li into the library, next to the master of the library. Ti Qin Fan quickly replied, That's right, Vuong Ti Fan, relying on his favorite assistant, went to start the holy text lecture platform for a Mr. We will definitely lose face at the library. At this time, Mr. Wang Tu Din of the library quickly explained that today, starting the sacred literature lecture platform for Mr. Literature, was the decision of all three deputy deans. Perhaps this Mr. Literature lecturer has a place, then people. These two guys kept saying in disbelief, I've heard rumors about this Nam Vin Tian, I'm just a bored Confucian student, living a parasitic life in the scent of willows, relying on my mouth to wander around in the northern Fan Lao. I heard that Vuong Tit Fan used his literary name to pressure the deputy dean to open this piano. You wait and see, today will be the day the library will be destroyed and lose all face. Suddenly there was a cough from behind, cough cough cough. That was the voice of the deputy head of the library, Dai Confucian Dean Suing. Too high duck, he said, don't talk nonsense. Vuong Tit Fan does not use literary names to force him, but rather uses literary names to ensure, seeing that, those three guys said respectfully, asking for help. I guarantee that this male teacher will reveal a book of ancient texts that will bring many benefits to my students. They still didn't believe it and replied, I see that Nam Uenora, the righteous energy around him is faint, he must have just been promoted to the status of a corpse, it is still so difficult to become a corpse, where did the ancient text come from? The guy next to him quickly replied, that's right, the word test can be obtained by luck, the literature test is not an easy task. Hearing that, he immediately smiled and replied that the author of the essay was not him, but Van and Ba Tran Lak. They were shocked and shouted, did Van and Ba, Van and Ba, write the story together? But still not completely convinced, one of them was jealous and angry, saying that even if he was Van and Ba, he only had a book of short stories, and it didn't have the ability to avoid ghosts, and the writing style was also bad, that's it. Seeing that, he immediately asked, Do you know why this morning the assistants were summoned to Van Suing Palace? Why? They replied. He replied with a serious face, Van and Ba's writing style is only that in your mouth. Today I will use two poems to treat the court, including a few rare heartfelt poems. The literary minister personally submitted them, ordered, gathering the librarians of the great libraries to discuss popularizing this story. At this time, they were completely unable to keep calm and shouted, the two poems were sent to the court, the literary minister personally ordered and discussed popularizing them. He raised his face to the sky and said proudly, so just listen and see how many surprises this great man can bring us. A moment later, a voice rushed out from the temple, regretting the death of a famous woman as beautiful as Jade, but buried in the belly of a fish, three souls drifted back to the water palace, and the other soul wandered into the underworld. Suddenly, writers and scholars rushed out and cried out, Ah, damn, damn, where are that guy Li Zop and Venerable Fook? Intertidal air currents resonate and mix with each other. At this moment, Tu Hai Duk suddenly opened his eyes and said, The literature resonated, these students are blessed today. The Confucian scholars were going crazy, they were screaming, Where were that guy Li Zop and Venerable Fook? The sisters gathered their sisters and brothers to risk their lives with them, so hateful. Confucianism is like pillars of fire that are becoming more and more brilliant, illuminating the sky. Suddenly there was a shout, Oh, I, I've broken through. Then a chorus of voices said, I also broke through, so do I. The light pillars multiplied even more. 
to the point that he himself had to exclaim, strange writing, truly strange writing, these children combine with an unfathomable future literary destiny. The guys who teased and despised Nam Vuong now cried out in fear, here, them, let's go. To Wing Hai, he once again pointed his finger at them and said, this Nam Vuong is a great talent, we must keep it, yes, there is also Van and Ba, Sai, that person is a bit troublesome, let's save go to work. Suddenly he suddenly noticed a strange behavior from Tu Din, he said, hmm, you Tu Din, you also made a breakthrough, the other two couldn't be more surprised, ah, what's going on? Tu Din's face was filled with tears and he replied, Teacher, Tu Din's heart has been in trouble for the past ten years, the great Confucian has no hope, and is ashamed of the teacher, but today, Tu Din has thought of it. He knelt down respectfully and said, Teacher, ten years ago, Tu Din was exhausted by literary fame, there was a beautiful woman, until now the beautiful woman is still trapped in willow and sense, today I heard Mr. Nam tell about it, Du Top Nuong, the confusion in her heart flew away. The student wanted to marry a beautiful woman, hoping the teacher would be a matchmaker for her. Tu Duk Hai called out in panic, Tu Din, not only him, the other two also said with surprise, thinking that Tan Lao's woman really has a good person, is this Duong Tu Din crazy, that's just a coincidence, Van Van and Ba just thought of it. He grabbed Tu Din's shoulder and shouted, go, go get married, this old man will personally make a match for you, just be brave, don't listen to the dog barking. Hearing that, Tu Din quickly rushed to Tan Lao. Hearing that, the other two men immediately grimaced and replied, They are scolding us for being dogs, we are the deputy aid assistant when we are hungry, who would dare? In the Van Suing Pavilion, the library's assistant Kong Tian Fuing said with a bright face, This is what Vin Troop gave to the soldiers to attack the city of Van Yan, written by Van and Ba, it's true. Suddenly, the hand seal in his hand lit up, he wondered, Hmm, why did the hand seal have strange visions, who was in contact with the old man? The human figure in the seal appeared in panic and said, Teacher, please go home quickly, our library is about to explode. He slowly replied, What is the hurry, the person reading the book must calm down, but the person opposite him could no longer keep calm, he said, you should see for yourself. The scene shows the group breaking through. But he was not surprised and replied, It was indeed a new mat, it was just a leveled up population, nothing could explode. Before he could finish his sentence, he used great Confucian magic powers, showing off his steps, before leaving, he only left one sentence, the old man went to check it out. The Confucian scholars behind were surprised by this and discussed, this Kong Tian ward actually used great Confucian magical powers, Kue stepped Tian Li, and said he was not panicking, running faster than a ghost, destroying the library, such a big story, don't you want to understand one or two things clearly? Then they rushed away as fast as they could, calling to each other as they went, to go and see, to go and see. At this time in Van and Ba Palace, he said, while chewing chicken thighs, this is the most delicious thing I have eaten in the past two years. Tran Lak just calmly replied, this thing here is called cold tuyun wine, and a tale of silver per glass, it's really precious, in my hometown, this thing is called happy water, for three coins you can drink the whole bottle, big. Wonderfully asked questions, the country was happy, Tran Lak didn't answer, he just burped and said, it's too much, I'm also a rich man now, tell someone to bring two jars here tomorrow. I carefully reminded you, drinking too much cold wine will make your bones weak, that's right, sir, the most difficult thing when doing journalism is copying, I heard it clearly just now. Tran Lak calmly replied, burp, copy, nothing difficult. K.Y. Chin hastily explained that the book that the writer needs to copy is elegant, cannot be engraved, can only be personally copied by Confucian students, and if Confucian students meet the conditions of having the art of writing, they will be paid a salary, month is 800 tales. Hearing this, Tran Lak immediately panicked and said, 800 tales. He quickly thought, oh my, if we were to find 50 people to copy it, then the monthly salary alone would be 40 million VND, not even planning to release, one month could release four installments, a total of four releases, 10,000 notes. So one sheet must be at least one tail or three cents of money to recover the capital. The more he thought about it, the more thoughtful he said, but the prediction in my heart was three cents per note, once it was too expensive, ordinary people wouldn't be able to buy it. His face wrinkled as he thought, that is to say, I sold one bill at a loss of one tail of silver, 40,000 bills at a loss of 40,000 tails. He held his head and thought, if it were to be popularized all over the world, wouldn't we be at a loss, go bankrupt on the spot, and directly stop publishing, but the more readers there are, the higher the rate of generating red dust. 
the more feedback we receive, the more quickly we can recover. What methods did the capitalists of the past use to control capital? Looking back, he thought, yes, didn't this kid come to China to study? He asked, 2KY, did you say you wanted to go to central China to study? He immediately replied, yes, it was Mr. Huang T. Fan of the Chiat Dao Library who recommended me, tomorrow I will ask the young master for a leave of absence, so that I can go to Mr. Huang's place to clarify the situation and take a break from school, anyway, I already agreed with you to be a bodyguard for a year. Tran Lak immediately said excitedly, Huang T. Fan, he thought, the best way to save money is to cooperate with the school, you have to take advantage of this. At the library, Huang Tit Fan said to the assistant, The assistant, the statistics are complete. Suddenly, Huang Tit Fan discovered that there were many people behind him standing guard, listening. He quickly reassured him, It's okay, let's hear it, yes, Huang Tit Fan quickly replied. He began to list each item, Today there are a total of 963 students in the Holy Text Square, of which 153 people have reached the level of releasing righteous energy from the vital energy in their bodies, and 96 people have achieved self-realization. Scene increased to pen scene, 63 people rose from pen scene to poetry scene. In addition, almost all the students' righteous preparations increased by more than one level, furthermore, the masters at the scene also improved, but not as clearly as the students. When the palace heard this, they wondered, most of them, is there anything special? He immediately replied, Master of the Abbey, Duang Tu Din rose from the Kaimong realm to a civilized gentleman. The palace immediately smiled and said, it seems that the child has broken his bond. Suddenly someone asked, is this all for the sake of enraging the ten-year-old lady who drowned the treasure chest? He quickly replied, yes, oh, they cried in surprise. Then they immediately argued with Vuong Tit Fan, Nam Uen means one trip to our academy, one trip to each family, no favoritism, this sentence makes sense, the bet is reasonable. Suddenly came to the rescue and tried to stop him, everyone, forget that idea, Nam Uen is just a novel, the most important thing is probably Van and Ba behind him. The great Confucian woman quickly asked, so what if it's true? The old Confucian next to her quickly answered, if we compete for the esteem of Van and Ba, then big libraries like us should rely on ourselves. The assistant continued to speak, currently Van and Ba is the Red Army in the eyes of the civil and military generals, His Majesty has thrown away all the dignity of the civil service because of him, and is still a disciple of Bamboo Dodge, destroying our academy, you can't climb high alone, neither can you, you need everyone to join forces to get there. Moreover, he wrote Chung Kneeling, and then wrote Du Ten Nuong, who knows what he will write next, that is the real treasure chest. At this time, everyone said in unison, so this matter seems to have to be fully planned. At the banquet place, the panda behind him said, Sir, hurry up, after watching, tell me what you see, I have to go home quickly, the old lady in the house is still waiting for me to come home to eat, it spoke while chewing on bamboo. Song Tu Chi immediately replied, Shut up, the master personally wrote the letter, how could he read it so quickly? In the letter, I have read the letter you sent, if you have worked for the world, then you must use the restraint of the senior brother, take care of the junior brother, do not be lax, when will you come to Bak Lam to worship, if you see me, then you and I can decide for ourselves, coming here, I immediately said, it seems that the master likes this little junior brother very much. Continue reading, little junior brother, you open the fourth heavenly path, which is a path for sentient beings, the story of opening the newspaper is also the source of power of the fourth heavenly route, the new newspaper story, you need to protect it, this is the key for my little junior brother to attain enlightenment, Tui Tian quickly replied, it is a matter of course, who dares to stop it, I will beat him once. The letter also wrote, the story of Du Top Nuong, the teacher researched it for half a day, and already had some thoughts, wanted to share it with you one or two, stop wondering, Du Top Nuong. Although this story is written about separation and joy, it exudes a reminder to the world that standing in the red world and going out of the red world is extremely similar to our Confucianism, fusing the qi and how nian qi generated from Du Ten Nuong. Then using this merged qi to perform all Confucian magical powers related to anger, all have an increase, the teacher believes, if you, little master, can write down all seven types of states of joy, anger, compassion, sadness, sadness, fear, and horror, then the overall strength of my Confucian school will increase to three levels. Reading this, I was surprised and said, can my Confucian strength increase to three stars? Tu Chi continued reading in panic, but after all this is a short story, I don't know what level of epic heroism can be written, what kind of mountain and river writing can be drawn, for the truth to look forward to, that's right, 
the great Buddha and Bodhisattva of the West sent a Bodhisattva and two Arhats into the great mystery, intending to transform the world, my second senior sister has personally gone to cause trouble with them, so there is no need to worry about the rest, you decide for yourself, uncle. Let the second senior sister personally take action, look at my master, he is really angry, he said. If he quits, he needs a pen to write a letter, he wrote and said, perhaps, we should find a suitable opportunity to officially meet the little junior brother, this time we meet, we have to think carefully about how to express our spirit, with the situation of our bamboo forest line, we might as well pull together and fight again. At the same time, Chi Hu felt a bad omen. At Van Suing Pavilion, Wei Dai Confucian spoke loudly, what you mean is, Bao Tran Lak gave you the power to read, understand and copy, Du Ten Nuong angrily drowned the hundred treasure chest. The assistants replied in unison, Wei Dai Confucius, I have a little gift that I hope you will accept, I hope you will create a good relationship and help us contact Van and Ba, that's right, please help. Wei Dai Confucian's face grimaced, he thought, I also want to help you, but the problem is that I stand in front of everyone to pay respects to him. If I go looking for him now, then I don't know where this old face of mine is, I will absolutely not go looking for Tranlak again, and even if I die, I won't go. Seeing that it was ineffective, the helper immediately thought, it seems that this little gift cannot shake this old man, he must add more force to it. He quickly said, haven't the great Confucian scholars always wanted to have the rich Mandarin of the previous dynasty, if you can complete this task, I will give it to you. The writer's face was surprised and he replied, Are you telling the truth? He thought to himself, The master is a top calligrapher who has entered the dragon and snake pipe pen. The air detective in the Baiyang Anfu were written by him in his mind. The Trung Thu is a treasure that many people dream of. I've had the rich Baiyang An for many years now. The only thing I'm missing is the rich detective. At this time, the assistant signaled his promise and said, The gentleman spoke one word. Van Hu quickly replied, Four horses are difficult to chase, he thinks it's just the face, the face is not as good as detective can't be rich. After thinking about it, my friend quickly said, I agree with you, I will definitely make things right for you, you just wait for a reply. Hearing that, the assistants immediately replied, No, we actually didn't mean that. Wei DM, how about you invite Van and Ba to come out, let us speak for ourselves, if possible, Xuan Fan Academy I would also like to invite Van and Ba to be an honorary master, that's right, Van and Ba is my brother, the son of Bamboo Saint, first had national flag literature, then had a sincere heart for poetry, not teaching his students a few lessons would be truly inappropriate. Wei DM understood what you were saying, did you mean you wanted to meet and talk, that's right, the assistants replied in unison. The more he thought about it, I wouldn't lose face by doing this quietly, but with so many people looking at me, I, my old face really has nothing to hide. Wei DM quickly said, everyone calm down, it's not that I don't want to call little master uncle to meet you, but right now little master uncle is busy preparing the ceremony to pay homage to the master, with my master watching over him, so he won't go, it's not possible. Unfortunately the detective is not too rich, it seems you and I are not destined. The writers choked up and said, it turns out that's the case, that's such a shame. Wei DM thought to himself, even though he couldn't get rich, he was lucky that this old face could still be kept. At this time, Tran Lak opened the door and shouted loudly, little puppet, I need your help with something. Wei DM's face turned pale before the appearance of Tran Lak. After a moment of confusion, the supporters introduced their purpose, and Tran Lak also made clear their intention to find him to cooperate. A hospital guard quickly asked, what does Van and Ba think? Tran Lak thought about it and said, let me think. He thought to himself, even though we need students to copy books, we still have to take care of our reputation, so we should still set a suitable price. After thinking about it, he said, I need 50 people to copy 10,000 papers for me, each person 300 tails per month, what do you think? Wei DM in the back thought boredly, why is this kid so stupid? The assistants all wondered together, what did they mean? He calmly replied, don't you all want to copy the book for me, I'm preparing to make a new newspaper, inside will be a serial publication of my new work, which needs elegant transcription. The assistant said in panic, there are still new works, there are still long-term works, and indeed the Van and Ba is the real chest of hundreds of treasures. The assistant held Tran Lak's hand and said, Van and Ba, don't be polite, helping you copy books is an honor for my library. Me too, me too, everyone replied in unison. Tran Lak said in surprise, what does that mean? 
The assistants happily answered and helped him copy the book. We, the disciples of the academy, do not take any money. When it comes to readers, talking about money is very vulgar. After all, it is copying, and on weekdays, students also have to practice. Practice continuously without wasting any effort. Tranlack said worriedly, but he couldn't let his students work for free. The librarians called back, no, the library already has a system for students, the academy will issue points instead of remuneration for students, you can rest assured about this point. However, one academy slowly said. Tranlack quickly said worriedly, what's wrong, does the supporter Kong have any requests, he thought to himself, indeed, there is no free lunch in the world. They immediately said, 10,000 parts is too little, how can it be enough to divide between eight libraries? Hearing that, Tran Lak was immediately confused. Prime Minister Kong Tian offers a price, let me say a number, 40,000, 40,000 pieces. The other supporters also agreed and applauded warmly, yes, 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 40,000 copies. Tran Lak said doubtfully, are you sure? He thought, the matter I have been worried about for so long has been resolved like this. However, we still have a request that we hope you won't refuse. Tranlack replied, What's going on? They shouted. After handing this matter over to us eight libraries, Van and Bo cannot go looking for anyone else anymore. Tranlack Chanan, of course. Kong Tian Tu Tuong smiled and said, He he, then we promise that, but I don't know if Van and Ba has an idea for a long-term story for the first issue yet. The other guards listened quietly. He quickly replied, of course, he already had an idea, everyone suddenly asked, do they have a draft yet? Of course there is, 2KY, Tranlack said, come here. 2KY came in with a stack of manuscripts in his hand and said, please help her Kong take a look. Help her Kong immediately replied, don't dare don't dare. Suddenly everyone noticed the confused look on the face of Prime Minister Kong and said, Kong Prime Minister, everyone looked at the appearance of the Prime Minister of Kong, they didn't expect to be so delusional. Everyone quickly gathered around so I could take a look. I also watch. I also want to see. Tranlack thought, watch it. You'll soon know what it means to miss a lifetime just by reading a novel. Ha ha. At this time in the main hall, there was a sound of discussion. The general had already clearly investigated the affairs of the gods. Great Wianqin General Chao Ta Fan replied, say it. The other guy quickly said, yes, the large-scale breakthrough that caused the students of the library to make a major breakthrough was because of a storyteller from the North Fan Lao named Nam Uwen Tian. This person told the story of Du Tich Nuong angrily drowning a chest of hundreds of treasures, shaking the literary fortunes of the sacred text square, causing everyone to break through. He replied, is it strange that this route was created by him? The other guy quickly replied, telling the truth, the author of this series is Van and Ba Tran Lak. The main general did not suddenly answer, Tran Lak, the person who opened the fourth heavenly road, indeed, his action was a storm. The other guy continued, Qin Tuong, students have one more news, I heard that Tran Lak is preparing to open a new newspaper, the new newspaper is not a street newspaper, but elegant literature. The general was surprised and ordered to investigate clearly, yes, the other guy replied. The main general looks at the map, ponders, and understands the fourth heavenly path, not knowing whether it is a blessing or a curse. At the same time at Van Suing Pavilion, Teacher Du Top Nuong angrily drowned a chest of hundred treasures, this can really help my Confucian level up, a Confucian wondered. Yan Bak Shuyan replied, it's just a coincidence, but what you said is not wrong, the Confucian replied, I hope you can explain. He slowly explained that this essay's difficulty lies in using the word love as the key, capturing other people's emotions, it makes the people and characters in the text feel like they are breathing and having the same destiny, the young person's blood is hot, it is the age of anger, this text is just suitable, so there is a situation of upgrading the level of the library. Confucian students who advance to the next level because of this text are certain to be chivalrous and reckless throughout their lives. As it turned out, the other students seemed enlightened. Suddenly, a lot of air flowed into Bok Xu Yen's head, his eyes seemed to have stars, he stood up and shouted, hey, he's written another piece of literature. Worshipping when the Confucian scholars were dumbfounded and asked Tran Lak, it's over, that's it, it's over, 10,000 pieces, where's next? He smirked and replied, the next part is still very long. He continued, but it was inconvenient to take it out now. Everyone rushed to him to ask, so who is the person who destroyed the gate? How does Fuing Yan try know the Lam family's evil sword technique? What will be the fate of Lam Binchi's family? Please reveal more or less, but... Tran Lak replied, wait until the second installment comes out and there will be chapter 2. 
the door was suddenly closed, the defenders were like wild animals that had been starved for a long time, waiting to pounce on their prey, he said in panic, what are you doing? They quickly replied, Van and Bo, we are all great Confucians, our morals are trustworthy, how about you write the next manuscript, we will preserve it for you, that's right, Brother Kong's words hit home, it's very close to my heart, what you say makes a lot of sense, Van and Ba is busy with many things. These small things that our assistants can do for us, we can immediately swear to heaven that we will absolutely not reveal them. Wei Dian now stood up to speak on his behalf. Little master, I said one chapter is one chapter, what are you guys talking about? Hearing that, they did not dare to oppress Tran Lak anymore. Ah, then this manuscript, we will. Assistant Kong's face thought worriedly, almost forgot, this Tran Lak is a disciple of the semi-saint Truk Lam, know if you can force it. Then just take this manuscript that the author personally wrote and it will be considered a great treasure. At the same time, Wei Dian took back the manuscript in the helper's hand and said, Little master, I will preserve this manuscript for you. The assistant saw this and quickly said, We don't have the manuscript, how can we copy it? That's right. Another assistant nodded repeatedly and said, Wei Dai Confucius, you, the assistant Confucius said with a grimace. At this time, Wei Diem is threatening, are you great Confucians not yet awakened to the ability to look at it and remember it, you want to trick your little master's original manuscript, this is the treasure of our true clam. The defenders looked at the sky and the earth, trying to find a way to distract them. At this time, Tran Lak stood up and spoke, everyone, I'm sorry to bother you about copying, as long as you copy quickly, I guarantee the second chapter will be out quickly. Hearing that, the assistants immediately rushed to say, Okay, the students in the library are too lazy these days, we have to tell them to study all night, that's right, our library is the same, say goodbye, let's go. Let's just go back and write, they use their magical powers to disappear, Tran Lak thought, if you go then just leave, do you need to use your magical powers? He turned back and said to Wei DM, Senior, I still have something to do first, little master uncle can go, he replied. Turning around to leave, Wei Diem silently said, Is this manuscript really that good? Let me take a look. Suddenly there was a scream, camouflage, and a bolt of lightning fell next to him. That's General Van, he said in panic, General Van, why did you come here? The writer slowly explained, I came to see, what kind of story did you write, little master, that made those people have the mindset to block others? A moment later, after reading, the writer said, it's over, it's over, more than 27,000 words, it's really over, Wei DM replied. Van said with an angry face, this guy is so hateful, he dares to interrupt a chapter at a crucial moment. Van Tuong was right, Wei DM said as well, writers pursue everything from the beginning to the end, writing essays that stop at the key points, it is true that he has gone crazy, the shame of the writer, he has gained momentum. The writer quickly asked, if I locked him up and forced him to write the rest of this story, would your true clan master come and cause trouble with me? Wei DM replied with a worried face, I'm afraid the person who came is not the founder, but my second uncle. Hearing the name of second master, Van Tuong was filled with fear and exclaimed, second master, he quickly clarified that it was just a joke, just kidding, just kidding. At this time, at Van and Ba Palace, he thought to himself, Today's things are going so well, everything is Nam Uwen Ni's work, I have to find a way to give him a lucky money, after all I have money now. At this moment, Nam Vuong rushed out and cried out, Uncle and Tran Lak cried out in bewilderment and said, Young man, I didn't expect you to be here, that's great, you helped me today. Hearing that, Nam Uwen immediately replied, Uncle, the text you gave me has the gift of regeneration, if you don't mind, Nam Uwen would like to worship and join your subordinates. Hearing that, Tran Lang thought to himself, what's going on, is my luck that strong, the king's aura has just dissipated, and my little brother immediately joined the army. Nam Uwen and Yep continuously told all the stories he had been through these past few days, including the story of his recent solemn reception by major libraries, the story of his own breakthrough to the realm, and many other stories, lost listen. Hearing that, he thought to himself, it turns out that's how it happened, no wonder why he said that, suddenly, he bowed his head and clasped his hands together, saying, your kindness to me is as important as a mountain. Seeing that, he immediately stopped and spoke up, no need to be so polite, you and I both help each other, this male student reported something that I said last time. He heard that and immediately interrupted him, uncle, don't keep calling me Mr. Male anymore, I'm very embarrassed, as for the news, as long as uncle doesn't criticize me, the boy is willing to do his best. Hearing that, he thought, if that's possible then that would be great, it would be like this kid has accepted him. 
Thinking so, he turned around and said, Xiaoji, you should give the male student 5,000 tales first. Male student, try to find the best writer, remember to write, don't be afraid of crowds but must be good. Hearing that, he took out 5,000 tales and gave them to him. Mr. Nam, this is your 5,000 tales. Nam Un immediately accepted the treasure. I will definitely not betray your trust. After finishing everything, Tran Lak ran up and down and spoke up. Little boy, later someone ordered me two large grilled chickens and a few bottles of wine. Tonight I must have a big meal. Today is really a row. Having encountered many happy events, he was in a comfortable mood. He asked in confusion, what is a male chicken, and then placed an order, what are you talking about, sir? Tranlak thought to himself, copying, propaganda, it's all done, now the final step is missing which is how to release it into the hands of buyers. Suddenly, an old man ran up in fear and called out, sir, save me, quickly save me. Hearing that, he turned around and asked in confusion, what are you talking about, why did you save my life, but what could I save? Behind him, there were a few more people running behind trying to follow and stop him, shouting loudly, Hey bronze jar, stop, don't alarm the uncle. Seeing that he had clasped his hands and bowed sincerely like that, he immediately bent down and asked, Your name is Bronze Urn, even though I don't know you, why did you come to me to save your life? The guy behind saw this and quickly explained, I'm sorry, this person's name is the bronze jar, it's the advertisement of Tam K. Trang, and Tam K. Trang, is the royal page that the emperor gave him a few days ago, three streams flow, around, the richest. He let out a loud noise, so it turns out that I have never met the manager before, what crime did you commit to selling my estate? Lu Don kept denying it, he was really a coward and didn't dare. The guy next to him saw that and sighed, Sir, listen to me, the story is like this. Although the current situation in our dynasty is stable, due to natural disasters, there are still many children without homes to return to. Lu Dong had a kind nature and could not see the suffering without saving him, so he decided to bring these children back to the farm. However, not long after, the number of children that Lu Dong took in reached 200. If it were normal, he would just need to pay the appropriate amount of money, this matter could be considered as being able to be ignored, but now that Tan K. Trang is the private property of the uncle, he cannot do that anymore. Lu Dong screamed, you can't chase those children away, if you chase them away without me by your side, the children won't be able to live, Tan K. Trang's annual allowance is 10,000 tails of white silver, a good harvest can only earn 1 million tails. As long as you let me take in the children, I will definitely give you 12,000 tails every year and I will definitely not miss any money. He thought to himself, what a coincidence I just cleverly recruited children to my site. I thought for a moment and asked K.Y. Trong to quickly investigate, as soon as the important command was finished, he rushed away. He pointed inside and invited everyone inside to rest for a while. When everyone was inside, he looked at the bronze jar and spoke, he said that when the harvest is good, the harvest will only yield 10,000 tails, now, on what basis can you say that you can give me 1,200,000 tails, where did you get a thousand tails from? He replied that when the old slave returned, he would return a portion of the rented land and let the children plow it, if one adult and ten children worked, perhaps they would earn a little more income, if not, old slave will. You interrupted him and said, sell children to make money. Hearing that, he knelt down and said, the old slave didn't want to, but if there was no royal decoration to protect those children, there would be no way to live. You told him to get up quickly, the problem is not this, but can I really believe what you say? In case he wants to dominate the royal estate, find the king and act with you, or, it's basically not child adoption but child trafficking, so wouldn't we be complicit? Hearing that, the person next to him spoke up, Uncle, it's definitely not what you think. The bronze urn kneeling next to him also clarified himself, Uncle, don't think like that, blame me, this traveler has a reputation, is a good person. He said again, that's all I'm suspicious of, you don't need to worry too much, wait a little later and everything will be clear. At this moment, he kicked open the door and rushed in loudly, Sir, I have investigated clearly. After finishing speaking, he came closer and whispered, This bronze jar is telling the truth, I'll still go find out with the neighbors, the bronze jar has been taking care of orphans for three or four years now, children older than 13 years old will leave on their own, no matter what, anything unusual. Hearing that, he patted his shoulder and said, Okay, let's go quickly, he was startled and exclaimed, Where are we going? Besides going to Tan K. Trang to visit the children, are there other things? As for the rented fields, there is no need to pay any more, the royal estate can continue to house the children there, but on the condition that the children must work for me. 
He replied, of course, he was just afraid that they were too young and would ruin the family's affairs. How can it be wrong? Do we want them to be our little soldiers, newspaper traders? At the Hanga Library, at this time, Trin Deep Phi sat thoughtfully outside, Du Tich Nuong angrily drowned the chest of treasures, only to listen to the elder brother tell him that I had already made people fall in love with him, so tomorrow morning I'll skip class for a day and go listen to the boys. It's a story, I wonder if Mr. Nam will still tell the story of Du Ten Nuong. Or write a petition asking for help to come out and find Van and Ba. Suddenly, a hand was placed on her shoulder and someone called her, making her suddenly startled. Are you thinking about love? Seeing that it was the dream sister Willow, she responded, What kind of lover? How could she say such a thing out of her mouth? Willow dream Tam immediately said, Why can't you say it? My father said, Falling in love with a man and a woman is the most normal thing. Only a puppet gentleman has to avoid it. Deep Phi frowned, If you are like your father, can recite the legendary poem like the golden wind and jade low meet each other, and overcome countless people in the world, then I will accept whatever you say. Hearing this, Willow Mung couldn't help but be angry, because of this poem, my doorstep was kicked down by those concubines, forcing me to stay at the academy for two months. Okay, but aren't you going to participate in the show's cultural festival, why did you come to find me? Oh, I almost forgot, the library sent out a notice, saying it wanted to invite Confucian students with calligraphy to advance to the dragon and snake realm to copy elegant literature, if they copy 100 times, they will get one credit, I specially came here and called you to come along. Hearing Willow Dream Tam talk about Deep Phi, she curiously asked if she knew what literature it was. It seems like it's called smiling and arrogant or something, and it doesn't seem like it's even great Confucian literature, who knows why it's copied, if it's not great Confucian literature, then who is the author? Well the author seems to be, Van and Ba, that's exactly that person. Deep Phi was startled and quickly ran away, running and regretting, quickly, quickly go and copy. At this time, the bronze urn has also led Tran Lak to Tan K. Trang, Mr. Num, Ba Jia, to Tan K. Trang. Tran Lak, still not at all, quickly asked him where the children were. Lu Dong stammered and said, Uncle, they are all orphans with no one to take care of them, I'm afraid it will hurt your eyes. Tran Lak didn't care, he waved his hand okay and went to open the door himself. As soon as he opened his mouth, the smile on his bare lips faded away, his face was filled with only a look of pain. There are countless children inside, each of them skinny, with dirty faces, tattered clothes, lost and bewildered, what is this? The bronze urn went to the children and told them to go to the backyard, lest they run into the uncle. The children quickly moved away, and there was a curious boy who occasionally turned around to look at the ceiling. Looking at the kids, he thought of the students wearing red scarves greeting him and saw this scene just like when he hadn't yet traveled to be an assistant teacher. There was an unfortunate boy walking over there who tripped over a wooden board. The bronze urn eagerly reached out and ran back, he was so scared that he was sweating, he didn't know, once he fell, he would definitely cry, by that time he would bother his uncle, everything would be ruined. But fortunately, Tran Lak saw him and immediately rushed over to catch the boy, he was okay. The boy's eyes sparkled as he looked at Tran Lak, thank you, thank you. Tran Lak picked up the boy and announced, Stop everything, don't run, starting today, you are all my people. The kids stared at him in surprise and didn't say a word. Seeing that the children were silent and unresponsive, he said again, Starting from today, you are all people of Van and Ba Tran Lak, your home is Tam K Trang, from now on, you are no longer orphan again. They were moved to tears, Really, we already have a home. Immediately, each of them knelt down on the ground with the same voice, thanking the uncle, Tran Lak thought, before I was just a student and couldn't do anything, now I can easily change the lives of these children. I just saw him holding a pen and drawing an outfit accompanied by a bag, suddenly Tran Lak smiled, the design was done. Next, order winter and summer clothes like this for the children, they are now the face of our Count's palace, they cannot be lacking, you know, the bronze jar looked at Tran Lak, thank you sir. The people next to him laughed and talked happily, didn't you say you wanted these children to work for you, if they could contribute a little, they would also have more survival skills in the future. Tran Lak agrees with that point of view, yes, next divide the group into groups, seven years old and above will help us work, the rest can rest assured at home to eat and sleep well and grow up, next invite a few Confucian students to come and teach them, read books and become literate. So go to work, we have to work too. After instructing the bronze jar, he happily opened his arms to the children, come here, don't be afraid, come to my place to play. 
I'll teach you to sing, everyone must remember. So he started singing la la la, la la la, I'm a little newspaper man, he spoke and the kids started singing along, la la la, la la la, I'm a little newspaper man. Here, I saw the children happily mingling with Tran Lack and spoke up, if I had met you when I was young, I probably wouldn't have entered the palace in person, Lu Dong continued, I'm not like noble people, we have ever met. K.Y. Trong said with a proud face, I was also saved by you before, I have known for a long time that you are not an ordinary person. Seeing the children so happy makes me think, indeed, human values are always expressed above others. Scene changed to Northern Fan Lao, at this time everyone is sitting and discussing together, everyone, inviting everyone to come is truly a mandate, Van and Ba, recruiting us is a matter of great luck, I hope you won't refuse. Nam Uwen finished speaking, Mr. Tang Lak spoke up and asked, Van and Ba invited us to write a literary essay, having a salary is of course a good thing, but will it last long? Van and Ba is only favored at the moment, but if in the long run, if he loses power, what should we do? Nam Uwen replied, I see Kong Tang has been thinking a lot, the uncle actually doesn't rely on anyone, do you know who wrote Du Top Nuong, which shocked the whole central capital? Everyone was surprised when they heard it, what you mean is, maybe? Nam Uwen stood up and shouted, it is Van and Bo's handwriting, and the new work he is about to hand over to us has already been written, the work is called Too Arrogant Yang Ho. After listening, everyone was shocked at how fast this Van and Ba's creativity was, he had just finished writing a period of writing, Du Top Nuong, and was able to immediately take out a new work, the output was so high, one person blurted out, mouth spoke, just like a sow. Feeling a bit humiliated, I quickly covered my mouth, I said something a bit rude. Nam Vuong took out a stack of papers and walked back to where everyone was sitting. This is the uncle's new work, you can take a look. A moment later, when they read the work, everyone suddenly got excited. Where is the sequel? Why isn't there a sequel? Why did this tyrant write so short? What I said just now, I take back what I said just now. This is not a high output, but a shame for writers. Nam Uwen spoke up, as long as you respond to Van and Ba's invitation, from now on there will be new works delivered every month, and you will also be the first to receive the goods. Really, I guarantee it's absolutely true, but you also have conditions. Immediately everyone changed color, it's certainly not that simple, what conditions are there, they won't allow us to be alone anymore, if that's the case, our job of earning a living will be lost. He waved his hand and smiled, saying, No, you guys have to divide this into six paragraphs to talk about, to help you sell new newspapers. If you say it like that, aren't we also becoming a disgrace to writers? I think it's divided into six sections, I'm afraid the listeners are impatient, although it's probably true, they're impatient, so they buy the newspaper. Nam Uwen asked again, So, will you do it? Everyone looked at each other, then they all raised their hands to agree, of course they would do it. On the other side, K.Y. Trong left Tam K. Trang with Tran Lak. Chen Lak sat in the carriage and was thinking again, things are going so well these days, next, we just need to print a new newspaper, and we can wait for the energy to gather, at that time, money and money will all be gone, into my pocket. The next step is to welcome my sister here to enjoy the blessings. That's right, the barbaric pill from 10,000 Bao Lao Trung Keen can treat my sister's eyes. Thinking of that, Tran Lak whispered to him, Thank you, go to Van Bao Lao. At this time in Van and District, Tran Fu, Tran Tu Yin was sitting outside admiring the scenery drinking tea when the little home quickly ran in. Miss, the district magistrate also had new news from the young master. What news? Say quickly. The young master was given the title of Van and Ba, worshipped the half-saint master, was awarded a great house, and also wrote powerful poetry, which must have been some of the literature of a young lady. Hearing that, Tran Tuying grabbed the paper from her hand and said, Don't read it anymore, let's prepare to go to China. The young lady replied, Yes, she felt that the young lady was worried that the young master would be exposed to his body. Just as the little girl thought, Tran Tuying was worried about the young master, she was worried that the young master had already known how to write exams since he was young, so he had to manage it, he was only a little old, if he didn't manage it, his body would be hollowed out, how? Then told the young master, I still have to go to the Bible. Remembering when she was a child, her father held a baby in his arms who was also a child, she remembered his father's words, Honey, look at this baby, do you want him to be your general, or your younger brother, of children? The little girl replied cleverly, What is a general, he is still so young, he must be my younger brother. Many years have passed, but she still remembers this story. 
that little kid at that time, why has he suddenly grown up like that, if you've been a sister for 19 years, just keep doing it. Tran Lak had just arrived at Van Bao Lao, seeing the bustling scene, he was excited, oh my, this is a commercial street. KY Trong behind him scratched his head in confusion, commercial street, isn't it very good? After a while, a person came in front of him to inform him, Uncle, the barbarian bone pill you need has a match, please follow me. Vuong Kong Kong guided Tran Lak, invited Uncle to go this side, ahead is coming, their methods are heavenly, I have seen the barbaric pill at their place before. Then the prince turned to a fat man, he was the boss here, the prince said, there is a gentleman coming, come quickly to meet him, the boss saw the prince and shouted, prince. The boss walked quickly to Tran Lak and said, what treasure do you want? Tran Lak asked him, man caught Dan, do you have it? The boss opened his eyes wide and his mouth quickly replied, of course yes. Tran Lak happily asked again, is it true, K.Y. Trong, who was standing next to him, was also surprised, he quickly interjected and asked, quickly bring it here, we are not short of money. The boss clasped his hands, he smiled wryly, but right now we don't have any inventory, so if we want that thing we have to go get it. Tran Lak's biggest question right now is, what does winning mean? The boss did not hide it, he showed Tran Lak and everyone how to get the barbaric pill very meticulously, the key material of the barbarian pill was the barbarians in the north, but slaughtering an entire tribe was also enough, only get a maximum of 5 parts of medicinal herbs, but to destroy an entire barbarian tribe in a barbaric barbarian area, at least 3 great scholars need to act together. He continued, but now there is no inventory, if you want to have barbarian bone pills, you can only arrange people to go to the barbarian area immediately, then he made the final conclusion, so it is called grabbing goods. After listening to Tran Lak, he felt that this was an extremely absurd story, he had to slaughter the entire barbarian tribe to get the barbarian bone pill, isn't that too cruel? When the duke heard this, he spoke up, killing the barbarians is cruel, do you know how many Confucian scholars we have sacrificed to prevent the barbarians from spreading southward? He continued, that group of barbarians had slaughtered many innocent people of Dai Xuan, did you know? Tranla was sweating a little at this time, he analyzed, I understand, the barbarians of this world are basically equal to demons, the king in the deep city palace is still angry and speechless, I'm afraid Dai Xuan will also be angry, hate the barbarians to the core. Tran Lak now bowed respectfully, you changed your words earlier, I made a mistake, the barbarians deserve to be killed. When the prince saw Tran Lak bowing humbly and saying that, he was extremely surprised and thought to himself, uncle, how can you apologize to a slave like me, maybe this time I'm not following the wrong person. After that, he also bowed his head respectfully and replied that it was the servant who was rude and suddenly became emotional, hoping that the uncle would not blame him. The boss stepped closer to Tran Lak, he pointed to Tran Lak, the boss wants the barbarian bone pill, that is the right thing, kill two birds with one stone, I have just destroyed the barbarian tribe, and completed it, the wishes of the lord. Tran Lak is ready to make money quickly, he said, of course he is willing, the amount of money is not a problem, you name the price. The boss smiled and replied, if you want three great Confucians to go, the villain thinks three pieces of great Confucian treasures are enough, if you don't have great Confucian treasures, that's fine, the villain can also bid. Although Tran Lak smiled and said, yes, how much, please say it directly, but in his heart he was already dumbfounded, where should I go to find the great Confucian Van Bao, I'll ask for a few from the senior puppet master, it won't work, right, not to mention I'm still his elder now. The boss didn't care much about Tran Lak's feelings, so he continued, 100,000 tails of white silver in exchange for one tail of Tian Dao crystal, 10 tails of Tian Dao crystal for a piece of great Confucian text treasure, what do you think? Tran Lak calculated and said, isn't that 3 million tails of silver? He thought, oh my, I sell 100,000 tails of silver in a year, so wouldn't it take 30 years without eating or drinking to collect enough, 30 years, pigs have reincarnated 90 times, and the yellow flowers are cold. The boss saw the boy raise his hand to calculate, he quickly asked him if he was short of money. Tran Lak laughed and said, ha 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 no, I'm just asking. Then he leaned over and whispered into the boss's ear, can I pay the price? The boss looked at him with an expectant expression, he casually said, I can't, if I don't have any money, then please go home. But he can go back right now, Tran Lak was determined to pull him back, he thought, no way, it's very difficult to have hope, absolutely can't give up like that. Tran Lak ran over, he pulled the boss's shoulder and said, wait, please tell me, is there any other way? The boss glanced back and asked, what are you relying on? 
He just came back, Tran Lak gave him a piece of paper, he smiled brightly and said, Have you forgotten, we are long lost friends. At this moment, the boss hugged the piece of paper with two bright eyes, excitedly saying, Oh yes, I almost didn't realize it, I'm only telling you this path, don't talk about it haphazardly, we still have to do business. After that, he leaned into Tran Lak's ear and whispered, Our barbaric pills were all refined by the ancestors of the immortal Lake Dao sect, the old man's house probably has some in stock, the ancestors live ten miles outside the lake, miles east, it's easy to find there. Tran Lak thought about it, Dao sect immortal fox old ancestor. Tran Lak thought about it, Tian Ho Lao Tiger, Dao Mon, I don't know if this title of gentle master of mine is useful, besides, I also have to find some gifts for him, going empty-handed is not very good. Suddenly, the door Tran Lak was leaning against was smashed open, a voice cried out extremely urgently, My uncle, I am Nam Wen Tian, the editorial of Mr. Theory that you need, I have already delivered it. Tran Lak asked him, Is that so fast? Nam Wen said in a serious voice, If I hadn't stopped him, it would have been even faster. Next, he told me a lot that, as soon as they heard that he was recruiting, they immediately followed with all their heart, not only writing quickly but also writing a lot, I had more or less stopped them, otherwise our newspaper would there's not enough space anymore. Tran Lak read the newspaper and thought about it, these editorials were clearly simple, but they didn't lack depth, people could read and understand them, and writers didn't feel too shallow. I can't wait to see the release. At this time, Wei Dian was standing and contemplating the moon, he exclaimed, the moon today is so bright. Then he saw that it seemed to coincide with something he had seen, oh, why does this moonlight look similar to the manuscript that the arrogant and arrogant wanderer Tran Lak gave to him that was just taken away by his master. His master, who was in the room at this time, called out, shut up, give this manuscript to your master to see, why cry, I will personally write you a copy later. At this moment, the master is writing with his pen inside, Master, the first part of smiling and arrogant, the story of the first part of the new newspaper of my little brother will be enclosed with the letter, this text is different from other texts, it's a world of martial arts, but it also has internal strength. He then continued to write that the disciple tried to use Hong Chen's energy to practice martial arts there, but it didn't work. The disciples originally thought that the younger brother's teachings were to help our Confucianism, but now it seems very likely that they will become the fourth great way to practice alongside Confucianism and Buddhism. He remembered, in addition, today he found out that his junior brother needed a barbaric bone pill. Someone instructed his junior brother to visit the Taoist old gourd. He wondered, what does the true clam disciple need? In the end, he concluded that his disciple was going to make a trip to the barbarian tribe, get a few pills to bring back for his junior brother, as a meeting ceremony, see if that's okay, master. At this time, the students of central China are extremely busy. The teacher advised that this is Van and Bo's literature, you must diligently copy it. The students below are all complaining, some people are cursing while writing, it's really annoying for Van and to interrupt chapters, ah, just thinking about the fact that I can read it again after 7 days, I feel every pore, mine are all numb, someone else added it, after writing it down, let's go find Van and Ba, someone who heard this quickly responded and went along. But there is one special person who is different from the rest, that is Trin Deep Phi. The writing of Van and Ba's writing is truly extraordinary. He wants to know what is written behind it so much. He never expected seven days later to come like this. Van and Ba was filled with curses, interrupting the chapter like this, yet forcing me to say something that was not elegant. Why did he interrupt here? Van and Ba is truly unconscionable. I'm even more angry than Du Top Nuong. I don't let the reader's thoughts clear. The reader's efforts are in vain. The shame of a writer, agree, the shame of a writer, the arrogant joke of a writer, the dog interrupts a chapter, the shame of a writer. At this time at Van and Ba Palace, Tran Lak held his hand and asked K.Y. Trong, 2K.Y., had the big door been closed yet? K.Y. Trong asked curiously, why did you ask this? Tran Lak said with a worried face, I keep feeling like someone will throw a knife into our house. Central Beijing, early in the morning, a few kids were holding stacks of papers and shouting, shouting la la, la la la, I'm a small newspaper seller, today's newspaper is really good, five cents of money can buy one part. People saw this, thousands of questions, this group of kids is so strange, I don't know whose house the grass leopard made, no matter who he is, doesn't the grass leopard have those things, it's just a grass leopard and dare to ask for five cents, money, want money like crazy. This time in the North Fon Lao, the Confucian students chatted loudly, Mr. Nam, Mr. Nam is here, Mr. Nam, I want to hear from you, Mr. Nam, I spent a lot of money to steal this position. 
Nam Uwen clasped his hands respectfully and said, Today, Van and Ba published the first installment of Dai Wee and Dan newspaper, serializing an article called Laughing Proud Wanderer. Today, we will talk about Smiling Proud Wanderer. A boy outside shouted loudly, Sir, buy the newspaper. But that gentleman refused, No need, this grass leopard is not interesting. On hearing this, Mr. Tran Lak told Mr. Tran Lak that it seemed like the sales weren't very good. Tran Lak held a cup of tea and spoke slowly, not in a hurry, let the shells fly for a while, it's already windy outside. People are screaming, what kind of chapter is being interrupted, where can I buy this story, tell me quickly, I really can't wait any longer, this arrogant joke is so interesting, even if it's 100 tales, I won't, I also have to buy it. Mr. Nam said, everyone objectively, I have already said that the content on Dai Wee and Dan newspaper is the complete version of the story. Nam Owen added, there are children on the street selling them. Hearing that, they frantically searched for children, where are the children selling newspapers, quickly sell me one. They are fighting over each other to the point of breaking their heads, don't rush, don't rush, they've got it all, it's yours, there's yours, five cents per bill. Tran Lak speaks up neither quickly nor slowly, the people report, and succeeds. Tran Lak happily thought, he he, the first step is solid, next is asking for permission to take off. K.Y. Trong hastily came to inform you that there are many people scolding you, young master. They scolded Tran Lak with great force, their grandmother and aunt, who said the newspaper was the complete version, this is only the first act, it's twisted in my heart, my uncle, I can't be with you, I'm sorry, humiliation of writers. Tran Lak secretly laughed twice and asked with great concern, Young master, do you need me to go down and reason with them? At night, K.Y. Trong was sleeping, at night in Tam K. Trang. Tran Lak is currently checking the gas, the people's newspaper has only been distributed for one day, but the Hong Tran gas gathered by thousands of readers is already this much. I don't know how many stages this weapon can help me advance to. After that, he threw this air ball up very high, Tran Lak judged, I am now in the second stage of the Red World, I just need to break through a few more acupuncture points, then I can rush to the next stage, already. Then you let this gas from above penetrate you, come. The sparkling light of the gas surrounded the entire room, specifically around the naked body. Suddenly, the floating ceiling suddenly fell to the ground, ah! He shouted, it was already over, such a big lump, even one-tenth of an acupuncture point couldn't be filled. Tran Lak finds it hard to believe, following this method of cultivating the whole person, there are 720 acupuncture points, so how much red earth energy do we need? Tran Lak determined, open the way to build a nest, that's the result, however, the future is worth looking forward to, as long as there are more readers, the more energy there will be. Tran Lak must go now and test how much his strength has increased. But when he opened the door, he saw that K.Y. Trong had been sleeping for a long time. Tran Lak felt that he was a good doorkeeper. Looking at a giant rock, Tran Lak wanted to test his own strength. He cast a move, watching the move as a positive sign. Hey! He attacked the giant rock, the rock cracked a large gap. Chen Lak feels the audience, hiss, I was just posing, it's not a real martial art, the source of my soul's energy is so strong. If I practice a real six-vein divine sword in the future, I won't be able to transform into a magical organ. At the same time, at the library, Kong Tian Fuang was extremely surprised by today's events. What do you say? 40,000 copies have already been sold, so isn't that selling faster than Dai Wien's number one newspaper? Ah! The reporter told him, yes, and we also received many letters of request, asking to continue selling Dai Wien Dan newspaper tomorrow. Kong Tian Fuang pondered, there is no problem copying, if not then I can do it, but the problem is. Will Van and Bo agree, but the newspaper itself is originally for sale, so he will probably agree. But the reporter told him that on the street people were whispering that the first number today was 10 tails of silver per bill, if we keep going like this, we will probably be branded as price gougers. Kong Tian Fuang panicked and said, why is the poll so high, wouldn't that ruin Van and Ba's reputation? Don't care anymore, quickly tell Vuong Tiet Phan to find Nam Uwen Ni, use the fastest speed to contact Van and Ba, then he assigns tasks, contacts a few other assistants, immediately arranges to copy, they heard the assignment and immediately took action. At this time in the palace, the king was depressed and holding his head. Kong Kong stood nearby and worriedly thought, the king is so sad, if he doesn't rest in moderation, sooner or later it will be harmful to his body. After that, the duke said to the emperor, your majesty is tired, this old servant has something that can help the emperor relieve his sadness. 
the emperor was reading a book, he wondered, Dai Wei and Dan reported, his voice was very loud, Kong Kong said, your majesty, right now the rarest thing in the city is this newspaper, please try to read it. Your Majesty, think about it and read it, these theories also have some insights, they also analyze the court's policies very well. Then he wondered when he read the part, hmm, smiling arrogantly, is this an elegant piece of writing? Kong Kong explained, yes, this newspaper was published by Van and Ba, this elegant text is also his work, now regardless of whether they are writers or ordinary people, they all love it. The king found it interesting, he wanted to see why this type of book was so popular, he said, oh, let me see if it is as magical as you say. A moment later, the duke saw that the emperor was angry, the duke asked, your majesty, is there something wrong with this piece of literature, could it be that the content on it offended the emperor, no. The emperor slammed the table and said, hateful, so hateful, daring to interrupt the chapter at a crucial moment, truly a disgrace to great Xuan. The emperor suggested that, you say, should I lock Tran Lak up and let him write day and night, the duke said in fear, your majesty, doing so would lose your status, it's not good, it's not good. At this time, the great grapes are soaking, good wine, bright moonlight, and a lot of happy stories in life. Suddenly he turned around and shouted, whoever is sneaking around, come out here. It was the Saint Willow scene, holding the wine and laughing, ha 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 tongue die Confucius, don't be impatient, it's me, it's me. Tang Dai Confucius is not very happy, Willow Poetry Saint, why are you here? Willow Titan poured wine for Tung Dai No, he said, don't call me Titan, calling me Tan Lao Dai No is more pleasing to the ears, he continued, tonight I happened to meet Tang Dai No drinking wine for a while, me, so I came to celebrate. Tang Dai Confucius said cautiously, humph, brother Willow has always been wandering around in the wind and moon, why did you come to find me, I'm afraid you want to get close to my little junior brother. The Saint Willow also didn't want to hide it, he, 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 Willow Mo got drunk and accidentally said that she could get the manuscript for the next chapter of Smiling Wanderer, that's why. Song Dai Confucius replied, none of the eight governors of the central capital could make my junior brother open his mouth, so where did you come from? Willow Teton confidently said, if Van and Ba is willing to give me the manuscript of chapter 2, I will help him level 72 buildings in the central capital. This sentence I say can be done, how? After hearing this, Tang Dai Confucius shouted angrily, that old man, get away from me, if you dare to come close to my little junior brother, I will break your leg. The willow corpse saint ran and shouted loudly, not knowing whether it was good or bad, sorry for the little junior brother, you missed a good opportunity, Tang Dai Confucius replied, it's okay if you don't have this opportunity. It was night sky, Tran Lak was lying on the bed breathing heavily, he had shot too much red gas so now his whole body ached, sigh, the young man should still be more restrained, don't dare next time. Then he thought back and said, I've been here for a while now, time has passed so quickly. In my previous life, my grandmother treated me the best, and there was also a literature teacher from the north who secretly loved me when she was a teaching assistant, and I will never see her again. Raising your head to look at the bright moon, bowing your head to remember your homeland, indeed, only after experiencing it yourself can you understand why poetry is passed down through generations. After all, I still maintain the mentality of an outsider in this world. But everything here is so real, the feelings are not fake, all my troubles are just held by myself. It's time to enter this world for real. Suddenly, Tran Lak heard someone calling him, Sir, Sir. He thought to himself, strangely, why haven't I woken up yet in the dream of the flower sea? Many people surrounded him, they worriedly said, great, he was finally awake. Tran Lak was annoyed and said loudly, why are you watching me sleep, maybe you guys have special hobbies. Wei DM said seriously, little master, you have been sleeping for six days, Tran Lak is scared, six days, what's going on? Wei DM recounted, the tutor said that you have fallen into a cognitive block, and if you don't wake up, you will enter a demon. Tran Lak was worried, so hungry, it seemed like they weren't lying to me, but what is a cognitive obstacle? Seeing Chen Lak's confused expression, Tong Tui Chi immediately spoke up to explain briefly, the cognitive obstacle is just entering the realm of great Confucianism, one of them, after being outside for thousands of years. Fortunately the little junior brother also the obstruction only lasts for six days, otherwise we would have to invite the teacher to take action. Hearing this sentence, Tran Lak immediately raised his head, saw that the person who had just spoken looked very strange, and immediately asked, who are you? 
Wei Yan took a step forward, raised his hand and pointed at Song Shui Qi, introduced himself, Little Uncle, this is my benefactor, Troop Lam That Hien, the fourth great Confucian of great mind, he is also my fourth senior brother, your name is Tong Qi Qi. Tran Lak fell into a cognitive block that caused his body to lose strength, as soon as he sat up, he couldn't stand it, his whole body trembled, his face turned pale, he said to Tong Tui Qi, it turned out to be senior brother Tong, it was me who was rude, seeing his condition. Tong Tui Chi quickly ran out to help, softly saying, It's okay, your body is weak, don't move too hard. Having said this, he took out a wooden box, brought it to Tong Tui Chi and said, That's right, I heard that you were looking for barbaric bone pills. Your senior brother went around the barbarian plateau and picked up ten tablets. If you don't think it's enough, senior brother said let him continue circling. The three major officials of the library standing on the side, hearing this, widened their eyes and discussed in a low voice, Who is it scaring? Can a barbarian pill be picked up casually? Senior brother, he is called a bloody disciple. Big Confucian, are you going to pick up things? I'm afraid you've already killed quite a few barbarians. Tran Lak happily received the wooden box, looked at Tong Tui Chi gratefully and said, Thank you fourth senior brother, please help me thank senior brother too. Waiting for Tran Lak to put away the wooden box, Kong Tianfeng cautiously stepped forward, clasped his hands and said, Van and Ba, there is no big problem with your body. Tran Lak looked at him, frowned and asked, My body is very good, what's wrong with you guys? Kong Tianfeng opened his hands and hesitantly said, Well, Van and Bo, you've been sleeping for six days, should there be a new chapter tomorrow? Tran Lak heard that and his face turned black, he glared at Kong Tianfeng and said, I said, why are you guys so kind, turns out you were urging me to release a new chapter. The three people of the library smiled shyly, Kong Tianfeng continued warmly, everyone in Dishuan is still waiting for your second chapter, this is a masterpiece that not many exist. When Tran Lak heard this, he stopped waiting, quickly waved his hand and said, Stop, don't take my hat off, I'll write it right away. When Kong Tianfeng received the answer he wanted, he laughed a few times and praised him, Great Tycoon. At Trong Min Palace, the teachings and instructions resounded throughout the main hall, Your Majesty had the instructions. Starting from today, every Saturday morning, before coming to court, you must read the Dai Wei and Dan's announcement and check in. The Dai Wei and Dan newspaper was distributed to all the officials in Trong Min Palace. General Chao Lafon held the Dan Bao newspaper in his hand, glanced through it, then frowned and thought to himself, Why do you look at entertainment newspapers at court? Okay, we can't just sit still and not care. At this time, I heard the emperor sitting on the throne slowly say, Everyone, the people's newspaper in your hands was specially provided by Van Suing. Above there are wise elders and scholars who are not in power to comment, serve as a reference to the government. When General Chao Ta Fan heard that, he held the newspaper tightly in his hand, sweating and thinking, it's too dangerous, if I really protested, I would probably be scolded to death by the old men in the newspaper. The king saw that no one had any comments so he smiled and said, okay, let's see the notice first. At this moment, the duke brought a stack of papers and presented them to the emperor, he bowed his head and said, present to your majesty. The emperor looked at the book smiling and proud wanderer that had just come out of the oven and was placed first, thinking with satisfaction that he was worthy of being the top eunuch, knowing how to put the most important things on the first page. The officials below looked at the people's newspaper in their hands and frowned, rubbing their heads in each other's ears and discussing, we have all considered the issue that the people said, so what is the use of looking at this? That's right, it's not a waste, no matter the time. I still rush home to feed the little duke. When I turned to the next page and saw that the title said Smiling and Arrogant Wanderer, everyone looked at each other suspiciously. Some people said, this is an elegant essay written by Van and Ba. At this point, everyone in the main hall silently focused on reading the newspaper. This story was extremely unique. Hundreds of officials take care of the world, a newspaper knows the gains and losses. This scene, later generations praised, the court soon read literature. Outside, Tran Lak stretched his arms and exclaimed happily, finally going home. Following him was Tong Tui Chi. Tran Lak glanced back slightly at him, thinking to himself, Earlier the fourth senior brother taught me the levels of great Confucianism, in turn, how to treat objects and treat things, the state of mind, which he is the very state of mind, with the realm of the four generals. So lucky, I was able to hold on to a big thigh that was rougher than a pseudo-Confucius. Tran Lak covered his mouth and smiled, happily thinking like that. Song Tu Chi Chi was also immersed in his own thoughts at this time, his face was not very good, he thought to himself, I didn't expect that my senior brother would easily steal his glory, I must find a chance to take it back, new. 
The two of them were walking leisurely, when a voice rang out from behind, Little friend Chen, I heard you broke through the barrier, so congratulatory, great. Hearing this voice, Tang Tui Chi immediately recognized who it was, he crossed his arms and turned his head around, angrily scolding, Holy shit, you dare come all the way here to disturb my little junior brother. Titan Willow police officer heard this and was a little scared, a thin layer of sweat broke out on his face, he raised his hand and scratched his head, he said shyly, Mr. Tong, Mr. Tong, why are you here? Seeing the person who had just appeared, and hearing Tong Tuichi mention this person's name, Tran Lak was so excited that he jumped up and rushed to where Willow Khan Trang was standing and shouted, Willow Corpse Saint, you are Willow Tam Transformation, what about that? His eyes sparkled brightly like stars, full of joy as he recited a few verses, contentedly and indulgently, without worrying about wasting days and nights to harm himself. The actor himself is benevolent, his clothes are rough and his appearance is also different. No, no matter how young you are, you don't need to cherish your vain fame. I've heard your poetry before. After saying that, he screamed in his heart again, that eternal willow, this is that eternal willow. Seeing that Tran Lak recognized his poem, Willow Khan Trang was a little surprised, then immediately waved his hand and said, It is indeed my work, but my name is not Willow Tam Variable. At this time, Tang Tui Chi leaned his head slightly behind and lightly said, His name is Willow Khan Trang, a famous Confucian scholar, little junior brother, don't ruin the reputation of other Willow gentlemen. Tran Lak did not pay attention to these sarcastic words from the fourth senior brother, he thought to himself, even if it is just Willow Vin of this world, it is already terrible, I must definitely draw closer relationships. Thinking like that, Tran Lak warmly approached and held Willow Khan Trang's hand, smiled and said, at Tran Lak to Dong Lu, I met Willow Dai Confucius, if you are free, come inside and sit for a while. Seeing Tong Tui Chi fuming angrily behind him, Lu Kan Trang cautiously replied, I don't have a problem, I just don't know Mr. Tong. Song Tu Chi tried to suppress his anger, glared at Willow Kan Trang, and replied unwillingly, Well, since little junior brother admires you, then it's okay to say a few words. After saying that, he turned around and left, thinking uncomfortably in his heart, little junior brother is still a teenager, playing around for a few years is no problem, but if that Willow family dares to do something stupid, then I will tell the second senior, sister came to teach him. Tran Lak held Willow Khan Trang's hand and stood behind, seeing the four senior brothers angry was extremely difficult to understand, he quickly let go of this person's hand and opened his mouth to ask, Willow die Confucius, does my fourth senior brother have a grudge against you? Willow Khan Trang scratched her head and said shyly, explaining this is very complicated. Hearing that, Tran Lak immediately made an inviting gesture, smiled and said, then let's go to the palace and talk. The two of them went into the study room and talked from the time it was still light until the lights turned on at night. Willow Khan Trang's voice rang out nonstop, everyone in the world was shy when it came to love, but I disagreed, love is clearly the most normal. He was already very drunk at this point, took another sip of wine and continued to say, I like rolling around in the flower garden the most, I like going back and forth in the castle. Tran Lak sitting opposite immediately responded, longing for a night of rolling around like a horse, stalling without ever meeting his true heart. Willow Khan Trang burst into laughter, gently pressed Tran Lak's forehead and said, It's vulgar, but I like it. Tran Lak's face was a little red, and he was also a little lightheaded. He closed his eyes and said, I'm just this old and I've never been there before, I don't know what the view will be like. Hearing him say that, Willow Khan Trang suddenly became alert. He raised a finger and said, If you want to understand, my brother will take you to see. Tran Lak quickly waved his hand and refused, Willow die grapes, this is not good. Willow Khan Trang grabbed Tran Lak's hand and pulled him straight out, happily saying, What's wrong? Young men must be knowledgeable. That's right, you can just call me Big Brother Willow. Tran Lak was pulled away quickly, worriedly said, Big Brother, go slowly. Tang Tui Chi didn't know when he appeared, he said faintly, At night the scent of flowers in the central capital is strong, you can just stand and watch from afar, don't be greedy for the scent and ruin your nose. At Shimmering Lao, Tan Lao ranks first among the ten largest castles in the central capital. Tran Lak was pulled inside by Willow Khan Trang, looking at a series of fragrant makeup girls next to him. He whispered to Willow Khan Trang, Big Brother Willow, the sisters here are so beautiful. Willow Khan Trang hugged a girl. Hearing Tran Lak's words, she turned her head slightly and said, Ling Lang's head is purple and red, she can't understand the love between her bones. At this time the great Confucius when Phi Khan was also a regular customer, how dare the lady here not be beautiful? Having just said this, the madam of the shimmering house came from somewhere, she said, Willow Dai Confucius is here again, I don't know which lady I want to find today. 
Willow Khan Trang heard that and immediately ran over, hugged the madam's shoulders, narrowed her eyes and teased, how can a young apple be compared to a mature honey peach, maybe you should come with me. The madam was so shy that her face turned red, she pretended to blame and said, I am already old and not looking good, the great scholar was joking. At this time, Willow Khan Trang grabbed Tran Lak's hand and pulled him over to introduce, today I came here to open my brother's eyes, please choose a suitable person for him. The madam stepped forward to observe Tran Lak, then shouted in surprise, isn't this Van and Ba, the ladies like the literature you write a lot, what kind do you like, let me choose for you. The first time Tran Lak came to Tan Lao, when he heard such constant questions, he waved his hand in panic and said, let me see, no rush. The madam heard that and immediately said, the uncle is too cautious, you are the most welcomed by the ladies, be careful of being eaten up. Willow Khan Trang also took Tran Lak's shoulder and said, since you've come here, why bother acting? Tran Lak shook his head and replied, I'm not pretending, I'm just not used to it. Not giving Tran Lak a chance to refuse, Willow Khan Trang grabbed his shoulder and pulled him away, saying, okay, let me hold your hand and teach you, come on. At this moment, outside the Ling Lang Tower, two women dressed as men dragged each other in. The woman behind was a bit scared because it was her first time coming here. She cautiously said, dreaming, maybe we should go back. Go, if my father knew I was coming to Tan Lao, he would beat me to death. The person called Mung Tam immediately came back to calm down. Rest assured, I am very close to the sisters and mama living in Ling Lang Lao. We can open a single room. We will listen to the song of Phi Jok Jok and then leave. There's no problem. Believe me, good or bad, you're already a poet. So there's nothing to be afraid of. The dream mind pulled the woman behind him in. When he reached the bottom of the stairs, he suddenly stopped, his whole body trembling abnormally. The woman realized something was wrong and worriedly asked, what's wrong, did something happen? Mung Tam's face turned black, his eyes looked towards Willow Khan Trang and Tran Lak in the distance, gritted his teeth and said, I see my father. Dream Tam quickly raised the hem of his shirt to cover his face, the woman behind could not keep calm and said in panic, what should I do, is he coming to arrest us? I couldn't think too much in my mind, so I grabbed that woman's hand and ran away, softly saying, don't panic, my rotten father just came to play, we can play on our own. The woman turned her head slightly to look at Willow Contrang's back, thinking to herself, fortunately the dreamer's heart was female, otherwise she would have become a woman. On this side, after leading Tran Lak into a room, Willow Contrang smiled and said, ha ha, please sit down. As he said this, the door behind him was suddenly pushed open, the madam gently walked in, the scene solemnly turned to her, Han Tam Nuong, if you didn't drink with us, why would you follow? Han Tam Nuong was a bit shy, looked at Tran Lak and explained, just now it was inconvenient because there were so many people, I wanted to ask Willow Tu Tan to help me with something. Hearing that, Tran Lak immediately asked if he wanted to ask Big Brother Willow to do literary work in terms of words. What the uncle said was absolutely right, Han Tam Nuong applauded, our Ling Lang Lao today invited everyone to come and sing the bird song. Willow Khan Trang picked up the teacup and took a sip, then said brightly, isn't that a good thing? Sitting down at the banquet table, Tran Lak asked confusedly, Big Brother, why is this a good thing, who is Big Brother Lak? Willow Khan Trang opened her hands and began to explain, the master's name was Lak Hong No, when he was 14 years old, he used Kuk Nak and Goo, now. After only 10 years, he has become a gentleman, listen to one of her songs, isn't that a good thing? Tran Lak heard that and immediately exclaimed that she turned out to be a musical genius girl, that's interesting. At this time, Willow Khan Trang turned to Han Tam Nuong and asked, so what do you want me to help you with? Han Tam Nuong said sadly, people from Fu Tu Commune are also coming, those free people will definitely make things difficult for us, at that time, I hope Willow Tu Tom will help, to avoid losing face for Ling Lang Long. Hearing this reason, Willow Khan Trang covered her face and groaned, Guys, this time it's difficult, I'll try my best. When Han San Nuong received the response, she bowed her head in gratitude and said, I will take care of your bills, I will thank you first. Waiting for her to leave, Tran Lak then turned to ask Willow Khan Trang, Lu Big Brother, what kind of organization is Fu Tu Commune, and why do you find it difficult? Willow Khan Trang raised the teacup in her hand and took a sip, slowly speaking, this story is going to be long, to put it simply it's because of the difference. Hearing that, Tran Lak was even more confused, he asked in doubt, weren't they all elegant writers, why did they cause trouble? 
Willow Khan Trang propped her chin on one hand, tapped the table with the other, and said with a smile, because both are songs, one does not like the other, both sides have their own style. Since the birth of literature, nowadays, distinguishing between segments is a competition between politeness. Tran Lak rubbed his nose, frowned and said, then Big Brother Lu is a saint, why did he help everyone? Willow Khan Trang closed his eyes and calmly replied, In the end, Tu Kuk is not an enemy, but a brother, there is no opposition, the people of Fu Tu Commune always pursue kindness, consider Tu Kuk to be superstitious, short-sighted. Hearing that, Tran Lak raised his teacup, took a sip and thought, It turns out there is this layer of reason in there, which is similar to song lyrics and whole chunks, but who says that chunks are only profane, damn, they're so naive. The old dry vine accepts the kiss, the little girl flows through the water, the wind gathers like three peaches like anger, and the mountains and rivers flow at the same time, this time, we have to put on a big disguise. Inside another room in the shimmering castle, two men were talking to each other, the person named Che who can raised his cup of wine and said, Today Lacking On will release a new work, I hope you will not regret the fragrance and pearls. Tian He Duong sat opposite and smiled and replied, I am the type of person who is excited, facing Dai Ti and concubine separation from the song, Ni Duong was still very awake. Zhao Hugan stood up, poured another cup of wine for Tian He Duong, and continued in a soft voice, Okay, as long as Ni Duong can dethrone her, the entertainment from now on will be covered by Zhao Hugan. Tian He Duong smiled slightly, glanced down at the stage below, spoke up, Don't talk about these things, let's go out on stage. As soon as these words ended, a beautiful lady came out from under the stage, holding a guitar in her arms and began to play. The melodious sound of the guitar carries pure spiritual energy throughout every corner of Ling Lang Lao. Tran Lak sat and listened in bewilderment, singing praises, what a beautiful woman, a beautiful woman who was truly a joy to look at. Below, Lak Ne was concentrating on playing the piano, when suddenly a voice spoke up to interrupt, Miss Lak, wait a minute. Tian He's nose was bleeding and she ran out to ask, Today, Fu came from our commune, I don't know what the name of the song she sang is. Meng Tam and a woman disguised as a man were standing in another private room. When they heard the movement outside, they immediately looked out. Meng Tam frowned and said, The commune's wife's flies are making a mess again, it's so annoying. The woman next to her heard this and asked a little worriedly if Mr. Lack could deal with them. Dreaming mind did not answer but focused on looking outside, his face was extremely grim and said to the woman next to him, keep watching, at worst I will go up and blow his brain cortex away. Looking at the person next to her clenched into a fist, the woman was sweating and said in fear, is it appropriate for a girl to do that? Dreaming of hearing that, he immediately stretched out his hand, turned his head and said, isn't my father also here, if not, then let him bear it. The other woman heard this and couldn't help but exclaim that she was truly a good and filial daughter. But at this time, on the stage below, when she saw someone coming out to disrupt the crowd, she remained calm. She held the instrument and looked at the person in front of her and said, This young master has a nosebleed. This slave doesn't know how to treat the wound. When the people around heard her say that, they burst out laughing. They raised their hands and pointed and said, Is this some kind of supporting performance? The young man couldn't control himself. Seeing the beauty, he immediately erupted. Ha ha ha. When Tian He Duong heard these taunts, his blood boiled, he quickly used the hem of his shirt to wipe the blood from his nose, pointed his finger and scolded, Today's style of writing is corrupt, vulgar songs are the ringleaders of crime, I advise you to worry, but study elegant words, don't sing songs in the future. Laknak tilted her head slightly, she didn't even bother to pay attention to these words, coldly looked at Tian He Duong and said, If you're done talking, then go away. A few people on the side of the Immortal Ear Hall heard this and shouted angrily, If a woman spoke obscenely, what kind of system would that be? That's how singing is, without cultivation, I also see a human being, this is just the bright outside. To ignore all these unpleasant words, she raised her guitar again, smiled, then closed her eyes and continued to play. But at this moment, Willow Khan Trang walked out of the private room, he let out a breath, held a glass of wine in his hand, looked at the group of people in front of him and said faintly, Sigh, a group of students surrounded and attacked a weak woman, Chili, do you still have integrity? As soon as the group of people scolded the mischievous person, they realized it was Willow Khan Trang and immediately retracted their indecent appearance, clasped their hands respectfully and greeted them, it turned out to be Willow Dai Confucian, the brave student hoped that Mr. The majesty of our words cuts off the profane path. This group of people thought that Willow Khan Trang would agree, but who would have thought that he raised the wine cup and took a sip and calmly said, The folk song that can be passed down is the choice of the people, I don't have the ability to change. 
Hearing that, this group of people did not give up, they bowed their heads even lower and said, Mr. is the holy man of Tudan, drawing the knife to rebel is also their responsibility. The students represent thousands of Confucian students, request him to preside over the cause of literature. Seeing this group of people being so stubborn, Willow Contron glanced at them, angrily and silently cursed, this kid put a high hat on his head, it's difficult to play. At this moment, Tranlek also stepped out. He patted Willow Contrang's shoulder and said, Old brother, your status is not convenient. Leave it to me. Willow Contrang still couldn't do it, so she quickly replied, Okay, then sat down to the side. Tranlak took a step forward, smiled and questioned those people, Where do you get the face to represent thousands of Confucian students, thinking you are a literary general? When Tian He Duong heard this, his anger flared up. He took a step forward and replied, I am a student of Tan Ba Academy, why not? Tan Ba Academy, Tran Lak thought thoughtfully, then shook his head calmly and said, Never heard of it. At this moment, the dream mind hidden behind a thin wooden panel spoke, It's just a third-rate academy, Brother Van has never heard of it. Hearing this sentence, Tran Lak glanced at Tian Ni Duong and said something full of disdain, It turned out to be like that, no wonder it was only at this level. Angered by Tran Lak's sentence, Tian Ni Duong jumped up, raised his hand, pointed straight at his face, and questioned, Oh, then don't hesitate to tell me which student you are. Tran Lak shrugged and calmly said, I'm not a student. Tian He Duong burst into laughter, opened his mouth to mock, even if he wasn't a student, he would dare to laugh at me. I see you should stop worrying about the world's affairs. Tran Lak didn't say anything. He put his hand into his shirt and rummaged for a while, then pulled out the teacher's order from the library, glanced at Tian He Duong and said, Why are you so happy? I'm a teacher at the academy. Isn't that enough? Seeing this token, Tian He Duong was startled. He took a few steps back, his eyes wide open and exclaimed in surprise, This, this is the teacher's token of the library. Seeing this look on his face, I'm not very satisfied. He reached into his shirt and searched for it, then pulled out a long string of eight different colored tokens, held it up high, curled his mouth and said, If you don't believe me, I still have it, you can look at it. Tian He Duong of course didn't believe it, his face was now drenched in sweat, he gritted his teeth and thought to himself, How could there be such a young teacher? No, I can't be scared, otherwise I will lose face, nose back. Thinking like that, he immediately clasped his hands and bowed his head, softly said, Students with eyes cannot see the Thai mountain. Touching someone, please admit your mistake, but the song is an insult to the court. I hope you understand. Hearing this sentence, Willow Khan Trang, sitting on the side, let out a breath and secretly sighed, Sigh, Tran Hien brother has also fallen into his trap. Hearing this sentence from Tian Ni Duong, Tran Lak didn't feel awkward at all. He crossed his arms, curled his mouth and said, Do you mean song can never win? Tian He Duong raised his head, looked at Tran Lak and smiled and replied, Of course, only those who are born noble are the true way of writing. Hearing this, Tran Lak immediately objected, saying nonsense, whoever tells you this song will definitely be profane. As soon as these words left his mouth, the space in the shimmering castle suddenly became as quiet as paper, not a single sound came out, the space was so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. Luo sat on the stage, holding the guitar, frowning, thinking, could a song be elegant? Time passed quietly, Tian He Duong reacted first, he clasped one hand behind his back, took a few steps forward, and began to express his opinion, the students had never heard of it, the songs he knew were all the routine is unbearable, since sir, you think there is an elegant song, why don't you bring it out for us to see? The two people behind the Farrier Hall also began to follow suit, even if they are library teachers, they cannot lie, and they are not afraid of cold tongues when gossiping, I want to see how the song can be elegant. Hearing them say that, Tran Lak turned away, his arms crossed in front of his chest, his mouth curled into a smile, thinking to himself, in his previous life, he had read and understood the lyrics and entire songs under his grandmother's teachings, I can't write and I can't even copy. Willow Khan Trang sitting on one side was so tense that he was drenched in sweat, he raised his hand to cover his mouth and softly called Tran Lak, gentle brother, stop being so reluctant at this time, it's very embarrassing. Hearing that, Tran Lak turned his head, pointed at his face and calmly said, Running away would be a shame, I will make a song right away, I hope Big Brother Willow will judge fairly. Willow Khan Trang sighed and thought, The young man really has dignity, making a song doesn't mean he can do it right away, but at this point, there was no other way, he immediately said, Okay. Hearing what Tran Lak said, Tian Ni Duong was happy to see someone in trouble, he smiled and clasped his hands and said, Sir, do you agree, let us enjoy it quickly. Tran Lak crossed his arms and said without hesitation, to avoid others talking about me, give me a topic, I'll make it right away. 
When Tian Yi Duang heard that, his eyes lit up and he said with a mockery, I won't make things difficult for you, it's autumn now, sir, just use autumn to make an elegant work, okay. Tran Lak thought a little thoughtfully, writing about autumn, if I used those four limbs to kiss the old man, it would be considered bullying you, you thought so and said it right away, listen carefully. An elegant song was immediately played, the lonely village was lost in the fading sun, the quiet old tree was cold, a little flying crane shadowed under it, green mountains and green water, white grass, red leaves and flowers. As soon as this elegant song rang out, Willow Khan Trang's whole body felt like he was being electrocuted, he stood up in shock, thinking in horror, is this really what my brother created in a hurry? Unable to contain her emotions, Willow Khan Trang immediately clapped her hands loudly, continuously praising, great, just 28 short words described an entire autumn painting, she truly wrote like a god. Sitting on the stage, his eyes sparkled and exclaimed, wow, this young man is so powerful, can anyone else dare to say that this is not an elegant song? The dream hidden behind the thin wooden panel also widened its eyes and speculated, this waste of writing an age, could it be him? On the other side, Tran Lak took a few steps forward, looked at the group of people still in shock, then narrowed his eyes and asked, How is it? Will the song I made catch your eye? Tian Yi Duang pulled out a handkerchief to wipe the sweat from his face, he gritted his teeth and said without giving up, He is more talented than anyone else, a scene painting makes the students sweat, however, the students are big, I invite you to make one more song to end it. Hearing him say that, the guests here began to point and talk, this person is too shameless, he has a hard time wanting that little marshal. Lak Nadi also realized this, she jumped up and scolded him, insulting him, throwing away the already existing chapter, how could he make things difficult for that young man? Hearing her say to help him, Tran Lak turned to her and smiled reassuringly, don't be in a hurry, I can accept it, just trust me. Lak Nadi was about to say something but stopped, after a while she said, then listen to the young master. At this time, I saw Tian Ni Duang rolling his eyes and saying, Van and Ba, whom the students admired, once wrote Bamboo Bay to the generals departing to Ban Yan Tan, Sir, can you write a piece about separation and longing for him? He doesn't. I didn't expect this person to say that. Tran Lak raised his head and thought to himself, Very good, let me compare myself. Seeing Tran Lak pondering for the whole day without being able to say anything, Tian Ni Duang quickly pointed her finger at him and shouted loudly, I can't do it, right? It's also true. Vulgar songs can't easily be turned into elegance. Tran Lak didn't get angry when he heard that. He just smiled and calmly said, Oh, goodbye. My thoughts are gone. No problem. When he finished speaking, he immediately started to chant. Since they were apart, it was difficult for him to let go. A little longing would never end. He used his sleeve to wave snow petals. The stream would tilt again. The mountain would hide. And where would people go? After reciting this sentence, Tran Lak winked and asked the people around him if everyone was satisfied. Tian Yi Duang started to panic at this moment, sweat poured out like rain, he thought to himself, no, that's impossible, in such a short time, how could he make two elegant songs? Willow Khan Trang couldn't wait any longer, clapping loudly in praise, ha ha ha, good, very good. He stopped laughing, his cheeks were red from the alcohol, his words of praise, farewell, love, were all part of the woman's tenderness, the entanglement in which was understood by many people. The applause rang out endlessly, Han San Yang squinted her eyes, happily thought to herself, this is so good, I didn't expect that uncle is also so good at making songs, from now on I have to invite him over often, if I catch a glimpse of the girl, I will deliver it to him personally. Tian Yi Duang's face turned black, he refused to accept the truth and muttered, it shouldn't be like this, Kuk has no noble morality. This guy is extremely stubborn and has no intention of letting go of Tran Lak, he took a big step forward, waved his hand, pointed straight at him and shouted, I'm not satisfied, the rhyme of your song is not enough, do it again, redo. Tran Lak looked at this guy's finger, his face turned a little cold, he said faintly, his face was swollen after being beaten, do you still dare to bark at me like crazy? Tian Yi Duang was not ashamed to be said like that, he continued to pressure him with a thick face, if you can make another song with the same tone, then Tian Yi Duang and I can withdraw from Fu Tu Commune, if not, okay, please apologize to me, do you dare? Tran Lak looked at the person in front of him with disdain, if he wanted that, he wouldn't hesitate to comply, Tran Lak raised his voice and said, okay, I will, having just said this, another voice rang out, interrupting Tran Lak's words, that voice said, wait a minute, sir. Lak took the instrument and walked out, bowed his head towards Tran Lak and then raised his voice in gratitude, thank you for protecting me, I won't sing those songs anymore, you should refuse the bet. 
Hearing that, Tranlak frowned and waved his hand, saying that the good music should continue to be sung, there was no need to pay attention to that talkative clown. Not letting Laknak have time to stop him, Tranlak turned to look at Tian Yi Duong, coldly said, You want to rhyme, right? Listen carefully. After saying that, he began to relax his body, closed his eyes and recited, thinking about life without thinking, thinking about wealth, thinking about convenience, body like clouds, mind like non-words, waist and silk. As soon as this sentence was recited by Tranlak, the sobbing sounds in the Ling Lang Lao began to resound. Tranlak did not pay much attention and continued to recite. Not only the flood of incense was trying, it was judged that the sky was full of gold and purple, the time of the future, the time of the main city, the time of the morning and half of the marriage, the time of the moon and half of the moon. The whole building was immediately silent, everyone bowed their heads, their faces showed sadness, the fairy ear hall had already retracted its unwilling expression. His face was full of sadness at this moment, he thought of the woman he secretly loved and remembered getting married with his husband, his heart was full of torment, he originally thought that the pain of love was difficult to describe in words, I didn't expect it, little girl, I don't know if she's alive right now. Tian He Duong seemed to have lost all his strength, he knelt down on his knees, full of admiration and admitted defeat, Mr. Van Tai surpassed ordinary people, he was a losing student. Tran Lak closed his eyes and nodded, saying nothing. Willow Khan Trang looked at his back and thought to himself, The lights are sometimes bright and sometimes dim. The moonlight is sometimes bright and dim. It seems that this good brother of mine has also gone through an incredibly painful thing to have such an understanding. At this moment, several guests of Ling Lang Lao saw a strange light, quickly raised their heads, and were immediately frightened by the scene in front of them. Look, the corpse from the previous dynasty had already lit up, that was the poem, from the resonance, the afterimage lingers, not only that, you smell carefully. A light, fresh scent suddenly spread out in the air, someone stammered in horror, this, this is, could it be the scent of elegant luck? Tranlak didn't understand what to do, so he turned around and asked Willow Khan Trang, Big Brother Willow, what was going on? Willow Khan Trang calmly explained, Ha ha, this song is elegant, recognized by heaven, brother, this means you have opened the path of elegant songs, worthy of congratulations. Tranlak smiled in response, but didn't say anything, in his heart, he secretly thought, isn't that where you guys are so bad? At this moment, Lak Hao gently walked over holding the instrument to say hello, Dear servant, may I ask what your master's name is? Hearing this question, Tran Lak felt a little guilty, raised his hand to scratch his head and said, What should I say about this? When he said that, he thought to himself that if he let everyone know that he was the shame of that writer, he would only be cursed to death on the spot. Seeing that Tran Lak hadn't said anything, Willow Khan Trang patted him and urged him. The beautiful woman asked, Why don't you answer? If you're shy, let the old brother help you. After finishing speaking, he immediately shouted to everyone present, a resounding essay, two poems that shocked the court, this brother of mine is the founder of Dai Wei and Dan Bao, author impersonator of the smiling and arrogant wanderer, Van and Ba, Tran Lak, Tran Dong Lu. When the men here heard this sentence, their eyes lit up with joy, Van and Ba, yet I went to Tan Lao with Van and Ba, so young, truly a hero among teenagers, brothers, dude, tie him up and make him laugh arrogantly. Seeing everyone looking at him with eyes full of lust, Tranlak was scared and quickly raised his hand to stop. Everyone don't make a mess, a gentleman speaks without making a move. Speaking of this, the girls behind ran forward, they kept shouting, Get out of the way, I have to look at Mr. Tran, get out of the way, don't block the way. Tranlak was so close to these girls that he was so scared that he wanted to cry, he quickly cried out, Don't be like that, I, I'm about to die. Willow Khan Trang stood to the side happily thinking, little brother hasn't experienced much yet, let's take this opportunity to practice a little. In such a fierce situation, the woman pretending to be a man and accompanying her dreamer didn't know when she got close to Tran Lak, she grabbed Tran Lak's arm and softly recited a sentence, the golden wind and jade low are the best of both worlds, they will easily win, reject countless human beings. As soon as this verse ended, Tran Lak and this woman immediately disappeared on the spot. When Willow Khan Trang saw this scene, he immediately recognized who it was. He wiped the sweat from his face and thought to himself, That girl, Deep Phi, has already run to Tan Lao. Surely she didn't bring my entire family here, right? Dream Tan now stood in a hidden corner, trembling and looking at his father. But outside, a beam of light carrying Tran Lak and Deep Phi left. Arriving at a deserted alley, this light immediately descended, Deep Phi wiped away the sweat pouring out like rain, speaking in a chaotic manner, safe, safe, this place is safe. 
Tran Lak looked at her helplessly, without revealing anything, but softly asked, Thank you for your help, who are you? Deep Phi panted and stammered in response, I, I'm Trin Lak, no, my name is Tran Deep Phi, also no, oh my, Tran Lak who was nearby heard that and immediately said, it's Trin Deep Phi, right? Deep Phi, as if she had caught gold, quickly nodded and replied, yes yes yes, she was extremely embarrassed, silently scolding herself in her heart, what was wrong with me, she couldn't even say her name clearly. Tranlak knew that this girl was very confused, so he smiled and looked at her and gently said, Okay, I remember, thank you very much this time. Having just said this, a voice rang out in the distance, Sir. This call was none other than the dreamers, the girl rushed over, scaring the concubine, Mung Tam rushed in between the two people Deep Phi and Tranlak, loudly calling out, Weren't you talking about Ling Lang Lao Dor, why did you come here? She looked down at the two people's hands holding each other, her eyes widened and she said, What happened to the two of you? Deep Phi looked down in the direction of Dream Tam's eyes, her heart jumped, she quickly withdrew her hand, shyly cried out, It's so embarrassing, I didn't mean to molest Van and Uncle, ah, I said the wrong thing again. Tran Lak didn't pay much attention, he smiled and waved his hand and said, It's okay, don't call me Van and Ba anymore, just call me Tran Lak. Deep Phi was a little scared and quickly took a few steps back, cautiously saying, that would be too rude, no, no, next month I will turn 18, can I call you Big Brother Tran? Dreaming of hearing that, she looked at Deep Phi in confusion, then she burst out laughing and told Phi Phi that if it really doesn't work, you can just call me uncle, it's perfect. Hearing this, Tran Lak frowned slightly, not understanding who this person was and why he called him uncle. Realizing Tran Lak's confusion, Deep Phi quickly brought Mung Tam over to introduce, Big Brother Tran, this is my classmate Willow Mung Tam, the daughter of Willow Dai Confucius. Hearing that, Tran Lak quickly raised his hand to respond, it turned out to be the daughter of Big Brother Willow, very pleased. Dream Mind walked closer to where Tran Lak was standing, looked up and calmly said, Uncle Tran, we saved you from the ghost a long time ago, so don't talk about me and Deep Phi walking around Tan Lao, there. Hearing that, Tran Lak immediately waved his hand and objected, Don't talk nonsense, I didn't go to the Tan Lao for that matter, I just went to listen to the song, the story of a reader, why is it called walking around the Tan Lao? Mung Tam smiled and said, You can call me brother and my father, then big brother Tran doesn't need to explain anymore, I understand. Deep Phi saw that something was wrong, so she stomped on Mung Tam's foot, put her hand over her mouth, then turned to look at Tran Lak, embarrassed and said, Okay, stop talking bad about Big Brother Tran, let's go, leave here first. Deep Phi sighed and then pulled Mung Tam away. Tran Lak looked at the backs of these two people, held his head in pain and silently lamented, he was gone, his reputation in his life had been destroyed. The next morning, in Vannon District, Tran family, the young lady was full of joy, smiling from ear to ear as she ran and shouted, Miss, Miss, young master sent a letter, saying we were going to the capital, and he also I have found a medicine that can treat people's eyes. Tran Tuyin's eyes were still blind, hearing that, he stopped what he was doing in his hand, frowned and said, Don't be so hasty, be careful of falling. The young master couldn't hide his joy and continued to wave his arms and legs and say, The young master is really becoming more and more capable, you can rest assured. Tran Tuyin smiled, walked over and gently patted little Hone's head and said, Okay, quickly go and tell Uncle Ben, we'll leave tomorrow. Chu Hone said yes, then flew away, as fast as the wind. Tran Tuyin sat down on the chair, holding a black robe in his hand and cherishing it, thinking to himself, it's been a long time, I don't know if Tu Lak has gotten thinner or fatter, does this outfit fit him? But Tran Lak was in his palace right now, as soon as he took a sip of water, he choked and spat it all out. When he was working next door, he quickly ran over and asked worriedly, Sir, are you okay? Tran Lak pushed the paper he had just read to the back of the room, gritted his teeth and lamented, Oh my, when I go hunting for eagles every day, I get my eyes pecked out by eagles. Carefully glanced at the content on the paper, on it was written, Van and Ba's Adventurous Youth, A Crazy Night in Ling Lang Pavilion. At this time, Tran Lak next to him continued to talk, unexpectedly, this headline-grabbing method that I taught would fall on me first. He raised his hand to rest his chin and said sadly, This boy is too insidious, making the group of people in front of the hall who were harmed into not worth a single penny. Just tell me about my story, let's use the title, Isn't This a Pit of Death? As if remembering something, he immediately asked, Yes, I'm going out for a walk today. Do you know what the streets say about the three Confucianisms and Buddhism? Tran Lak curiously asked, Oh, how should I say it? 
Remembering those words carefully, his face turned a little cold, he opened his mouth to say, Taoism is evil, Confucianism is poor, Buddhism is scary. When Tran Lak heard that, he hummed C-A-C-A-C-A, propped his chin and looked respectfully, then said, 2-K-Y, please translate for me what that means. Hearing this, I immediately said, the Taoist cult cultivates the soul, with just one move the soul will be scattered, that's why it's evil, Buddhism says killing is transcendence, saying robbery is predestined, that's why being looked at is fear, and about Confucianism. He stopped talking at this point, arranged his words a bit before continuing to speak, Confucian people read books and have a lot of eyes, if they don't pay attention for a moment, they will spray them with dog blood, you still cannot be refuted. Hearing the boy say that, Tranlak laughed, nodded a few times and respectfully advised, saying so is true, the heart of playing tactics is dirty, in the future, please stop teasing them. In the storytelling area, Nam Uwen Tian started to talk to everyone below, it can be seen that the whole house of flower fairies, their love turned into deep feelings, they all remembered the good fortune of the little uncle. He paused for a moment, shyly like a woman, raised his hand to brush his hair, then continued to speak, and could see that the red slave in the stands, his gratitude turned into affection, directed towards Tran Dong Lu. When the people sitting below heard this, their eyes lit up like stars, they applauded, in their hearts thinking, you are truly a talented man in this world, admire, admire, he he, red slave, red slave of Ta. Above, Nam Uwen's aura was extremely excited, continuing to say, at this time, the group of people in the fairy ear hall were just grass on the side of the road, only flies and mosquitoes were buzzing, it could be said that the young tyrant was at the end of his life, the three songs in the long and sparkling long. When he said this, he slammed the paperweight down on the bag, laughed loudly for a few times, then raised his voice to question, daring to ask the young master his full name. At this point, the story ended, resounding applause rang out, good compliments echoed throughout the tea house. There was a person waving a fan in his hand, silently exclaiming, what is called a stranger like a jade, what is called a peerless gentleman, the uncle is truly a role model, I have to learn more from him. The person next to him heard that and nodded in agreement, that's right, how could such a man be a disgrace to a writer? That makes sense, the other person nodded and said, these two people leaned closer to each other and whispered, it was decided, before the new chapter of Smiling Wanderer comes out, I will temporarily stop calling, Brother Dai is so right. At this time, the Van and Ba Palace was opened, Tran Lak was practicing cross-legged on the bed, in front of him, the red dust radiating a gentle light was floating, a moment later. Tran Lak opened his eyes, raised his hand to pick up the red dust, smiled and thought to himself, Dai Wee and Dan newspaper published 100,000 copies this time, earning a lot of red dust for himself. Wait until it covers all 13 continents of great mystery, the amount released will be 700,000 parts, at that time, my earthly energy will be enough to break the oxygen realm, right? Thinking like that, his eyes were as bright as stars, he grinned happily, if there was someone among the readers who understood martial arts, I would naturally learn it too, he, he, he. Collecting the red earth energy, Tran Lak stood up, stretched his arms, said with satisfaction, signed and wrote a book for 30 years, even if he lay idle he would become a saint, happy. Having said that, Tran Lak lowered his head in thought, but now there is one thing, how can we reduce the price of the books? That's right, the fourth senior brother is at home, let's go ask, thinking so he pushed the door open and quickly ran out. In Tong Tui Chi's room, the incense burner was emitting steaming smoke, Tong Tui Chi sat on the table, flipping through a few papers, as he looked, he grimaced and thought, why did he cut it in a place that was already special, does this little junior brother of mine want to get beaten or something? At this moment, a voice rang out outside the door, fourth senior brother, are you here? Tong Tui Chi quickly stood up and put the paper away, he reached out to straighten his clothes, and a little guilty said to the outside, come in. Tran Lak pushed the door open, clasped his hands respectfully in greeting, and greeted the four senior brothers, do you feel familiar here? Song Tu Chi nodded slightly, smiled and said, people reading books, rice in the tube, water in the gourd, are settled, this place is very good. Hearing that, Tran Lak immediately raised his head and said, This is the appearance that great scholars should have, completely different from those who only know how to play and dance. The two of them only knew how to play and dance in the midst of danger, and Willow Khan Trang suddenly sneezed, they thought, who is scolding me behind my back? At this moment, Tong Tui Chi looked at Tran Lak and asked, What is the matter with little junior brother looking for me? Tran Lak kept his posture, his face full of tension and replied, I have a question, I hope senior brother can answer. 
Tang Tuichi glanced at Tran Lak with sharp eyes, excitedly thinking, wait, wait, little junior brother finally asked him. I can finally show off my senior brother's majesty, he danced in his heart, happily telling himself, come, old fourth bamboo forest python, finally standing up. Although his heart was agitated, on the outside he still calmly asked, if his junior brother had any doubts, he could just say so. Tran Lak hesitated for a moment and then said, oh what, has the fourth senior brother eaten yet? This sentence was like a lightning strike in Tong Tuichi's ear. He was stunned for a few seconds, his face blankly thinking, Have you eaten yet? Why would the little junior brother ask such a trivial matter? But, there was certainty in the question, have deep intentions. Tong Tuichi seriously reasoned, his appearance, wild nature, yesterday the little junior brother went to Tan Lao, he must have had some feeling, Mencius advocates the original good nature, obeys the original evil nature, reports to the master Trong is not good, not bad. This is a matter of great Confucianism, is junior brother trying to explore the path of my bamboo forest lineage. Little junior brother is worthy of being the master of the fourth heavenly path, but he has already come into contact with the basic teachings of my first lineage, it's not enough, I can't answer for the moment. On the opposite side, seeing that the four senior brothers were silent all this time, Tranlak was a bit confused, so he took a step forward and asked, Senior brother, if you haven't eaten yet, how about I order a banquet from Mon Naguit Lao, please? Tang Tuichi immediately turned to stone and blurted out, What do you mean? Tran Lak looked at him puzzled and said calmly, meaning it in words, Let's talk while we eat and drink. When Tang Tuichi heard this sentence, he immediately shattered on the spot, all the illusions he had been thinking about were beaten to nothing. Tang Tuichi was a little embarrassed, he put his hand over his mouth and coughed a few times to calm himself down, then slowly said, Since I'm not hungry, if you have any doubts, just ask. Hearing these words, looking at Tong Tuichi's expression, Tran Lek was stunned in thought, why did I feel that my senior brother's righteousness was surging just now, is this the pressure of a great Confucian's righteous mind? Without thinking too much, Tran Lek immediately got straight to the point, I have an idea, I hope fourth senior brother will answer. Talking out his problems, Tran Lek sat sullenly in one place, outside in the clear blue sky, bright sunlight shining down. Tang Tuichi sat opposite, crossed his arms and thought for a while, then frowned and said, Smiling Jang who has four volumes, each box only sells for ten tails of silver, don't you think this price is too low? Tran Lak bowed his head and sighed and said, No way, if it wasn't low then ordinary people wouldn't be able to buy it. Tang Tuichi sat up straight and asked seriously, Do you know why elegant literature is so highly valued? You know this, Tran Lak raised his hand and replied, I heard that in order to copy elegant literature, you need to write a thousand words, but Confucian students can write a thousand words, there is a way to make more money, so you can only price increase. Tang Tuichi shook his head slightly, warmly, that's right, but not entirely right, do you really think that our Confucian scholars really care about money and wealth that much, not just our Confucian school, not only our Confucian school, but also Buddhist monks, the same goes for scriptures. Tran Lak was a bit confused, so he asked again, why? Tang Tuichi spread out his hand, explaining neither quickly nor slowly, the principle is very simple, copying classics is a way of contacting the way of predecessors, copying classics that are not in line with one's own way is easy to block, blocking the path of practice, high prices are just a kind of compensation. Listening to the world, Tran Lak put his chin in his hands in thought, saying, Buddhist teachings should not be transmitted with six ears, Taoist teachings should not be transmitted casually, it seems that this is also the principle. He bowed his head and said sadly, with that said, there really is no way for my book to be published. Tang Tuichi stroked his chin thoughtfully, then spoke up a moment later, your book has something special, but there's no need to think like that, your story isn't about fighting for a great path, and doesn't have a great cause, however, it will not affect the copier. He curled his lips and continued, if those clever people at the library knew how to help me copy, they would have been virtuous long ago, otherwise they would be so kind. Hearing this truth, Tran Lak angrily cursed to himself, these cunning old men hid the good part from me, and even sold their favors to me, playing dirty. Thinking like that, he rolled his eyes and asked, if my literature doesn't influence the copyists, then why can't it be sold at a low price? Tuong Tuong crossed his arms and asked, if he sold the whole book at a low price, would the newspaper people still do it? Tran Lak tried to force a smile and replied, why is it so difficult, at best, I'll just write more classics. Tang Tuichi sat to one side, looking at his junior brother, helplessly saying, Surely you know the story of a sacrifice for redemption. If you sell the whole book at a low price, what will those virtuous masters think? 
Tranlak bowed his head and let out a breath, a little sadly replied, the fourth senior brother was right, a mismatch between spending and receiving is not a good thing, in the long run, no one would be willing to give away his work, if I go out again, I'm afraid it will harm the nation's foundation. At this time, Tang Tuichi stood up, he walked closer to where Tran Lak was sitting, nodded and said, yes, if you understand then let's go. Seeing Tran Lak outside, looking at his back in the distance, Tang Tuichi thought to himself, he, 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 digest the morality my senior brother just taught me. But in front, the battle lost as he walked and curled his mouth, thinking, this method doesn't work, it doesn't mean there is no other way, in the previous world, wasn't there a solution already available? At the Willow Library, the conservator of the Willow Library, Kong Tian Fuang, exclaimed in surprise, Fu Cha, I hope Van and Ba can explain clearly. Tran Lak, sitting in the chair next to him, smiled and explained that the so-called supplementary magazine is a magazine published outside of the weekly issue of Dan Dao newspaper. When Kong Tian Fuang heard this, he understood a bit, he frowned and asked, it turns out that's it, so does the boss have any related plans and programs? Tran Lak seriously explained, for example, on the first day of publishing People's Newspaper, the third chapter of Laughing and Proud Wanderer was published, the next day the supplement would publish the fourth chapter, the day after that the fifth chapter would be published, and so on, it's pushed like that, but for the sake of publishing People's Newspapers, supplements will not be released before the next consumption period. Kong Tian Fuang stood up, eyes wide and said, how many supplements does Van and Ba intend to sell? Tran Lak immediately raised five fingers and squinted at him. Kong Tian Fuang's eyes lit up, thinking excitedly, good or good, every seven days there are six happy days. The remaining one day can be endured. Tran Lak was also immersed in his thoughts. He thought to himself, minus the civil newspaper, one part is three tales of silver, I am seven, the academy is two, Van Suing CAC is one. At this moment, Kong Tian Fuang suddenly took a step forward and cautiously said, Ah, this. Seeing him not saying anything, Tran Lak frowned and asked, Is there a problem? Kong Tian Fuang turned to the side and said sadly, The weekly newspaper became a daily newspaper, investment had to increase sharply, the students of course did not expect any return, but the Van Suing Pagoda had some objections. Oh, so does Kong Tuong have any insight? Tran Lak asked, silently cursing in his heart, old fox, starting to think again, let me play with him. Hearing that, Kong Tian Fuang was no longer polite and got straight to the point, Van and Ba, I'm calling you young friend, the library is not afraid of causing trouble, this matter has to be okay, just need someone to take it, out a bit, he he. Tran Lak understood what Kong Tian Fuang meant, he pretended to be confused, approached and said softly, it turned out that Kong's assistant had difficulties, let's do this, let me find the senior brothers to discuss. When Kong Tian Fuang heard this, he was terrified, he was startled and thought, huh, you want to find those monsters? We couldn't let this happen, Kong Tian Fuang immediately jumped up to stop it, no, no, how could this small problem come to the attention of Truk Lan Yet Mai? Tran Lak pretended to be helpless in response, but if he didn't take anything out, it wouldn't be convenient for him. Kong Tian Fuang was now drenched in sweat, he quickly clasped his hands and said softly, I was confused just now, the library still has some accumulation, now I will go back to summon other libraries, immediately start. Tran Lak looked at the back of the old man quickly running away from the heavens, curled his mouth dangerously and thought, he he, do you want to pluck my sheep's wool, wait for the next life. The next day, in the Count's mansion, young Master Tong sat at the table, picked up his pen and wrote a letter, asking for his gratitude from his teacher, a disciple who had been away from Truk Lam for more than a month, asking his regards from afar. The little junior brother has recently had many achievements, first with the three songs Tan Lao, then with the magical plan supplement. I also enclose the latest manuscripts of Xiao Aragon and three elegant songs for my teacher. The little junior brother's talent is so dazzling, far beyond ordinary people, it makes people feel embarrassed. Nowadays, arrogant laughter has been widely circulated among people and everyone loves it. One day, the fourth great path will reach infinitely. Master, please wait and see. Putting down his pen, Tang Tuichi let out a breath and said in a low voice to himself, Sigh, it's just something bad, I don't dare tell my teacher. Speaking of this, he suddenly became angry, clutched the envelope he had just written, and shouted loudly, what happened after so much chewing, how should the relationship between Ling Ho Chong, Ni Lam and Nok Ling San be handled, any. It was already late at night, Song Tu Chi Chi's voice still echoed in the palace, junior brother was truly small and powerless, a disgrace to the literati. Tran Lak was sleeping when he suddenly woke up, he rubbed his sleepy eyes and said softly, strangely, why did he dream of someone scolding him? 
pulling down the blanket, Tranlak thought to himself, never mind, literature has been selling a lot lately, let's see how much energy Hong Tran has accumulated. He sat cross-legged on the bed and began to meditate, the red earth gradually appeared in front of Tranlak, feeling it for a moment, he said with satisfaction, it's good, it's full like this. Exiting the meditative state, Tranlak rubbed his stomach with his hand, thinking to himself, he must quickly use it all up, otherwise it would be a waste. Let's see if we can break through an acupuncture point. Thinking like that, Tranlak once again closed his eyes to practice. The red air slowly flowed out, flowing around his body. Oh, there's still a little bit missing, Tranlak said. He put all his strength, shouted, broke it for me. A new acupuncture point was immediately opened. Tranlak happily opened his eyes. He thought to himself, he succeeded. Now he is also an expert with the power of the most gifted. Getting off the bed, Tranlak tried out a few moves, his movements were even more agile than before, he said with satisfaction, not bad, he is no longer an ordinary person who can't tie a chicken tightly. Unable to hide his joy, Tranlak ran straight out, opened his mouth, laughed and shouted, ha ha ha, if I encounter danger in the future, I will have to fight ten people. I was respectfully reading a book in a flower garden when I saw Tranlak like that and exclaimed in surprise, sir, you are not sick. Tranlak didn't think there was still someone outside at this time. Hearing this sound, he was stunned for a moment, but he reacted quite quickly, immediately covered his mouth with his hand, coughed a few times and said, It's okay, we are just practicing. Unbelievably serious, he walked around Tranlak 1, his eyes were extremely sharp, assessing, not seeing anyone practicing but howling and screaming, could it be that the young man was practicing an evil method? Hearing that, Tranlak waved his hand and shouted, Ask less questions, have you finished reading the book, let me call the fourth senior brother to take care of you, respectfully quickly ran away, loudly responding, No, I'll go back to the room to read by myself, no need to bother the great scholar. Waiting for him to leave, I slowly raised my hand to fan my hot face from embarrassment, thinking to myself, Luckily I met you, otherwise where would my handsome face be hidden? The next day, the butler of Nba Marquis's palace carried an envelope into the room and respectfully said, Uncle, early in the morning there was an invitation sent by the military butler of the general's palace, saying that the general invited you to come over, see if there's any giveaway program. Tranlak drank a sip of soup and thought thoughtfully, then thought or asked, Soldier General, why is Han Tan Truk? Soldier General hasn't gone to the city of 10,000 rings yet. Hearing that, the butler immediately said that the general's departure time was set for the first day of the next month, he had been stationed in the central capital for the past few days. Tranlak thought about it for a moment and then asked, speaking of which, we still don't have the budget to enter the books, right? When the housekeeper heard this, he immediately reported that the housekeeper's salary, benefits, and taxes would only be available next month, and now he really had no income. Tranlak heard that, then he snapped his fingers and told me, then what else is there to give as a gift, it's a waste of money, go get me a pen and ink, the butler did not understand what was in his heart, so he did not ask any more questions, immediately replied yes and left to prepare. Tranlak sat alone in the room, happily talking to himself, if I don't have enough money, I'll use a poem to make up for it, maybe the general won't refuse. In the morning, K.Y. Trong was driving a horse-drawn carriage slowly on the street. Tranlak sitting in the carriage suddenly lifted up, stuck his head out and leaned close to KY's ear, seriously asking, To KY, have you erased the Van and Ba symbol on the carriage? Respectfully nodded, puzzled, it was already deleted, and I don't know why the young man had to be so careful. Tranlak sat inside, clasped his hands together, his face darkened in thought, a moment later he said, You don't understand, if the reader finds out, we will be more or less healthy, more or less good, more or less good, slightly confused. I heard my young master continue to say sadly inside, after all, I interrupted the last five chapters a bit too much. While respectfully driving the carriage, upon hearing this, he smiled and replied, you really know yourself. Not long after, the carriage stopped and solemnly shouted, it was finally here. Outside the door, a beautiful girl was waiting, this girl was the daughter of a soldier, Han Van brother, seeing that someone had arrived, she raised her hand and waved, enthusiastically greeting, Tran family brother, I've been waiting for you for a long time. Tran Lak stepped down from the carriage, clasped his hands in return, and paid his respects to sister Van, Han Van C.A. didn't mince words at all, he smiled and grabbed Tran Lak's hand, pulling him away and saying, come on, let's go in. Tranlak didn't have time to react and was dragged straight inside, she smiled helplessly and thought, as expected of a tiger girl, not paying any attention to complicated rituals, this way, we will be more comfortable interacting with her. 
Brother Han Van pulled Tran Lak through a garden. From afar, she pointed inside and introduced, Today there is a guest coming to visit. My father cannot avoid it, so let me entertain him first. Brother Tran, don't blame me. Hearing that, Tran Lak immediately waved his hand and shook his head, politely said, It's not like that, I'm taking the risk, if it's really inconvenient, then I'll go home first and come back another day. When he said that, in his heart he was embarrassed and thought, he was out of line, the invitation said a few days from now, not today, I came in such a hurry, people definitely didn't have time to prepare. Who would have thought that as soon as he heard Tran Lak say that, Han Van Sia waved his hand and raised his voice to say, It's already here, what's the point of going back? Pulling Tran Lak into the house, Han Van Sia happily said, My father said so, then come in. Tran Lak had no choice but to listen and nodded in response, so listen to what she said. As soon as he stepped inside, an old but strong voice suddenly rang out, TSK TSK, this is what Van and Ba and Tu Han said, what a good child, the person who spoke was the ancestor of the fairy fox. Brother Han Van immediately introduced, Tu Lak, this is the ancestor of Tian Ha, with an extremely high status in the Taoist sect, even if he met the Ching Ching Dojin of today, he would have to call him uncle. Hearing this, Tran Lak immediately clasped his hands, bowed his head respectfully and said, Little boy Tran Lak, I pay my respects to the ancestor of the immortal fox. The old ancestor of the fairy fox smiled kindly, waved his hand and said, I'm just an old man, what's the old ancestor? You're a gentle teacher, there's no need to be so polite, just call me grandma. Tran Lak replied yes, took out a roll of paper and prepared to offer it. General Han Tan Truk saw this and immediately said, You brat, when you come to my house for dinner, what gifts did you bring? Take it home, take it, go home. Hearing that, Tran Lak smiled and replied, Uncle Han, the boy did not give any gift in return, just wrote a small poem, not worth a few coins. Hearing him say that, both Han Tan Truk and old ancestor Tian Ho's eyes lit up, they shouted in unison, What, new poetry, open it quickly. Tran Lak narrowed his eyes and said, the people rolled up the paper and said, don't rush, I'll open it right away. As soon as the scroll was opened, the words inside immediately glowed. Tran Lak softly read each verse, rolling the melancholy glass of the late afternoon. The whip chased the horse towards the horizon, not accidentally causing the flowers to fall, turn humus to help keep spring fresh. As soon as the poem ended, Han Tan Tru happily clapped his hands in praise. Good, 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 this general's lifelong pursuit is to protect the country and protect the people. This poem touches deep in my heart. So good, after listening to the poem, the old ancestor of the fairy fox stood next to him and still couldn't close his mouth. Tran Lak quickly rolled up the hybrid poem, held it up with both hands, brought it to Han Tan Troop's face, and said, This poem is called Bei Ho Akum dedicated to soldiers sending soldiers to 10,000 cities. I hope you will accept it. Han Tan Troop took the scroll, smiled happily and said, Ha ha ha, great name, today we will slaughter the royal pig, let's have a big meal. The ancestor of the fairy fox had not said anything until now, but now he spoke up in praise, Young man Tran is talented and will be able to be born in the future. Being praised by his elders, Tran Lak felt a bit embarrassed, he scratched his head a few times and said, The kid is just a flash of light, his grandmother praised him too much, having said that, he secretly thought to himself, after all, it's just copying, and complimenting him would be too embarrassing. At this time, I heard the fairy fox ancestor cautiously ask, The old man has an unreasonable request, I wonder if my little friend can help. Tran Lak didn't need to think too much, he immediately spoke, the grandmother just said, as long as the kid has the ability, he will definitely help. After saying this, he happily thought to himself, the chances of the immortal fox old ancestor owing him a favor are not many, I came at the right time. Receiving Tran Lak's response, the fairy fox ancestor immediately leaned hard on the gourd stick in his hand, from that gourd gourd, seven gourds of seven different colors appeared one after another, and the fairy fox ancestor headed towards it, Tran Lak, softly said, the old man wants to ask little friend Tran to hatch these seven small gourds. Seeing this scene, his face was drenched in sweat, he was horrified and thought to himself, no, could this be the fox brothers? Tran Lak pointed his finger and looked up at the few gourds hanging on the tree, he asked confusedly, Grandma, these gourds have opened up the spirit, enough to turn into a demon. The old ancestor and Mrs. Fox Fairy looked at the colorful fox fruits and began to explain, Yes, these seven children have opened their spiritual wisdom for a long time, they just lack the type of gods, that is, pure gods, air, spirit, without spirit it is impossible to transform. 
Hearing the fairy fox ancestor say that, Tranlax stroked his chin, attentively looking at the gourds thoughtfully. A moment later, he asked, Have you asked the Confucian to teach them? Do you remember to read books, that spiritual being? In the first, old ancestor Ho's figure appeared. His face was always frowning. She shrugged and said, I tried to find your fourth senior brother, but these kids wouldn't listen. Then the ancestor of the fox fairy raised his hand, lovingly caressed the gourds in front of him, softly saying, I have tried all the methods of Confucianism and Buddhism, but they are all useless. I think about it and think about it. Try looking for you. Tran Lak heard that and waved his hand, then he pointed at himself, confused and said, Grandma, there's no way for so many big people, I'm afraid I can't either. The fairy fox ancestor didn't pay much attention to Tran Lak's words, her eyes were bright, her mouth bared with only one tooth, she smiled kindly and said, Tran Chu whose path of practice has become one, the old man also wanted to try it. Stop for a moment, the old fox fairy used his cane to approach Tran Lak, and said the conditions, in the end, whether he succeeds or fails, he will give you a portion of the fox demon in my hand, Tran Lak listens to me, when sharing the profits, his eyes immediately lit up, he was so excited that he let out a long cry. At this point, there is no need to think about anything, Tran Lak nodded in agreement, he clasped his hands and bowed his head and said, if you trust me like that, then you have to help no matter what you say, why say anything else with your mouth? So, in his heart, he screamed happily again, hey, a share of the ancestors of the immortal fox industry, that's a big profit. Seeing that he had convinced Tran Lak, the ancestor of the fairy fox bowed his head again to thank him, the old man thanked him again, Tran Lak saw the elder bowing to him and immediately took a step back, he couldn't bear it, this ceremony, I quickly bowed lower and replied, Mrs., Mrs. Tran Lak turned his head to look at the gourds, he gently touched the blue gourd, felt the emotions on it and thought to himself, gourds, I will definitely hatch all of them, I come out. After talking for a while, it was already dark, Tran Lak said goodbye and got on the horse carriage to leave. A few days later, on a desolate mountain road, respectfully sitting outside driving the carriage, as if remembering something, he turned slightly to ask his master, who was living peacefully in the city, why he suddenly wanted to detain K. Trang. Tran Lak sat leaning against the car, he crossed his arms and closed his eyes as he said, Lately the city has been so noisy, it's not good for the fox ancestors' gourd incubation. Listening respectfully to Tran Lak's excuse for evasion, I couldn't help but say, no, I'm afraid it's to avoid the poetry seekers who come to my door. Remembering the scene of a group of people coming to Van and Ba Palace, whining and bothering him, Tran Lak held his head, feeling deafened and saying, don't mention it anymore, I don't know why the soldiers said the things I gave them, when I go out, there are now many people blocking our palace, if we don't run, we will die. Remembering the headache scene earlier that exhausted Tran Lak, he leaned back against the side of the car, holding his eyes to calm his mind. Tran Lak gently advised respectfully, Okay, I have to rest for a while, you drive the car. The respectful person outside immediately replied yes, waiting for the space in the car to become quiet again. Tran Lak hugged his arms, thoughtfully thinking, Teaching is not just about the four books and five classics, perhaps telling stories can also hatch little gourds. I just have to ask the dream spirit to see if I can tell a story. As soon as he entered the dream, Tran Lak raised his voice to call out the spirit of the dream world. Following Tran Lak's call, there was a point of light gathering that could vaguely make out the appearance of a human being. It said in a low voice, Master, what are you calling me for? Tran Lak glanced at the spirit of the dreamscape and asked him wonder, I ask you, if I myself remembered the story in the previous world and then told it, what would happen? The spirit of the dream world heard Tran Lak's question, it thought for a moment and then said, all the books in the dream world are in the owner's brain, just hidden by heaven, if the owner says the sentence, similar story, the story in the dream will no longer exist. Tran Lak listened thoughtfully, and the spirit of the dream continued to explain, meaning that the owner could no longer get that story from the dream. Hearing him say that, Tran Lak frowned and thought, if I tell others about martial arts fighting tigers, then the water margin story in my dream will disappear. The spirit of the dreamscape glanced at Tran Lak and continued to speak, if the story is presented orally, it will not be filled with poetic spirit, if the literary spirit is not enough, a writer cannot write it, if you stubbornly present the story orally, it will be useless. In this world, we still need to consume our luck and earthly energy. Tran Lak's face was gray and he was in a bad mood, he said, enough, cover all your mouths tightly, this rule is too cruel. Then he waved his hand to signal the dream spirit to leave, okay, I know. Returning to the real world, when Tran Lak was still in the dreamland, the solemnity from outside echoed in and shouted, The young master has arrived at Tam K. Trang. 
Tran Lak suddenly woke up. He lifted the curtain and looked outside and said, So fast, I'll be right out. After leaving the carriage, Tran Lak carried seven gourds and KY entered inside. He looked at KY and instructed, To KY, you go find a climbing trellis over here, respectfully obeyed orders and immediately ran to search. Tran Lak turned to caress the gourds and said, Children, you must be obedient and listen. When the gourds heard Tran Lak say that, they didn't know why they were angry, screaming at Tran Lak and scolding, Damn it, let go of your dirty hands, oh my, I've been touched, I can't, if he's still clean, tell your grandmother and beat him to death. Tran Lak looked at these gourds in shock, his hands stiffened on the spot as he heard them scolding him. Tran Lak was extremely angry at being humiliated, he snorted and scolded, You little brats, do you believe I turned you all into decorations? Hearing that, they were not afraid, the whole group shouted in unison, the little fox decided not to be a slave. Tran Lak was so angry that he was shaking but still had to control himself, his hand tightly grasped the tree branch, trying to force a smile on his face, gritting his teeth and thinking, hateful, wait until I get you out, I will teach you, tease you a bit. At the same time, KY Trong also brought a truss, he pointed at the truss and signaled to Tran Lak and said, sir, I found the truss. Tran Lak slowly took the gourd string and went to wrap it around the truss that KY had just brought. The group of gourds shouted in unison, Don't touch us! Waiting for Tran Lak to finish hanging up the gourds, a boy from afar ran up to the side, raised his tiny hand and pointed at the gourds and asked, Sir, are these talking gourds demons? Tran Lak bent down and rubbed the boy's head with his hand and said, Not yet, they are all like you, still children. Looking at that very mixed set of gourds sparkling in the sunlight, Tran suddenly came up with a good idea, in his mind, he secretly thought, that's right, isn't now a good opportunity to telling a story can not only make the children happy, but also try to see if it can motivate the gourd. As soon as he thought about it, he did it, Tran Lak shouted loudly and called all the children in the town to come, he happily waved his hand and said, come here too, today I will tell you the story of the gourd brothers. Then all the children sat around Tran Lak to prepare to listen to the story. Tran Lak began to lead the story. He spoke softly. Legend has it that there was once an old man who picked up a vine of gourds in the mountains. Tran Lak sat and told the story enthusiastically. The children sitting around also listened attentively. It seemed like they really enjoyed this story. Tran Lak mentioned the dramatic part and immediately said mysteriously, the seventh child believed the snake spirit's words, sucked all his brothers into the gourd, the poorest little gourd was tricked until today, harm your family members. On the climbing frame, the group of gourds were also listening to Tran Lak tell a story, hearing about the seventh episode of the gourd listening to bad people and harming the whole family, the gourd brothers immediately turned to look at the purple gourd, their voices I say it somewhat resentfully, old man. How can you be like this? I've wasted my usual time loving you. From now on don't come over here to escape the sun. The purple gourd is also called the old man. He heard his brother scolding and sweated and quickly explained. It's not you. You don't have it. Don't say it. Tran Lak looked at the seven gourds hanging on the trellis arguing loudly. He smirked, thinking in his heart. It really worked. My trick was right. Seizing the opportunity, Tran Lak continued, he said, after the seventh child was also taken in, the old man, in order to save them, had a battle of wits with the monster. The children thought of the old man who sacrificed himself to save the seven gourd brothers, they looked at the world with tears in their eyes, puzzled, but how could mortals deal with demons, in the end, he he was still stabbed with a knife. They all stood up and ran to Tran Lak and asked, what about those gourd babies? Tran Lak did not disappoint the children's expectations, he snorted lightly, clenched his hands into fists, and said seriously, fortunately the old man was able to break the seal before he died, releasing all seven gourd children, outside, they used all their strength to destroy the demons, eventually turning into seven colored mountain gods, forever suppressing the demonic energy. Seeing that the story had a happy ending, the children happily jumped up and down, running around the mortals shouting, the monster is dead. After telling this story, Tran Lak tried his luck, he felt it for a bit and then said, he consumed half of his energy, and the power of luck also consumed twice as much as when he told Du Ten Nuong, but well, as long as the kids are happy, everything is worth it. Tran Lak pushed his way past the children, walked to the gourds, raised his head to look at them, and asked curiously, why didn't the seven of them react, is it okay? The purple gourd heard Tran Lak speak and responded, waiting for the song. Tran Lak looked at the seven gourds in confusion and asked again, What's the singing? Don't let something happen to you. Seeing that Tran Lak's concern was sincere, the gourds immediately spoke up to explain, Without singing we won't transform. That's right, we need a stage, you guys should sing quickly, I'm about to endure it, floating again. 
quick as lightning. Tranlek understood how to make the gourds transform. He turned his head to look at the children and shouted, quickly, quickly, sing the song I just taught. The children, who had just heard the story, were all obediently and happily leaning on each other and began to sing, gourds, gourds, a string with seven flowers. Hearing the singing, the gourds on the trellis began to vibrate and then light up, a change began. The shape of a child gradually appeared, followed by a voice saying, I'm coming. As soon as these words ended, seven silhouettes appeared one after another, flying straight towards where Tranlak was standing. Seeing the seven gourds transform into human shapes, Tranlak said in surprise, Here, here, you guys are a group of little girls. Looking at the seven gourds running quickly towards him, Tranlak was startled and took a few steps back, thinking in his heart, That's not right, why don't I feel right? The seven gourd babies ran to the strays' bare feet and immediately wrapped themselves around them, opening their mouths and calling out Grandpa very happily. Tranlak lived for two years in this world, the first time someone called him Sir, he was so angry that he vomited blood, he silently complained in his heart, Very well, do you want to curse me to die early? On the second day, after playing until they were exhausted, the seven gourds were lying around Tranlak sleeping soundly, Tranlak couldn't stand the sleepiness and fell asleep on the spot. After waking up, he wiped his eyes and said, Oh, finally I don't play around anymore. Looking at the seven gourd children sleeping soundly, Tranlak stood up, twisting his back that was about to break in half, he thought to himself, forcing himself to tell the gourd story over and over again all night long, if only he heard the story, second, what about it? He slowly went out to open the door, thinking as he opened, send this good news to the fairy fox ancestor soon. As soon as she walked out the door, Tranlak's eyes immediately met the fairy fox ancestor. She had been waiting outside for a long time. Tranlak was extremely surprised and said, Grandma, why did you come here in person? When the fairy fox ancestor saw Tranlak, he immediately bowed his head and said, Last night he felt the strong aura of the same origin of Tam K. Trang. Perhaps the master had made the foxes transform. Today he just saw it. It's truly a complete success. Please accept my bow. Seeing that the old ancestor of the fairy fox showed such respect, Tranlak quickly ran to help her up and said, You've lost your life as a child, it's not bad, it's not bad. The old ancestor of the fairy fox had a happy look on his face, she looked at Tranlak and smiled kindly as she said, She was curious, how did the master make those seven children listen to the truth? Hearing the fairy fox's ancestor ask, Tranlak Leela clasped his hands and said, I'm just telling a story. In the middle of speaking, the seven gourds woke up, they quickly ran out. As soon as they saw Tranlak, they quickly called out, Grandpa, 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 it was fun to hear. The ancestor of the fairy fox looked at Tranlak in confusion, she repeated the word he again to confirm that she had not heard wrong. Tranlak couldn't let this go any further, he quickly reached out and covered the children's mouths tightly. After finishing, Tranlak shyly looked at the fairy fox ancestor and said, Ladies, listen to my explanation, don't listen to what they say nonsense. Next, Tranlak recounted yesterday's story to the fairy fox ancestor. After hearing this, the old ancestor of the fox said in surprise, So that's it, I didn't expect there to be such a wonderful story. At the same time, the seven children also showed off their strength, they called out, Grandma, look, we also have this ability, of the seven children, six have strength, one breathes fire, one uses laser eyes, one spits water, one has boundless strength, one uses his head to smash rocks. The youngest fox boy was confused and asked, Ha hoo, where is my fox turtle? Tranlak saw the little gourd showing off their magic, he scratched his head shyly and said, after hearing the story, they also have corresponding abilities, I don't know if they are good or bad. The fairy fox ancestor looked at her and smiled happily, in her heart, she thought, that year I also relied on my master to give me divine fortune to awaken my magical powers, I didn't expect that he would give me six children in one night, it seems like I had to fight, reassess the ability of this wise master. Saying this, the fairy fox ancestor took out two pieces of jade pendant, she looked at Tranlak and said, Thank you master for helping the children give birth to magical powers, this is a thank you gift from the old master. The fairy fox ancestor explained how to use it to Tranlak, this is the sole command of a fox demon, you can use it by refining it, the other is a storage command, simulating the old man's magical powers to increase heaven and earth, can store objects on the person. Tranlak saw that this was a precious gift, he did not refuse but reached out to receive it, on the outside, he smiled and said, thank you, but in his heart he happily thought, there is also a token, big words. After talking for a while, the official came from outside holding a card and hurriedly ran in and said, young master, there is a female Taoist bringing an invitation. 
Tran Lak received the card from his respectful hand, he opened the card, looked at it, then read it out loud, female official to a knock, pay my respects to the master, my master is King Deep Dai Fook, read the work, the master feels extremely fond of it, I'll invite you to a party tonight at Ling Lang Lao, please wait for your arrival. After reading the card, Tran Lak clasped his hands and closed his eyes in supplication, moreover, he sighed and said, Aes, it's Ling Lang Lao again, but I owe Dao to a knock's favor, I have to go. Respectfully standing to the side, he glanced at his young master and said softly, maybe he didn't play enough last time. Tran Lak's solemn words hit him in the heart, he was startled and scolded, what nonsense are you talking about, can a person who reads books go to a bar be called a brothel? After that, Tran Lak quickly ran out the door, before leaving, he didn't forget to look in and talk to the honor standing inside, if you dare to talk nonsense, I will punish you for copying the scriptures. So respectfully, the ancestor of the fox fairy and the little fox children looked at Tranlak with eyes that seemed too familiar. Standing in front of the shimmering door, Tranlak stopped for a moment, adjusted his clothes, then deliberately waved his hand as if he had nothing to say, a good young man like me, why did he come to this place twice in the same time, short time? Han San Nuong, wearing a red cardigan, saw that her distinguished guest had arrived, she hurriedly ran out and said with a smile, Oh my, my uncle, you have finally come, come on, please come here. Behind him, respectfully leaned close to his ear, whispering to Tran Lak, young master, King Khan was also considered the grandson of the founding father of the country, his glorious victory, why did his descendants wander so far, long time ago? After listening, Tran Lak shrugged and said, How do I know, maybe it's for some reason. When I respectfully heard the answer of my beloved young master, I was stunned, his face looked puzzled and he looked at me and said, What? Tran Lak didn't respond, it seemed like he didn't care much, he took a few steps forward, Tran Lak was deeply immersed in his thoughts, he stroked his chin and thought, The police are loyal and brave, Tin Chao is a martyr, the reason is small, I'm afraid it won't be that simple for King Khan to find me, cautiously followed behind, still scratching his head and analyzing Tran Lak's words just now. Han Tam Nuong led the two to a room and said, Uncle, in here, please. Tran Lak didn't hesitate any longer, he pushed the door open and walked in, thinking in his heart, let me see what kind of person Prince Khan Vuong is. As soon as he entered inside, his eyes immediately caught sight of the so-called Prince Khan Vuong, Deep Dai Fook, he was big and plump, no matter how you looked, he looked like a pig, he was sitting drinking wine, sharp, still shouting loudly in his mouth, ha ha ha, continue playing, continue singing. When Tran Lak saw this scene, his eyes widened until his eyes popped out, he was suddenly speechless and couldn't say anything. As soon as he saw Prince Deep Dai Fook eating cake, drinking wine, and watching beauties dance, the first thing that appeared in Tran Lak's mind was, oh my, how plump he is. At this moment, Master Nok Taoist came, she clasped her hands in front of her chest to greet Tran Lak, and Nok Nok met the virtuous master, this person was our family's crown prince, when she arrived here, she turned to look at the plump prince, introducing, this person is Van and Ba. Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook heard this and kindly stood up, he walked closer to Tran Lak, smiled kindly and looked at him, Tran Lak sweat dropped and said, at Tran Lak, to meet the little prince, he said so on the outside. But in his mind he secretly thought he was a young master with kidney failure and a skinny body, but he didn't expect it. After Deep Dai Fook listened to Tran Lak's polite words, he walked over and grabbed Tran Lak's arm, raising his voice and saying, Van and Ba is polite, the little king treats you like a long-time friend, today, regardless of title, it's just about friendship, can you call me brother or sister? Tran Lak struggled to escape from Deep Dai Fook's hand, he immediately waved his hand and replied, Don't dare, how can you call yourself brother to the Crown Prince? Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook didn't say anything, he took Tran Lak over to the chair and waved his hand and said, It's okay, let's have a drink first, Han Tam Nuong, tell the ladies to come in. Following the direction of Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook, several beautiful ladies carrying food immediately entered and called an uncle, Tran Lak looked at those girls, then turned to look at Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook next to him, and said cautiously, letting the little prince waste his time inviting so many people, I am ashamed. Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook leaned his plump body against the chair, waved his hand and replied, as long as he can make Van and Uncle happy, then this money will be worth spending. Tran Lak raised his cup and drank it with Deep Dai Fook, then said, The little prince is very polite. Deep Dai Fook politely said, Don't say anything else, just ask Van and Ba to let me read the first work in the future. 
Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook chuckled. In his heart he thought, he, 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 in order to meet Van and Ba once, these girls spent their own money to go there, cooperated with Han Tam Nuong. Each one of them entered, I will be divided 500 tails. So delicious. Thinking about it, he was happy. Prince Deep Dai Fook drank the entire glass of wine in one gulp. He put the empty glass on the table, signaled the lady next to him to pour more wine and continued, continue, are we not drunk today? About telling the story of drinking from morning until late at night, Tran Lak hugged Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook's shoulder and danced jubilantly. He secretly exclaimed, This wine fairy is not light, it is also at the level of taking the life of a car. Deep Dai Fook was already very drunk at this time, stammering, Old Tran, I'm telling you, you are the genius of the family, burp, it was because you changed your mind that I contributed shares to the breakfast restaurant, triple profits. Tran Lak glanced at Deep Dai Fook and asked suspiciously, Can a prince like you still contribute shares to the breakfast restaurant? Realizing Tran Lak's question, Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook immediately answered, I don't understand, right, I just took the secret recipe from the palace, didn't invest any capital at all, they have the technology, I got the money, called his progress together. Tran Lak glanced at Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook's big round belly, in his heart he thought, I can't see that this little landscape king is still a business genius, maybe cooperating with him wouldn't be bad. Thinking like that, Tran Lak immediately reached out, held Deep Dai Fook's hand, and whispered to him, I think, the little prince can expand the alliance, only charging the alliance fee and profit, like then you can lie down and count money. Hearing about making money, Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook's eyes lit up like stars, he pouted his beak, which smelled of alcohol, and looked at Tran Lak and said, that's great, if big brother Tran is willing, I can open a store, can you please tell me about your magazine, called Dai Wien Tu Lao Table, make a ranking of the wine in the world. Tran Lak smiled evilly, he rubbed his hands together, happily said, then we will do another level evaluation mode, completely holding the right to evaluate, like that. Deep Dai Fook stroked his chin thoughtfully and said, people take food as heaven, this supplement will definitely sell a lot. So the two people, Tran Lak and Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook, looked up to the sky and laughed like two idiots, Tran Lak said proudly, ha ha ha, big brother, you are truly a genius, Deep Dai Fook also replied, he he, big brother Tran, you are my biological brother. While the two Tran Lak people were laughing like crazy, a girl suddenly looked out and said, everyone, come out and see, the great man has appeared. Tran Lak also looked outside to look, then he pulled Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook with him outside, talking as he walked, Lak Hong slave was about to sing the song, let's go listen to. Outside, a beautiful woman named Lak Hong is holding the instrument, strumming and singing, and will never fall in love. Lak Hong sang while thinking about Tran Lak's words, she thought in confusion, is that person coming to see her? So as soon as he turned around, Lak Hong saw Tran Lak holding a glass of wine is slowly coming, Tran lost his way to the pink place, raised his glass of wine to praise, it's so good. After seeing Tran Lak's silhouette, Lak Hong continued to sing with satisfaction, only then did he realize that he was in love and was afraid of falling in love, her face turned slightly pink, happily thinking to herself that he really still cares about her. Behind Tran Lak, Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook whispered in his ear, Big Brother Tran, it seems that this Lady Lak has something for you, do you need me to send soldiers to kidnap her? Tran Lak turned down to look at Deep Dai Fook, shook his head and said, Stop saying strange things, me, before he could finish his sentence, a long burst of laughter rang out from nowhere. Among the crowd of people who came to see the opera, a man named Fan Fuang stroked his beard, praising Lak Hong, Sir Lak Hong is truly heavenly, Van and Ba is not worthy of being a saint, it is true, the world's most elegant song. Fan Fuang pointed at Tran Lak standing in the distance, his voice was full of sarcasm, it's just that I've read hundreds of chapters of Smiling and Proud Wanderer but still can't imagine what the song in it is like, today I heard Van and Ba is here, so I want to invite you to ask for advice, Tran Lak heard that and looked at Fan Fuang like an idiot. The crowd of people watching was looking forward to the fun, a person holding a fan said, it came from the uncle's hand, it must be extraordinary, right, the guy next to him heard that and also interjected, that's right, what is the end of the song of the arrogant wanderer? Another person also opened his mouth to speak, I also wanted to listen. Fan Fuang saw this scene and thought that this time he had done something extremely useful, he curled his mouth in thought, humph, dare to come into contact with the crown prince, I will definitely destroy your reputation. Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook looked at Tran Lak with apologetic eyes and said, Big Brother Tran, I'm afraid this matter has something to do with me, you're implicated. 
Tranlak acted as if nothing happened. He smiled and turned back to look at Deep Dai Fook, smiled and said, It's okay. It's just a group of people coming to the door to ask for a face. Let me continue. After Tran Lak finished talking to Deep Dai Fook, he slowly walked towards Fan Fuang. Tran Lak's demeanor was extremely confident. He thought to himself, in his previous life, he was a professional music performer at the Academy of Arts. You touched the muzzle of the gun. Fan Fuang first looked at Tran Lak from top to bottom to evaluate for a while. Then he bowed his head in greeting. Since Van and Ba was willing to go down, perhaps he was also ready, please. Hearing that, Tran Lak immediately turned to look at Lak Hong, who was holding the piano, and gently asked, Sir Lak, would you be interested in joining me in singing a song about the Zhang Hu? Lak Hong didn't expect Tran Lak to ask her to join the group. She said a little shyly, Uncle calling me Hong's slave is fine, I just don't know. Without waiting for La Lak Hong to finish speaking, Tran Lak leaned down close to her and said softly, It's okay, let me hold your hand and teach you. Looking at Tran Lak's handsome face, Lak Hong blushed and thought to herself, Close, too close, I have never been in such close contact with a man before. Tran Lak didn't pay attention to the eyes around him, he focused on teaching Lak Hong for a while and then asked, Did he remember everything? Lak Hong hugged his guitar, blushing and nodding. She looked at Tran Lak with steady eyes and replied, No problem, we can start at any time. Tran Lak glanced at Fan Fuang standing behind, raised his voice and said, smiling proudly, the Zhang Hu is playing the piano, listen carefully. As soon as these words finished, Lak Hong began to play the guitar, while Tran Lak, next to him, used a flute to play a song of proud and arrogant Zhang Hu. Listen to the sound of the flute and the piano coming together. Everyone in Ling Lang Lao was stunned when they heard this, the sea was smiling brightly, and the two banks of the lake were swaying. Looking at Lak Hong's slim hand, the music coming out was extremely pure, everyone didn't think it would be so good, someone holding a fan exclaimed, it was wonderful. After finishing playing the music, Tran Lak glanced at Fan Fuang's dark face and asked with interest, why are you satisfied with this piece of music? Fan Fuang did not expect Tran Lak to fulfill his unreasonable request, he was so angry that he gritted his teeth, and in his heart he complained and thought, impossible, how could he make music like this, I'm not satisfied. To express his dissatisfaction, Fan Fuang waved his hand and waved his sword and said, Boss, if you are so enthusiastic, do you dare to fight with me? Tran Lak saw that he was so stubborn, he coldly said, Do you want to live with me? In order not to disappoint Fan Fuang's expectations, Tran Lak stretched out his hand, looked at Crown Prince Deep Dai Fuk and said, Lend me the sword. Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook heard this and immediately threw his sword towards Tran Lak. He shouted, Big brother, take it. After throwing the sword away, Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook clapped his hands to cheer Tran Lak. In his heart, he happily thought, Big brother is about to strike, that's great. Holding the sword firmly in his hand, Tran Lak tried to check the spiritual energy in his body. He calculated that currently the spiritual energy in the body is very abundant, and he can slap a passerby in the face at will. On the other side, Fan Fuang's sword flashed, he controlled the sword and said, Then I have offended you. Having finished speaking, Fan Fuang waved his sword towards where Tran Lak was standing, shouted, and left. Tran Lak calmly pulled out his sword from its sheath, he took a defensive stance and said in a harsh voice, Hmm, is that all you have? Fan Fuang's sword soared past the mortal, flying straight towards where Lak Hong was standing, Tran Lak was startled, quickly turned around and said, It's dangerous. He quickly ran over, swung his sword and sent the sword aimed at Lak Hong flying away. Tran Lak glared angrily at Fan Fuang and shouted, You despicable person, you didn't expect to want to harm innocent people. Fan Fuang pulled the sword towards him, he acted as if nothing had happened, calmly said, I just slipped, it's too sinful, but in Fan Fuang's heart, he was complacently chuckling, he he, as long as he injured the Lak Hong slave, you would also have to bear the charge of being an incompetent protector. Without waiting for Fan Fuang to respond, this time Tran Lak held a sword and rushed towards him, his voice still carrying anger, deciding that an evil person like you does not deserve to stand out. Fan Fuang didn't care, he didn't judge himself, he used a little force to rush towards Tran Lak, still proudly saying, Ha ha, dare to take the initiative to rush forward, I have to make you. Not long after he was satisfied, Tran Lak used a unique move to break the sword consciousness. The sword in Tran Lak's hand appeared with many rays of light, stabbing straight at Fan Fuang's body, injuring him. When he finished speaking, he immediately fell silent. Fan Fuang's body was covered in blood, he fell to the ground and could no longer move. However, his mouth still did not forget to ask, What sword technique is this? 
Tran Lak took his sword back. He stood from above coldly looking at Fan Fuang lying down below, faintly said, If you want to learn, look for the arrogant smile. When the bustling audience saw that the winner was Tran Lak, they immediately cheered and shouted, It was definitely the Nine Swordsman, the tycoon who was talented in literature and martial arts, so cool. Lak Hong held the piano and walked past Tran Lak, gratefully saying, Uncle saved this young lady once, this young lady remembered in her heart, Tran Lak did not take it to heart, he immediately responded, the small kindness was not enough to fill his teeth. Hearing this sentence from Tran Lak, Lak Hong thought inexplicably, don't the heroes all expect their women to repay them with their own bodies, I wanted to say this for a long time but I couldn't say it. Tran Lak didn't put the words of Lak Hong in his heart, he glanced at Fan Fuang who was being carried for treatment, thinking in his heart, this person's identity must be clearly investigated by the great fortune. After the battle between Tran Lak and Fan Fuang, everyone in the world sang together the song sung by Lak Hong and Tran Lak together, a man carried a bucket as he walked and sang, the sea was full of laughter, and he was playing with two banks of the lake. Another man held a fan behind him and continued singing, drifting in and out of the air, echoing the golden tide. The small children on the street enthusiastically held wooden swords and disguised themselves as Tran Lak, the boy who considered a straw man as a phoenix, shouted loudly, Hey, in the future I will also be a hero like Van and Ba. A little girl sat next to her holding a toy, listening to the boy say that she wanted to become a great hero and sarcastically teased her, surely Van and Ba couldn't sleep day and night, so he could become a great hero, a lazy worm like you definitely can't. When the boy saw that this girl did not trust him at all, he turned around and said, Hum, thirty years in the east, thirty years in the west, don't look down on others. But at this time in the royal palace, everyone's great hero was still sleeping soundly. A moment later he woke up, Tran Lak raised his hand to caress his heavy head, looked around, saw a complete stranger and whispered, Where is this? I remember drinking a lot last night, but have a nice chat with the Hong slave. As soon as he mentioned Lak Hong, for some reason, Tran Lak's face suddenly turned red, he embarrassedly thought, Lak Hong slave, I haven't done anything bad, have I? Thinking of this, Tran Lak quickly sat up and turned the blanket over to the side to look, he breathed a sigh of relief and said, phew, fortunately there was no one, that's not right, it's a pity there was no one. At this moment, Lak Hong carried a basin of hot water and pushed the door in, seeing that Tran Lak was awake, he approached and said in concern, uncle is awake, quickly wash your face, oh, why is your face so red? Tran Lak looked at Lak Hong and sweated all over his body, he quickly sat up straight, acting like nothing happened, I thought to myself, I have high blood pressure, slave, this, is this your house? Lak Hong was stunned to hear Tran Lak's question, she said in confusion, high blood pressure, how could a slave have such an elaborate house, this is a royal palace. Hearing what Lak Hong said, Tran Lak breathed a sigh of relief, he stroked his chest and said, that's good, you were tired yesterday, have you rested well? Receiving Tran Lak's concern, Lak Hong lightly coughed, she blushed, slightly embarrassed and replied, last night, slave, because of you, slave felt everything was worth it. The more Tran Lak listened, the more he felt wrong, he widened his eyes, blushed and asked, yes, what do you mean? Lak Hong remembered the events of last night, and began to tell Tran Lak about last night's story, at that time, Lak Hong stood helplessly watching that Tran Lak guy get drunk and dance wildly, Lak Hong said indifferently, uncle, stop making trouble, go to sleep quickly, Tran Lak was still awake at that time, he didn't care about anything, still picked up the wine bottle, calmly said, drink, drink. There was also a time when Tran Lak was already very drunk, he buried his face in the pillow, full of excitement and exclaimed, Hee hee, this swan feather pillow is so soft, so fragrant. Hearing this, Tran Lak turned to stone on the spot, his body felt like it was about to split, he thought to himself, Oh my, where can you get a swan feather pillow in this era? Over here, Lak Hong laughed until she was shaking, she held it in until she could see the smile, softly said, Uncle don't blame yourself, it's a willing slave. Tran Lak looked at Lak Hong but couldn't say a word. Tran Lak jumped up and ran to open the door, he breathed a sigh of relief and said, fortunately nothing really happened, he was so scared. Going outside, Tran Lak saw K.Y. Trong practicing his sword. K.Y. Trong saw that his young master was already awake. He immediately stopped his movements and asked, Young master, did you sleep well last night? There was no place to let go of anger. Hearing the solemn words like that, Tran Lak stepped forward and slapped him on the head, angrily saying, It's delicious. Are you complaining about not having enough homework? Respectfully covering his head with his hands, not understanding why he was being beaten. He immediately screamed, No, I'm just kidding. 
While the two of them were struggling, Lak Hong also went out. She spoke up, Uncle, if you are okay, then I have to go first. Tran Lak heard that, he scratched his head shyly and replied, Red slave, this time I really thank you, that's right, where is your house, is it far, I can take you home. Lak Hong blushed and said, If you want to know, I will tell you, my house is on Alley 20, Number 20, Street 20. After finishing speaking, Lak Hong immediately turned around and walked out the door of the palace, respectfully turned his head to look at her and then at Tran Lak, smiled and said, Young master, you dare to say that you don't have any feelings for that girl, ah? Uh? Tran Lak didn't bother to deny it, he closed his eyes and said, She took care of me all night, I should have come to the door to thank her, even a drop of favor must be repaid like a river, a gentleman's identity. Over here, after going out, Lak Hong's face was hot, she covered her face, thinking happily, but she didn't expect that he would ask about my family, you are so straightforward. The air around Lak Hong also seemed to turn pink, the more she thought about it, the more embarrassed she became, her face became redder and redder, silently wondering, if he really comes, what should I do? At this time, Prince Deep Dai Fuk saw Tran Lak coming and called out, Big Brother Tran, you're finally here. Deep Dai Fuk was sitting on the floor, books were scattered everywhere, Tran Lak looked around and assessed and said, very good, why is your room full of books? Seeing Tran Lak's question, Deep Dai Fook immediately raised his hand to explain, My brother doesn't have any hobbies, usually he only likes to do small business, if he does more business, his books will also increase. After hearing this, Tran Lak said half jokingly and half seriously, So you have a really big business, do you have time to give me some tips? When Deep Dai Fook heard that, he smiled and replied, Big brother is joking again, with your ability, you still need to pay attention to these things. Suddenly Deep Dai Fook seemed to remember something, he was silent for a moment and then cautiously said, That's right, I found the person fighting with Big Brother, it's a writer from the Contemplation Palace. Tran Lak frowned, he had also heard that name before, thought for a while and then seriously asked, The Contemplation Palace, is a structure built by the Crown Prince, does it have any inside story? Crown Prince Deep Dai Fook had an extremely round face, he raised his head to look at Tran Lak and honestly replied, without hiding it from Big Brother Tran, the Crown Prince and I are inherently at odds, perhaps intentionally targeting you. After pondering for a while, Tran Lak asked again, what do you mean, is this the Crown Prince warning me? Dai Fook shook his head, it's not possible, Big Brother is a disciple of Bamboo Saint, he didn't have time to recruit him. I think the people under him are afraid that you will divide the benefits, so they did this stupid trick. After hearing that, Tran Lak burst out laughing, a bunch of clowns, no need to worry. From what you said, I feel like you don't pay much attention to the crown prince, what's going on? Dai Fook sneered and said, if you respect him, you call him crown prince, if you despise him, he is just a son of the emperor, if you want to play with prestige, wait to sit on the throne and then speak. Dai Fook also laughed, you kid is also wild, I like it. Dai Fook politely shook his head, it's not what I said, I hope you can stand in the top five semi-saints, your back is much stronger than mine. While sipping the cup of tea in his hand, Tran Lak exclaimed, how many half-saints are there in the world? Dai Fook immediately replied, probably about 80 people, not counting the old men hiding, as soon as he finished listening, the cup of tea in Tran Lak's mouth was spit out by him. Dai Fook quickly asked, are you okay? Tran Lak coughed for a while then shook his head, he just choked. In his heart, he secretly decided that after returning, he must find his fourth senior brother to ask his master's preferences, he must hug this big thigh tightly. After thinking about it, he seemed to remember something and continued asking, yes, what mistake did the crown prince commit that his majesty caught in his hand? Dai Fu calmly replied, it was no big deal, it was just smuggling heavenly Dao star. Tran Lak was sweating profusely, isn't this a big deal, that amount of striker is equal to 1000 comma tails of white silver, where did he smuggle it from? Dai Fook replied that from the ice world. This name makes it difficult to understand where the ice realm is. Dai Fook slowly explained that when talking about this, we have to go back to the ancient period. Legend has it that in ancient times, Confucianism and Buddha had not yet been established, the entire world was divided into two sides, yin and yang, the yang side was this world, the yin side was the death spirit. Between the yang and yin sides there is also a gender, called gender rotation. The top is connected to the yang world, the bottom is the underworld, tending to invade, at this time the first living beings of heaven and earth intend to devour the immortal Tao, so they are brutally killed, their bodies turn into ancient clan, Tian Dao Qi Ling is divided into two parts, Tian Dao and Man Tian. 
the power of the heavenly path has decreased sharply, so it is forced to destroy the cycle of worlds, leaving a long river of living beings surrounding the two worlds to replace the wheel of life and death. Tranlak was surprised and asked, Barbarian, Barbarian of the Barbarian tribe. Daifuk nodded, Yes, our human race absorbed the power of heavenly Tao, while the Mong clan's beliefs were stronger, the two clans killed each other, essentially to devour each other and gather, Qi Ling's heavenly path is complete. Tranlak nodded, no wonder the hatred between the two sides could not be reconciled, so what happens after the wheel of reincarnation is broken? Dai Fu continued to answer, after the wheel of reincarnation is broken, a part of it blends into humanity, our world becomes a nice world. As long as you find the right entrance, you can get all kinds of treasures from there. Tranlak immediately applied his knowledge, no wonder it sounded familiar, this was not a copy, but Dai Fuk next to him was confused, what a copy was. Knowing that he had said something wrong, Tranlak waved his hand, don't pay attention to the dialect, it's not early, there are still a few foxes in the house that need to be taken care of, let's talk about it another day. Dai Fuk also warmly waved his hand, big brother, if you have free time in the future, please come visit often. Tranlak nodded, okay, next time for sure. Before he could finish his sentence, a group of people rushed in outside, Uncle Vannon, don't go, leave behind the manuscript that arrogantly laughed at Yang Ho. Tranlak's face became frightened, the new chap user had already begun to block the royal palace. I don't have time to be careful with the great fortune anymore so I hastily ran away, my brothers will go first. Tranlak himself feels extremely humiliated now. This situation of his also made Dafuk feel emotional, it seems that being famous is not a good thing, big brother went leisurely. At the same time, on Tram Huan's side, she slowly stepped off the boat with joy in her heart, she had arrived at the wharf and could meet Tu Lak tomorrow. The young master came forward and happily said, Miss, I just heard the merchant say, the young master is very powerful now. Tram Huan curiously asked if they said anything specific. Tu Hong whispered, they said that the young master is now one of the three most beautiful castles in the capital, so many girls are longing for him. Hearing this, Tran Huan's face became gray. She tried to force a smile and continued asking, is there anything else? The young master did not realize his young lady's anger but became even more enthusiastic, even telling the young master to perform with the young lady, then gave the song to her. Tran Wien still smiled and asked, what else did he do? Just as the little girl was about to add more oil, she promptly realized that the air had become cold, she turned around and asked, miss, why doesn't your face look good? Tran Huan shook his head, it's okay, Tu Hong, please pay attention to see if there are any rough sticks on the road. Recently, I often remember the past, so I want to do some things from the past. On Tran Lak's side, he did not know that he was about to fall into danger but still leisurely instructed the children to remember not to call him grandpa in the future. The kids innocently said, yes sir, I know sir. Hearing that, Tranlak even held his head helplessly, oh this girl, a moment later KY Trong came over and said, young master, the car team has arrived. Tranlak quickly nodded and went to pick up my sister. On Tran Huan's side, Tu Hong raised his hand and pointed, miss, the young master is here. The two sisters hugged each other happily, Tran Wien raised her hand to caress Tranlak's face and said sadly, Tu Lak, how have you been lately? Tran Lak smiled and nodded, very well, sister, I have found the barbaric bone pill, your eyes are saved. But his reply was her cold voice, let's not talk about this, I heard that you've been walking around the castle, and you've even gotten to the point of being famous. Tran Lak waved his hand in panic, don't listen to other people's nonsense, I'm here to pick you up and do something proper. I don't even advise turning to the kids for help, you guys should quickly whiten me. The children turned to each other, Grandpa is telling us to save lives, whether to save or not, we shouldn't go one by one, we have to go up at the same time, right, don't call Grandpa, then. The children seemed to understand each other's meaning and each answered in their own way, don't be angry, I just went there to drink all evening. Tran Lak's situation now seems to be beyond redemption. Tran Huan bluntly pinched his ear and scolded him, I haven't been in charge of him for a while, but I'm starting to know how to play more and more. Tran Lak struggled to beg for mercy, don't you sister, fourth senior brother, don't just stand there and watch. As soon as he finished speaking, Tong Tu Chi came out to relieve the siege, you are Tran Lak's older sister, it's been a difficult journey. Tran Huan quickly adjusted his state and then bowed, Tran Wien paid his respects to die Confucius. Tran Lak rubbed his painful ear and urged, fourth senior brother, don't talk about anything else, advise you to quickly look at my sister's eyes. 
Tang Tuichi shook his head, don't rush, let me see the specific situation first. As soon as he withdrew his words, he used the Tianai to examine. Tran Lak, who was next to him, asked worriedly, fourth senior brother, how are you? Tang Tuichi shook his head to reassure him, it's okay, it's true that the soul is injured, the barbaric pill is the medicine used to cure this disease. Tran Lak quickly rummaged around inside, so I will feed her right away. However, Tang Tuichi reached out to stop her, restoring her soul is not something that can be achieved immediately, after taking the barbaric pill, she will fall into a coma, I'll take her back to her room to make sure she's okay, then feed her, it's not too late. Seeing that, Tran Lak immediately helped Tran Huan back, he did not forget to thank you, thank you, brother, I will send you in first. Waiting for them to leave, Tang Tuichi stood there puzzled, strangely, that girl's soul revealed a fate that was incomprehensible and incomprehensible, as if she had died once. Time passed by two months later, Tran Lak sat dejectedly in the sun and mumbled, after eating two barbaric pills in a row, she fell into a coma for half a month, not knowing how much to eat, one more pill can be completely cured. My red earth energy has already filled 30 acupuncture points, just one step away from the 36 sub-citadel acupuncture points, and Gyang Ho's arrogant smile is almost at an end, I have to prepare for a new work to accumulate more red earth energy. Now that I have free time, let's go to Hoa Hai, after resting, I will immediately move my consciousness into the consciousness sea. As soon as he arrived, he looked at the novel and thought, there were too many, unfortunately he couldn't take them all. After a while of looking around, he caught a phalaenopsis. The content of this novel is that Fong Tian was elected, and its content made Tran Lak unhappy, he was extremely worried, if he really wrote this thing, he would be criticized by Van Tuong and the government, generals alternately torment. Because in order to avoid tragedy, he called the police officer Chi Ling. Immediately there was a response, the owner had something to say. Tran Lak asked in confusion, why did I summon only short stories, not long stories? Chi Ling explained that long stories on the red earth can produce red earth energy, which requires more luck to maintain, the owner chooses how much luck to consume and will have a corresponding book. Tran Lak asked again, so how much luck does it take to smile arrogantly at Yang Ho? Chi Ling replied, at least half of it, as soon as he heard it, Tran Lak gasped, is there so much, capital or something? Okay, go away and I'll see for myself. After saying that, he pointed his hand towards Tian Dao and sighed, that's it, consider it an investment to improve your strength. Come here for me. After paying the price of fortune, Tran Lak now falls into even more difficulties when faced with too many choices, too confusing, even more difficult to choose than before. Kid, are you willing to go out with me, let me see what you are. Immediately the content of the novel appeared, Tran Lak smiled with joy, little Li threw a knife, enjoyed sword A Fi, isn't this an affectionate and heartless swordsman, he picked up a treasure. At the same time, outside, the eunuch stood next to Tran Lak and urgently called out to the uncle to wake up quickly. Tran Lak rubbed his eyes sleepily, Duke Wang, why did you come here? The opponent raised the holy scroll and said, Boss, I have come to pass on the decree. Tran Lak immediately adjusted his posture and replied, I'm so embarrassed, I fell asleep just now, please let me begin. The other party quickly spoke, Emperor Dai Wien said so, gather Van and Ba Tran Lak, now an envoy from Nam Fuang Van Demon has arrived, intending to ask for a position in the Star Demon world, the court debated whether or not as a result, the royal thunder has been opened, the dispute is clear, you are an earl, the country respects it, use it as evidence, test it. Tran Lak asked in confusion, why did he suddenly start opening the arena, is this a traditional art performance? Duke Wang smiled and replied, I can't explain the specifics, you only need to know to deal with the demon race. Hearing that, Tran Lak stopped arguing and nodded, it seemed like it was a political matter, bothering the public to go on a trip. The opponent did not forget to remind, tomorrow the Huang stage will be set up in the Eastern Palace, sir, don't go wrong. Tran Lak, who had just left, fell into deep contemplation, even if he was competing for one slot, he had to bet so much, what exactly is this demon world? While still wondering, his savior has arrived, Dai Fuk happily said, Big brother, I'm coming to play. Tran Lak quickly ran to his side and urged him, it was just in time, Mao translated for me what the love world meant. Dai Fuk smiled, don't rush, I'll show Vin something related to it first. After digging the jar inside for a while, he took out a crystal and said, This is the star of heaven. As soon as he saw it, Tran Lak's whole body shook, he panicked, we could feel the energy in it, it was taken from the star demon world. 
Dai Fuk nodded, that's right, love lies is a nice world. The star demon world produces a lot of star demons, killing them is to get the heavenly star crystal, which I have been craving for a long time. Tran Lak continued to wonder, so it's been so long, the love in there has been completely killed, right? Dai Fuk immediately waved his hand and shook his head, no, the ice realm is very unstable, each time it opens, only a few people can enter, and the strength of the selected people can't even exceed the level of poetry, so they can't kill them all. If there are still empty seats on the list in Big Brother's hand, please sell me some seats. Tran Lak pointed to the book and said, I don't have any place, you can see for yourself. As soon as he finished reading, Dai Fuk's face turned into a frown. What? The demon race has reached the level of the demon world, and still wants to compete with us. Your attitude makes Tran Lak confused. Great luck, is there something wrong here? He placed the letter on the table and sighed and said, Big brother, there's something you don't know. Besides the heavenly star, this place also gives birth to a lot of luck. As soon as he heard that atmosphere, a feeling of joy bloomed in his heart. He urgently asked, Please explain carefully. Dai Fuk immediately explained, in the star demon there is a strange tree, the tree of luck, can absorb the impurity of heaven and earth and convert it into luck, no matter who brings it out, it can be divided into three parts, the air flows from within it. This time we give up the position to the demon race, I'm afraid we will suffer a big loss. Contrary to his disappointment, Tran Lak confidently smiled, isn't there still a ring, can we go up there and compete a few times? However, the great minister seemed hesitant, at first glance, I knew that this matter was for Van Suing CAC, you are the new Earl Fawn, I'm afraid. Tran Lak Kong Hang gave up hope and stomped his feet aggressively, there's no sense in that, we can give the things of our human race to other people later, in my heart, I firmly decided that my luck is very good, I can't give it up, for others. Thinking of this, you suddenly ran out, I will go find the fourth senior brother to discuss this matter, I don't believe I can't get a position, after leaving, Dai Fuk bewilderedly looked at the den in the ground, left behind by Tran Lak, I was surprised to see if Big Brother's cultivation base had improved again. At the same time, tens of thousands of miles away in Lan Lang Tan, Nye Kat was trying to cultivate. Not long after, he failed, he felt frustrated and blamed himself, that's not right, it can't be like that, the exercises appeared in my brain, why couldn't I perform them? It's clear that seeing Jang whose arrogant smile has earned him energy, but how can he use it? That's right, I have to go find Uncle Vannon, I'm sure he knows what to do. What I have understood is the essence of Defa, how can I be afraid of the East or the West, I, accepting the sand, must live as if I accept the actions of self. While Tran Lak wanted to leave, K.Y. Trong stood nearby and asked, Young master, have you come to find Song Dai Confucius? Tran Lak nodded, yes, I'm looking for the fourth senior brother. Before he could finish his sentence, his Dantian suddenly emitted light, Tran Lak panicked, this was someone who had comprehended the great dharma of absorption in the book. Great, as long as someone understands the exercises in the book, I can learn them, and the level of proficiency is still at a high level, this is truly hacking. Seeing that Tran Lak suddenly raised his face to the sky and burst out laughing, K.Y. Trong threw him a disdainful look and asked, Are you okay, young master? Tran Lak didn't take it as a shame, but cheerfully said, I just thought of something fun, to you K.Y., maybe you should try a new trick with me. K.Y. Trong leisurely nodded, Okay, young master, how do you want to fight? Tran Lak shook his head, It's not a trial, just stand there obediently and don't move. Tran Lak's perverted face made the boy panic, Sir, I don't have that special hobby. Tran Lak still did not stop his actions and reminded him, It feels like it might be a bit strange later, please bear with it, the important thing is that you can only listen to the instructions, it's easy. Tran Lak rubbed his hands to absorb the fa essence. Immediately K.Y. Trong's body trembled, he whined, Sir, I can't breathe. But Tran Lak himself wasn't much better, the veins on his face were showing up and he couldn't suck anymore. Right after that, both of them seemed to be thrown back by jets. K.Y. Trong said with difficulty, It hurts, how are you? Tran Lak struggled constantly, the energy he absorbed did not enter his acupuncture points at all, if he did not release it, his body would explode. Right in the midst of the boiling fire, Tran Lak suddenly remembered that he could simulate lightning that K.Y. Trong had used. Thinking about doing it, in the blink of an eye, his body fell backwards, he used a single point of energy to move thousands of miles. At the same time, in Tong Tuichi's study, the noise that Tran Lak made startled him, how could that be possible? After a while of flying and jumping, Tran Lak also landed safely, and finally his body was no longer erect. 
When he raised his face, Tang Tuichi was standing there. He smiled and said, Fourth senior brother, I'm still going to find you. Tang Tuichi quickly asked, Why did he have such a righteous spirit in his body? Tran Lak pointed at K.Y. Trong lazily lying on the side of the road and said, Sucking from its body. Immediately, big question marks appeared in Tang Tuichi's mind as to what exactly this was all about. Tran Lak slowly explained, This move is called absorbing Defa's essence, it can absorb other people's energy, but it cannot be preserved, it must be consumed, so I urge you to withdraw it, try absorbing mine. After struggling for a while, Tran Lak shook his head, no, it felt like he couldn't absorb anything. At this time, Tang Tuichi said that this martial art of mine can only be used in the Tan Tit realm, higher realms only need to preserve the vital energy to be able to stop it. Tranla thinks about countermeasures, after all, this is a weak one, if he learns the Bach Min Divine Art, maybe he can absorb it and advance to the next level. While I was still thinking, Tang Tuichi asked again, besides Ba Tian's Tian Li Fan, can you recite any other poetic words? Tran Lak replied, only you can truly understand the meaning, let me try. Having finished speaking, he immediately sat down on the ground cross-legged to practice, using the assumption that Tan Sun was not unruly, establishing his roots in the Chung Lava. Immediately around him, rows of bamboo sprouted up, he was extremely surprised and surprised, creating a strange phenomenon, a tea boat. The falling of the earth still continues, the thousands of devils attack home patiently, the ears of the east, west, south, and north wind. Carefully rubbing his chin in contemplation, it turned out to be a two-layer defensive battle with internal and external defense attributes. Hearing that, Tranlak said proudly, that is a double physical and mental defense, very good. Tang Tuichi waved his hand and nodded, okay, I will talk about this with the master, you should rest, Tranlak quickly called after him, fourth senior brother, my story hasn't been said yet. This time, isn't it true that the demon world has to get a ticket, do you have any way to get me a ticket? Song Tu Chi replied awkwardly, wanting to share a bowl of soup with some old-fashioned old men at Van Suing Pavilion was not easy. Before he could finish speaking, there was suddenly a voice interrupting, not sure, if Uncle Van and if you're willing to cooperate with me, it's not necessarily impossible. Tang Tui Chi turned to look at the other person and asked, why are you here, not in Van Suing CAC? Tuong Van smiled and replied, I passed by here and coincidentally saw Van and Ba performing mysterious exercises, so I went in to take a look. Tran Lak didn't pay much attention and asked, Prime Minister Van, what do you mean by cooperation? Yan Bak Chuyen explained, tomorrow at the Lan Huang stage, I would like to invite you to fight on behalf of Van Suing Pavilion, after winning, Van Suing Pavilion can give you a position. Immediately Tang Tuichi coldly snorted, my little junior brother's cultivation level is not high, you want him to take the beating, Yan Bak Duan burst out laughing when he heard that, Tang Dai Confucius misunderstood, Van and Ba is a disgrace, oh no, great writers, of course they go to the literature platform. Tran Lak secretly rejoiced in his heart, go to Van Dai, this is really sleepy but there is a pillow to lean on, see if I will pluck your sheep's wool. Thinking about it, Mr. Tuan the asked Tong Tu Chi, what did the fourth senior brother think about this matter? Song Tu Chi immediately shook his head in response, unfortunately, my little junior brother happened to have to go back to Ling Chao with me tomorrow. Yan Bak Shuyin immediately made a bet, as long as Uncle Van is willing to participate, I will give you two three positions to enter the star demon world. Tang Tu Chi didn't pay any attention to that temptation but turned to tell Tran Lak, that's right, the Tian Tam silk that she sent to that second sister has already received it, and also said that she will come to visit you soon, Tran Lak shouted in response, then we have to stay home and prepare well. Yan Bak Shu Yan could only hastily continue, five places, there could be no more, only at this time did Tang Tui feel satisfied, Tuong Van is really generous, I agree on behalf of my junior brother. Yan Bak Shuyan obviously knew that he was being plotted, he sighed, you two brothers are truly a horse and a horse, if you have agreed, you must not be late coming to Dong Kuk tomorrow. While waiting for the other party to leave, Tran Lak happily said, fourth senior brother, you still understand me. Tang Tuichi smiled and reminded, don't be too proud, do you know the rules of tomorrow's competition? Tran Lak Tuk replied, asking the fourth senior brother to explain. Tang Tuichi slowly said, This arena is divided into two parts, Van Vo and Van Loy, in which you are about to participate, you will have to compete in eloquence of sutras and operas, exam and drawing, and poetry in C.A. Fu. Tran Lak still replied loudly, That's it, then I'm sure to win, so Tang Tui ignored his complacency and raised his hand to flick it. 
while Tran Lak held his forehead in pain. Tang Tuichi continued, Calm down, don't embarrass my troop land family. Tran Lak firmly said, Fourth senior brother, you can rest assured, I will definitely will win those five positions. At the same time, at the Ministry of Ten Thousand Soldiers ceremony, the servant brought up a box and said, Young master, I have brought four scrolls of spring and autumn saint deep. The white princess leisurely sat on the chair and opened it. The maid proudly said, According to the rules, if they have proposed to build a ring, then we have the right to propose, young master, based on these things, we will definitely win. Bok Tan Tan waved his hand, it was impossible to predict, while Dai Wien's child still had ten thousand and ba. The maid next to him continued, according to the information he had, the slave determined that he did not have tan food to read and understand, there was no need to be afraid. After listening to Bok Tan Tan, he immediately exclaimed, even though he can't read and understand, he can still create elegant literature, it's interesting. If that's the case, then we have to prepare a good gift. The next day at the Ingnan Huang stage, the emperor sat on high, observing the enemy and thinking, next year's aura of 10,000 demons will be stronger than last year's, those who know will come to court, those who don't know will still think of fighting. The crowd of demon clans has arrived in full force. A moment later the duke came and whispered in the emperor's ear, Your majesty, the time has come. The emperor nodded, then let's go. As soon as he heard the order, Kong Kong immediately shouted, The auspicious hour has come, right at the start of the Kuang Min formation, Van Du Confucianism was born. Under the stands, two streams of impure air suddenly appeared. The contestants who went to battle then entered the field. Our team's lineup includes Vuong Jia Man Chao Bak Viet, descendants of the 12th generation Vuong Tiobo, Vuong Bak Kui, Mok Chao Fuang Ti, Fuang Tu Kiet, Trit Lu Din Hung Van. As soon as they appeared, the stage had already calmed down, sister was so cool, young master Vuong was so handsome, I liked Tiu Fuang's sleeping appearance the most. The officials above were talking to each other, who was the fourth person, where he was, they didn't know, the Van Suing CAC refused to say anything. At this moment, someone spoke loudly, sorry to keep everyone waiting for so long. Dai Wei and Van and Ba, Tran Lak paid his respects to you, as soon as his voice fell, Tran Lak's figure appeared on the stage. The crowd of people watching the performance immediately came over and cursed, why is this a disgrace to this writer, if someone like him without Tian Fu could read and understand, wouldn't it be chaos? The emperor also hesitantly asked Yan Bok Xu Yen, Prime Minister Van, Uncle Van and was not a scholar, why did he arrange for him to come up? Yan Bok Xu Yen smiled and said, Your Majesty, don't worry, please forgive me for hiding, I will understand soon. The emperor didn't ask any more questions but nodded, okay, anyway, he wrote the arrogant joke about Yang Ho, so I'll wait and see. The duke continued speaking, asking the demon messenger to make a proposition. As soon as the voice ended, Bok Tan Tan slowly walked forward. The sound of heartbeats and compliments echoed around, so beautiful, is this the demon fox, so hot, to put it mildly, are you tired of living? At this time, the other party also spoke up, a member of the Tan Kyu Ho clan, Bok Tan Tan, was ordered by the 10,000 Monsters National Saint Military Palace, to go as an envoy to Dai Wien, to pay his respects to His Majesty the Great Wien Emperor. As she spoke, she glanced at Tran Lak and assessed, this is Van and Ba Sao, other than being handsome, there are no other characteristics. Tran Lak also silently observed the other person, in his heart he was sad, holy Tan Sod, he was still waiting for a husky to become a star. The emperor spoke at this time, please excuse me, in the past, when I was young, my sister Dan La helped me a lot, after the emperor's stage ended, I stayed a few more days to see the great Wien capital, replace your mother. Bok Tan Tan bowed and replied, thanking your majesty, Tan Tan will start giving questions. As soon as she threw her hand away, four beams of light flew up. They turned into four volumes of literature. Yan Bok Xu Yan was scared and frightened, could this be the spring and autumn Saint Deep? Bok Tan Tan nodded proudly, yes, this is the spring and autumn Saint Deep. The person next to Nyan Bok Xu Yan then whispered and asked, General Van, what is this thing that makes you feel like you have met a great enemy? Yan Bok Xu Yan explains, according to legend, there is an ancient tree that has turned into a demon for 3,000 years, called the Spring and Autumn Ancient Tree, whose bark is used to make paper, which is the Spring and Autumn Saint Deep. This Saint Deep is contaminated with the years of Strawberry Pool, it is not a traditional poem, then you can't leave any marks on it. Hearing that, the other person was startled, if so, wouldn't it mean that in addition to the two restrictions on the stage, there was clearly an additional one now. 
Nian Bak Shu Yen Tin said, No need to panic, with Van and Ba here, we don't have a chance. At this time, Tran Lek just calmly stretched his arms and urged the young master to quickly go to work, I still have to go back and water the gourds. Bak Tan Tan quietly observed on, seeing the spring and autumn sacred message without panicking, either stupid, or really talented and interesting, let me see which type you are. After thinking about it, she spoke up, this time we have two conditions for Van Loy Dai, one is that we need to write four poems right at the scene, they need to be related to each other, and they all need to be related to time. Fooling Tu Kiet glanced at the pile of dozens of books and spoke, This spring and autumn St. Deep is extremely sensitive to the context of time, has extremely strict requirements for poetry, the young master is really using a hard-hearted conscience, that's right, what is the second event? Bak Tan Tan smiled and said, The second condition is that these four poems must have the same rules. Immediately the faces of the mandarins became angry, this demon race came here to make fun of us, the young people on the stage are all great scholars, how can we do this, bullying people is too much. Bok Tan Tan obviously did not care but urged, the four of you, to give, the magnets have an hour to answer, please. Tran Lak is disdainful, is that all, look how gentle I am. But immediately he was robbed by the irrepressible king, he took out a book and said loudly, Miss White, you've wasted your time, I'm anxious, let's read the first one. Not long after, a poem was published. Tran Lak just read the words above and commented, the sick old woman in a foreign land misses her homeland, the outline is not bad, unfortunately the literature is not enough. Obviously, the opponent's poem was criticized by dozens of people. The paper returned to its pure white state, Guang Bu Kui side, because Ti Tai was not enough and was not recognized by Saint Deep, making everyone disappointed. The emperor reached out to reassure him, who was still young, as long as he worked hard and practiced, he would definitely become great in the future. Fooling Tu Kiet also followed in his footsteps, he muttered, Saint Deep is not something dogs and cats can touch, leave it to me. Just like that, a poem appeared. Fooling Tu Kiet proudly teased my Nyan, anyway, my poem is fine. Tran Lak was next to him and silently scolded him, stupid, whether he could get through it or not had to wait for Saint Deep to say it, not to mention this was just a descendant speaking out his feelings for the sake of writing a new poem. As expected, Fooling Tu Tiet's poem was blown away just like that, he was shocked in his heart and refused to recognize my poem. Tran Lak saw this and immediately decided to go to battle. But before he can show it off, someone has already snatched his leg, he can only wait in boredom, let's see what kind of bravery this famous student of the library has. Before writing a poem, Dean Hung Van did not forget to bow, His Majesty, Minister Van, and students could only write one poem, please excuse me in advance. As soon as she finished speaking, she slowly put down her pen. Wherever the pen goes, the sea waves rise, on that fierce wave there is a fragile boat overcoming the storm, the world cannot suppress its surprise, poetry becomes a strange phenomenon, this is the tradition of poetry. After completing the exam, Dean Hung Vani leisurely walked down and said his goodbyes. Her style makes fans chant, Dean Hock sister, I like you so much, I want to give birth to a baby monkey for Dean Hock sister. Bok Tan Tan nodded and spoke, congratulating the writer, the human race has a poem passed down to generations, what a talented person. This article does not dare to be occupied by the demon race, so it is returned to Dai Wien. Nyan Bok Shu Yen received the poem and nodded, then thank you, Miss Bok. Bok Tan Tan turned around to look at Tran Lak, Van and Bo, I see that you don't have any righteous spirit in your body, so it's better to give up now. Tran Lak of course did not let her insult her and return, I have waited so long and cannot return quietly, besides, I am not a Confucian student now, but it is about to happen. As soon as he finished his sentence, he turned around and called loudly, little boy. The important boy quickly appeared, my lord is here. Bok Tan Tan looked at the two people's actions and had difficulty understanding what this van and uncle was trying to do. Tran Lak approached K.Y. Trong, he whispered and asked, Are you ready? The boy nodded, ready, can start. Hearing that, he immediately performed a fa essence absorption. How Hao's vital energy flowed out from his body and entered his body. The emperor on the stage curiously asked, General Van, what are Tran Lak doing? Yan Bak Chuan explained, Your Majesty, it's almost done, this is Van and Ba's killer move. Not long after, K.Y. Trong's body was about to be sucked dry, he whispered, my young master is about to die. Tran Lak stood to the side and mocked, after a while, he couldn't hold on, his body was too weak. But his actions made Bok Tan Tan confused, uncle, what are you doing? 
Tran Lak just bathed in righteous energy and replied, Don't be in a hurry, it's just a little bit of righteous energy. His words made the audience gasp. The demon soldiers turned to each other and asked each other, Does the human race already possess magical powers like this? If all of them were like that, the situation would not be good. The officials in the court also had difficulty understanding, How could this happen? I have never seen it before. Below the stage, Tran Lak picked up the brush and said, Young Master Tan Tan, may I begin? Bok Tan Tan nodded, inviting, her heart was filled with worry, she was clearly just a Confucian student, why was my heart so uneasy? As soon as Tran Lak heard the order to begin, he immediately became excited, he secretly felt complacent, it was just four poems passed down from generation to generation, the problem was not big. Just as soon as I put my pen down, the scenery behind me changed, it was a sunny and windy spring day, the mountains and terraces gently surrounded me, the green willows in the yard were gentle, calling, Yen wanted water around the bridge. Everyone gasped in surprise, it was a spring scene, a true elegant song, Saint Deep had reacted. Tran Lak is still concentrating on writing the entire poem in one breath. The autumn clouds and rain pass through the waves, the tall tea room is cold and sweet, under the porch green trees cast shadows, bamboo mats cover jade leaves, small fans are as light as silk. Dry trees, branches, trees, crows in the afternoon, a small bridge with water ringing next to the house, the west wind on the old road, the old horse, in the afternoon drifts away in a far corner of the sky. When the door jammed, the sunset and new moon appeared on the semi-pavilion, the river bank in front of the pure white mountain, the thatched bamboo walled house with smoke in the lonely village. After the four holy diaps had all lit up, Tran Lak leisurely said, the strange vision of the four poems passed down through generations, Princess Tan Tan, with this, my great Wien will consider him a winner. At that moment, Bok Tan Tan was already bewildered, she couldn't help but exclaim, she didn't expect that she could actually do it in such harsh conditions, Van and Ba is truly a god. At this time, someone was shouting, look, Saint Deep has changed again, under everyone's attentive gaze, a piece of Saint Deep's paper appeared, letter Lang, then an old voice rang out, very beautiful, I don't know which kid wrote that. Everyone was bewildered, Tan Deep's pressure was extremely terrifying. Yan Bak Shuyan quickly reminded, Your Majesty, please be careful, the Emperor asked endlessly, What exactly is this willow tree? Bak Tan Tan knelt down and bowed, Little Fox Bak Tan Tan paid his respects to the willow ancestor. The willow ancestor looked at her and asked, You are the little half-demon tiger who asked the saint to remove the old tree branch, do you know who wrote this long piece? Bak Tan Tan immediately replied, Willow Patriarch, it was written by this Van and Ba. Willowda followed her hand and looked towards Tran Lak, he burst out laughing, it turned out to be this kid, he had an aura about him that I was very familiar with. However, Tran Lak was now extremely writhing, he felt so uncomfortable that he couldn't breathe. Right at the moment of danger, Tang Tuichi appeared promptly, he spoke up, Tu Chi paid homage to Willow Ancestor, the tutor wished the saint to be free, this is my little junior brother Tran Lak. Willow to exclaimed, he is the little boy's friend, we met that year too, has he also become a saint? That child already has a future, right? Tong Tuichi replied, telling the ancestors, the tutor had attained the great Tao, and had indeed become a saint. If the group continues, don't worry, collecting the four branches is beneficial to me, so I especially came here to thank you. Your master also had this, you are better than him, take it. After saying that, he threw out a leaf and flew towards Tran Lak. He looked at the symbol on his hand and spoke up, thanking the willow ancestor for the reward. The ancestors advised that after you return, you must study it carefully, it is extremely beneficial for your practice. The human race is also very good these days, as soon as he finished speaking, he turned into a puff of smoke and disappeared. The emperor was still surprised, General Van, who was that old man? Yan Bak Chuan slowly explained, to his majesty, that was Patriarch Willow, the head of the heavenly Tao Holy Tree, the emperor nodded, but he did not expect that Brat could call the ancestor of the Holy Tree, and would be so formidable after birth. Having said that, Van and Ba has received the gift from the Holy Tree, which is my Dai Wien's blessing. Chao Ta Fan spoke up at this time, everyone, don't you realize that Van and Ba hasn't named these four poems yet? As soon as he heard that, Nyan Bak Shuyan was startled. Before he left, the old seven-man soldier also received two poems, If Only I. Thinking of this, he loudly warned, You all stay where you are, don't move, I'll go for a while and then come back. Chao Ta Fan of course knew his intention and scolded him, This bastard has lost his integrity. 
Below the stage, Tang Tuichi carefully reminded Tran Lak, Now that you have received a gift from Patriarch Willow, you must absolutely be careful with the demon clan. Tran Lak nodded, Fourth senior brother, I will remember. As soon as he finished speaking, Nyan Bak Shuyan appeared next to him. He eagerly asked, Van and Bo, have you thought of names for these four poems? Tran Lak asked confusedly, Prime Minister Van, what you mean is? Nyan Bak Shuyan smiled and said, Can you choose a song for me? How could Tong Tuichi easily let the other person's intention be fulfilled? He immediately put the four poems in his hand and said, The original work of this poem is extremely valuable, I'm afraid someone is looking at it, senior brother accepts it, help you again. As soon as he heard that, Nyan Bak Chuan painfully stopped him, forced him to quit, the song was created on Van Loy Dai, the original should have been kept at Van Suing Pavilion. Tang Tuichi coldly snorted a warning, if he dared to cause trouble, his second senior sister's 18 moves were waiting, having said that, he launched an attack to block Nyan Bak Shuyan, the opponent could only hold grudges and curses. Honestly, I was robbed by a soldier before, but now I'm being robbed by that Truk Lam scoundrel, where is Tian Li? Tran Lak went to comfort the other person, General Van, if there is a chance in the future, I will give you a personal song. As soon as he heard that, Nyan Bak Shuyan's face bloomed, he smiled happily, that's good, still Van and Ba understood Dat Li's feelings. After saying that, he continued to ask, White Demon Country, can this stage announce the results yet? Bak Tan Tan nodded and spoke, Van and Ba is talented and talented, the little fox worships, the human race is truly a thing Hoa Tian Bao, Yang Kiet is a spirit, Van Loy died this time our demon clan admitted defeat. Suddenly, a scream rang out, wait, where did Van and Ba's righteous aura come from? It couldn't have been a fraud. Why did Van and Ba suddenly become a Confucian scholar? Please explain everyone's doubts. After seeing the person who had just spoken, Nyan Bak Shuyan angrily scolded, Lu Dai Tri, do you know what you are saying? This old man still shouted loudly, General Van, I just want to be good for Dai Wian. Van and Ba uses magic of unknown origin and is causing harm to the human race. Chao Ta Fan gritted his teeth in anger, stupid, that thing that doesn't know how to distinguish the situation, the demon clan messenger is still there, how dare he blatantly question like that? Another Mandarin interjected and said, the emperor's stage demands a clear and righteous request, and now we have to ask Van and Ba to handle it himself. Song Tuichi, who had left just now, immediately appeared, he angrily said, beast, I have to kill you today. While Lu Dai Tri held his head in fear, Tran Lak stood up to stop him, it can't be done, fourth senior brother, if I kill him, I will be truly wronged. Song Tu Chi worriedly asked, little junior brother, what do you want to do, senior brother absolutely supports you. Tran Lak confidently said, I feel it's time to publicize the martial path. Song Shuichi nodded, Master once said a sentence to each disciple, now I tell you again, my disciples of Ngu Vo Khoi must not taboo anything, go. With the help of Tong Tuichi, Tran Lak walked towards Lu Dai Tri and said, If you do this, don't you want to know why I have such a righteous spirit? Lu Dai Tri smiled complacently, Van and Bo, don't blame me, I only think for the people of the world. Tran Lak spoke loudly without being weak, if you want to know then listen clearly, this is the martial art of Jang whose arrogant smile. Absorbing the essence of Defa, as soon as he finished speaking, the lost human immediately emitted the light of Hao Na. Everyone immediately opened their mouths in surprise. Chen Lak continued to say, Yes, the ability in my story does exist, the ability in the story can be understood. My story will also make everyone energized, and it can also let everyone cultivate. That we write more stories, so that more people can read them. This is the fourth path of cultivation of the human race after Confucianism and Buddhism. This is what I created, martial arts. His enlightening words opened everyone's eyes. The emperor couldn't help but ask, Tran I Khan, do you say you can let ordinary people step on the path of cultivation? Tran Lak continued to explain, humans lost love is a terrifying joy, anger, sadness, sadness, this seven-colored energy is my Hong Chen energy, enlighten the seven love in the book, enter the world of Hong Tran, the world can enter, this religion. From today, there is one more person on the path of practice, that is martial artist. Everyone started talking, martial arts is a new form of cultivation, people who have not awakened Tianfu can also practice, look quickly, in our bodies there is also red earth energy, it also cooperates with how always righteous. Look closely at that lovely tribe, don't let them harm Van and Ba, if they take action, we will risk our lives to fight back. 
everyone's threats made the demon soldiers scared and told each other to gather their aura, don't let them misunderstand, why does the human race have such a genius, it's so admirable. Tranlak then continued speaking, Dain Yan, so you are satisfied. Lu De Tri was still not afraid of death but argued loudly, No, this is all magic, you all have been deceived, I have to kill you, he said as he stretched out his hand to attack. However, before he could do anything, someone severely injured him. The person who took action was none other than the historian, this official loudly scolded the crazy talker who dared to cause trouble here. Today the old man had to do some writing, leaving him with a bad reputation for thousands of years, as he spoke, this person wrote on the scroll. Tranlak curiously asked, Fourth senior brother, what is that bamboo symbol? Tang Tuichi explained that he was a historian named Than Thong, whose bad reputation would last for thousands of years, this would be more unpleasant than killing him, very well. Just like that, everything that Lu Dai Tri did today was recorded. To increase the majesty, this judge also took his own blood to make notes, which cannot be changed for all generations. Immediately, the strength of Lu Dai Tri's body was drained, he painfully begged, don't drain my cultivation, I was wrong. Only then did Bak Tan Tan admire and acknowledge Tran Lak. Not only was he generous, but he also invited her to watch the ring. This made Bak Tan Tan's heart even more excited. At this moment, Dai Fu came running from somewhere and happily boasted, Everyone see, that is my big brother, does anyone want to become friends with our royal palace? Tran Lak quickly ran to cover his mouth, silently cursing the other person in his heart, he knew that although Dai Fu had good intentions to protect him, this was really too embarrassing. A moment later, Tranlak and Tong Tuichi went to the stands to prepare to watch the next battle. At this time, Tong Tuichi turned and asked, Little junior brother, have you thought carefully about what you want to do next? Tranlak nodded firmly. When he said the words martial arts on the stage, he immediately made a decision. The next article he would publish would be about meridians. With 720 major acupuncture points in the body, casually opening a hole to hide acupuncture points will certainly be dangerous. What we need to do is for all martial arts practitioners to have the foundation to operate internal energy. Song Tu Chi just calmly nodded, feel free to do it, my master and my brothers and sisters all support me. Feeling touched in his heart, he smiled and said, then thank you, fourth senior brother. Song Tu Chi nodded, okay, next look at the fighting arena, you have to look closely at the demon race's fighting tactics. Below the battlefield, the battle was in full swing, a general jumped up to attack the demon clan. However, the opponent was caught, he hit the attacker's weak point, causing them to fly away. This guy has such a contemptuous voice that no one can beat him. White Ching Ching said seductively, the demon race arena won. Tranlak couldn't help but sigh, all three battles were lost, the human race really couldn't fight the demon race. Song Tu Chi slowly spoke up, no, even though the demon race is strong, our people are not without genius, it is because we intentionally pretend to be weak that we do not send them out. Tranlak heard that and was curious, did he intentionally pretend to be in love, fourth senior brother, please explain clearly to me. Song Tu Chi explained that pretending to love can reduce their psychological resistance and will not stimulate more conflicts. Hearing that, Tran Lak gritted his teeth in anger, then wouldn't the martial arts that I had just opened become a nail in their eyes? Song Tu Chi nodded and reminded, so even if we protect you, you yourself must be more careful. Tran Lak firmly nodded, I remember. At the same time, in a small house in the city, a boy was practicing martial arts. After a while, he happily said, Mom, I have also trained the earthly energy. The mother was happy and touched, Tam Lang, have you seen that our son can also practice? Not only them but even the beggar on the street had gas. In the city, there were the joyful voices of the people, many thanks to everyone. I have it too, even manure carriers like me have it too. After the unicorn ring, the seeds of Hong Tran Vo Dao have completely sprouted in the human race. But the person who planted that seed is sitting in his study writing a story right now, there are many troubles in the world, isn't it because he smiles too little, smiling is like a flower blooming, not only can it make himself fragrant, fragrant, can also make others happy, if you can make others laugh, then it's okay to do stupid things casually. After knowing for a while, Tranlak stretched out dejectedly, smiling all the time, I was about to no longer recognize this word. The styles of Ko Long and Kim Dung are different, I don't know if everyone can accept them. Right at the moment the story was completed, suddenly all the pages flew into the air, Tran Lak eagerly waited, if he chose this, the book Ling would soon bloom. 
he was very much looking forward to the family spiritual book being a flying knife. Contrary to his expectations, Thu Ling appeared an old man still sleeping, screaming in despair, What is this? As soon as Tran Lak reached out to catch it, this thing flew away, he said in annoyance, The water is also fast. Suddenly, the old man stretched and woke up, muttering, wondering about the ups and downs of the world, the debts and resentments of Nyan Tam, whether the hero was anonymous or heroic at the very least. Tran Lak immediately held the other person tightly and scolded him, reading the poem in front of me, what do you mean, quickly showing his true form. This book Ling gently turned into a stream of smoke and flew out of Tran Lak's hand and then happily said, why is the Lord so rude, listen to me first, the old man's essence is the book he is sitting on, not the book he is sitting on, figure of the old man. Tran Lak immediately held the photo book and was annoyed, why didn't you say it earlier, let me see who you are. After a while of searching, I was surprised that you are a hundred literate student who wrote the weapon spectrum. The other party explained, to be precise, Thu Ling took it as original form. After observing for a while, Tran Lak asked again, so what can you do, also rank the rankings? Thu Ling nodded, that's right, learning Qi Dao martial arts is just about fighting for words, if you don't have the desire to win, then why practice martial arts? Just spread the rankings all over the world, so if you don't get on the rankings, you'll want to get on the rankings even more, at the bottom of the rankings you'll want to go up, and at the top of the rankings you'll naturally be eager and not want to fall down. Tran Lak continued what the other person said, meaning that this story can encourage everyone to practice martial arts, so martial arts will flourish and there will be great heroes forever. Thu Ling expressed her appreciation, as expected of my master, truly intelligent, Tran Lak waved his hand to interrupt the other person's words, okay, you tell me which chart you can rank now. Thu Ling continued, now the old man can sense the amount of red dust in the body of everyone in the world, and can create a ceiling chart based on the amount of red dust. Tran Lak continued asking, what is the standard unit of Hong Chen gas? Thu Ling took out a bar containing colors and said, take this as the standard unit, what do you think, master? Tran Lak nodded and continued, does this ranking of yours have any rewards or anything like that, it can't be just a vanity. Thu Ling pointed at his forehead and reminded him, of course there is, the Lord stands still, the old man will take it out. Not long after, Tran Lak's whole body received a strange source of energy, he curiously asked, what was this? Thu Ling explained that this is what martial arts values martial arts, under the influence of this, it can increase the speed of cultivating the earthly energy, depending on the master's current cultivation level, the limit that can be given is usually 100, people. The top of the list increases by 3 points, the second increases by 2 points, the third increases by 1.5 points, and the latter gradually decreases based on the actual situation, up to the 100th person. Tran Lak smiled with satisfaction, that's good, you show me the current rankings for me to see. Immediately the list appears. Tran Lak conducted the observation, the first was Nye Kat, 228 Tran, the second was Chuang Tian Tian, 227 Tran, the important kid was ranked third, he lost face, we have to increase his intensity. The 99th is Nyan Bak Shu Yen, the 100th is Tong Tui Chi, reading this, Tran Lak couldn't help but cough, why are they two? He thought of the way these two people hungrily read books and silently shook his head. No, he couldn't let them know that he knew the secret that they were his big fans. Then he turned around and advised, Old man, from now on, this board should not display great Confucianism, at most, just keep the Confucian habitat, and delete the specific amount of red dust. The other person nodded, Yes, I don't know what name the leader wants to name this ranking. Tran Lak said thoughtfully, cultivating the Hong Chen Qi is considered entering martial arts, or should it be called the Hong Chen Martial Arts Table? The old man smiled, the old man remembered, with the Lord, the Hong Tran Martial Arts Board will definitely have boundless future. The next day, the street was crowded with people lining up, someone inside announced that Hong Tran Vo Bang had just been released, don't miss it. Reader after reader, after reading the story, they fell into deep contemplation, as long as they constantly increase Tian Hong Tran Chi, they will have a chance to get on the board, what do you mean by this? The person next to him spoke up, Van and Ba created this ranking to want martial artists to overcome Tian Ha to practice hard and compete for the same status as the other three. Hearing that, this person's eyes lit up, saying that, if his name was on the board, perhaps it could be remembered in history books. The other person nodded, this sentence is correct, after reaching the level, you can also speed up your practice, maybe the next semi-saintly religious character will be you. 
that encouragement made the young man become enthusiastic and speed up his practice. This martial art is the only path of practice for us ordinary people. This world is about to change. Just early in the morning, Tran Lak took the book of stories and ran to Chao Ta Fan, fourth senior brother. This is the original manuscript of the sentimental swordsman without mercy, waiting for the joke to end. I am preparing to publish this novel. Chao Ta Fan nodded, let me preserve it first, to prevent the old men from breaking your long-term dang rules. Tran Lak nodded in agreement, he seemed to remember something and continued, fourth senior brother, did you feel any abnormalities before? Chao Ta Fan replied confusedly, it seemed like there was something, but he couldn't feel it carefully, what's wrong? Tran Lak shook his head and waved his hand, it's nothing, I just asked casually, I still have something to do first, he breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, it seems that the private did not discover the old man's exploration of the earthly records, Bok, that's really lucky. But Chao Ta Fan looked worriedly at Tran Lak's leaving figure, didn't this kid already know that he was his book addict? When Tran Lak had just left the palace, there was a duke standing there waiting, the other person bowed and said, Uncle, you came out at the right time, the emperor invited him. Hearing that, Tran Lak nodded, Okay, please guide the way. In the afternoon, there was a fierce argument, Your Majesty, martial arts is a new thing after all, I think it is okay to let the people practice, there is no need to introduce it, another person said, Your Majesty, the old man believed that it was better to practice than not, so he allowed the court to expand. The emperor sitting on Long Wai was extremely melancholy, every time there was a discussion, these old men had to argue loudly, some said this would make the demons feel taboo, while others said it would make them feel uncomfortable, scared. In the end, the emperor had to push the responsibility to someone else and ask, Prime Minister Van, Prime Minister, what do you think? Nian Bak Shuyan spoke up, this debate ultimately depends on whether martial arts is strong or not, before understanding clearly, I cannot draw conclusions. Yan Bak Chuan continued, Your Majesty, perhaps in Ba's friend is also coming perhaps in Ba's friend is also coming perhaps in Ba's friend is also coming perhaps in Ba's friend is also coming, maybe wait a little later and ask directly him always. As soon as he finished speaking, Tran Lak's voice rang out and I paid my respects to the Emperor. The Emperor smiled, no need to be polite, I ask you whether the martial arts you created is powerful or not. Tran Lak hesitated, not knowing what to say. Nyan Bak Chuan is next to remind you, no need to worry, just say how martial arts compares to Confucianism. Tran Lak then replied that my situation is unique, roughly equivalent to the Confucianism pen scene, as well as in terms of combat power. Martial artists follow the same path, move forward vigorously, in the same realm, within ten steps we are invincible. His words surprised everyone, it's just that he dares to be so arrogant, he doesn't fear that others will laugh at him when he says it, although this Van and Ba has some talent, he's also too arrogant, go. Even Yan Bak Shuyan had to warn loudly, Tran Lak, do not joke around at court. He replied boldly, I'm not joking, if you don't believe me you can try. Everyone half-heartedly asked each other, is it really like that, I'm not sure, if it was someone else, then it would be fine, but that's Van and Ba. Chao Ta Fan and Yan Bak Chuan ran to ask, there is no need to be invincible, it is enough to be equal to the enemy, the old man asks you, is your statement true? Tran Lak nodded vigorously, of course. The emperor was deep in thought. A moment later he loudly said, where are you, go to the Ha War book with the demon tribe, we want to bet on the battle, one against one, ten rounds of the demon realm. Tran Lak was confused and asked Yan Bak Chuan, General Van, what is this about? The other party explained that the barbarians had strengthened their offensive in the winter, if they could not suppress the demon race, this year would not be easy. Hearing that, Tran Lak also understood, he nodded, I know, if there's any place I can use it, just tell me. Chao Ta Fan nodded, if martial arts is really that strong, tomorrow it will be able to kill the morale of the demon race. In the blink of an eye, it was early morning the next day, leading the demon clan's team was young master Tham Kuk. Besides, there was also Bak Tan Tan, she reminded and participated in the song, remember that this battle must definitely get first-hand information about martial arts. This guy said arrogantly, sad that the young master did not need to remind her of the half-demon. I really wanted to tear his throat. In the face of the other person's threatening eyes, Tran Lak was still leisurely and fearless. Before going down to the ring, Tong Tui Chi did not forget to advise, little junior brother, that wolf demon's characteristic is speed, don't compete with him in speed, the wolf tribe has many magical abilities, you must be careful with the special attacks, soul, there is also. 
Before he could finish his sentence, Tranlax signaled to stop. Fourth senior brother, you have told me several times, I already remember, this matter involves Dai Wien. I will definitely try my best. At this time, a person with a wounded body came and paid his respects to Van and Ba, in the lower six Neem Fawn, he had previously fought with a wolf demon. Tranlak nodded, hello, I don't know how Luke brother is injured. The other person replied, these few small injuries are nothing, I came here to beg Van and Ba to fight for the prestige of martial arts. The northern region has hundreds of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of ordinary soldiers, not afraid of death, but afraid of death but powerless. I had the good fortune to see the first battle of martial arts, I wish everyone peace and prosperity in Hung Team martial arts. Tranlak firmly told the other person, look, martial arts will definitely flourish. I'm leaving, as soon as he finished speaking, he flew down to the ring. The moment the light and righteous path opened, the war began at the same time. The greedy man smiled cruelly, boy, I will save my last breath for you. Tran Lak took out Lak Ku Tian, it is said that the poet Li Tan Youth recited his famous works, leading to Tian Kuang's star lobe, condensing abundant water and energy into a sword. He swung his sword and retaliated against the opponent, he hadn't even fought yet and was already thinking about something unrealistic. Than Kuk was obviously angered by that sentence, he boldly snorted coldly, the arrogant human race. See if I don't break your spine. As soon as they finished speaking, the two rushed towards each other. Than Kuk used Tian Fu then Thong Lak's invisible shadow, using it to make Tran Lak lose his direction. He was extremely worried, not thinking that this guy still knew how to hide. While the location had not yet been found, Than Kuk suddenly appeared, Tran Lak did not have time to react and was hit. Mr. Li's body was long on the ground, his body had difficulty regaining balance. But before I could breathe a sigh of relief, Than Kuk suddenly appeared behind me, he challenged me, what are you still wondering about? As soon as he finished speaking, this guy kicked Tran Lak's body into the air. His speed was so fast that after only a few seconds he appeared next to him again. Tran Lak's weak situation made everyone below worried, why did Van and Bo have no resistance at all, if he couldn't fight, he was reluctant, so what would he do to lose face? In the arena, Than Kuk's blow caused Tran Lak to fall hard to the ground, the ground also caved in because of this impact. Than Kuk boasts and mocks, nothing like Van and Ba, nothing like Vo Dao, in the end it's just a piece of meat on the cutting board. Why are people like dragons unable to withstand a single blow, human race, you all have seen it, this is your weak hope. Tang Tuichi was extremely angry when his junior brother was tortured like that, he immediately wanted to rush down and tear the demon's body to pieces, but Nian Bak Chuyen promptly stopped him. Calm down, Tran Lak hasn't lost yet. At this time, Than Kuk attacked again, he spoke loudly with the mentality of a victor, followed by the final attack, destroying the hope of your human race. However, the current situation suddenly changed, Tran Lak used his lightning fast speed to slash across his body. Than Kuk was surprised, it was impossible, no one in the same realm could withstand my attack and still fight back. Tran Lak gently brushed off the dust on his body and said, just because someone else can't do it doesn't mean my martial arts can't do it, besides, your scratching game just now is over. This glorious appearance of Tran Lak made everyone regain their confidence, cheers rang out everywhere, the martial arts were so powerful, even when he was beaten, he was not injured, I immediately knew that Van and Ba was teasing him, that way. The song became more and more crazy, he shouted, great, you are worth using all my strength. Tran Lak is quietly vigilant, moving the earthly world once it has adapted to most, must be serious. He raised his sword to cast the formation, and the Tai Chi sword appeared behind him. Than Kuk was extremely confused by his actions, he tried to act calm and asked, humans are weak, what is the use of drawing a circle? At this moment, Tran Lak waved his hand and released countless sword energy from the Dharma ray behind him, flying straight towards Than Kuk. This guy was extremely scared, there was too much sword energy, what exactly was this move? This time it was Tran Lak's turn to dominate the battle, he suddenly appeared behind him and smiled and said, hey, why are you so dumbfounded? As soon as he finished speaking, Tran Lak used the Hoa Sun Kiem Sek to slash the opponent's back. Than Kuk had lost the ability to fight, in his heart he was confused, his physical strength was strong, his attack force was not weak, what should he do, that's right, he still had speed that could be used. Just as he finished thinking, this guy regained his dignity and looked down on him, it doesn't matter if the attack and defense are strong, as long as they don't hit, it doesn't mean anything, after saying that, he jumped into the air. 
However, the response to this guy was a slap from Tranlax's heavenly sword. He said loudly, What are you talking about? I am a six-faced warrior. Thancuck fell to the ground in horror. No, I cannot lose. I am the young master of the wolf clan. I cannot be defeated by the human race. As soon as he finished speaking, he used his physical form. Everyone around immediately became worried. The original form of the blood tyrant wolf, this time it was over. The martial arts ability to force the demon race to this point was already not bad. Van and Ba quickly admit defeat. Don't die on the ground. Real life. Thancuck inside his body. The fierce wolf ran towards Tranlac. He spoke arrogantly. If you can force me to this point, you are very good. Tranlac couldn't help but curse. Do you know violence? As soon as he finished speaking, he immediately performed seven supernatural powers. At this time, the wolf Than Cuck came close and bit his hand. He was proud, I have to make you, but before he finished speaking, pain shot through his whole body. Tranlac continuously used his small body to hit the opponent. Every punch made this guy so painful that he burst into tears, beating him while scolding him, letting you talk nonsense, letting you insult the human race. This moment of drunkenness caused Tong Tuichi and Nyan Bak Chuan to be stunned. At this time, Nyan Bak Chuan urged Tuichi, or told Tranlac to stop. But Tuong Tuichi happily said, Why stop? This happy thing is very rare. We have to fight it. Under the ring, Tan Than Kuk had already returned to his human form. He was now just like a puppet being tortured by Tranlac. He scolded loudly, Didn't you beat me so well just now? Why aren't you arrogant anymore? Than Kuk whispered and begged, Don't fight anymore. Please don't fight anymore. Tranlac still didn't want to stop but waved his hand. This guy hasn't hit enough yet. At this moment, Bok Tan Tan used his tail to block his attack. Van and Ba, please calm down, if you hit him again, you will die. Only then did Tran Lak wake up, he was startled, I was almost completely controlled by anger, it was too dangerous. He acted calmly and threw the Than Kuk to the ground, showing respect to the young master and sparing his life. Bok Tan Tan spoke at the same time, the demon clan admitted defeat, the victory of the match belonged to Van and Ba. Tran Lak loudly said, The path of martial arts, I am invincible. These words seemed to further motivate all people, everyone shouted in unison, We have won, a one-on-one -on -one duel and our human race won again, I am not a Confucian student anymore, I have to practice martial arts, I will no longer call Van and Ba a disgrace to the writers. In the land of 10,000 demons, in the Holy Monarch Palace, there was an announcement that Bak Tan Tan's letter had arrived. The female demon emperor quietly read the letter. After a while she spoke up, everyone come out here and say your thoughts. One of them spoke up, the female emperor, Bok Tan Tan, how did she evaluate Vo Dao? She replied, it said that the path of martial arts can make people of the human race look like dragons, its potential is extremely terrifying. After listening, the other person nodded, if that's the case, we have to nip this path in the bud. The female emperor exclaimed, then what should you do? The opponent replied, currently the martial arts have only opened 3,000 miles through the heavenly road, no matter how strong those thousands of Mba are, they cannot be as good as the holy monarchs. In my opinion, it's best if we send someone there to kill him. The female emperor replied indifferently, why kill? But Bak Tan Tan was very appreciative of Van and Ba, Bak Lam Lam, what do you think your sister thinks? Immediately on the opposite chair, a voice appeared, a girl, seeing on Tone's man, she lost her judgment, but she was the first person to witness martial arts, we need to take things seriously, this deal. If you want to enter the great Xuan to kill Tran Lak, you need the three great ancestors of the great saint to take action, I'm just curious, who's going? Another person said, he is from the Bok Lam sect, I wonder who wants to confront those crazy people. The female emperor continued, similar to the holy monarch's intention of increasing cooperation with the human race. Bok Lam Lan explained that there was no need for increased cooperation, after all, Tran Lak had not really grown up, so our demon race could maintain the status quo and wait until later. Immediately someone shouted, a group of weak men, I have given Tran Lak's information to the barbarians, he will not live well in the future. The female emperor glared at him angrily, before I had my order, how dare you contact the barbarians on your own? This person adjusted his emotions and said with reason, I'm not thinking about the demon race, let the two barbarian clans fight the great war, can't we sit back and enjoy the results? The female emperor immediately took out her spirit body and shouted, shutting her mouth. The next time you dare to contact the barbarians alone, you will die. This person did not dare to cough anymore but bowed his head to obey the order. 
Inside Tronkeen Citadel, the children happily imitated Tran Lak's actions, receiving my heart palm, receiving my tyrannical palm in return. Another child came forward and said, You guys just created the situation, only when I have cleared my meridians can I use martial arts. Immediately the children gathered around, pinched and teased, talking nonsense, Van and Bo hasn't written the meridians yet, that's right, you're talking nonsense. The child angrily walked away, if you don't believe it, then stop it, I'll practice it myself. At the same time, inside the room, after several days of staying awake, there was also Tran Lak's sigh of relief, finally, he finished writing and was dead tired. Now that the meridians are out, martial arts can be considered officially on track. Using Hong Chen Chi to open the veins is to open up the first level of martial arts practice, called the Vein Clearing Realm. This realm translates the Marrow Punishment Sutra, clears the ears, clears the Ming, strengthens the soul card, and does not walk on water, trouble. If it's released tomorrow, I'm afraid it will cause a stir, I'm a man with a very bad conscience. Just like that, the world happily slowly fell asleep, he couldn't help but secretly rejoice, I don't know how much red earth energy I can receive this time, I really look forward to it. At the same time, in someone's mansion, there was a rolling sound in the air. A panda landed on the ground, it did not forget to complain, I am too idle to look here. The fourth boy quickly opened the door, saying the bear while knocking on the door of Tong Tui Chi's room. Right after that, the other person came out to ask, did the teacher already have a letter so quickly? The bear scratched his head and said, look clearly, I'm not a guagua. As soon as he heard that, Tong Tui Chi began to think, that's right, accompanying the master is old Dai, accompanying the second senior sister is the younger sister, this must be another child that the second senior sister just gave to the eldest brother. After thinking about it, Chi Mon Men asked, leaving you here, has the eldest brother returned to True Lamb? The bear shook his head, no, still dancing wildly in Man Yuan, I'm bringing something to you, you can see for yourself, he said and spit out a box from his throat. Tong Tui Chi took it and thought about it, trusting the senior brother, what kind of bone is this? In the letter, it was written that this was a precious animal bone that the senior brother had picked up, which contained a map of the star demon realm. Tong Tui Chi could obviously guess that this was clearly the other party specifically looking for him. The letter continues, and what follows is the main story, you must read it carefully and clearly. Tong Tui Chi was confused, what was the thing that could make big senior brother become serious? In the letter, it was written that the bear from earlier was the second senior sister who had to come to monitor me, please help me keep it, I want to wander, senior brother depends on you. After reading this line, Chi quit and said, is that so? Tran Lak happily lies in his consciousness and mumbles, sleeping here is still the most comfortable, without being disturbed by outside. But before he could sleep, the white man appeared to warn him, my lord, I have something to inform you of, there is a dead person on the board. This news shocked Tran Lak, he's dead quickly give me the list to see. The dead include Du Sun, Li Kuk, Huang Nye Din, and Ngo Tam Quan. After observing for a while, Tran Lak muttered, they were all from Tu Chao, did something happen over there? At the same time, someone outside called him, and Big Brother quickly woke up. This voice made Tran Lak immediately recognize Ra, he said angrily, it was Deep Dai Fook, I just happened to go ask him. As soon as he returned to Tranlak, he grabbed his younger brother's shoulder and asked if anything had happened to the Tuk Chow defense line recently. Dai Fook took out the order card and said, let me check the documents exchanged with the military side. Tranlak heard that and felt more secure, this kid has a military position in him that is truly useful. Just a moment later, there was information, the representative spoke up, the recent military reports were normal, no problems. Hearing that, Tranlak was worried, it's very strange, please go back and find a few people for me to see what's going on, Dai Fook nodded, it's simple, just give me the order. After a while, Tranlak continued, that's right, why did you rush to come here to find me? Dai Fook smiled and said, big brother, the blessing request has arrived, I want to take you to earn money. This new noun makes Tranlak confused and ask again, what does it mean to ask for blessings? Dai Fook explained that if a creature from heaven wants to enter the ice world, he must be blessed by heaven, this blessing is the ritual involved. Tran Lak continued asking, how should I pray for blessings, should I spend money or what should I do? Dai Fook replied, this is different from place to place, the demon race worships the moon and receives blessings, the barbarian race worships and praises the heaven, and of course the three sects of our human race are talking loudly. Simply put, we have to flatter and make heaven happy, then we will be able to receive blessings. 
Tranlak awkwardly said, I feel like I want to kneel and lick the golden master. Bigfoot didn't take this to heart and pulled him out, let's go, after all, the two of us are going to make money, with Big Brother's literature, we will definitely get a good deal. At Bakhtan Tan's palace, she spoke to her subordinates, because we failed in joining the song, we have lost 10 turns to enter the star demon realm, the remaining turns need you to participate and pray for heaven's blessings, religion. The holy monarch issued an order, received a golden stone, and bestowed a drop of great saint's blood essence. As soon as we heard this, the demons were happy, if we had it, our blood would be even purer. Bakhtan Tan continued, our literature is not inferior to the Confucian people, we must do it with all our strength, start, for your future. A moment later at Extraction Tower, there were voices in the bustling air, everyone gave way, Van and Ba was coming. Immediately this group of people came towards Tranlak to say hello, to see Van and Ba, to see the Master of Martial Arts, to see the light of Van Yan. After greeting Tran Lak with this group of people, he turned around and asked, Dai Fu, isn't it said that Van Suing CAC only has 200 people, I see there must be 3 or 400 people here. Da Fu explained, Big Brother, this crystal furnace itself does not have stairs, to go up, you have to read poetry, only those who receive attention from the heavenly way can fly up to pray for good fortune, too. Tran Lak nodded, it turned out to be an elimination cycle, it was also scientific. While I was still in a daze, Dai Fook urged me, Big brother, don't stand there anymore, I have already prepared someone to buy it for you. Tran Lak asked in confusion, no matter what you buy, I have nothing to sell. Dai Fook burst out laughing and explained, don't you have a leftover trip to the demon realm in your hand, you don't have a family, so why don't you sell it? Tran Lak's face became helpless, this is what you mean by making money, okay, but I can only sell three times. Immediately, Dai Fook's money-hungry eyes turned on, he happily said, Don't worry, big brother, I will sell these three times for five times for you. After Dai Fook ran to sell goods, Tran Lak turned and said, To KY, I will give you a portion, you have to try harder later. KY solemnly nodded, Please rest assured, even though I can't compare to you, I still have the confidence to defeat others. A moment later, the cold official spoke loudly, The time had come, the blessing contest began. French Open Match After everything was ready, the Mandarin continued, the category of blessing poetry can talk about will, about feelings, about nostalgia, but it cannot be plaintive, sad, and cannot write small sentiments, without dynia, do you understand? The crowd below said in unison, the disciples understood. At this moment, there is a crowd of people making a stir, why are there even half demons, how disgusting, this bastard is taking our place. The leader of the demon clan reminded his subordinates not to pay attention to others and concentrate on writing poetry. Not long after, they quickly passed the preliminary round. Long Han Bang was angry and scolded, hateful, yet he let the demon race take the lead. The official next to him assured him, don't rush, the demon clan has prepared in advance, of course they will steal the money, look at the other side. It turned out that Vuong Bat Tu, Fuang Tu Kiet and Dean Hung Van's group had all gone inside smoothly. Only then did Cold Hang Ice rejoice, that's right, Tran Lak also saw them at this time, he marveled, he could still meet acquaintances, but it seemed like they couldn't get past the first half-demon, that. At this time, he came over and asked, young master, can you defeat them? Tran Lak proudly boasted, it's not like I'm gossiping, dealing with such a small character is as easy as eating porridge, I'll start to know. On the demon's side, he was trying his best to fly up, in his heart, this guy was determined to be the first to go to the crystal extraction tower. If so, maybe Bak Tan Tan can be pursued, the more he thinks about it, the happier he is. While having fun, suddenly there was a noise next to him, this guy turned to ask, what's wrong? But the cause of that noise was the ceiling, he was flying at breakneck speed. The cold ice below rejoiced, crazy wind opened the way, bin bo tan van, this is the strange phenomenon of the lantern. My friend next to me also nodded, we made this song so valuable, I can't wait to see what kind of poem van and ba writes. While riding up, Tran Lak encountered a group of people from Tu Kiet's ward, he cordially raised his hand to say hello, three fellows, let's go first. Vuong Kui did not hesitate to praise, Van and Ba was truly a god, Dean Hung Van also nodded, our example, only fooling Tu Kiet still kept a disdainful face. At this moment, the half-demon had seen Tran Lak coming closer and closer, he was extremely scared, stop, you quickly stop. Don't steal my voice. 
After passing this guy for a while, Tranlak was stunned. Was there a mosquito screaming just now? Never mind. Let's get first place first. Number 1 Long Semen Extraction has been completed. Below the building there were voices of people talking to each other. Everyone look. The poetry written by Van and Ba is about to appear. Right after that, an inscription appeared on the top of the tower, a book of poems that thousands of people read. Looking at it now is old, rivers and mountains give birth to wealth forever, everyone is famous at one time. After reading a line of poetry, I received countless compliments from everyone, everyone was so famous after reading Van and Ba's poetry that even the old man's heart was shaken. Having said that, the two seasons of the Blessing Festival of Li Tan Lin and Tefa Tian, the great Confucian on duty, have given big words. Suddenly my companion behind me said with difficulty, Old man, let me talk to you for a moment. Leng Hang Long seemed to understand what he wanted and said bluntly, If you want to have the status of a great Confucian on duty, if you can get a piece of Van Bao Confucian, I will exchange it. Hearing that, my accomplices could only grit their teeth in anger, that's it, isn't it just that I want to write the exam and give the great Confucian guard a crystal extract, I don't want it, I don't want it at all. After a while, after reaching the top, he solemnly waved his hand, Sir, I'm ranked fifth so I won't embarrass you. Tranlak asked with concern, Is your health okay? KY shook his head, It's okay, it's just my first time flying that high so I'm not used to it. At this time, Huang Kui came forward and said, Van and Ba, I have admired him for a long time, last time on the stage, it was not convenient to say much, today, when I met him, I felt very happy. Tranlak also politely responded, Mr. Vuong, Miss Dean. Dean Hung Van spoke up. Fortunately, Van and Ba was able to turn the situation around. If we let the demon clan take first place, we would have left a bad reputation. Tranlak arrogantly boasted, poetry was already available, I only listened to a few students discuss it, and suddenly got inspired. As soon as he finished speaking, Fuang Tu Kiet approached and mocked him, saying it was just luck, a person who wasn't even a scholar of Confucianism had no literary talent. Guang Kui, standing next to him, immediately objected, this sentence is wrong, many classics come from the people, who says you have to be a Confucian to write poetry. Knowing she wouldn't argue back, Fuang Tu Kiet looked annoyed and turned to leave. Tran Lak then turned to ask, why is this Fuang Wien so hostile towards me? Dean Hung Van came forward to explain, this person has a strange personality, no one can guess what he is thinking, if Mr. Tran comes to the star demon world, he must be careful. Tran Lak heard that and nodded, okay, I will pay attention, he added in his heart, if he really took action against me, I would not be soft-hearted. A moment later, Cold Ice appeared and announced, everyone, congratulations on coming to the star extracting building, you can proceed to pray for the second blessing, the second blessing does not come from the power of heaven, but from wisdom, paradise. If you can use the poetic meaning to touch the heavenly path, a large amount of righteous energy will be bestowed, this is the great opportunity that Van Suing CAC offers, don't miss the opportunity, everyone. The half-demon, the white concubine, was secretly thinking, no wonder he wanted us to swear not to reveal the story on the crystal extraction tower, it turned out to be like that. Thinking of this, he looked at Tranlak with hateful eyes, it was all because of this guy, otherwise I would have been the first one to go up, let's just wait and see. The cold voice rang out again, this time a blessing, the top five people stay, the rest can start writing books. The top five people can write poems on these five stone slabs, these are all treasures of the ice world, containing a trace of heavenly fragments that can help you touch the path. Tranlak quickly pushes people to be important, Hao Nian's righteous spirit is so strong, 2KY, you should try writing first. The boy immediately nodded, yes sir. Just finished writing, the steely suddenly fluctuated. It turned into a blue scroll, coldly smiling and said, With the righteous spirit of making a book, it is equivalent to three years of cultivation. What does the little right master mean by cultivating the sutra? Respectfully answered, according to the great Confucius, it was spring and autumn. The cold and ice coldly nodded, he already had such manners at such a young age. Tone Tai, next. Before writing, Huang Bu Kui did not forget to tell Tran Lak, Van and Ba, I will do it first. However, even though he was happy, the result that Vuong Kui Kui received was a righteous hammer, equivalent to two years of hard reading. After receiving this result, he was extremely sad. Only two years, I am right, is to write the hammer. When it's time for the fields to return, there will be butterfly flowers, equivalent to five years of hard work. The next person to turn into a butterfly was the half-demon, however, this result made him dissatisfied, it was only five years. 
The other students looked at each other in boredom, worthy of being in the top five. I can't compare. You tell me, is it okay to drag this white concubine back to the human world? Don't be in a hurry. The heaviest fan in bow hasn't been written yet. But Tran Lak is still struggling to know what to write, because there are so many words in his head right now. Cold cold ice saw him standing forever so he came forward to ask, Van and Ba, why did you just write like that, without any preparation? Tran Lak asked confusedly, is there a problem? Cold and Bing smiled and said, the Confucian family's ability to follow the path of heaven more or less requires a bit of righteousness. Hearing this, Tran Lak sighed, I can't absorb K.Y. Trong's energy, he is already very weak. Immediately, the cold ice volunteered and said, I have a lot of this righteous energy, you can suck me. Tran Lak said confusedly, Die Confucius, please Sir Trong, you are not my type. Cold cold ice asked with great regret, is this really okay? Tran Lak smiled, believe me, I have my own way. The white concubine looked down on one side, the 10,000 words of Du Van Chuang's teachings were no longer new. Everyone immediately rushed to insult him. This demon was intentionally causing trouble. What was the yin and yang monster doing there? Bok Fai calmly said, Tiu Ho finished writing his poetry, but remembered Van and Bo's poetry. It was really too bad. He didn't consciously read it and interrupted Van and Bo's thoughts. I hope you will forgive me. Tran Lak wrote while glancing at him. In his heart he was bored. He did not expect that this non demon was a green tea guy, nauseating. But being interrupted by you actually reminded me of a better song. The king of tyranny laments and laughs at China, but does not win in the world. Suddenly a strange phenomenon occurred, cracks appeared in the stone slab and everyone's surprise. Immediately after that, the heavenly thunderbolts fell down, the cold ice was startled, the thunder was shocking, this was the phenomenon of a tremor in the sky, could it be? Tran Lak smiled at DAC Thang, it's not over yet. He started writing the remaining two verses. At this moment, even the heavenly phenomenon also changed. Cold and bewildered, the sky turned into night. This was a strange phenomenon that opened up a new path. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a violent riot in the air. Tang Tuichi, who was sitting and enjoying tea, also felt it. He muttered, this aura was the little junior brother's way through heaven. At the royal court, the emperor felt, this is Tran Icon's martial arts path, so beautiful. All civil and martial arts officials were in awe. Seven colors of the rainbow. This is Marshal Dao, the heavenly path of thousands of people. Quickly look at that road and aim at that thousand anba. Not long after, your whole body will be covered with light. His body slowly floated into the air. Your voice resounds throughout the world. Today I open the first path of Hong Tran poetry on the heavenly road. Anyone who writes about Hong Tran can enter this path. Immediately, countless righteous energies poured down like rain. Those who practice martial arts can feel it, they are surprised to discover that the physical signs on their bodies have become stronger, and have even broken through the bottleneck. This scene causes cold and ice to kill the feet, the air falls into rain, bestowed on the world, this is the third strange vision. After a while, Tran Lak breathed a sigh of relief. He smiled and said, this is Hong Tran's first martial arts poem. Immediately everyone cheered and shouted, Van and Ba is number one in the world, Van and Ba is the god of martial arts. The white concubine stood on the side and was also dumbfounded, young master, I have already failed you, I knew long ago that I would have listened to you and built a good relationship with him, I am so stupid. But the echo of Tran Lak has gone far to every corner, the story of the Tian Lo route has become a topic of discussion for everyone, there are talented people in every generation, everyone will be honored for hundreds of years, otherwise had that Bak Ho interrupted Van and Ba, I'm afraid there wouldn't have been such a good poem. The white fox interrupt was originally intended to do evil, who would have thought that it would give people good results, brother Dai is right, we should be grateful to the demon race. At the same time, in the Van and Ba palace, there was a pitiful cry inside, Chu Hon sobbed and said, Miss Thu has not woken up for more than 10 days, will she be okay? Tran Lak also impatiently looked at Song Tui Chi who was examining his sister and asked, Fourth senior brother, how is my sister now? The other person replied, Everything is fine, the spirit is slowly recovering, it's just that your sister's spirit is injured, it's not simple, I'm afraid she was mentally damaged when she was young. Hearing this, Tran Lak became scared, what does it mean, was she still psychologically haunted when she was young? Chu Hon suddenly spoke up, I remembered something, it's true that when I was young, Miss Thu once encountered something like this. Tang Tui Chi was looking at Tran Lak and Tiu Ho Ai, Tran Lak urgently asked Tiu Ho Ai when, have you heard, what's going on? 
When the young master had not yet given birth, the young lady was sick and was about to die. The old master found the elixir for the young lady, so he was able to cure the young lady. He replied to Tranlak. After that, the old man felt strange. It was clear that the medicine was not enough. How could he have already pooped? Tu Hoai continued. Tranlak was surprised and asked if this was still the case. Tang Tui Chi was silent for a while and then told Tran Lak that his condition was critical and that his soul was unstable. Even if he had the spirit medicine to calm his soul, he could only return to the body. The little junior brother later raised him himself many times. So the north part is also to find Mankot Dan. It seems like that. Having said that, this time it's actually a blessing in disguise. Along with my sister who has always been sick since childhood, Tran Lak said thoughtfully. Tang Tuichi continued, just take the elixir that I sent you on time, one day you will be able to return to normal, Tran Lak respectfully, thank you, senior brother 4. Then Tran Lak turned around and said to the children, your vital energy is pure, so please guard sister Tran Wien and use her essence to nourish her body. The kids happily said in unison, just leave it to us. Song quits the branch, ask little junior brother, has he really decided to enter the love scene? Tran Lak replied yes, my tomb needs luck, even if it's dangerous, I have to go. Song Tu Chi said that if that were the case, he would tell me the specific situation of this love scene. Song Tu Chi continued to say that this love realm can only accommodate people with the first great realm of the path of practice, that is, the highest level of Confucianism is the poetry realm, the highest demon tribe is the realm of blood, which gives the highest clan is that of Man Win, or Man Ling. I just want to say which barbarian race has the greatest risk in the love scene. The Hmong tribe is divided into the barbarian god vein and the barbarian Tay vein. The barbarian body vein is strong and strong. The barbarian vein follows the divine soul path, also divided into ten parts. Tranlak pondered, it seems that it is very likely that there will be a fight with the barbarians in the star demon realm. Song Tu Chi reminded the Tran Lak barbarians and our human race that we are mortal enemies. At that time, Dunyet must be careful. Next, I will explain more clearly about our attack method. An hour later, Tran Lak thought, it sounds like this barbarian tribe is very strong, but in the same level, I still believe that martial arts can prevail. Suddenly, he ran in and shouted loudly, Big Brother Ng Wei is here. Tran Lak quickly followed, what's wrong, I've never seen to so worried before, Dai Fu couldn't walk and collapsed in front of Tran Lak. Dai Fu quickly said that in order to help you find someone in Tietnam Tan, I had to go there as a martyr to investigate, but was captured by Tan Wien T. Tran Lak was a little scared, Chan Wien and those people, it was Vuong's turn, dared to scold them for not being correct. Dai Fuk replied that it's okay, they still haven't dared to touch Khan Vuong's vein, I'm not worried about this but the news that the martyr passed on to me. There were chickens and ducks in the dog and cat cages in the house, the water was boiling over, rice was burning and hot water was burning, but there was not a single person in sight. Tran Lak was also panicked, tens of thousands of people in the entire city suddenly disappeared, was it the barbarians doing something? Dai Fuk replied no, but according to previous experience, this trick may have been done by the Buddhist sect. Tran Lak asked again, Buddha Mon. They are different from the Taoist sect that attaches great importance to the matter of reincarnation in the Buddha land. In the west, the region is sparsely populated, with a few Buddha lands occasionally coming to kidnap Dai Wien's people. I am very happy to show that I understand the inside story. Dai Fu continued, to be able to send hundreds of thousands of people away in one night, I'm afraid it would take a Bodhisattva level character to do it. Tran Lak seemed to understand Bodhisattva, so, he is indeed not someone that we two brothers can deal with, in short, the water is too deep, we cannot understand it clearly, so let's not investigate further, happy suggestion. Tran La pondered that if it was really a Buddhist practice, why not choose a closer province, in this certain place, there is something shady. At the same time, at Tietnam Tan, there were no clues about what happened here, a group of masked people were investigating something. The leader held a bottle in his hand and said urgent story now is to find someone to use this killer move. He opened the bottle of dissolution seal. Tae King Di and Layman Lee Tan showed a group of people kneeling down, to pay his respects to the Tae King. Tae Vuong, Deacon Layman Lee Tan issued an edict asking if you have investigated anything about Tiananmen Citadel. A subordinate told Tae Vuong that he had some discoveries related to Buddhism, please take a look. The Tae King used magic, his eyes glowing as he read the paper in his subordinate's hand. After reading it, cast a spell to make the paper disappear and say it's fake. The subordinate continued, but besides them, there is no one else who can do this. 
Li Tan Chu said about this, I have roughly the direction, you don't need to worry, yes, okay, have you had any results from the last investigation of Tietnam Tan? The subordinate replied that he was a servant of the royal palace, but the real instructor was Van and Batran. Li Tan glanced at him and saw that the subordinate who looked surprised was Van and Ba who wrote to Niao Gang Ho, right? After saying that, Li Tan Chu went to cast the magic and disappeared before the group of subordinates, you stay here to investigate further, let's go to the central capital. At the same time, Tran Lak was thinking about the amorous swordsman, the ruthless swordsman, and was about to start posting, so I should interrupt, what kind of chapter? Yes, the dream of the sea of flowers seems to have changed, suddenly feeling lost as if feeling something. Tran Lak cast his magic and thought to himself to try it out. Suddenly he arrived at the dream flower landscape, it was so fragrant, the flower garden was so beautiful he was in awe. Secret Realm Chi Ling appeared, Bei Can Master, Tran Lak asked Secret Realm Chi Ling what is this story? Chi Min's Secret Realm respects the owner who spread the teachings throughout the world, currently, there is the first person to successfully practice martial arts, starting to reform the creation of sentient beings, so the flower garden of creation blooms to congratulate the owner. Tran Lak was surprised that someone was already practicing martial arts so quickly, does this garden and natural flower have any specific effects? The owner can touch these flowers with his hands, the spirit of the scene said. Beauty is beautiful, but what can flowers do, Tran Lak said and still touch the flowers. There is a sound when the finger touches the flower, the five immortals nourish the medicine and wine. Tran Lak was surprised, isn't this the object in Tu Niao Gang Ho, does each flower represent an object? Having said that, Tran Lak pointed to different flowers, two Ha Kong, Tuck, eight rings, and ice. Tran Lak was happy, pointing curiously at the flower petals. The secret scene Ganoderma continued, You are the thing that appears in the book that the owner announced to the world, and will all turn into flowers in the flower garden of creation. In martial arts don't need someone else to unlock them. You'll realize them yourself. Tran Lak is happy, with that said, I can take whatever I want. The secret realm Lingzhi replied, This is creation, of course it cannot be born naturally, owner please gently induce changes in martial arts. Tran Lak raised his hand to feel, the spirit of the secret realm continued to speak, This is the power of heaven's path, anyone who practices martial arts or breaks through realms can increase it, the owner can use the heavenly path corpse, work to exchange for items in the flower garden of creation. Tran Lak picked a flower, Hui Ho Abao Bian, 666 merits, like this. Tran Lak was confused, why did he just reach out and touch this unlucky thing? How much effort does this dream of my bright spot as big as a sesame seed have? Chen Lak pointed at the bright spot on his hand and asked for the spirit of the secret realm. The spirit of the secret realm said that it probably only has one-tenth of the merit. Tran Lak screamed, just a little so ah, uh, then you have to wait another year or month to exchange an item, right? After all, this is a waste of the power of heavenly Tao created in the air, which cannot be cheaply said by the spirit of the secret realm. Tran Lak sighed, okay, anyway, I have learned Doc Company Ku Kiam in the steaming and essence method. Wait until later, there will be a burning gold, ring, king cone, Tian Jia Wiam Huang Ling Lung Tower appear, then it will not be too late to change, Tran Lak said. It seems we still have to continue striving, Tran Lak concluded. On the street a boy selling newspapers is selling newspapers, selling newspapers here, selling newspapers here, Van and Ba's latest Hong Tran martial arts story should be reported today. There hasn't been anything new for seven days and I'm dying of impatience so let's see what's new, a man on the street in a hurry. He laughed as he read it, or for the unintentionally sentimental name, as soon as he saw it, he knew it was a good work. Suddenly someone asked him if he hadn't read the Meridian Commentary first today. People who practice martial arts must of course understand the situation of the hero Fawn, so he can come back and answer. People on the street were talking excitedly, one person said yes, pretending to be lazy can be called being lazy, another person said it was called gaining experience, another person laughed and said it's very good. While everyone was excitedly waiting for the next part, Tran Lak was leisurely fishing. He lay down comfortably and talked to himself about how funny Hong Tran is, how stupid and love are the most boring, it's okay to be arrogant, this life is over, my heart is no longer sad, I just want to exchange it for half of Tu Dao's life. It was true that a good poem lying around had a certain smell that entered his nose, making him agitated. Li Tan Chua appeared on the roof, saying can you give it to me? Tran Lak thought in panic, this woman's aura is so powerful, who is she? 
The girl gave me Tran Lak's chin. This little brother is also handsome. It's not bad. Tran Lak is motionless. His body can't move. Is there a problem with that wine scent? Tran Lak screamed. Fourth senior brother, save me. Tang Tu Chi appeared immediately behind the girl and asked if Chu Si and Hao, who had not seen him for many years, was okay. The girl was startled and her eyes widened. The girl raised her hand to lift her chin and scoffed. It turned out to be Troop Lam. Mr. Tu, wait a minute, I'm busy. Song respectfully, Miss Deep is busy, if there's anything you can call me. Tran Lak was bewildered, what is this, why is the fourth senior brother acting like a simp in front of this girl? The girl continued to play around saying I'm asking you to give me that card so I'll invite you to drink. Tang Tui Chi said, the little lay disciple kindly grated the words of Tafatin and Saint Ouyang, but there weren't many words that could catch her eye. Tran Lak remembers, the layman is it possible. Tran Lak turned to the girl respectfully, he was the ancient first Li 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 and Li Tan Mat, a layman. Li Tan Zhao smiled shyly, this name is really interesting, it's my servant. Tran Lak sat opposite Li Tan Chu while drinking tea, he thought, Dai Wien's West Town King Wien did not expect to meet him so quickly. Li Tan Chu noticed Tran Lak's curiosity and asked him, if you look like that, could it be that you are interested in me? Tran Lak was confused, he didn't dare, just a few days ago, he heard people mention the story of the layman, today, today, meeting a real person is even more than just a rumor, he suddenly felt a bit curious. Your second senior sister and I are very close, there's no need to be polite, so just call me older sister Li, Li Tan Chu said to Tran Lak. Tran Lak smiled and said, sister, my little brother is lucky to have you enjoy and write the poem, that's called Hong Tran Ticket, if you like it, write it to me immediately. Thong Tu Chi appeared as quickly as lightning, my pen and ink is ready, little junior brother, quickly write, Tran Lak is stunned. Tran Lak said to Tong Tui Chi, fourth senior brother although it's not very polite to say this, simp is not okay, Tong Tui Chi asked again what simp is. Li Tan Chu said this is not a hurry, I came here because there is something I want to ask you. Why did you say that Prince Khan Vuong investigated Tietnam Tan? Li Tan Chu asked Tran Lak. Tran Lak hesitated, about this. There's no need to worry that this matter involves a few people, they just want to ask the reason, Li Tan Chu seemed to understand. Tang Tui Chi told Tran Lak that it's okay, just tell the lay people clearly. Tran Lak explained, the reason I want to investigate is because the communication between the unreligious practitioner and the theory of human success in me has been broken. Li Tan Chu propped his chin and said, that's right, you are the founder of martial arts, that makes sense. Tran Lak continued, if you have money, tell us, is Lich Nyan Tan related to anyone? If not, even your words should give you some benefits, Li Tan smiled gently. Li Tan Chu told the story of Iron Lava, Tan is related to ancient Moan, Tran Lak was surprised. Ancient Gate, making them angry. Ko Tian Chu continued, in the past, Fo Moan only dared to cause trouble in remote mountain villages, this time, he is bolder, but this matter has already been settled in Tran Wien company, so there is no need to worry. Tran Lak looked puzzled, the clan's billions were destroyed, why is there still an ancient gate? At that time, Tang Tu Chi said, this matter is for me to explain, no matter what, it has some relationship with the teacher, Tran Lak asked again, does it have a relationship with the teacher? Song Tu Chi pondered, that year after the ancient clan was destroyed, the great Wien Tian inherited its inheritance, after the appearance of the Lion Emperor, using Ngu Company's people to train a group of ancient guards. This group of Gu guards were crazy and tyrannical, after the bank was assassinated, they lost their bonds and fled from Dai Wien, they later founded a sect called Ko Mon. Tran Lak asked, then should we care about our master? Song Chi Chi Cough, Cough Cough, this ancient gate is related to the Phoenix Emperor, and the Phoenix Emperor is the master's sister. Tran Lak was curious, four senior brothers had the courage to ask who our senior teacher was. Song Tu Chi waved his hand, not knowing that the eldest senior brother once asked the master and was punished by facing the wall for seven days. The second senior sister went to ask the master and the master himself got angry and closed the door for seven days. In short, there was no news, any. Tran Lak warms up, well, at least I know that second sister is truly at the top of the chain of creatures in True Clam. At that time, Li Tian in the edict said, today I'm drunk and he's talking nonsense, let's hear it for now. Respectfully Tran Lak, I won't spread the truth, so rest assured, senior sister. Tran Lak looked up at the sky and thought, Komon remembered that when he shipped before, he died at their hands. 
I can revive them, but I will never forget my helplessness and despair when they died, thinking about my lost friends forever. A burning anger flashed in his mind, the next time we meet again, I will definitely not forgive them. K.Y. Trong appeared from behind and asked the young master if he had anything on his mind. Tran Lak replied, Oh, it should be the worm in my stomach, but I also know. K.Y. Trong continued to say that the young master is usually the type to have every position planned out in advance, but this afternoon after the Western King left, he was always sad and unhappy. Tran Lak replied, Tomorrow is the time to enter the love world to discuss something with you. K.Y. is polite and invites the young master to speak. After returning from the world of love, you will no longer follow me, Tran Lak said to K.Y. Trong. K.Y. Trong panicked, Young master doesn't need me anymore. Tran Lak is considerate, I don't mean that, your talent is very good, I want you, my fourth senior brother, Bei Tu, to be my teacher. Even though you are a little younger than me, you will learn more things, come, follow me, I won't be able to teach you anything, your Confucian talent, Tran Lak told K.Y. Trong. We resolutely refused. Ha, huh, are you afraid that the fourth senior brother won't accept it, it's okay, I'll just go and talk, Tran Lak gave great encouragement. K.Y. Trong was furious and said, It's not like that, I said that I can't go back on my word by being your guardian for a year, if you're so stubborn, I'll leave the Count's mansion tomorrow. Tran Lak thought, If this stupid boy changes to serve someone else, I'm afraid he will suffer a loss. Tran Lak lowered his voice and said to K.Y. Trong, Okay, I won't force you, just stay by my side, K.Y. Trong is happy, thank you sir. Tran Lak waved goodbye, go back to rest, tomorrow follow me to the demon world to kill the demons, exterminate the barbarians and rob the woodluck. The next day, everyone came to visit the demon world, and Ba's friend finally arrived, when he arrived at the demon world, he hoped that and Ba would take care of him more. Respectful Tran Lak everyone, please be polite and go, the love world needs to help each other. Dai Fuk appeared and shouted loudly, Big brother, big brother. Dai Fuk was breathing heavily, Tran Lak turned around and asked why he came here. Dai Fuk happily said actually, I will also enter the star demon world. Tran Lak was confused, how could he enter without participating in the blessing? Dai Fuk laughed happily he he, I am a descendant of the royal family and came to the heavenly father's temple, if I bowed my head a few times, the power of heaven would descend. Very good, we climbed the stairs while writing poetry and came back blank with just one sentence, you were helpless, K.Y. Trong was equally helpless, we lost from the starting line. At least I can help Big Brother go to the incense burner over there first and talk to Tran Lak. Leng Hanbing respects Van and Ba, this is the Tian Talisman, which can sense other people in the star demon world. Dai Fuk Fuk felt that Tran Lak did not understand the Tam Tian Talisman and immediately said that under the influence of the corrupting force, after we transmit the song, the song will appear at any point in the star demon world, at that time, we need to use the stick, Tian Talisman to find someone. This thing can sense the demonic light of Confucianism and Buddhism, but my earthly energy is not up here, it's okay to just make a green brain like that, Tran Lak thought. Disputes in the star demon world are disputes over destiny, everyone adheres to Dai Nia and the love of compatriots Nyan Bak Shuyan said. Releasing the power of heavenly Tao prepare to enter, everyone together, follow Nyan Bak Shuyan's voice. Ha 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 lots of chaos and sadness in the endless hearing, Kao Kao Thu Naguyat shines on the Great Wall, on this day, the great war between the barbarians officially began, and Vuong Kui showed his spirit. K.Y. Trong excitedly told Master Tran Lak that I could also deploy it that big, Dai Fuk said, how big the cage is, you can directly see how great the power of heaven is. Tran Lak said, look, his cage must be about two meters big. Humph, a group of ordinary people were too surprised, fooling Tu Kiet sarcastically said. He turned to tell Tran Lak Van and Ba where the leader was, but his head started the Hong Tran Ti Dao, could he develop the strong heavenly Dao, so that I could open my eyes. Dai Fuk shouted, Fooling, you are just someone who borrowed the semi-divine power of your ancestors, what are you so proud of? Tran Lak waved his hand without saying a word. Fooling Tu Kiet was shocked, in front of such a god as Mba, how could I compare without using any tricks? Tran Lak holds Dai Fuk's anger as burning, Dai Fuk brother, don't be angry. Tran Lak turned to talk to Fooling Tu Kiet, Fooling Tu Kiet, right, five times seven times, he showed hostility towards me, me, doubting whether you have hyperthyroidism or not. Fooling Tu Kiet shouted, don't talk too much, if you're good, then compete with me, in his mind, he thought, I can't wait any longer, to admire your distraught appearance. 
Tran Lak continued, I told you in advance that my property is very big, don't be afraid. Having said that, Tran Lak opened the power of heaven. Everyone marveled, oh my god, the scope is so big, the entire Van Tienge pavilion is covered, how could Inba do that? Tran Lak turned to ask Fuang Tu Kiet, how satisfied was Fuang Tu Tiet, unable to say anything. He collapsed, how could this be possible, I cannot accept it. People around were talking about Van and Ba who knew what this was, Trang couldn't help but get slapped in the face, people who create their own karma can't live, oh my god, my skin is thin and I can't stand it anymore. Yan Bak Chu Yan said to Tran Lak that person, at least it gives them some dignity, Tran Lak scratched his head in confusion, I was wrong, I will definitely pay attention next time. Yan Bak Chu Yan said loudly to everyone, okay everyone calm down and the transmission will begin immediately.